Yao Rikuo. Yunyueshin. The green hills are entwined with clouds, and the lush trees in the forest are swaying in the breeze. This morning forest looks so quiet and quiet. However, in the depths of this remote and uninhabited mountain, there was a cruel unseen. A girl wearing a fine satin was now squatted on the floor by two strong men twisting their arms, dying down their heads, and the messy hair fell on the cheeks but was quickly immersed in the blood. Wet, blood drops dripping onto the ground and seeping into the soil. The girl with a very weak breath, when she heard the footsteps approaching, rubbed her teeth and looked up, revealing a face. It was a ruined face, and the skin on her face was cut by the knife. Open and fuzzy, very embarrassing. Who are you? Why do you want to harm me? The girl's voice was very weak, and her voice was weak. She was strong and supported the fainting caused by excessive blood loss. She stared at the woman with a veil covering her face and her body. The woman who couldn't see her face was wearing a light blue water cloud skirt, and the tassel of the same color on her waist hangs down. It is beautiful to sway gently with her light pace. She stopped in front of the girl who was kneeling on the ground. She was condescending and looked at the girl who was disfigured at this time. The beautiful smile of the smile said, I am Feng Kinga, the guardian of the government. Miss, the mighty glory of the great general Feng Xiao, the young master of Feng Jiaoyi, the heir to the future of Feng Jia, and the fiancé of the three princes of Yeas Higuo. The familiar voice and the words spoken by the woman in front of him made the girl's eyes wide open, You. Who are you? Who are you? I am Feng Kinga. I am Feng Kinga. The delicate body is slightly trembling, a thought was formed in my mind, and my eyes overflowed unbelievable. The delicate fingers of the white enamel gently peeled off, and the veil covering the face gently fell. A beautiful and beautiful face was reflected in the eyes of the girl in the ground. When I saw the familiar face that I could not be familiar with. When she was shocked, she could not speak. The beautiful face is light and squatting, squatting on the girl above the ground, her voice with infinite expectation and unbearable excitement, Feng Ching Song, from today I will replace your identity, your position, of course I have everything for you, and you. The voice rang, she smiled lowly, with your intelligence, why not think about how I will deal with you? Listening to the original voice of the person in front of the eyes, Feng Ching Song trembled, unbelievably staring at her, if, if cloud? You, you are Suru Yun. Suru Yun, an orphan who grew up with her when she was young, brought her back to the government of the country, she left her with her, and she was a honey friend who had nothing to talk about. It is the sister she considers her relatives. However, she couldn't think of it, the person who ruined her face, the person who wanted to take her status, turned out to be her. Why? I am so good to you, why do you want to do this? The betrayed heart hurts like a knife, thinking that his face is destroyed, his identity will be replaced, and this will be unknown, hate cannot help hit the heart. Why? Oh, of course for everything you have, depending on your grandfather and father like a pearl, the pride of the sky that loves you, but... She looked at the Feng Ching song on the ground with a smile, all this will be mine, the love and favor of my grandfather and father, the gentleness and affection of Murong's brother will be mine. Satisfied to see the crash of the Feng Ching song on the ground, but she did not stop like this, but continued, I would have killed you for the night, and I should kill you immediately. Not your existence, but, hey. Listening to the smile of the haze, Feng Ching's heart trembled, and she heard her voice like a demon. You know, why do I alone ruin your beauty, but it doesn't hurt your white skin? She squinted and looked at her face to face, that's because I want to sell you there. The most squatting place to go, the place for men to play, I believe that even if you are a face that is destroyed like a ghost. This ice muscle jade skin will certainly have many people like, you say. You don't have to look at me like this. Your face has been destroyed. Even if you say that you are the great lady of the national government, no one will believe that people will only say that you are a madman. As for the escape, oh, 
take the second section of your district. The strength is really not enough. During the speech, she stuffed a medicine into her mouth, smiled and stood up, and said the skirt on the bullet, seven days, even after seven days, even if you are not killed, you will also be poisoned and killed. Feng Kinga bit his teeth and shouted, Suru Yun, I will not let you go even if I am a ghost. Oh, you can play me but you are a ghost. It is not my opponent. She sneered and said, take people away, don't sell them, don't drop clues, it's best to take over. Yes. The two sturdy men respectfully responded, and the palm of their hands fell, and the dying Feng Ching song lingered on the shoulders and disappeared into the forest. A middle-aged man in black standing standing behind Suru Yun stepped forward, Miss, time is not early, do you have to go back to the government? Well, I have to go back. She showed a gentle smile and looked at the sky and said softly, From this moment on, I am Feng Kinga, and Feng Kinga is me. Two days later, Dalin Town, Tianxiang Building. When I smelled a scent, the faint Feng Ching song slowly opened his eyes, and the brain did not respond. He heard the strange sound and felt his arm being touched by a pair of hands. With a scream, the roll rolled down the bed. Hey, wake up! Wake up, right, do not like dead fish, the Lord likes to be pungent, that is enough. A thirty-year-old wretched man staring at the ground and shrinking to the ground Feng Ching song on the side, the eyes are full of excitement, I really didn't expect to get me such a good thing tonight, although it is ruined, but this ice muscle jade skin, hey, no loss to some young family. Feng Ching song shrinks back, and there is a panic in his eyes, you, don't come over, don't come over. Meng stood up and ran to the door, but after running two steps, he was stunned by the man. Live. Want to run? Hey, enter this room, do you think you can run off? Come on. Let the Lord lick your skin with a slippery skin. The man smiled excitedly, tearing his hand and putting her on her body. The thin sleeves of the clothes ripped open and a snowy arm suddenly caught in the man's eyes, causing his eyes to glow with excitement. Ah! Feng Kinga screamed, because of the disgusting feeling of the man, the goosebumps on her body floated, and the hand touched a dagger at the waist of the man while pushing the gear, and did not want to pull it out. Stinged at the heart of the man. Hey! Hey! The man's heart was on his head, and he couldn't avoid a blood mark on his chest. He was so painful that he waved the phoenix song. What? Boom! The head slammed into the corner of the bed, and the blood poured out like a spring. She tried to stand up, but she swayed twice and then fell to the ground, fainting. Damn! The man glanced at the blood oozing out of his chest, and beat him in one place. He went up to her belly and screamed again. Get up, don't pretend to die stretched her hand to her clothes and pulled it to the big bed. The pain in the head and the pain in the abdomen made the brow that had been fainted past wrinkled, and there was a voice crying in her mind, and her heart was irritated, shut up. A cold drink, when you open your eyes, you can't help but tighten your brows. There was indeed a voice crying in my mind, and there was a wretched man with a pair of underpants left in front of her eyes staring at her. Looking at the disgusting body of the wretched man, she looked at the quaint room and her lips could not be twisted into a line. In my mind, the crying voice seemed to be stunned when she sang coldly, and stopped. Hey! I know that it's useless to die. Is it okay to accompany the Lord to play, or else, the Lord has a way to clean up you? Then he rushed to the phoenix song sitting on the bed like a hungry wolf. Looking for death. She snorted with a look of screaming kneeling and lifting her foot and slamming out the wretched man who rushed up. Oh! Um! The wretched man was stunned by the cold, and the whole man snorted and snorted like a cockroach. He returned to God and quickly got up. The woman sitting on the edge of the bed twisted her fist and waved it up, stinky woman. Dare to marry Lao Zi, see Lao Zi not kill you. However, what made him wrong was that the fist that was thrown out was caught by her. 
I didn't know what technique she used to buckle his hand and then went down. She only heard the crack of the bones screaming, and it hurt his face. The white screams instinctively, but a pair of cold hands clasped his throat, and the snoring suddenly came out. His head slammed, his eyes violently fell straight, and he died. Come out loud. Time seems to stop at this moment, the sound of the room is silent, and it can be heard even if the needle falls to the ground. At this time, the girl sitting on the bed stretched out the white fingers and looked at her, her brows were light, and a smile with a bit of evil appeared on her lips, but her evil spirits the smile is matched with the ruined face, and it looks strange and horrible. Maybe the man who died is confessed first, no matter what kind of motion the room sends, you don't have to come in. Therefore, the two men who are outside are hearing the sound of the impact inside and beating, thinking that the man is masochistically harassing the girl, so did not care. The the bed went to sit in front of the diamond mirror and looked at the horrible face reflected in the mirror. Her eyes were slightly stunned, her fingers gently tapping on the table of the dresser, making a sound slap humming. Say. Who are you? She looked at the mirror and seemed to talk to herself. However, just after her voice fell, there was a voice in her mind with a crying cry, I am Feng Kinga, who are you? Feng Ju. She said, you should have died? What are you doing in my mind? I am not willing. I hate. Suru Yun, Suru Yun is so bad for me. The voice of crying echoed in my mind with resentment. Feng Ju was silent, but she didn't speak for a long time. She only listened to the voice in her head crying, and her unwillingness and resentment passed from her mind to her heart, and she even had an angrily that did not belong to her. Feel. Don't cry, let me tell you something. She said with a frown, secretly, if she didn't want to understand the ghost and the situation at hand, she estimated that she would leave early and would not sit here. Listening to her crying there. The voice of my mind was a meal, and she sobbed in detail. She didn't tell her anything, because she knew that she could do the best for her, so she said, I am dead. The body has become yours, Feng Ju, I only ask you two things. First, I want Suru Yun to be better than death. If she kills her, she can't solve the hatred of my heart. Only she is as bad as the dead. Can solve my heart and hate. Her voice has a strong hatred. At this moment, she knows that she can't recover anything. What she wants is that Suru Yun who is the victim of her is better than death. Feng Ju picked up his eyebrows and didn't open his mouth. He just hooked his lips and smirked with a smile. At this time, as if to know what is in her mind, Feng Kinga said, I don't know where you are from, nor what identity you used to be, but from your calm response and the calmness of your body. I believe that you are definitely not an ordinary person. At least, it will not be as stupid as I am, and it will be defeated by people who have lost their lives. Hearing the words, Feng Ju's light flashed slightly, and the smile on his lips deepened. Tell it. What is the second thing? Upon hearing this, Feng Kinga knew that she was promised. While secretly sighing, the voice had a bit of sorrow and sadness, my loved ones treat people very well, and treat me as a treasure of the palm of my hand. I hope that you can replace it. I take care of them, don't let them know, I know I am gone. The delicate white fingers gently tapped on the table, and the sound of the cymbals was fine, but the heart of Feng Ching Song was lifted up. She couldn't know the mind of Feng Ju, but she didn't want to hear the rejection from her mouth, so she said, I will leave all my memories to you so that you can know all the things happening, Feng Nine, I must help me, I must help me. Feng Ju only listened to the sound of his mind when he fell, his mind suddenly hurt, like what was forced into the body, she frowned and closed her eyes to bear the pain, after a while slowly opened her eyes, and in her mind, there are many more memories that didn't belong to her. Perhaps it is because the memory of Feng Kinga is in harmony with her. Therefore, when she has seen the scene of the face being destroyed, she even feels the same, as if she was suffering from the pain of the knife. Same. Suru Yun? Oh, 
it's interesting. The fusion of memory in her mind also made her understand the situation and all aspects of her life. Therefore, she stood up and went to the dead man, taking off the clothes from him. The search for valuable things has been scraped. The dress on her body was torn off and the placket was torn. She directly tore off the lining of the skirt to cover the face. The ruined face was too eye-catching and wanted to leave. It must be quiet and unobtrusive. Unfortunately, there was no clothes to be loaded in this room. As for the man's clothes, it was too dirty for her to wear. I thought that this place was a place of fun, so she tore off the other side of the sleeves, revealing the snowy arms, and then treated the dress, changed into a tube-top dress, and the eyes fell on the bed. On the veil, stretch your hand and pull it away from the back window. After steadily landing, I saw that there was only a road ahead, so I mixed in the women in the front yard, and when she was about to leave, a scream suddenly sounded. Ah! Kill! Things are lost! Run! This is her first reaction, and she did run out when she really pulled her legs. But who knows that a cold light flashed in front of her eyes, and the smell of blood and bloodthirsty is a murderous murder, watching the cold light toward her. Here, she did not want to hold her head and kneel down. Call out. What? The fierce swordsmanship seemed to be on the top of his head, and his ears were exclaimed, screaming, and the crowds rushed to squeeze, but Feng Ju found that there were a lot of places around him, looking up, taking her as the center, a person was thrown around, and all of them died. Fortunately, I avoided it quickly. She secretly rejoiced that when the cat was ready to move, a pair of black boots stopped in front of her, and the eyes twitched in a flash of light in a flash. She looked up and shivered, hey! Standing in front of him is a man in black, with a black scarf on his face, but his eyes are full of sinister sinister radiance, as poisonous, it is terrifying, that the sword that was held in his hand and pointed to the ground was still dripping with blood. A drop of two drops spread a little red plum on the ground. I don't know if she is intentional or unintentional. Because of the trembling of the body, she puts her gauze on the ground and reveals her white skin like a cream. She covers her face, but her moving eyes are full of water, with that the shivering slender figure looks pitiful. The man in black is obviously not a heavy color. His sullen and sinister gaze is only a moment of flashing when he sees the snowy skin, but he quickly moves away and looks at the retreating crowd. Going, it seems to be looking for something, and the hand holding the sword is also slightly moved at this time, ready to kill the blind person. The pervasiveness of the killing made Feng Ji panic and shouted, Hey, don't kill me. However, at the moment of standing up, one hand touched the thigh, and the dagger with sharp radiance was hidden. The speed of the ear is not directed at the wrist of the man holding the sword. Hey! Hey! Because he couldn't feel the killing of the woman in front of him, he didn't care about it, and when he was close, one couldn't stop the wrist from being hurt and the blood was shaking, and the sword in his hand could not hold the ground. Almost instinctively lifting the foot is a glimpse. The one-legged clip with a fierce airflow and darkness is that someone who has repaired him has lost his foot and is hard to live. But the script that should be thrown should fall on her chest but she is surprised by her. The body was shunned, and a flashing saw that the woman had rushed over, and the dagger in the hand was aimed at his chest. He instinctively reached out to resolve, and she expected that her assault was imaginary, at the same time as the dagger was stabbed. The ankle is between his legs. Okay. The severe pain of tearing his heart made him sullen and painless. His legs were not free to be clamped under the shackles, but they gave her a great opportunity. The dagger was held by her back. Throat, a knife, and a throat. A blow is fatal. To death, the black man's eyes were still wide, unwilling, and resentful, and he did not seem to believe that he would die in the hands of a woman. The people who had escaped to the inside because of panic looked at the scene with stunned eyes, and couldn't believe the eyes wide open. I couldn't believe that the moment before the crying of the delicate woman became like a god. The black man was killed with a fierce and sturdy skill, but before they came back, 
they saw that the woman ran out after killing the man and disappeared into the night. A thin figure squatted on the corner of the corner, squinting at the corner of the street where the man came and went, and boring to get an apple from his arms. Knocked up. A sloppy shirt, worn and dirty, dirty faces still a lot of dirt, hair is all wrapped in a rag, it looks like a small little cockroach, no one would think, let the mayor was furious and the girl who made the search warrant was the little the corner. It's unlucky. How do you go out? I have that patience, etc., the poison in my body can't wait. Fengju, who bit the apple, sighed, if she knew the disgusting man who was killed by her last night. Actually, the only son of the mayor, how can he leave a life, at least now the mayor will not send guards to find her in the town. However, who was the black man last night? Killer? Her thoughts were a little annoyed when she thought of the breath that came out of his body when he started. She thought that Reborn is the most ancient dynasty, but who knows that the world is actually a cult of the immortal, the cultivation of the immortal, this thing is too illusory, but think of her a 21st century can be in this ghost it's no surprise that the place is Reborn. Xiu Xian Then she has no skill in front of those who cultivated the fairy. After throwing the apples, I sighed with some languid sighs, until a crisp voice rang in front of me. Hey! In front of the broken bowl of a silver scorpion turned inside and steadily stopped in the center of the bowl. Feng Jui, looking at the silver in the broken bowl, looked up and looked at it, feeling no different from the stone, the outside is silver. Looking up at the man who had lost the silver, he only saw a slap in the back wearing a black robe. He walked slowly, his pace was light and steady, and his body was full of cold air that was not close to the living. When the eyeball turned, she didn't want to, she rushed to hug his thigh, and cried in the mouth, Hey, brother-in-law. I can find you, brother-in-law. Ah. The person in front suddenly jumped away, she also fluttered. A space was thrown forward due to inertia, and the friction broke his hands and snorted. The black robe man frowned slightly, and his deep and sharp eyes glanced at the blind man on the ground and he continued to walk forward. At a glance, he saw that the nephew on the ground was just an ordinary person who had not been cultivated. Of course, Feng Ju is indeed just an ordinary mortal. The predecessor's point was repaired by the Suru Yun's mouth. Now she is a mortal who has not been cultivated. It is precisely because of this that those who cultivated the immortals saw such a mortal who did not cultivate, and would not pay more attention and defense. Sister husband. Brother-in-law, don't leave me, oh. I just found my brother-in-law, brother-in-law. She climbed up and then rushed forward, and fell again and again, until the black robes in front were stopped. Sister-in-law. The machine can't be lost. Feng Ju's hands and feet clasped the man's thighs, and wrapped him tightly, lifting up a pair of tearful eyes and looking at him with a bit of comfort. But when she saw the face of this man, her mouth was not free and the mane twitched. This thigh, is she wrong? In front of the man, the man looks at the back, but he can afford to be a man. But when he sees his face, she just wants to sigh for the forehead, this is clearly a thirty-year-old uncle. The knife-shaved face with a strong and tough face was covered by a beard. He could barely see a silhouette, but could not see the face. Although his eyes were deep and mysterious, how can he look at a thirty-year-old? Uncle, how can I not share her brother-in-law with her small body? However, there is no other way at the moment. She is holding the thigh and she is not letting go. She cries out, Sister, hey! I can find you, brother-in-law. Ling Moen wrinkled a pair of swords and looked at the thin little girl holding his thigh like a koala. Because he was not used to contact with people, his body was slightly stiff. He rubbed his legs and shouted, You admit the wrong person, let go. Of course, the thighs are held tightly and can't open the little sister. Oh, brother-in-law, I didn't admit it. My sister said that you are a big bearded man. I have seen you when I was very young. I will not admit my mistakes. Hey, brother-in-law, don't chase me away. 
My sister is dead, no one is at home, and my mother will sell me, oh, brother-in-law. I am not your brother-in-law, you really admit the wrong person. Ling Mohan's face is getting colder and colder, and the chilly atmosphere is more and more intense. It is very sultry. But this little nephew holding his thigh is not letting go. He has been licking several times and no one will be alone. When I went out and reached out to open him, I saw her screaming tighter, and the head inadvertently reached the sensitive part between his legs, making his body tight and the whole face was dark. Come down. Let go. Do not let go unless you promise to take me with you. Her dead skin was glued to him but she didn't realize that her little head was leaning against the sensitive parts of others, but she was secretly happy under the heart. Although the uncle was cold, but it was okay, only the mouth did not start, obviously it won't be for someone who doesn't do anything. Forcing the urge to kill, Ling Moen took a deep breath, let go, I will let you follow. Oh, brother-in-law, I know you won't leave me alone. She wiped her eyes and no tears quickly stood up but seeing him turn around and go forward, and now quickly keep up. Looking at the distance between the two people, the eyes of Feng Zhu flashed a smile. No wonder he is so refreshing that he should let her follow. It turned out to be the reason. Is this what I want to leave? Unfortunately, his abacus was wrong. How could she not keep up with his pace? As for the fact that she had to stick to him before the town of Dallin, this person is not easy to watch, and the guards who are with him must not dare to stop. Sister, you go slowly, I can't keep up, my brother-in-law. She ran and followed, watching him go to the entrance and exit of the town, and he was happy, and quickly followed. Ling Mosi's footsteps were stagnation, and he turned his head halfway. Seeing that the little filthy little hand was pulling his piece of clothing, when he started, he opened the little scorpion and walked forward. Brother, husband, and brother, don't be angry, at most I don't pull your clothes, brother-in-law. As she trots, she screams pitifully, and the guards guarding the door at the gate of the town look slightly in the face of the uncle in front of them. They are half-headed and bowed, and they have come to her. The guards, who were also in the same place after hearing her screaming brother-in-law, looked at the strangely secretly. Brother, what are you going to? After leaving the town gate for a while, she began to stare at the people around her. At this time, Ling Moen stepped in a footstep, and glanced at the little nephew, Shen Sheng said, You have already come out, don't follow me. Feng Jui, then smiled sweetly, Sister, what do you say? This uncle had long known that she was thinking of the town. Also, this person is not easy to look at, how can she not see this little trick? However, I saw that I was willing to help her, but she was surprised. Seeing that he stepped away, Feng Zhu quickly followed, sister-in-law. The words were interrupted before they were finished. I am not your brother-in-law, don't scream. The low voice is chilly and magnetic, showing the man's masculine charm. Don't I really admit my mistake? My sister said that my brother-in-law has a big beard and recognizes it well. She ran to his side and looked at it. She suddenly grinned and said, Well, maybe I really admit it, my brother-in-law should be a little younger than you. Ling Moen walked his own way, and did not pay attention to the little nephew around him. In his view, a nephew who had no repairs and only a few cleverness did not need to look at it. So he accelerated. Stepping on the road, the pace is several times faster than in the city. For his sudden acceleration, Feng Zhu secretly surprised, watching his steps seem to step on the ground, but it seems like the feet are not touched by the ground, the shape of the movement is extremely fast, can be with her snow without a cloud the steps are not the same. Uncle, uncle, wait for me. It is not that she really wants to rely on him, but she has to go out of the town gate and then she said, now she has no thoughts to follow such people everywhere, she has to go to find medicine. Solve the poison in her body. Speaking of it, Suruyun is not really vicious. She used to be her like her. 
she robbed her of her identity and said nothing. She actually sold her to the kind of brothel where she was going to let her suffer and die. This woman. It is really as poisonous as a snake. However, according to the original memory of Feng Kinga, this Suru Yun seems to be like her, from the 21st century. Moreover, he is also very proficient in medicine, or else he can't get a mask that is exactly the same as her. The more I think, the more excited I am, the more boring things I seem to be, and it seems to be getting more and more interesting. When Ling Moen heard the uncle in front, his mouth was slightly pumped, and he subconsciously touched the beard on his face, speeding up his footsteps and trying to open the person behind him. However, after two hours, he stopped. Looking back and glanced at it, watching the thin figure still behind him a dozen meters away, his heart secretly surprised. How did he follow up with someone who didn't do it? Feng Ju gasped and ran up, half bent and his hands on his knees and gasping, Call. I am exhausted, uncle, why are you going so fast? Ling Moen screwed his brow and carefully looked at the dirty little nephew, half sounding, Shen Sheng, you don't follow me anymore. The place I want to go is Jifulin. That place is extremely dangerous. You going in only to die. No, uncle, I am not following you, but I was going to go to Jifulin, but since you are also going to Jifulin, are we not going well? Ling Moen did not pay attention to the people behind him, but walked with great strides. He felt that this little nephew was the little son who sneaked out to play. From the moment he hugged his thigh, he found that the little nephew had no humble kindness, and his eyes were very smart. How could it be a deaf child? Listening to him actually said that he wants to go to Jifulin, but it is certainly certain that this young boy is going to have fun. If he really does not know how to follow up with Jifulin, he will not gossip to save him. See the uncle in front of ignore her, Feng Ju did not open again, just trotting to follow. Of course, as long as we look at it carefully, we will find that her pace is very strange, and the speed will not be much slower than the previous Ling Mo. The two walked one after the other, the front of Ling Moen did not stop to rest, the back of Feng Ju did not stop to rest, because time is tight, she had to hurry to find the medicine to remove the poison in her body. Otherwise, a small life is really worthy of being here. After all, this body used to be a golden body. It didn't eat and run like this. It's been a day and night for her. The legs are sour and heavy, and the pace is gradually slowing down. The distance between the cold and the cold is also getting farther and farther. Fortunately, I finally came to the mountain pass of Jifulin in the early morning of the next day, but at this time, she could not see the figure of the uncle. Call. I am exhausted. She walked on the ground, gasping like a cow sweating like rain, and her stomach was hungry. At this time, some of her heads were dizzy, and there were some nausea. From yesterday to now, she also ate an apple at the hawker who sells fruit. Until now, I didn't know where to digest it. At this time, I was so hungry that I only thought about it if I had a chicken leg. Just eat it. After taking a break, she stood up after sweating and looked at the nine-volt forest in front of her. She smiled and said, Hey, there should be a game in this nine-volt forest. A sip of water, when you walk even inside. The lush forest weeds, the sun on the top of the head is half covered by the dense leaves, and only a few sunshine slanted into the forest, the smell of moist soil and the grassy fragrance accompanied by the wind and the wind. In the hands of Feng Ju, he left the branch from the bottom of the branch and swung it to the right. He could open the weeds in front of the road, and the second could also drive away the poisonous snake hidden in the weeds. She walked slowly, and her eyes were carefully looking for some herbs that might be covered by weeds. The poison on her body has already been explored. It may be difficult for others to solve it, but it is not difficult for her to be proficient in medical treatment. Of course, the premise is that she can find the herbs she needs, otherwise she is the doctor. I can't empty my own poison. Perhaps this is on the periphery, although the herbs are there, but they are all very common. 
As for the wild game that she imagined, let alone, after nearly half an hour, I didn't see the game that I could eat. The four-legged snake lying on the tree encountered several. The stomach is really hungry. She saw the flowers of the three-leaf sourdough in the grass. She took a large bunch and ate it while walking. The stem of the clover was sour, but the taste of the flower was light and fragrant, although it could not what, but it is better than empty stomach. Hey! Is there a lot of volcano here? She sprinted in surprise and saw that the herb growing on the edge of the tree was one of the detoxifying herbs she was looking for. After eating the trefoil flower in his hand, he threw the stems and leaves and carefully dug the vendee from the soil. She did not know that she was lying on the ground, and a black and white snake in the grass was squirming the snake body toward her. When the snake came closer to her, the snake body propped up the snake's head, and the snake's letter spit out, making a subtle sound. At that moment, the viper suddenly slammed out, and the open snake bite bite into the phoenix nine calf. At the office, the appearance of Feng Chu changed, the suffocating gas was released at that moment, and the eyes were even more fierce. When he turned quickly, he buckled the snake head with one hand, and the seven-inch land of the snake with one hand, and the finger was forced to buckle. With a bang, the hand that buckled the seven-inch land of the snake broke into the snake body. Hey! The viper screamed and softened after a few twitching. Oh! Is it a silver ring snake? As if the previous sternness was just an illusion of a moment, she was a lazy look at the moment, staring at the snake in her hand and laughing, no hair and wild boar then, the snake will be baked to fill the stomach. But the sound fell and the smile on his face froze. Because she found a big problem, no fire. In this humid forest, friction and fire is not a simple matter, but she does not have a fire, even if there is a snake, there is no way to eat it. If you forget it, I will insist on it. At least, I have to find a dry place to find a way to get angry. She murmured, and it was a pity that the silver ring snake in her hand wanted to be lost. Therefore, the convenience is handled. Cut the snake's head, the snake skin is peeled off, the snake's gallbladder is taken out, and the snake that can't see the original face is hung on the branch. The taste of the hand is directly wiped on the grass, and some of the smell is heavy. Rubbing on the hand, remove the smell of the hand and continue to walk forward. So, in this forest, you can see that a distressed little nephew walks alone in this dangerous nine-volt forest, carrying a branch on his shoulder, and a strip skin behind the branch. The snake is shaking there. Throughout the day, she was alone looking for detoxifying herbs, and unknowingly walked around from the periphery, finally gathering the antidote herbs needed before the darkness. Looking at the sky, she could see the roots of the dry trees and start the most primitive fire steps. However, because of the dampness inside, she took more than a minute to get the fire and the hands were worn. There were several blisters, but all this was worthwhile after she finally ate the roast meat. The detoxified herbs were found together, and the stomach was filled. Some herbs picked in the afternoon were smashed and rubbed on the body. The fire was extinguished, and a big tree was climbed. A comfortable position was found on it. One night. In such a place, you can't stand on the fire alone, or else you will become the target of the beast in the night. She can't deal with the beast now with so much energy, so even if the tree is cold, there is no flame to warm, but wind is not safe. Sure enough, after the night was getting darker, the voice of the wolf was faintly heard in the forest, and the sound echoed in the night, which was surprising. Feng Zhu, at this time, was sleeping with his eyes closed and directly used the sound of the wolf as a lullaby in the forest at night. Naturally, she did not know that in the tree not far away, a black figure would make her move in the forest all the way. Ling Mohan's deep black scorpion stroked a touch of faint surprise. Some accidents would meet this little child again here. He thought he would leave after encountering the potential danger of this nine-volt forest. I came alone to the inner circumference. He met him in the afternoon, when he was squatting on the ground to dig up herbs, those herbs that seemed to be useless to him, but he collected them one by one, 
and he was still alone in this inner circle. It's sloppy, as if you don't know the danger. According to his indifferent character, he would not pay more attention to this little nephew. However, he did not leave because he did not know why, but he looked in secretly, watching him lick the dead wood and made a small hole with a dagger and then took another a small, dry branch sits there and drills. Originally, he still didn't know what he was doing, but when he saw that he had drilled a light smoke after a long time, his heart was even more unexpected. Actually rubbed the fire with two pieces of wood? This strange way he has never seen anyone else use it. It is necessary to know that the general ignition can use the flintstone in addition to the fire fighting. If the two weapons are not rubbed together, the fire can be fired. The fire method can be seen like this. But obviously, this little nephew is not unaware of the danger. He used the small fire to roast the peeled snake and wrapped it up, then extinguished the fire, and then climbed to the big tree and found a place. When I wake up, I can't even hear the sound of her snoring. If Ling Moen knows what Feng Ju is thinking at this time, it is estimated that he will not think that way. Originally, Feng Ju didn't notice someone staring at her because she couldn't feel any killing around her, but when she squinted and slept in the tree, she could feel a pair of eyes without opening her eyes. She was looking at her with inquiry, and as a result, she made a snoring sound, just like she was asleep. In fact, I was thinking, the other party did not know when she was eyeing her, and she still did not know that she was being stared. However, since the other party did not show up and did not pose any threat to her, she would naturally not smash the people in the dark, but she was secretly vigilant. After all, the people of this world are cultivating the immortals, and they cannot be regarded as ordinary people. Look at it, otherwise, it will only be her own. The next morning, Feng Ju woke up in the sound of the birds in the forest. Half awake and half sleeping, she reached out and yawned and stretched out, but the balance of this stretched body was lost. Fell off the tree. What? Boom! She exclaimed, slamming into the ground and falling into the weeds under the tree. Hey! It hurts me. She stood up and licked her waist and twisted it before she whispered her breath, fortunately, I didn't break. Not far away, the lush foliage half covered the black figure of Ling Moen, and the deep black scorpion swept the figure and then removed the line of sight. When he woke up from the little nephew, he opened his eyes and saw that the little nephew slept in the tree and stretched down and fell down. Under the tree was weeds plus dirt, so it would not fall out. The big problem, he naturally looked at it without looking at him. Seeing that the little girl licked her waist and found two large stones around her. She sat under the tree and took out the herbs from her arms. Then they mixed them together and stuffed them into their mouths. He couldn't help but wrinkle the eyebrows and stare at the small one. Hey, imagine, this little nephew only ate the roast snake meat last night. Is it so hungry to get the herbs to hungry? But even those herbs are not stuffed like that. Doesn't he know that it would be an accident to eat herbs? Just thinking, I saw the little girl screaming out a bit of dark blood, and the whole person fell down. Seeing that scene, he frowned and stared for a moment, meditating, and he didn't see the signs of waking up when he was half sounding, and then he leaped and walked over there. Died. He kicked the unmoving figure with his foot and saw that he didn't respond. Then he squatted down and tried to explore his breathing. Who knows that he just squatted down, and the original body was lying down and suddenly jumped up. He rushed to him, which made him unprepared and he was thrown to the ground so cold. Uncle. Ha ha ha. Hey. Feng Ju, who was laughing and laughing, had a laugh, and her face was a little bit stiff. She looked at the uncle who was thrown to him in the eyes and looked at his claws on her chest. When she rings, she has not been able to come back. This, how is this going on? Have you eaten tofu? The soft touch from the palm makes Ling Mohan's mind become blank for a moment. His eyes are full of wrong colors. The first time in life, he talks with stuttering, You, are you female? Return to God and accept both hands. But his hand, 
the same phoenix phoenix did not react, lost the support of his hands, the whole person rushed down, a small mouth that could not die, covered with the thin lips with a beard. Okay. Both of them snorted and their lips were hit and hurt. This time, Ling Mohan's whole person was stiff, his eyes widened because of incredible, as if he had been frightened, but his eyes were dizzy. Looking at the uncle who was fainting, Feng Ju's face was also dark. She climbed up and rubbed her face with a beard and a bit of pain. She rubbed her mouth, I haven't even abandoned your old cow. Young grass, are you still faint? I touched the mud that was smeared on my face, and then I looked at the uncle who was really fainting, and I felt speechless. She treated the detoxified herbs and smashed them. The effect was too strong and directly spit out a blood. I also wanted to take the opportunity to lead the people in the dark to see who it is. I didn't expect to hear the voice of this uncle, so she wanted to tease him. Who expected that she was eaten with tofu, but the person who ate her tofu actually fainted. Sitting cross-legged next to him, squatting at him and waking up, he looked at him carefully and found that the uncle was really good. Although the beard covered most of the face, but this pair of sword eyebrows, this tall nose, and the resolute cold face contour, and the thin lips hidden in the beard, is really everywhere the charm of men. With a gaze of appreciation, her gaze gradually descended, passing his strong body, slender legs, and nodded secretly, well, this figure is simply dressing and undressing, no need to see and no eight the block abdominal muscles are properly available. God made the ghosts want to reach out and touch his abdominal muscles, and at this moment, a chilly voice rang in his ears. What are you doing? Ling Moen stared at her with her eyebrows, and stood up and opened her distance. When she woke up, he actually saw her eyes staring at him and staring at his body, though in the eyes. Purely appreciation, but, is it really appropriate for a woman to stare at a man with that kind of vision? The claw that just stretched out, after listening to his voice, naturally scratched his head and smiled. Uncle, I didn't do anything. Hey! What do you wake up so quickly? She still wants to touch the abdominal muscles. Looking at her smile, and the bright glow in her eyes, I thought of the softness of the previous hands and the touch of the mouth to the mouth. For a time, my face was dark, but a large beard was covered. The face didn't see it. Looking at him, he said that he turned and walked away. Feng Ju Wai Wei, thinking about it, followed his footsteps and went up, Uncle, in fact, we are quite fateful, aren't you? You met here again, in this case, why is it different? Seeing that he was walking and not thinking about her, she didn't care. It was really dangerous to think about her strength alone in this place but it would be safer to follow him so personally. So, he walked with her, he stopped, and she stopped. However, compared with her heartless lungs, the cold air in front of Ling Moen was more and more intense. Finally, it was unbearable cold. I glanced at her and frowned and asked, Why do you always follow me? He thinks that he is not an approachable person. Whoever sees him is not a distance beyond three steps. Even if the person who doesn't know each other is repeatedly driven by him, he will not be cheeky and follow him. However, this woman can't get rid of the cowhide plaster. Because I only know you, one person. She looked at him for granted, and her eyes flashed a little narrowly. The expression on her face was extremely serious, since you gave me a piece of broken silver, I decided you. You are a good person. Ling Mohan's forehead blue-breasted float, his brow jumped, his face was tight, and even the thin lips were tightly tied into a line. A deep gaze glanced at her and continued to move forward without further opening. If I knew that a piece of silver that I had thrown at hand gave him such a piece of cowhide plaster, he wouldn't let it out if he put it on his body. God knows that he didn't want to take the broken silver at all, but just got out of his waist and there was a piece of broken silver. He saw that there was a small scorpion and it was thrown out directly. Who knows? Feng Chu, who followed Ling Moen, saw that he was going deeper into the place. His eyes could not help but glimmer. 
he looked at the black figure in front of him and asked, Uncle, I heard that many beasts are really true? I didn't expect him to speak out, but I didn't want to hear the indifferent and cold voice coming. If you know, you will leave quickly. Uncle, I will take medicine with you and will not cause you trouble. She just probed the veins, the poison in the body has been solved after the blood is spit out, as long as it is detoxified again at night. Herbs should be almost the same. Originally intended to solve the poison in the body, I left Jufulin. Who asked her to meet this uncle again? She thought about taking some medicine with him. Although she had entered the inner circle, she was only in the outer circle of the inner circumference. Now he followed him to go deep, and his heart was a little excited. With expectations. I don't know what kind of herbs are there. It is said that the more dangerous the place is, the more likely it is to pick the elixir. If she can pick the elixir, it will be better. If it is not used, it can be sold. Besides, her current appearance was destroyed by Suru Yun. Even she looked horrible when she saw it. Naturally, she had to find a way to cure the wound on her face. Otherwise, she would have a face like this for a lifetime. Insult the name of her demon. The two walked one after the other, because of Ling Mohan's warning, although she had to follow him three steps away, and she also knew that this uncle is not close to female color, otherwise she would not be her. Be careful to kiss and can't stand the fainting. Although she is not very comfortable in her heart, the other party is an older uncle. After the event is over, it is not good to mention it, lest both sides be embarrassed. But what made her feel better was that the more she walked around, the more her elixir was picked along the way behind him, the kind of herbal medicine with aura, although it was just some of the more common elixir. But it also made her mood more and more brisk. Hey? Is that three-leaf red? That is an excellent medicine for treating trauma. Seeing a long-lasting elixir growing in the weeds, she ran over and carefully excavated. After all, this three-leaf red is a kind of elixir that is worthy of money. This kind of elixir is only in this inner circumference. Will appear, it is impossible to see on the periphery. These elixir are actually the same as the precious herbs that she knew in the 21st century. Whether it is the name of the drug or the depiction of these elixir, it is exactly the same. The only difference is that the world is repaired with mystery and aura. Moreover, most of the medicinal materials are elixir, and the efficacy is also more remarkable. Call out. At this moment, a fierce voice slammed into her, and the phoenix that carefully picked the elixir did not lift, but quickly avoided it. At this time, the three-leaf red was also picked by her. Hold in your hand. Ling Moen, who heard the sound in front, looked back at the first time. The hand that fell on the side of the body was slightly lifted when the arrow hit the little child, but it was quiet when she saw her sensitive avoidance. Take back your hand and look at the person from the other side. At the moment, Feng Ju was looking at a sharp arrow inserted in the place where she had just been. If it wasn't for her avoiding it, the arrow would be shot on her. For this kind of unprovoked killing, she showed a harmless smile on her lips but she did not look at the people with a smile. It was a team of about 20 people, headed by a calm middle-aged man, followed by a man of about 20 years old and a girl of 15 or 6 years old, and everyone behind him. The uniform of the color, similar to the members of the family, seems to be a family going out. After looking at those people with a quiet look, Feng Ju's eyes fell on the girl's body, and she saw a pink gauze tube top dress. The full upper part of the bust was very attractive. I got a profit and a grip, but I was holding a mysterious bow and a feather. It was obvious that the arrow was just shot by her. Hand over the three-leaf red. The girl stared at the arrogant Fang Ju with arrogance, and scorned the road, if you don't go to the corner of the street, you dare to run here and die, it's really tired. Fang Ju did not hide her gaze on her body. She also learned the tone of her voice. You don't go to Yu Hong Yuan, but you come to the Nine Vein Forest. You want to seduce. Who? When she said this, 
Ling Mohan's mouth twitched in front of him and shook his head, What is this woman? It is clearly a hooligan. The the other side of the girl listened to it, but it was a cold look. The eyes of a pair of twins fell on the body of Fang Ju like a sword. Only the middle-aged man and the young man looked as if they were just looking at Fang Ju. The gaze seems to be watching a dead person. You wanna die? The girl was so sullen and shy, she didn't know whether she was angry or awkward. A pretty face was raised in red, and the Xian Bao in the hand that she didn't want to think was lifted again. She took out the bow string on the arrow and pointed it at the phoenix. Call out. The fierce arrow feather clip with a mysterious breath shot at the speed of the ear to the heart of Feng Ju, seems to be in the plan to set Feng Feng Ju to death, a shot is murderous. The the other side of the girl stood still, and the middle-aged man headed by him seemed to be more willing to indulge. After all, in their view, Feng Ju was just a small shackle, perhaps because of luck. Inside, people like him can kill him with just one finger. Ling Moen, who was a few steps away from Feng Ju, did not stop at this time. He wanted to see how much the little nephew had. From his observation of her, she is not a brainless person. On the contrary, she is very smart and will not do things that are not sure. However, she clearly does not have a trace of scent, but what is the confidence she has come from to provoke others? I was thinking, my eyes were shrinking. I saw her responsive and turned over and smashed the arrow, and the arrow happened to be shot from under her without hurting her. Seeing this scene is not only Ling Moen, but even the middle-aged man and the young man have a strange look. It is necessary to know that there is no instinct in the other party, and how fast the arrow shoots, how sharp they are, they are very clear, in normal terms, this small flaw cannot be avoided. But he has avoided it and it proves that he is not as simple as it is. Hateful. The girl was sulking and screaming, stretched out to the back, and then took out an arrow feather and put it on the arrow and then shot it. Can clearly aim at the small arrow of the arrow, but none of them can shoot him, shot a few arrows, and then look at the little smile and smile with a smile on his chin, as if to say, you this ability? She was so angry that she took a bow and pulled out her waist and daggered her. Come back. I am welcome again. Feng Ju's lips were a little bit strange, and his eyes swept over the girl's plump chest. She faced the dagger who was attacking her and she greeted her. Go with. Small. Give me to die. Ling Mohan's eyes stared at Feng Ju's movements. I saw her instantly taking the dagger in the girl's hand in a strange way. Even quickly, he couldn't see how she did it. When I looked again, the dagger had already reached her hand. I saw her stepping down to the girl's back. She took the opportunity to touch the white skin of the other person and saw that his forehead could not be crossed. Black line. Is this really a woman? Are you sure you are not a hooligan? Oh, it's slippery. Feng Ju praised, a pair of eyes half squatting, one hand holding the soft waist of the girl but holding the dagger in her hand against her beautiful snow neck, seems to be teasing her, and close to her the neck smelled and the face was intoxicated. Smell good. This time, even the unsmiling middle-aged man was darkened. The young man next to him was also angry, and there was obvious anger in his eyes. The hand under the sleeves was tightly twisted into a fist. If he didn't see the girl in the other hand, he couldn't help it. Ling Mohan's speechless eyes open, it is impossible to read it anymore. The girl was stunned at this time, and her face was unbelievable. She couldn't believe that she was caught by a small beggar. I can't believe that this little cockroach is so courageous, and dare to take advantage of her in the face of so many people. My niece has always been used to arrogance. In the rude place, this little son still wants to be surprised. The sound of the low and implied genius came, and Feng Ju looked up and saw the light flashing. The natural voice is the middle-aged man. He is not a threat but a gift. It's really amazing to be able to suppress the anger of the heart and talk with her on the face of dissatisfaction and sorrow. I used to be arrogant and can take people's lives casually. If it weren't for me to flash fast, 
it would be estimated that the king's palace had reported. She stared at the middle-aged man with a cold eye, and her lips opened with a smile like a smile, I don't want to go to indecent as well. In fact, I also want to pay tribute to this beautiful lady. The dagger of the ministry pressed down one point, and a blood immediately oozes out, which is particularly conspicuous on the white skin. Oh! The girl returned to God because of the pain, but she was stiff because of the dagger that came to her neck. She didn't dare to move a half, and there was a panic on her face, you, don't mess. Oh, I am really embarrassed. I was scared by the arrow you shot. Now my hands are a little trembling, and I accidentally let you bleed. Seeing this scene, the middle-aged man's face sank, and the original face and the color of the face disappeared instantly. He stared at Feng Zhu and said with a calm voice, What do you want? When Yan, Feng Zhu smiled and squinted, I didn't think about it, just thinking, if there are some yellow and white things to suppress, maybe the hand will not shake. When the middle-aged man heard this, he slowly turned his face. He gestured to the young man next to him. Then he saw the young man point his head and step forward taking off an inconspicuous small bag from the waist and taking it out from it. Two gold ingots come. What are the two gold ingots to suppress to Xiao Gongzi? At this time, Feng Zhu's eyes silently passed over his unremarkable small bag. According to the memory of his mind, it should be a Qunkin bag that can store things. There is a priceless thing in the city. It seems that this group of people identity is not easy. His eyes turned and fell on the two gold ingots in his hand. He said, You are swearing? Two gold ingots want to give me a crush. The young man's face was so heavy that he glanced at the dirty little nephew, and said, You are not swearing? Although my heart is contemptuous, the face is not obvious, but I have come up with four gold ingots, is this enough? Ling Mo chilled the golden ingots and silently removed his eyes. Money like gold and gold ingots can only buy some things in the world. If you really want to buy things on cultivation, you can't buy them without crystal coins. Compared with expensive coins, these gold ingots are really not enough to see, of course, that little girl opened his mouth is nothing else, it is really stupid. Feng Zhu was too lazy to pay attention to what other people think. She looked at the few gold coins and turned her eyes. He said, Hey, I don't know if I don't know each other. I let her go, you can't shoot me again. This is natural. The middle-aged man screamed. What do you say? She approached the girl's face and smiled and asked. The girl bit her teeth and nodded, as long as you let me go, I won't shoot you. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu said that the young man handed over Jin Yu and Bao. The young man stepped forward and looked at the girl and handed the gold ingot to Feng Zhu. After Feng Zhu took it, he slammed it into his arms, and then he removed the dagger and threw it at the young man. The man took a step back to catch the dagger. At the same time, the girl turned back and kicked her foot toward Feng Zhu, damn little hooligan. Let you take advantage of me. Feng Zhu had early vigilance. After getting the gold ingot, he quickly retreated. The girl's foot naturally kicked out. She still wants to go forward. At this time, the middle-aged man screamed, Reflection, come back. Two uncles. The girl slammed her feet and refused to stop. She could see her uncle's warning eyes and her big brother's eyes, and then she bit her lip and walked back. Over there, Feng Zhuhui was squatting with six gold ingots. Because she was afraid of crushing her elixir in the inner layer of her arms, she took out the golden ingots and gave them to Ling Moen. Look, uncle, you see that I have a lot of money. Waiting for me to go out, how about drinking alcohol? After Ling Moen looked at her, he walked forward. The following Feng Zhu immediately followed, uncle, go slow. Watching them both leave in tandem, the young man glimpsed a smattering in his eyes and asked, two uncles, why not kill the kid? The man in black is not an ordinary person. His cultivation is that I can't see through it, and the kid is also very surprised. It is obviously not a kind of body that is not cultivated. 
it is definitely not a nephew. His voice was slightly stunned and said, We have more important things to do in this trip. Don't make extra budgets. This is the matter. Don't mention it. Yes. Although it is unwilling, but it can only be done, after all, compared to the task of their trip, the kid does seem insignificant. Thinking of the task of this trip, the girl only suppressed the unwillingness and anger in her heart. Some expected to ask, two uncles, is this Jufulin really a beast born? Well, the major families believe that they will continue to receive news from the Nine Volt Forest, or that they are already in a certain place in the Nine Volt Forest, so we must move faster, so as not to lose the opportunity. The middle-aged man nodded and looked at the depths of the Jufulin. His eyes were full of determination. Upon hearing this, the young man pondered for a while and said, Will the two men also come to the beast? I think they are also going deeper, and the estimated goal is the same as us. The middle-aged man passed a smog over his eyes and said, If it is the same, then on the road, I will find an opportunity to kill them. Then he took them and went on. As for the long time before Ling Moen stopped, a pair of deep and fierce eyes glanced around. When Feng Zhu saw him stop, he took the opportunity to take off his coat and simply tied the coat into a bag-like shape. Then he took out all the medicines picked from his arms and put them in the golden ingots. Go in, and then firmly bind the bag to your body. Although she wore clothes, she wore several layers, and it didn't matter if she took off one or two pieces. However, when she tied her baggage and looked up, she looked at it and looked at the unidentified beast that was out of the surrounding woods and only had sharp teeth and was as strong as a cow. He blinked and asked, Uncle, this do you want to eat people? Roar. Responding to her is not the voice of Ling Moen, but the roar of the beast in front of him. Just as the roar of the roar fell, the fierce beasts rushed toward them, and the open mouth was dripping with saliva, and the exposed cavities were full of bloodthirsty light making people feel the heart is shaking. On the tree. Ling Mo snorted and sipped. Hearing his voice on the tree, Feng Zhu's eyes passed a smile. She said that this uncle is not bad. Uncle, then you should be careful. She sneaked up to the big tree next to her, holding the trunk and looking at the scene below, and wanted to see how much the uncle's skill was. However, when the corner of her eye in the tree glimpsed the young man who was hiding in the back and holding the bow and aiming at the uncle underneath, the light was swept away with a touch of coldness, and the mind was moving, seeing a fierce beast underneath her big tree. Then the hand holding the branch was loose, and the force of the impact fell from the tree. What? Ling Moen, who is dealing with the dozen or so fierce beasts, can look back and look a little, this is not worrying. She was about to lift her breath to catch her, but she saw her squinting at him. Seeing this, his brow slightly twisted his sword and chopped at a beast. At this time, Feng Zhu ran from the tree and ran away, ah! Help! Her body is very different, obviously without the mysterious but running around among the fierce beasts without being hit, after running for a lap, not hiding behind Ling Moen, but running toward the road that came. Help! The dozens of people who were hiding behind the trees saw the direction of Feng Zhu's run, and the seven or eight beasts that were chasing after him. The face was also changed. Damn! The young man screamed, and the bow in his hand could not aim because of the movement of the black figure in front. Look at the beast that came to them, knowing that he was losing the chance of assassination, and the bow and arrow in his hand moved toward the front. The little nephew in front shot. Prepare to fight. The middle-aged man sighed and sighed, and Suan Kai launched the sword while pulling out the waist. Seeing that the young man shot at her with a bow and arrow, Feng Chu's mouth was hooked, revealing a strange smile with a sinister smile. It is indispensable. For those who want to take her life again and again, she will not let him go again and again. Moreover, her hand is itchy, take this group to try their fighting power. Definitely, the murderous air is diffused from her, and the sigh of breath is revealing the momentum of a superior. The change of the eyes and the breath of her whole body make the middle-aged man who is headed stunned and shocked. 
he read countless people, and he can see that the little nephew at this moment is the same as the one he had before. The upper man of his body is imposing, the fierce murderousness of his body, and the confidence of his eyebrows, even he sees him. I couldn't help but be scared. However, this person has no mystery, and he believes that even if he shows his strength, he will not be able to beat him in battle. Ling Mohan's gaze also fell on the little nephew, and a deep glimmer of light was passed through. Sure enough, she is not as harmless and simple as she has shown, but think about it and relieve it. This little nephew is not ordinary. How can an ordinary woman dare to go alone into the nine volt forest where the beast is spread? However, she is not mysterious and I am afraid that it is not the opponent of those people. Just very soon, he knew that he still underestimated her. He only saw that the figure was stunned by the strange figure to avoid the sharp arrow that was shot at her. After guiding the seven or eight beasts behind him to the group of people, they climbed the branches with their hands and rushed. The former inertia, the feet kicked heavily from the tree, the target is naturally the young man holding the bow and arrow. Quickly avoid. The middle-aged man was stunned and yelled. He wanted to go forward and pull him to avoid it. But the beasts fluttered. He himself was self-sufficient and he spared his hand to help him. Therefore, I can only watch the little kick kicking. Fortunately, the young man suddenly woke up after the big drink, and the body instinctively retreated backwards, avoiding the fatal foot that Feng Ju kicked to his head, but he was still stunned because he was dodging slowly. The whole person also took a few steps back. At this time, a fierce beast rushed over, or the girl next to him blocked him. Brother! What do you want to stay? The girl screamed in a hurry, her face was hard to cover the anxious color. The young man returned to the moment, the burning pain on his face made his heart angry and annoyed. The hand of the mysterious bow was collected, and the mysterious sigh was rushing. The double fists gathered together and the mysterious force suddenly slammed out, only listening to the loud bang, one bang the fierce beast that came forward was hit by him. Howl! Boom! The fierce beast screamed and fell heavily to the ground, shaking the ground with some shaking. Seeing a young man flying a boxing beast, the dozens of guards seemed to be inspired, their eyes wide open, shouting loudly, the young master is mighty. Because of the inner excitement, the heroic warfare was aroused. The fluster of the cold and the fierce beasts calmed down at this moment. After a while, the seven or eight beasts were slashed one by one. I saw a messy body on the ground, and the smell of the beast was also diffused around. When the crisis was lifted, everyone found out that there were seven or eight beasts lying in the distance. It was obvious that the man in black was killed alone. However, the figure of the black man was gone, not only that, but the little man. And their second uncle is gone. Brother, my uncle. The girls looked around and looked for them, and they didn't see them. The young man reached for a trace of blood at the corner of his mouth, staring at a certain place, not talking, but handing the mysterious bow back to her, and stepping toward the left. The girls and the guards met and quickly kept up. The dense forest covered the forest, the murderous, the air in the air is also a little cold because of the murderous, the middle-aged man's sharp eyes staring at the front of the Fengju, the low voice with a cold killing, you are not my opponent, you don't have to struggle to be fearless. Is it? Fengju's lips smiled, and the figure swept out instantly. When he shot, it was a murder. The middle-aged man snorted heavily and seemed to be laughing at his incompetence. The invigorating mystery was injected into the sword, and the sharp blade ushered in the next moment. Hey! The dagger and the sword were in opposition, and a slamming collision sounded, and the sparks came out, almost at the moment of the arrival, the two men's weapons turned and attacked again. After a few moves, I saw the sword in a fierce manner. Attacked the thorns to Feng Ju, the sword is so fierce, can't let her dodge. Ling Moen, who is not far from the tree, saw this scene, his brows were slightly twisted, and the next moment, when he saw Feng Ju's move, his eyes looked a little, and some unexpected. 
The sword looked like she couldn't avoid it, but when the tip of the sword would pierce her chest, her body fell backwards in an instant, using the power of the waist to spin around, not only avoiding the deadly A sword, the dagger in the hand is stabbed to the middle-aged man at a speed that is too late to cover. When I saw Feng Zhu actually avoiding the sword with his waist, the middle-aged man was slightly shocked, and then he saw that the murderous murderous face was in front of him. Now he couldn't take another attack and could only retreat quickly, but it was still slow. Half shot. Hiss. He took a sigh of cold air, his eyes sullen and staring at the front figure. Although avoiding the deadly, the arm was still scratched by a dagger with a deep visible bone wound. The blushing blood poured out and quickly penetrated his sleeve. His hand was weak due to the pain of the wound. Drooping, not the tremor of the Lord. Uncle. The girl exclaimed and ran quickly. Kill him. The middle-aged man sighed with a sullen voice, and the guards clashed, but the young man raised his hand to stop it. This is the problem that I will solve. The young man's breath is sullen, with a strong bloodthirsty atmosphere, staring at Feng Zhu's gazes like a snake. Looking at the middle-aged man who was helped by the girl, Feng Zhu's eyes flicked across the man who was sullen and sullen, his chin swayed, and the words were scornful, You are not my opponent. Although the man is very stable, but still not a level with the middle-aged man, the middle-aged man, even if she wants to kill, she can't take his life within a few strokes, but the man is different, she wants to take him. Life is easy. Not far from the tree, watching her proudly raised the chin with a scorn, Ling Moen secretly shook his head, it really is a little girl. However, from the time she just confronted the middle-aged man, he knew that she should not be a problem in dealing with that group alone. With her ability to act carefully in this inner circumference, it should be no. There will be an accident. Thinking of this, he took a deep look at the figure, and sighed and slammed away. Not your opponent? Hey! Then you will power. The young man snorted, his body swelled, and the orange mysterious breath suddenly spread on his body, with a fist and a fist. Singing out, the pace plucked out and waved boxing to Feng Zhu. Hey! She saw the orange spirit and she raised her eyebrows. Just now the middle-aged man's swordsmanship seems to be surging with a faint orange breath. Didn't he think that this man's mysterious force is similar to that of a middle-aged man? Five punches. When Feng Zhu saw the fist and the wind, he quickly retreated. When he saw the young man's fist shot down a tree and tree after she evaded, he saw the punches appearing secretly surprised. This Sun Li repair is really amazing with the punching ability. The other side uses the boxing as the attack. The recruiting is just hard and imposing. It is impossible to use her power to hard hitting. If this is the case, then it will be soft. In the blink of an eye, she retracted her dagger when she quickly retreated. After the girl helped her uncle to wrap the wound, she saw Feng Zhu put the dagger in her hand and couldn't help but laugh, two uncles, is that a little stunned, is it so stupid? Even the dagger in his hand is closed up? He thought that the empty hand could win my brother. The middle-aged man looked at Feng Zhu with a dignified look. His eyes were slightly condensed. He only felt that there was some uneasiness in his heart. Until, after seeing the next scene, I finally know where the anxiety in my heart comes from. I saw that the little girl squatted on his knees and his knees were slightly bent. The strength of his body seemed to be scattered. His hands were soft and weak, and he slowly lifted up on his side. When he slammed his fists and punched him out, he turned left to close the body and hold the fist, the soft and seemingly weak hand accurately buckles his tiger's mouth. Forced to move, by the strength of the foot to the strength of the fist, sideways turned to buckle his arm, only to hear a scream, the scream suddenly sounded. Oh! The young man screamed, the pain in his arm made his face pale, but it was still not so. The hand he was holding could not be pulled away, and he could not retreat. The hand here was broken. The other hand waved out but was also buckled, and it was equally difficult to escape. Hey! What? Brother! Young master! 
The guards and the girl were shocked and exclaimed, because of the horror, the sounds were a little trembled, and even more so that they were shocked by the hands that seemed to have no lethality after breaking the hands. It was the place where his throat was buckled. No, don't. The young man finally showed his horror at this moment, and the breath of death enveloped him, making his whole body unable to tremble. Don't, don't kill, he. The middle-aged man's face is also a big change, the opening is blocked, but if he hasn't finished talking, he will hear a bang, and his scorpion's neck will be smashed. The whole person's vitality will be cut off instantly, and he will die. The unwilling and horrified eyes are still stunned. Holding. Brother. The girl cried sternly and sorrowfully, and wanted to rush forward, but she was dragged by the middle-aged man to prevent her from coming forward. Less, young master. Those guards were also shocked by this scene. They couldn't believe that the youngest person who was the first of the family's children was killed by a nephew. If the owner knows, how much more furious. Kill him to avenge the young master. More than a dozen people rushed forward and rushed forward, and the sword fluttered out in the hands. The fierce swordsmanship accompanied the raging anger. It seems that only the blood of Feng Ju can sigh the anger and anger in their hearts. The young girl fell softly and sat down on the ground, staring at the elder brother who fell to the ground and had no vitality. He couldn't believe the person who was still alive at the moment, but he was already dead. Uncle, this is not true right? How can my brother be killed by a cockroach? Second uncle, you tell me this is not true, isn't it true? She took the middle-aged man's hand and cried, crying, not willing to believe that the cruel scene is the fact. Her brother is the pride of the family, the best person, how could it be killed by a nephew? At this time, the middle-aged man did not have time to go to grief and go to anger because he saw more than a dozen escorts besieging the nephew but fell one by one. Their people were reducing, but they had a wound on the other side. Nor. Get up. Let's leave now. He said casually, pulling up the niece who sat on the floor with his uninjured hand. I want to avenge my brother. I want to kill him. I want to kill him. The girl cried, struggling to break away from his hand and rushed forward. Give me a wake-up call. You can't kill him. The middle-aged man yelled loudly, Go away. It's too late to leave. He pulled her away, and casually jumped on the eyes that looked like laughter and laughter. The killing in the eyes of the man is too horrible. So that he looked at his heart and his hair was weak, even his legs were a little soft, that kind of gaze, that kind of murderous, he did not see it in his big brother. It was terrible. Who would believe that a martial artist who was in a hurry would be scared to escape by a boy without any ingenuity? But he just fled, because he is very clear, they can't live without them. Seeing that the middle-aged man was pulling the girl to escape, Feng Ju was a little surprised, not that she was not his opponent. How did you escape? She also thought about solving these guards and then playing with him. The dagger in his hand crossed and cut the throat of the last person, only the blood spilled, and the man fell. Looking at the dozen bodies on the ground, she looked indifferent and had no mercy. She has always been a man who does not commit me and I do not commit crimes, but she will not be soft-hearted for those who want to take her life. The man who was twisted off her neck was taken off the waist, but found that she couldn't open it. When she thought about it, she thought that this thing should also be opened with mysterious power and she now has a little bit of mystery. There is no force, and naturally I can't open this bag. Instead, I found a few fires in the guards, so I took the fire and the Kiang Bao bag into my arms, and I remembered the person she had accidentally forgotten. What about the uncle? Will T you go again? She looked around and shouted a few times, Uncle? Uncle. Going ahead only seeing the dead body of a beast. Meat. Her eyes were light and she looked at the body of a beastly beast, but she thought of the roasting roast. Touching the stomach and swallowing, immediately took out the dagger and cut the leg and leg of the leg. This took the beast and the hind leg and went forward. 
I was looking for a place to roast the meat to eat. About an hour later, the middle-aged man and girl who had left were coming back again. Brother. The girl rushed forward to hug her brother's body and cried, Where do I tell my father that you are dead? Brother, how can you die like this, oh? Looking at the eighteen guards carefully selected from the family, no one survived, even his own nephew was killed here. The middle-aged man was saddened in his eyes, one hand tightly twisted into a fist, and the other side, that the injured hand seemed to be as powerless as it was unconscious. Yin Gro, take your brother's body back and bury it well, today's revenge, we will definitely report it. The girl wiped her tears and cried, two uncles, that little sister is in this nine-volt forest. How do we take revenge when we left? Out of this nine-volt forest, we don't know where to go to find revenge. No, don't need us to do it. After going back, I will personally go to the mercenary guild to issue a hunting mission. Someone will pick up his head for us. He said with a sullen voice, his eyes falling, looking at his inability to hang his hand, the heart is hard to kill, but he is not his opponent. Upon hearing this, the girl wiped her tears and picked up the body of her brother. Then she found that her brother's waist pocket was gone, so she said, two uncles, the man also took his brother's kyunkin bag. So better. We have a way to find him. His eyes gloomy to the depths of the inner circumference. Although this trip came for the beast, it is clear that they are not suitable for further entry. As for the kid, he swears that he will definitely want him to die. On the other side, I found a place where I burned the fierce beast meat and I did not go inside again. She sat under the tree and meditated. Although the poison in the body had been solved, this life was saved. However, if she left Jufulin and went back to Fengjia, it is estimated that it is difficult for Fengjia people to believe that she is Fengqing. Song Although she is a Fengqing Song, but who and she will believe that she is really Fengqing Song, besides her and N.A. Ruyun? After all, compared with a person whose face has been destroyed, Fengjia's Fengqing Song, which has a beautiful face, is the master of all eyes. She estimated that if she dared to go to the front of the Fengjia gate and said that she was Fengkinga, then Su Ruyun was a fake. It was estimated that even the Feng Feng family could not enter the gate and would be killed by the stick. Another one is that Su Ruyun is not simple. If there is no perfect policy, Feng family cannot go back. Hey! The former master is really troublesome. She crossed her hands to the back of her head, leaning back against the big tree and looking at the sky above her head. Right, with this opportunity, I can re-inhale into the body. Her eyes lit up and sat down and whispered, although I don't know what chi into the body, I can see my mind. There is memory in it. Thinking of this, her whole body suddenly became excited. This world is a cultivation of the immortal. Of course, there are more people who cultivate Suankai, because there are at most one of the hundred people who can cultivate Suankai. As for the aura, it can be said. It is the probability that there are only one or two people in the population. The difference between mysterious and aura is that Suankai is a refining body, while spirituality is a fairy body. The immortal, the clouds rise and fall in the air, the wind and the rain can do everything, and the mountains and the sea are only between the fingers. However, there are fewer people who practice spiritual power, and there is no such thing as a small-scale country like Yeokuo. Therefore, whether it is a family member or a royal family, it is generally measured after Suankai. Practice Unless the talent is excellent, in the future, if there is a chance to go out of the Yeokuo country to a small country above the seventh level, it may be possible to test the spiritual power. In the memory of her mind, it is said that the whole Yeokuo country can only cultivate the spiritual power. People. However, the three spiritual masters have already left the country for many years. Even so, their family's status in this country is unattractive. I want to do what I want to do. Immediately, she sat cross-legged, closed her eyes and tried to introduce Qi into the body according to the cultivation mouth in her mind. Just, imagination is good, 
but reality is cruel. When she abandoned the distracting thoughts and let the meditation meditation, she tried to ventilate her body for three hours, but she did not think about it because she closed her eyes. She accidentally fell asleep after sitting for a long time. Hey! The roar of a fierce beast from the depths of the forest awakened her. Okay. Opened the confused eyes and yawned, the whole person also showed a bit of laziness. When he thought that he was asleep when he was ventilating, he couldn't help but smile, nothing wants to close your eyes again. It's hard not to sleep. After squatting, my neck stood up and moved my hands and feet. Because I just slept, the whole person seemed to have a lot of spirits, so I sat down under the tree again. With the previous example, this time she raised her spirits. Mind, again meditation on the ventilator. As time passed quietly, after two hours, her side of the whole body faintly floated with a touch of mysterious atmosphere. Feng Ju slowly opened his eyes, and his lips were slightly hooked, revealing a smile. The venting into the body was finally successful, faster than she thought. Thinking of the Kyunkin bag, she immediately took it out of her arms and injected it into the mysterious atmosphere. Oh, a lot of things. The space inside is not very big, but there are a lot of things to install. After she has seen it, she put the herbs and a few gold ingots in the bag and put them in the waste. Seeing that there is still the remaining barbecue, I will take the barbecue into the space, and then I will go to the forest, I am looking for a place to find the source of water, and clean up the wound on my face. The mud on her face is not a mess, but it is smeared with the earth water and the paddle. The coolness of the heart water can reduce the inflammation of the wound, and the second is to cover up the face. Injury, so as not to be recognized by people at a glance. After a few days of cleaning, it is impossible to clean up, so the most important thing at the moment is to find the source of water. Judging the location of the water source from the density of the trees in the forest is the most direct direction. She did not go straight to the depths, but walked along the dense leaves and the lush places on the ground. After about two hours, she finally found the water. It was a flowing stream, under the lower hillside, and the trees on both sides were more lush than anywhere else. Call. Finding water in the forest is not an easy task. She whispered her breath and walked briskly to the stream. She squatted down and took a handful of water and drank it. She took the bamboo tube cut from the road from the Kyunkin bag and filled the bamboo tube with water to prepare for the occasion. I took off my shoes and soaked my feet. I felt that all my fatigue had disappeared. Because the stream was flowing, she carefully cleaned the mud on her face after taking a break for a while, and cleaned the mud that had been applied to the scar a little. Until the water reflected a ugly face covered with knife marks. Looking at the face in the water, her eyes were cold. This body is exactly the same as her 21st century body, and her face has not changed. But now she is familiar with her face for more than 20 years but she has been drawn like this. Think about the bloodthirsty hidden in her heart. The factor is starting to jump again. Suru Yun, Suru Yun, you are better to live well. She whispered softly, and the smile on her lips revealed a bit of evil and Sen Han. Take the herbs from the Kyunkin bag and mix them with one or two elixir and smash them on your face. The flaws on the wounds on the face have already fallen off while cleaning the mud, but the knife marks on the face can't be eliminated. Every knife mark has a deep pink after dislocation. Compared with the horror when it is not dislocated, it looks much better now. At least, it is not horror, but ugly. After wiping the medicinal juice, when the medicinal juice was almost dry, she leaned into the stream to see it. The clear water reflected in it was a face that could not be seen clearly, because it was very green and green. Looking at it, she frowned slightly because the original clear water source had some blood red. Looking up and looking down the river, he paused and walked up the river. About half a column of incense, her footsteps stopped, looking at the weeds in front of the stream. There is a man there. Correctly speaking, it should be that I don't know if I am comatose or dead. The whole upper body was squatting in the stream. 
Because he was kneeling, he couldn't see his face, but from the light brown clothes on his texture, the family should be good. The abdomen clothes were blushing, and the head was also bloody. Although he was lying in the stream, he was very lucky, because he had a large stone from the stream, so he would not the face is soaked in the stream, or else it is estimated that there will be no bleeding and it will die. Because half of the body is soaked in the stream, the blood on the head and the blood in the abdomen naturally ooze down the water. She went over and turned the man over. She reached out and sniffed down between his breath. When she saw that there was still gas, she dragged people to the lawn by the stream. After checking his wound, he took a small bottle from the Kyunkin bag, sprinkled the hemostatic medicine on the wound in his head, and then untied his clothes and sprinkled some medicine on the wound in his abdomen. One of the clothes inside the Kyunkin bag was taken out and torn into a strip to wrap his wound. You are really big and have met me. Looking at the unconscious person, she chuckled, and accidentally picked her eyebrows and said to herself, When did I become so kind? In order not to let the smell lead to the beast, she took off the clothes of the man and threw it into the water, let the clothes drift down the water, and then took a set of clothes from the Kyunkin bag and simply placed it on him. Seeing the sky is not too early, there is water here, so she smashed some branches around and gave birth to fire, and planned to pass here tonight. I want to see the source of water near the water. I can see a fish in the stream and I haven't seen a fish swimming. I can't help but sigh, there is no fish in the water, it's not fake. You can only bake the barbecue hot, then tear off a piece to eat, fill your stomach and practice your knees. She is now just venting into the body. Everything starts from scratch at the beginning of the military. However, she feels that after the cultivation of Suankai, the body has undergone subtle changes, and the benefits are realized. The cultivation is naturally unlimited. This cultivation was a few hours, until she felt that the mysteriousness of the body had entered the second stage of the Xianyuan of the military stage, and then she snorted and opened her eyes. The sky is already dark, and the night wind is so cold in the forest. Fortunately, there is a fire in front of it and the mysterious body can also run to drive the cold. She turned and looked at the man on the side. Seeing that his body was shivering and shivering, he reached out and looked at it. It turned out to be the fever caused by the inflammation of the wound. After thinking about it, I rummaged through the Kyunkin bag, took out a small bottle and poured out a pill in the palm of my hand. After confirming the effect and effect, I pinched his chin and stuffed the pill into his mouth. In it, he poured some water into his mouth and swallowed it with pills. Adding some branches to the fire, the flame burned even more, but at this time, the voice from the forest made her body stiff, and there was a moment of tension and dignity. Hey! 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 Is it a wolf? She stood up in an instant, listening to the sound of the wolf that was extremely extravasive in the night, and the sound of the wolf echoed in the forest. The wolves are a group of beasts. If they appear, it is bound to be a group. She wants to leave when the wolves have not yet arrived here. However, at this time, there are a pair of green eyes shining in the weeds not far away. It seems that I can't go. She browed her brows and swept the wolves that had come to the side, and then glanced at the unconscious man and felt that he would find something for himself. In the face of the wolves, if it is only her own, but there is still a coma behind him, this can be troublesome. Hey! A wolf screamed, as if the order was issued, and the wolves that had slowly come to this side leaped to her. Because the stream is on the downhill slope, the place where she settled the man has a more prominent slope. At this time, the is well protected, so she does not have to worry about the wolf coming behind, and she does not have to worry about her. The man behind him will be dragged by the wolf. Pull out the dagger across the front of the body and shoot out the murderous scorpion. Since you can't escape, fight it. She does not believe that the dozen wolves cannot be killed. The glare of the cold light is shining brightly. She secretly transports the mysterious body in her body, her eyes staring at the mouth and mouth drooling, seemingly waiting for something more than a dozen wolves. 
More than a dozen wolves screamed and screamed, seemingly trying to scare her to lose her fighting spirit and then rushing to the front. However, Feng Zhu is not an ordinary person after all, and she will not be scared to lose her fighting power. Because she is at a disadvantage, she can't attack, otherwise she will be besieged, so she is waiting, waiting for these wolves to come up. The dozens of wolves felt that the murderous gas did not retreat and snorted and at this time, a large grey wolf at the height also screamed. Hey! When the wolf snorted, more than a dozen wolves rushed up, and the wolf's mouth, which was squatting, showed sharp spikes and dripped down. The bite of the wolf was biting at Feng Zhu, and the sharp wolf claws were displayed in the night. There is a cold road between them. Feng Zhu looks at the right time and instantly attacks. The strange body method is faster in the use of the mysterious breath. The dagger in the hand is first pounced on the neck of a wolf and then pulled out. In the night, the screams of screaming screamed, she saw a blood column squirted out, warm and with a thick smell of wolf blood splashed her, and the wolf fell down. After killing a wolf, she retired instantly, and the dagger in her hand waved to the two wolves that had been thrown up from the left. Perhaps the death of the companion made the wolves vigilant, and their reaction was very fast, while her dagger was waving. Also avoided, but the other few rushed from the front. The wolf on the right rushed to the man on the back of the coma when she attacked the wolf on the left and the front. At this moment, she could not be separated. She could only kick the fire while throwing the dagger to the wolf. The red branches flew with flames to the wolf on the right. The wolf was afraid of fire. When he saw the flame flying out, he was horrified and screamed back. At this time, the dagger in the hands of Feng Zhu killed two wolves, counting one just now. There are three wolves in front of her. Perhaps the chilling scent that she had smothered was too horrible, or was scared by her bloodthirsty sorrow. The other wolf's mouths were slow and step by step, and they dared not go forward again, but I don't want to leave here. The morning sun warmed down the earth, and the man who was in a coma for a night finally recovered his consciousness and woke up. However, when he opened his eyes, he saw a very strange scene. A small squad in a worn-out suit sat beside him, his body was splashed with red blood, but he was already dry, and he couldn't see his face because his face was green and green. But seeing his hand holding a dagger, his eyes stared at the front, so he looked at him with his gaze. This look, his eyes narrowed. In addition to the three wolf bodies that had been stiff in front of him, the three-meter-old place was sitting on a grey wolf with a mouth full of dripping mouth, staring at them. Feng Jue turned his head to the side, just to the man's mistake and with a few confused eyes. Be careful! The man suddenly exclaimed, and looked at the grey wolf who was rushing to the little stunned eyes. He wanted to get up because of his eager instincts, but this movement hurt the wound in the abdomen, only to hear him scream and fall again. Going down, the blood is faintly oozing out of the wound. When the man exclaimed, Feng Zhu turned back, and the agile movement jumped up. His sharp eyes swept toward the grey wolf. When she saw it swooping, she rolled to the ground under the wolf. Go, the dagger in the hand up. Hey! Hey! The dagger broke open a deep mouth directly under the wolf's belly with a strong force. The grey wolf screamed and fell into the front of the man because of the momentum of the front, and the fierce screaming the wolf's eyes stared at the man straight, and the body twitched. The open wolf's mouth moved, and finally it was quite swallowing. Hey! The rest of the grey wolf was a little restless and sullen, and the wolf claws were squatting on the ground, and a low-pitched snoring sounded in the mouth. The ferocious wolf eyes stared at Feng Zhu. But no longer dare to go forward. After killing the grey wolf, Feng Zhu jumped straight and stared at the grey wolves. He looked like a bloodthirsty Shura. He said, if you don't leave, I will kill you all. The eyes swept away and fell on the grey wolf standing on the hillside not far away. As if feeling the threat in her eyes, the grey wolf's fierce wolf eyes stared at Feng Zhu for a while, then he looked up and screamed. After a while, the ten wolves who stood guards got up and ran away. It is. The man was half supported and looked at it one by one. 
His eyes were wide and his face was incredible. Feng Ju took the dagger on the wolf's hair and wiped it away. After he turned around, he saw the man's expression and smiled casually. When you wake up, I will leave if I don't wake up. She walked down to sit down and took a sip of the water from the bamboo tube. I watched the night with the dozens of wolves, and my mental strength was tight. I couldn't relax at all. I have to know that in such a situation, as long as I relax, I can be torn into pieces by the wolves at any time. You, who are you? Perhaps it was scared by Feng Ju's previous savage, and at this time, he talked a little more. You care who I am? That, who am I? The man said this, in exchange for the surprise of Feng Ju. Are you ruining your brain? You don't even remember who you are. Saying, it seems to think of something in general, reaching out to touch the man's brain, and sure enough, still swollen a bag. The man stayed and watched the little green face that had leaned over his face. He couldn't return to God for a long time, until he heard his voice coming. You fell into the stone when you fell, and the blood pressure inside the nerves, I guess it should be just a short time of amnesia, and the blood is gone. She clap her hands and stand up, okay, you woke up, I should go. Upon hearing this, the man was in a hurry. He quickly stood up and endured the pain of the abdominal wound. He was upset. Some of them were awkwardly beside Feng Ju. They wanted to say something, but they didn't know how to say it. Look at him. After the man stood up, Feng Ju was only able to find that he was tall and tall, and she was more than half of her head. Moreover, the skin was old and sturdy, and seemed to be stronger than the uncle. At that time, the set of clothes on his body was tightly held by him, and the muscles on his arms were tight, as if the clothes could be cracked at any time. Looking around, looking at the man who was around, asked, What are you doing? She saved the individual, but did not want to bring such trouble. I, can I follow you? The man looked at her nervously, I don't remember anything, and I only recognize you. Feng Ju's forehead crossed a black line. This is a good thing to listen to, and it seems to be the same when the blame is on the uncle. I, I will not give you trouble. Feng Ju turned a blind eye, and he was unceremonious, you are in trouble. If it wasn't for him last night, where did she use it against the wolves for one night? With her skill and speed, even if she can't escape, she can escape. She didn't hear the sound when she was half sounding. She looked up and looked a little dumbfounded. What are you, your big man crying? Such a big man stood there with red eyes and tears, like a bullied little wife, cannot let her be dumbfounded? You don't let me follow. He looked at her wrongly, I don't know where to go, I don't know how to go back, you don't let me follow. Feng Ju caressed his forehead and looked at the sky. Sure enough, it was a trouble to lose the stalls. Is this a current report? She depends on others, others rely on her. She went to the stream and took out the bamboo tube and put some water on it. She took off a piece of clothing that had been splashed with wolf blood on her body. At this time, when he was ready to leave, he found that the man behind him was still stupid. He looked at her with a look that he didn't dare to follow. She sighed, what are you still standing on? Go. Oh, oh. The man snorted, and nodded with joy, and walked quickly, but he still had a pain in his belly. The two walked up the and entered the forest. At this time, the phoenix of the phoenix that walked slowly glimmered, and swept around with a quiet look, and then continued to walk. That, me, how should I call you? The man asked beside Feng Ju. Whatever. She carelessly, her attention is not on the chat. Hearing the words, the man thought about it and smiled and asked, You are smaller than me, then I call your younger brother. Okay. She didn't care much about her heart, and didn't listen to what he was talking about. Instead, she looked at the weeds behind her. Hearing the answer of Feng Ju, his face was full of joy, he was about to say something, but he saw that he was staring at the left rear, and he followed his gaze. 
This look changed slightly. The wolves haven't left yet? It, are they going to follow? He was a bit stunned. He didn't even find a wolf behind him. I really don't dare to look at each other. If there is no precaution, what would be the consequences of those wolves? Nothing, they don't dare to come up, they just wait for the opportunity. Feng Ji looked at it and he regained his gaze and continued to walk. She knew that after she had slashed the wolves with fierce and fierce means, she had successfully played the role of a shock. These dozens of wolves did not dare to come up easily because they knew that the results were not saved. The question is death. But it is not reconciled to leave, so they will follow them to find opportunities. Just let them follow this. The man asked, and he was not worried at all, and he could not help but wonder. Why is he obviously smaller than him, but with such courage and skill? Feng Ju stepped and gave him a look, would you like to go? Oh, still don't want it, just let them follow. He scratched his head and smiled. Then, if someone is in the vicinity, you can see the strange scene. The two of them walked swayingly, and the distance behind them was about ten meters, followed by a dozen grey wolves with their mouths drooling. Little brother, do you say that this jade will be my name? He handed a piece of jade to Feng Ju and said, it was originally hanging on my neck. Feng Ju took over the jade and looked at it. The above is really engraved with three words, close XIXI. The voice was slightly stunned, and she glanced at him and said, Are you called Guan Xi? I think it may be. She handed Jade back to him and smiled, I thought you were a big fool. Guan Xi looked at him silently, and did not speak again. The two men went a long way, and the dozen wolves behind them were still following, and they didn't want to leave. Until, Guan Zhu sniffed the nose and snorted to Feng Judeo, younger brother, there are people in front, we are going fast, as long as those people are willing to let us follow, then the wolf following us must not attack us anymore. Someone? How do you know? She looked ahead, except for the trees and weeds, there was no half-personality at all. He nodded heavily, yes, there must be, I smell the smell of barbecue. The taste of the barbecue? Why didn't I smell it? She whispered and walked a little further. She smelled the smell of the barbecue and faintly heard the voice of someone talking. She couldn't help but look around. Take a look at it. Is this the dog's nose? Oh, isn't it? I will say someone. He smiled smugly and said, Let's go, go ahead, as long as they let us follow, even if you encounter a beast on the road, don't be afraid. Do you think that casual people will let us follow? She glanced at him, I just eat and hold you. Looking at him stupidly, his face was helpless. Feng Ju blinked and said, this place is a nine volt forest. There are so many beasts and dangers. What do you say if we see others? What will happen? He asked slyly, and his face was unknown. Stupid. I will definitely think that we will have a purpose to approach them. What should I do? Feng Ju's light turned slightly, and the lips opened with a smile of thief thief, nothing, I have a way, I will see me. Next, Guan Zia quietly approached those people with Feng Ju's side. He first observed it for a while behind the tree, and then led him to go forward and waved. He thought he was I was prepared to think of ways to get those people to bring them but I didn't want to. He walked straight around from those people all the way, neither opening his mouth nor casting a look at the group. However, those people suddenly watched the two people for a moment of vigilance. After the first person secretly looked at it, this was a warning. Because the two people were not very high level, they did not pose a threat to them. But at this moment, the audience heard an exclamation. Sein Yi is a wolf. Because of this exclamation, the thirty or forty people who were sitting in the rest quickly alerted me. At this time, Feng Ju, who had already gone forward, exclaimed after hearing their words. What? Wolves? Where? Where? She asked nervously, pulling the customs and retreating to those people's surroundings. 
who are you? The wolves are not brought by you. A middle-aged man screamed and stared at them with some anger. How can it be? She narrowed her eyes and said, those are wolves and not kittens. How can we lead them to follow? Besides, if we know that there are wolves following us, we have already ran, how can we walk so slowly? The sixth, don't be impulsive, pay attention to the alert is the most important thing at the moment. The middle-aged man who was headed said with a calm voice, those are the first order beasts, the speed is very fast, everyone should be careful. Fengju saw a group of people trained to form a protective circle around them, and several younger teenagers and girls were guarded in the middle. She took the team close to them, but she only stayed in the outer circle and did not enter their protection circle. In this case, she also exchanged the gaze of a girl in the circle. Small, squatting away from me. Cousin, can't be rude. A teenager whispered, and some dissatisfied with the girl's rudeness. He looked at Fengju and Guanzhou, and said gently, I don't think the repairs of the two of you are high. Or come to this protection circle. The strength of my uncles and guards is one of a kind. More than a dozen wolves in the district will not pose too much threat to us. Haha, <laughs> yes. There are more than a dozen wolves in the area, just to give us activities and bones. A handsome man who listened to the boy's words laughed and waved his big axe. I can cut an axe. Die ahead. Upon hearing this, the middle-aged man headed by the head secretly shook his head, Iron Bull, you can't be underestimated at any time, be alert and if the wolves are rushing to fight again. Yes, yes. The big man smiled and responded a few times, staring at the wolves not far away. This look and laughed loudly, Sein Yi, you can't come up with the dogs. Ha 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 ha. I was scared by me. When Feng Zhu heard this narcissism, he couldn't help but smile. This is what he said to the boy, thank you for this son. We are standing here. Kid, what are you laughing at? Is it that I don't have the ability to scare away the dog stuff? The big man erected a fierce eyebrow, and looked at the phoenix with a look of disappointment. Feng Zhu did not speak, and was pulled behind by Guan Zhu. I saw him standing in front of her body and squinting at her eyes, what are you doing to my younger brother? Feng Jue squatted down and looked at the big man in front of him. He looked a little bit stunned and looked at him with a strange look. And the big man who called the iron cow saw the man stand up with his chest and squinted at him. After a sigh of relief, he laughed out loudly, ha ha ha. Well, you are a good courage. Even my iron cow dare to swear. There is power. As he spoke, he patted his shoulders with excitement, and the palm of his hand fell on the shoulder of Guan Zhu, and he saw the phoenix of the back of the mouth. That force, can't be scornful. Well. Was photographed a few times, pulling the wound in his abdomen, and suddenly he was so cold that he came out. Your strength is too heavy, there is still a wound on his body. Feng Zhu said, coming up from behind took away his hand holding his abdomen, and sure enough, seeing the wound and seeping bleeding. Oh! Dehan had this embarrassing hand to withdraw. Look, the wolves have retired. Someone said with delight, looking at the wolves who turned and left after a low bang. No need to fight to lift, nothing is more exciting than this. It turned out that the first wolf saw Feng Zhu and they joined the team and they were unwilling to leave. After all, even the two of them can't cope with it. More than 30 or 40 people will have no advantage. Naturally, they will not stay any longer. At this time, the boy who had previously opened a gentle look at Feng Zhu, said, the wounds are bleeding, you can see your brother's injury. He said, handing a pill bottle, I have some trauma here. Good medicine. Cousin, what do you do with them? The girl was squatting and some dissatisfied with him was so good for the two strangers who didn't know where to come from. No, I have medicine myself. Feng Zhu said, holding Guan Zhu to the side of the tree, and reapplying the strip of cloth on his waist. Let's go. After she rewrapped, she lifted him and said. After shutting down, 
he left his head and said, Hey! This followed her to move on. I watched them leave without saying a word. I was a little wary of the middle-aged man, but I did not retain it, because what they did on the trip was not suitable for outsiders. However, after a long walk, I was puzzled and asked, Younger brother, don't you want to ask if they can let us follow? Why don't you leave without asking? There is a dog's tail grass in the mouth of Fengju. The pace is leisurely and leisurely. The waving hand is a branch, and carelessly said, why should we follow them? Of course they can help us when there is danger. Wrong. She shook her head and said, people must rely on themselves, thinking about relying on others to die, and then, to mix with them is to get rid of the wolves, now the wolves have not followed us, what do we follow them? Guan Xi scratched his head, it seems to make sense. He said, looking at him with a gaze, you, brother, you are obviously smaller than me, but you are much smarter than me. That is, do you think that I am like you? You are being slashed in the back. What is behind the knife? He asked not knowing why. Feng Ju took a look at him, and this was a slow way, your injury is a stabbing at a close distance, and you still don't pay attention to the shot from behind. Obviously, the person you know wants to kill you, so you are stupid. Do not believe. When I heard Feng Ju's words, Guan Xi's awkwardness, and there was no opening in the middle of the sound, but he walked silently and lowered his head silently. The two are not going straight all the way, because Feng Ju is looking for medicine in the forest, and the way he walks is relatively biased, especially after the wolves have been smashed, and they are going to the remote places where there are many weeds and trees. Picking and picking along the way, but also picking up a lot of useful elixir, but according to the order here, you can know that these elixir are just some of the most common, not very precious, after all, at this level the land of small countries, it is impossible to find the treasures of the best. Therefore, they searched for medicine and came to the bottom of a mountain. Feng Zhu of the Eye Point saw that there was a miracle in the vicinity of the top of the mountain, and it could not be seen by the eyes, you are waiting here. I will take the medicine. After looking for so long, I found a strain. If you have the magic medicine to go to the sacred effect, how can you not excite her? Younger brother, you, you won't go back. Guan Zito looked at him a little embarrassed. After a few steps, Feng Zhu stunned when he heard this, and then he came back and took the barbecue from the Kyunkin bag and handed it to him. I will go to the medicine, and I will come back later. This barbecue is for you to eat. Well, it is best to climb to the tree, so you don't have to worry if you encounter a beast. She looked around and saw it. There was a big towering tree, and he pointed to the question, Will you climb up? I will come back here to find you after taking good medicine. He didn't plan to leave him. Guan Zhu said that he smiled, Yes. Then I will sit on the tree and wait for you you must remember to come back to me. Okay. She patted him on the shoulder and turned to go to the mountain. The mountain wall is a little steep. She is also a little difficult to climb up by hand. Sometimes her foot is not well stepped, and the mud will roll down. Therefore, she has to be careful every step of the way. At about an hour, when she got closer to the elixir, she found a small hole next to the elixir, a green viper that spit with a serpent and a finger, and a green snake in the hole, murderous. The bloodthirsty snake eye is staring at her. She looked at it. In addition to the small hole in the man, there was a small hole next to it, which was obviously the same. I thought that the snake would have to be solved first. After making an eye on her mind, she glanced around and glanced down at a large stone on the wall of the mudstone, and then climbed up a little closer. When the snake slid out of the body, the stone in hand plugged the hole. At that moment, the serpent quickly emerged from another small hole, opening the snake's mouth and revealing the fangs biting at her wrist. It was said that it was fast and fast. Feng Zhu immediately pulled out the dagger and cut it. The snake head that was pulled out was cut off by a knife, and the snake fell. At this time, 
she carefully digging the medicinal medicine into the kyunkin bag. Call. Exhausted. After taking the medicine, she climbed directly to the top and wanted to look at the surrounding environment at a high place. However, she unexpectedly saw that there was a kind of elixir that exudes a sense of spiritual strength, and she was not happy to pick up the income bag. Good luck, actually found two elixir in this place. She said with a smile, standing on the top of the peak and looking down, but saw a team on the west side of the road is going deep into the forest. The handsome man in white, who was dressed in white, was actually the fiancé of his predecessor, the three kings of Yeokyo, Murong Yuxuan, and the woman he was following, wearing a flowing blue dress, holding a piece of her very familiar face. It's a coincidence. She whispered softly, her chill in her eyes. Yunyu City is not close to here, it is a few days to hurry, how did she come here? And even that Murong Yixian is coming? The eyes stopped on the body of Murong Yuxuan for a while. Obviously, he did not find that the Feng Qing song is not the original Feng Qing song. At this moment, she is really curious. Does the man only recognize one face? Her eyes didn't stay on them for too long, because she soon discovered that there were a lot of teams around or near or far away. These teams were separated by distance and some were separated. Not more than 10 meters away. Thinking of this road encounter, she was stunned in meditation, what is deep in the depths of Jufulin? Can you let these people go straight into the depths? Just thinking, I suddenly felt a pair of fierce eyes staring at her. She suddenly looked back and couldn't see her brow, black bear. A place less than five meters away from her is a bear two or three meters tall, staring at her with a grin, and the low-pitched body seems to want to sneak up on her, but she can be discovered by her. Listening to the bear screaming and screaming. Roar. A black bear roared, and the ground shook slightly. Its voice spread from a height, and it was spread around in an instant, letting the people in the forest underneath hear it. In the face of such a bear, Feng Zhu does not think that she has the possibility of victory. At the moment, when she slammed it up, she plunged to the side and Suan Li surging and then fleeing down the mountain with strange steps. Hey! The bear slammed into the air, and looked up again for two more times. The huge body was in a vertical position and chased Feng Zhu at a very fast speed. Rely. There is one. When Feng Zhu, who was plundering the mountain, saw the brown bear in front of him, he couldn't help but swear and cursed, what am I going to do? His eyes turned, but he was looking for a way to escape. The team that was walking to the deepest part of the mountain peak heard the black bear screaming from the heights, and the footsteps of the high-pitched sneaked up and looked up. Black bears have amazing combat power, and the black bears in this nine-volt forest are not ordinary black bears, but belong to second-class senior beasts. In the early days of more than a dozen Suanji, the warriors want to hunt a second-order senior black bear, which is almost impossible to say. Therefore, everyone who comes in here knows that if you encounter a black bear, you have to avoid it. Cannot fight in front. In the middle of the forest, Murong Yuxuan's heart was suddenly tightened, and he stepped forward and suddenly looked back at the mountain. Murong brother, what's wrong? The beautiful face of Feng Ching Song in a streamlined blue dress is very strange. Seeing his eyes fixed on the mountain front, he could not help but look at his gaze. Just, nothing has been seen. Nothing. He shook his head and smiled softly, looking at the people around him, but he felt that the strange feeling became more and more obvious. It's like. In front of her, she is not the phoenix song that he knows. Because of these days, she is clearly in front of her, but he does not feel the kind of incitement of the past. The gaze of the previous one, though I don't know who it came from, but inexplicably made him feel familiar. Looking at his deep and calm eyes, her heart was a little uneasy, and she gently sighed her face and asked softly, Why did Mirong look at me like this? Is there something on my face? He didn't answer, just a smile, let's go. Then, step forward and walk forward. The Feng Qing song was slightly stunned, 
and this was followed by him to the depths of the forest. While walking, she looked at his handsome and elegant face from time to time. He is so perfect, so gentle, so that her heart is not free, the Lord is indulging in him, lost for him, inciting for him, even if she wants to face someone's face for a lifetime, she has no complaints. No regrets. On the other hand, Feng Zhu appeared to be awkward at this time, because the two bears behind her had been chasing her for more than an hour. I thought it would be easy to get rid of them. Who knows that the speed of the two bears was unexpectedly fast, and the vibration of the ground between the running and the pandas from time to time made her unable to slow down. The speed can't be slow, but you can't stand the gods. Ah! Don't chase me anymore, get angry with me and I fight with you. She yelled and looked up, the speed was not reduced, but the breath was already a little breathless. But have they taken a pill? Was it tempted to chase her for more than an hour? Hey! Hey! Responding to her is the sound of two bears and the speed behind me. Seeing a thick tree in front, she gasped back and glanced back, speeding up the pace and running forward. When she was near the big tree, she climbed her hands and climbed up, climbing up the branches. On the big tree. Call. I am exhausted. Don't run, just sit on the big tree and gasp, watching the two bears chasing the tree under the breath, and actually want to climb up with their hands and feet. Fortunately, the tree she picked is strong enough. In addition, the trunk is bare and slippery and it is not easy to climb. Boom! Sure enough, one of them climbed about a meter or so from the ground and fell to the ground, so she couldn't help but laugh. However, this is a kind of elixir for what purpose? Do you have to keep chasing me forever? She took the predator from the kyunkin bag and looked at it. I haven't seen it before. I don't know this. What is the use? Hey! The two bears under the tree saw her take out the elixir, and suddenly they screamed and couldn't climb the tree. The two bears shook the tree together and seemed to want to shake her from the tree. The tree suddenly swayed and almost let her fall. She held the big tree in one hand and shouted to the bottom, Do you have any endless? Want to get this elixir from me? Don't think about it. Hey! Hey! The two bears were stunned by the anger, and the phoenix nine on the tree felt that they could no longer stay. So, after picking up the elixir, they looked around and planned to jump from this tree to another tree. Go up and find a chance to escape. However, just as she stood up, the sky suddenly banged a loud bang, as if the snarling thunder spread in the clouds, a strong pressure also shrouded from the upper clouds, a powerful pressure to roll up the wind blew, the trees in the forest swayed, and the fallen leaves flew up. Hey! Roar! Hey! The horror of the beasts rang indiscriminately, and the heights of the birds echoed in the forest. At this time, the two giant bears under the tree of Feng Zhujian also shivered and shivered and curled up on the ground. Feeling the pressure of the oppression in the air, she looked up into the sky with astonishment. At this moment, I saw that the whole cloud in the sky was full of dazzling flame colors, and the flame cloud gradually formed of the appearance of the phoenix wings is so dazzling that it is so beautiful that it can't be moved. At the same time, the vision of the sky attracted shocks from all sides. Almost all the countries around Yeokuo saw the vision of the sky that day, and those strong people were excited. The vision of the sky. That is the beast of the beast. Flame cloud, phoenix map. Scorpio. It is the ancient beast fire phoenix. The ancient animal beast. Fast. After the local strong men were shocked, they were excited and surprised to go to the Jufolin of the Ye Yeo. Some are flying swords, some are flying beasts, and they are also useful for flying instruments that are thousands of miles away. They only hold one goal, that is, they must win the ancient animal of the past. Some monks who are not strong enough to compete with those who are strong and who are competing are watching the strong ones coming out, and going to Yeyeo's nine-volt forest, can't help but sigh, it's actually a small nine-level country like Yeokuo. It's really unexpected to have an ancient beast. 
I don't know what kind of person will the ancient beast be. The strong men of all sides are rushing away, and the small country of Yaori should be unable to keep the ancient beast. I guess it should be won by people from other countries. Oh, this is not necessarily, who does not know that these ancient artifacts are generally big opportunities, I think, the ancient gods and auspicious clouds are now on the top of the country, there must be people with great fortune. Also, after all, when the ancient Qinglong was in the world, the strong locals did not rush to rush to the front? Did not meet the last one. It's strange to say that this ancient Qinglong has been in the world for more than ten years. But in addition to the vision of the past ten years, I have never heard of the ancient Qinglong in various places. I really don't know, that year became the ancient Qinglong. Who is the owner? The beasts will come out, the parties will shake, and they will know it in the future. A few people looked at the direction of the country of Yao, and the heart was dark, another ancient beast appeared, it seems that the wind will start. In the Nine Volt Forest, those who went deeper were pleasantly surprised. Look! It is actually a flame cloud, a phoenix map. The world will be the ancient beast fire phoenix. I heard that there will be a beast in the world, but I didn't expect it to be an ancient beast. It's great. We must catch the ancient beast contract before the crowd. Ling Moen, who is already at the deepest point of Jufulin, has also seen a strange look in the eyes of the sky when he saw the vision in the sky, the ancient gods and phoenixes. Although my heart is different, I will see the pattern of the ancient beast appearing in the nine small countries like Yeokuo. However, his trip is not for the ancient beast. For him, there are more important things to do. So, after regaining his gaze, he continued to go to his destination. Somewhere in the forest, the Feng Ching song that saw the sky vision was difficult to hide and admire the Murong Yuxuan around him, Murong brother, you see, it is the ancient beast fire phoenix. Her heart was excited, and her heart decided that this ancient animal beast fire phoenix belongs to her. When Murong Yuxuan saw the fire and phoenix graphics, he also had a touch of surprise, it was actually the ancient beast, this is the king of the beast. As soon as the sound fell, I saw a phoenix in the flame cloud as if it had been heard from ancient times. Then, a dazzling golden light suddenly shot from the sky like a meteor. The whole nine-volt forest people only heard a loud bang from the bang, and a golden light rushed from the place where it came, with the strong airflow flowing out like a water ripple. The surrounding trees fell to one side. Fast! The beast is in the world. Go to that place. The people in the Nine Volt Forest shouted with excitement, and the unanimous rumors of the rumbling rushed away, lest they slowed down and were intercepted by others. When the golden light shot from the sky into the forest, no one knew that it was on the side of the tree where Fengju was located. The powerful pressure and airflow shook the big tree that the two people could not hold, and they fell to one side, almost uprooted, and the natural phoenix on the tree was also shaken down to the ground by the airflow. The loud noise hit a large hole in a huge hole. Under the strong pressure, she had a sense of breathlessness and suffocation, and the flesh of her face was blown by the strong airflow, and her eyes could not be opened. Okay. When she fell into the big hole, her stomach hit a raised thing under her body, and she was sorely snorted. At this moment, the pressure and airflow around it gradually dispersed. After the suffocation disappeared, she only had the strength to stand up. It also saw that the raised thing was actually a golden egg. Is the phoenix egg that the sky vision emerges? Her eyes were a bit strange, no surprises, and some were just doubts. This is the place where the whole nine volt forest is so big, and other places are not afraid to find her here? I don't want to be white, since it is under my feet, it is mine. I only wondered for a moment and then picked up the egg and looked at it. Seeing the golden light above, the complex pattern floating on the eggshell disappeared, except for the golden one, and it was bigger than the ordinary egg. A few times beyond, there is nothing special about it. I looked around and saw no one. I wanted to put the golden egg in my hand into the bag. When I opened it, 
I found that I couldn't get in. I remember that the Kyunkin bag only contained dead objects and could not be filled with life. Thing. Seeing this, she directly put the golden egg into her arms, and lifted the mysterious breath to use the strange pace to quickly leave here. About half an hour after she left, the family that came to the first team only saw a big hole there, and the big tree that was almost uprooted and fell to the side, but it was a look at the hole, but there is nothing to see empty. How could it be? Is it because the others got ahead of the game? A middle-aged man headed for sweating, full of excitement turned into anger when he saw the empty hole. Who is it? Who is faster than us? Just when his anger fell, the team of Murong Yuxuan and Feng Kinga also quickly came here, but when there was nothing in the hole, Murong Yuxuan fell, and that Phoenix Kinga is a change of face. Who is it? The sullen and fierce gaze looked at the other team and eagerly asked, What about the beast? At this time, she did not know that the next Murong Yuxuan looked at her thoughtfully. Because, in the heart of Murong Yuxuan, Feng Kinga is a gentle and supple woman. She is understanding and kind, and he knows her from childhood. She has never seen her look like this. This can't help, let him think a little more. Feng Ching Song seems to feel something general, quickly turned back, just saw his thoughtful look, heartbeat, and quickly said, Murong brother, I, I am anxious. Murong Yixian smiled and said, The ancient gods and beasts have appeared in our Yeora country. This is extremely rare. What's more, we also see the gods landing, the beasts come. In fact, can you get it without too much attachment? It all depends on the opportunity. Well, Murong's brother said that it is an eagerness to clear the song. She regained her usual calmness and gentleness, and looked at him with gaze. Who is the beast? There was a sigh of sorrow in the sky, and the voice contained a spiritual breath clearly spreading around the forest. Feeling the different spiritual power fluctuations with Xian Li, the people standing at the edge of the hole were shocked and looked up. They saw a middle-aged man in the middle of the air riding a flying instrument, and took a hand down and looked down. In the moment, the powerful ceremonial swells down and envelops everyone. Everyone only felt a heavy breath like the peak of Taishan, and the chest was like a big stone, but the legs were faintly wanted under this powerful pressure. Indeed, some people with lower strengths have been unable to withstand the pressure from the top, and they slammed into the ground, blood in their chests, and blood in their mouths. Feng Kinga also sheds cold sweat on his forehead because of the strong pressure. His face is white and his legs are microsoft. He will fall to the ground. The Murong Yuxuan around him helped her while protecting her heart with mysterious spirit. Pulse to prevent blood from rushing. Predecessors, can you first put away the pressure, let the younger generation elaborate? Murong Yuxuan looked at the middle-aged man in Midair. At this time, he noticed that there were several people around the air. They had swords, some riding flying beasts, and some stepping on the aircraft. What? The beast is gone. An old man next to him glanced down and frowned at the middle-aged man who released the pressure, retract your pressure, listen to the little boy below, how the beast who is getting it. Tell me. Maybe the old man spoke, or because the following Murong Yuxuan was not humble, the middle-aged man put up the pressure, he sighed, tell what you know. The pressure was scattered, and the whole man felt that the big stone pressed against his chest was moved away and finally he was able to breathe, and the whole person slowed down. Faced with such a strong person, the following people are no one to dare to disrespect. Murong Yuxuan arched the hand to the top and everyone went to the ceremony. This is the way, the predecessors, the younger generations, etc., have not seen any beasts when they arrived here. I don't know who the beasts were. The younger generations are telling the truth, don't believe you can ask the other side. You, they are one step ahead of us. His eyes looked at the other team, and those people, who had panicked under the strong pressure above, did not dare to hide, yes, yes, we have not when we saw the beast, we didn't know where the beast went. If we had the beast, 
we would not dare to deceive the sages. Immortal. They are the real people who cultivate the immortals. Just give him a hundred courage, he does not dare to deceive the immortal. At this time, one of the middle-aged men on the top of his eyes fell on the body of Murong Yuxuan. When he saw his extraordinary temperament, he asked, Who are you? The younger generation Murong Yixian. His voice was mild, not light, or slow. It turned out to be the three kings of Yeokuo. It is no wonder that there is such a temperament. The middle-aged man nodded and regained his gaze to look at a few people beside him. He smiled and said, You, the beast is just around the world, I believe that we will still be in this nine-volt forest. We will rely on our own skills to see who can find it first. Speaking, looking up and laughing, looking for Fijian to go around. Others saw him leaving, for fear that they would fall, and they quickly left and began to look around. The people below saw them leaving, and they could not help but feel relieved. The immortalists, when they appeared, were seven or eight. They knew that they had only heard the name of the immortal, and they couldn't see it. They were able to see it today, but they almost scared half of their lives. Seeing the seven or eight cultivators who are practicing the swords, the phoenixes have a longing for the eyes. Feng Ching's eyes have a yearning. She looks at the people around her, Murong Yuxuan, whispering, Murong brother, if there is a chance, we will go to the ferry together in the future. Men Zixian. Good. Murong Yixian Wen Shang should be, Junyi's face with a faint smile. When he heard that he nodded, she had a sweetheart and asked softly, Murong brother, then we still find the beast. There are those who are cultivating the immortals. We have no chance. Even if we find them, I am afraid that they will also be murdered. So let's go back now. Wen Yan, Murong Yixian looked at her, Wen said, You go back first. Let Feng Wei you back, I have to go to the mountain mouth in the deepest part of Jufulin to help Qin Lao take the heart. I go with you. She pulled his sleeve and shook it gently, whispering, Murong brother, I don't want to go back so soon, I want to follow you. The depths of this nine-volt forest are no different than the dangers that each of them faces in the depth of one hundred meters. Especially in the heart of the mountain pass, it is said that very few people go there because there are third-order seniors. The beast is guarding, obedient, you go home first, and wait for me to go back to find you. Listening to him, he knows that he will not bring her and he can only nod his head, well, I will go home first, then you must come back to me after you remember to go back. It is good. He smiled faintly. After looking at her, he pulled out ten people from the people he brought, and told him, you follow the protection of Miss Feng back to Fengfu. If there is an accident on the road, I only ask you. Yes. Ten people respectfully followed and walked behind Feng Wei. After Feng Kinga heard his words, his heart was sweet, and he reluctantly said goodbye to him. He was escorted by Feng Wei and others to go back. Until the Feng Qing song gradually drifted away, the smile on the face of Murong Yuxuan also slid down. The deep and calm eyes glanced deeply at their far-sighted figures, and then squinted their eyes and concealed their thoughts. Fine light. On the other side, Feng Jufei who was moving behind him, fluttered down and rolled down the to gather the breath of his body. He held the golden egg in his arms and pressed his body against the mud wall behind him. He tried to use the weeds of his predecessor. To cover yourself, so as not to be discovered. In a few breaths, a cultivator flies through the air from the airborne plane, and a pair of eyes glance at the bottom of the forest, looking for suspicious. Feng Ju did not move against the mud wall, and the breathing was even more screened until the figure in the air gradually disappeared and disappeared on the other side. Call. It's too dangerous, this egg is a problem. She frowned and stared at the golden egg in her arms, thinking about any way to deal with it. Stretched his hand and knocked, only listening to the groaning sound. She was thinking that this egg could not be hidden. As long as it was met, people would definitely be discovered. 
Now those who fly in the upper air are still looking for this egg. Obviously, it will not leave so quickly. The egg went to find Guan Xi, and did not say that he could safely walk to him, that is, he went to him, and he was afraid that he would be tired of him. What should I do? This is a troublesome thing. She frowned, remembering the way she had contracted her mind, her eyes lit up, and she bit her finger and dripped a drop of blood on the eggshell. However, the blood was not absorbed into the eggshell, but it flowed down. She blinked, isn't it a contract that the beasts that haven't been born can drop blood? Deceptive. She didn't give up and squeezed two drops of blood, still not responding. Finally, I can only give up. Well? What is the voice? She looked around and looked around and heard the subtle voice seemingly coming from under the ground. Sure enough, looking down at the surroundings, I saw that the soil seemed to be half-turned, and there seemed to be something under the soil. Drilling the hamster? Shouldn't it? The hamster is not that big. She took the golden egg into her arms and thought about jumping off the loose ground to climb the tree, but when she took the lead, she saw a middle-aged man coming to the side with a flying sword. Scared her instinctive retreat, but this step back, stepping on the loose mud under the feet, the whole person is out of balance and falls to the hole below the loose mud. What? She exclaimed, only feeling black in front of her eyes, her body straight and falling, and she couldn't let her react quickly. On the other side, just after the phoenix slipped down, two hamsters came out from the ground, and they screamed a few times and looked at it from side to side. After a while, they turned the soil to fill the other. The exposed hole. The middle-aged man who came to see the sound with the sword looked around, but did not see anyone here, and did not feel the breath of someone, could not help but frown, did I get it wrong? After repeated use of the gods to glance at it, and did not find it, this is the sword to leave. What? Under the ground, Feng Zhu's exclamation echoed all the way in the tunnel, the body straight down, the black lacquered one could not see, only the tunnel turned left and right, all the way down, half as she kicked to what flesh and blood, screaming, the fat stuff of the group also rolled down. Boom. Oh. Ah. She screamed, and the body fell to the front because of the sliding habit, but it did not fall on the ground but fell on the meat that first landed. Hey! It hurts me. All the way to slid down, the body's friction can be imagined, the whole body is burning pain, but this is the case, she is also stunned quickly when she sees a pair of eyes shining in the dim light. Hey! Hey! Mouse! Her scalp was numb, and the sound was a rat, but the volume that was faintly visible in the darkness did not seem to be a normal rat and at this time they were still surrounding her. Thinking of the hole that can accommodate a person's figure, and then think of these rodents in front of her, her body is tight. It's a hamster. I touched my arms in one hand, and the golden egg was still not broken. I explored the thigh in one hand and pulled the dagger tied to the thigh in my hand. Hey! There were about forty-five hamsters around, and each one was very scary especially around her at this time, and one stared at her screaming. With her power, how to solve the predicament? Killed these forty or fifty hamsters. These hamsters are obviously mutated, and I am afraid that it is not so easy to deal with. Just thinking, only a gust of wind hit, the left side of a hamster screamed and slammed up. She endured the pain from all over the body, her eyes swollen, and her hands dipped in the air. I saw a faint red scent of scent and a slap in the air accompanied by a fierce dagger. Drill the hamster to that end. At this time, the rest of the forty or fifty squirrels were screaming, and all of them suddenly rushed up and bit the bite around her group. Oh! The pain made her cry out, and the forties of the forty or fifty hamsters did not slow down the speed of the dagger in her hand. At this moment, she swayed like a god-killing person, waving her body waving her dagger, piercing and pulling. Out, there is only one belief in my mind, that is to live. Squeak. Hey. The bodies of the ground hamsters are getting more and more, 
and the hamsters around her are afraid to get close to her body. Because, on the side of her body, the body has piled up into a hill, and the rich smell is filled in this dark space. And she, the body with the wet and warm, is her blood, but also the blood of those hamsters. Come on! Don't you dare to come up! Her voice was cold and evil, her eyes were sharp and the cold swept to the one that was only retreating, the bloodthirsty murder and the blood of that body made her like a killing, just that the bloodthirsty atmosphere of a sultry person has already made the remaining hamsters dare not come forward. Don't dare? Oh! I haven't killed enough yet. The cold voice fell, and her body shape, the cold dagger with a fierce breath once again stabbed a hamster, the speed is fast, it is not allowed to dodge. Squeak! A scream of screaming! A splash of blood, another hamster died under her dagger. Hey! The remaining dozen screamed and fled to the caves with panic. She glanced at the caves with her lips, and then walked step by step in the direction of the breeze, one step at a time, one step at a time. After nearly half an hour, the first thing I heard was the sound of the water, and then the light that was getting brighter. Because of the water, the air in the air was a little more humid and she was so painful. But still biting his teeth, walking step by step until he comes to the water. It is a deep pool, but it is very clear when it is not visible. The water is a living water, but I don't know where to flow. But there is no way around here. The light is obliquely on the top of the head. It seems to be under the deep valley. The cliffs are covered with moss due to the flow of water, and some vines are hanging around. When she only looked at her, she regained her gaze. What she was going to do was not how to get out of here, but the injury of her body. If the wounds that are bitten by those hamsters are not treated, they will be infected. Fortunately, there is a deep pool here. Take off the clothes on the body, put the golden egg aside, and then the water floats halfway, use the cold deep pool water to clean the wounds. She squinted at her eyes feeling the cold bones of the pool, and the pain in her wounds. However, after the pain, she was very comfortable, as if she had a warm current in her body. Warm current? She suddenly opened her eyes and looked at the body in the water. At this time, she noticed that the surface of the water was filled with a touch of faint breath. Not mysterious, but pure aura. Looking at the deep pool filled with faint spiritual power, she thought of the mutated hamsters. Is it because the aura of this deep pool has become so fat? But how can there be such a pure spiritual power here? Being meditated, the golden egg placed on the side suddenly moved to the lake without warning. Thump! As soon as the sound of the water fell, the golden egg quickly sank into the water. She was shocked and quickly dipped down after holding the kyunkin bag and the dagger on the side. The eyes that are opened in the water can see that the gold is slowly sinking slowly, but the more it goes down, the clearer the pool becomes deeper and deeper, as if it is a bottomless cave full of mystery. She worried that she would not be able to go any further, and she was worried that she would not know what would happen to the bottom of the water, so she speeded up and dived down. When I saw it closer, I reached out and hugged the egg. But when she was holding the egg to go upstream, she saw that there was a stone door covered with moss in the depths below. Although she was puzzled, she was not curious at this time, because she couldn't breathe and couldn't help herself. Now she quickly held the egg in one hand and went up, but at that moment, the door underneath was stunned. A voice slowly opened. A powerful suction came from inside the door, like a whirlpool rolled up at the bottom of the pool, and the water in her were sucked into the door. Okay. Under the powerful suction, she was involuntarily caught in the water and was sucked into the door. Under the pressure of the water and the suction of the suction, she only felt the blood tumbling, and the blood of her heart spurted out, just falling on the golden egg that she was holding in her arms, but she did not see it. The blood of her heart was absorbed by the golden egg, and she lost consciousness in front of her eyes. At this time, the golden egg floated a layer of golden light and the complex pattern that had disappeared on the eggshell reappeared, accompanied by the golden egg gradually extending out of the eggshell. 
The most unexpected thing is that the golden egg that was originally the size of two fists gradually grew bigger in the golden light. It was still held in the arms by Fengju, but at this time, it was as big as a big watermelon. And Fengju's eyebrows also floated a red red flame phoenix pattern. In this pattern, her body was covered with a golden light, and the wound on her body was at a speed visible to the naked eye. Resume A loud bang, the Fengju, who was swept into the vortex, fell directly to the ground. The water in the whirlpool fell on her body. Gravity and stinging made her gradually become aware. When I opened my eyes, I was flashed by Jin Guang. Hey! A crisp snoring made her squat, just to see that the golden egg that had rolled out of her hand became as big as the watermelon, and it cracked a crack. Hey! Another snoring came out, and there was one more crack on the golden egg, but when she saw the golden egg split on both sides, she was dumbfounded. After the eggshell cracked, it was not a small phoenix, but a child with hands and feet and a small buttocks. The faint golden light contained a strong spiritual atmosphere filled in his body, and gradually dispersed. He seemed to just wake up and lifted his head and opened the clear watery eyes. He looked at the same phoenix with confusion and sorrow. 9. After a long while, it seems to reflect the general, the black eyes are stunned. Two clusters of red red flames are burning inside, and he suddenly jumps up, one hand forks the small meat waist and one finger falls to the ground. 9. The tender voice with incredible anger. You are a woman. The deity is the ancient phoenix. You, you, you actually fantasize the deity into a human-like child. Even though he can transform his body in adulthood, he never thought that a shell would actually become a human kid. He is a small fire phoenix. Small fire phoenix. Because of the contractual relationship, the illusion of his unborn in the heart of the deed can directly determine whether he is born or human, but if the human form is born, he will have to wait until adulthood to become a phoenix. God knows how long it will take him to be an adult. Before that, when he was a young man, wouldn't he have to sway through the market with such a small boy? The more I want to be more angry, the more I want to be more sad, I want to cry and I don't want her to see a joke, but I can only look at the culprit. Feng Ju is dumbfounded. Does this egg really hatch a little boy? Okay. In fact, she also fantasized about getting the egg. What would the phoenix look like in this golden egg? Then I accidentally remembered the cute appearance of a chubby little boy. At the moment, I watched this little boy, with a small fork in his hand glaring at her with one hand, a small body and a small elephant nose shaking in front of her. She tickles for a moment and reaches for the baby elephant. Ah! You, what are you doing? A arrogant little phoenix finally remembered the appearance of the light, and the little baby was stunned. He was ashamed and angry, and quickly stepped back and rubbed his hands tightly. You, you are a shameless woman! He shouted in anger. A delicate little face rose red, but the tender voice made his roar no shock. At this time, he seemed to see her red fruit in the body, holding a baby's hand to make a slap in the eyes and quickly turned around. You didn't wear clothes. This time, even the ears began to be red and red. Feng Juyi took a look at the oversized little boy, and continued to tease, see your little behind you. Ah! You are a shameless woman. I don't know how to be ashamed. He was anxious to jump, but he wouldn't say anything else. He wouldn't be ashamed if he came and went. Feng Ju looked interesting and couldn't help but laugh out loud. At this time, she looked down and noticed that the original injury was all right. The deep scorpion sneaked a bit of a strange, twilight fretting, and she thought of it as a small fire phoenix with her hands on her little ass. Is it because of this little guy? Remove the cloth from the kyunkin bag and tie the chest, then take out a set of men's clothing and tie the belt. Then I reached out and hugged the naked little guy. Ah! You, what do you want this woman to do? Suddenly hugged, scared him with an exclamation, his hands quickly slammed down and stared at her with vigilance. Who knows, Fengju took out a piece of clothing from the kyunkin bag, 
and changed it slightly with a dagger to go to the little guy's body. It will be a moment, wait for you to go out and buy a red belly for you to wear. She grinned and said, no, still patted on his fleshy butt. Okay. She turned him over and looked at the funny little guy who thought it was interesting. The deity does not wear that thing. He muttered, and looked anxiously at the woman who was always on his face. I thought that the egg would come out and only come out of the phoenix. I didn't expect it to be a little boy. Hey, would you become a phoenix body? She asked curiously. She didn't say it was okay, and when she talked about this arrogant little fire, the anger was properly angered. You are still very embarrassed to say. The deity is the ancient beast actually appeared in the appearance of human beings, this is all your harm. Feng Ju touched his nose, how can I know if I am free to fantasize? Hey! He snorted heavily, clasping his hands around his chest and angering his head and not looking at her. Feng Ju smiled without paying attention. He stood up and glanced around, I didn't expect that there would be such a place under the deep pool. She thought of the suction that had just brought her in, she frowned slightly. I don't know how it would be such a woman to become my contractor. I am ugly and poor, and I like to touch my ass. It is a color girl. At this time, the little phoenix hugs the eggshells and eats them. While eating and smashing and smashing, from time to time, they also plunged into a sorrowful look. Feng Ju listened to tears and laughed. He reached out and threw a little on his little head, little guy, whether you like it or not, you are already my own person, and I will follow me later said, looked at him with a strange look, and, are you so hungry? Can the eggshell eat? The little fire phoenix gave her a look, and she was too proud to ignore her. His eggshell is a good thing. Eating can not only improve his strength, but also enhance the nutrition of the body. The woman does not know anything at all, stupid one. Okay, let's go. Look at the wonderful things in this place. There is such a suction that us in. Feng Ju said as he walked and walked inside. It can be seen that this is a secret government that has been abandoned for many years. I just don't know how this secret government is under this deep pool but it will not be flooded. Xiao Huo Feng took the eggshell and ate it behind her. From time to time, she looked at the front figure. I felt that this woman was very strange and weak, but I couldn't panic in such a place. I have waited for so many years, and finally I have to wait for someone. I can't stop me, I can't stop me, ha 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 ha. Suddenly, there was a thick and mad voice in the secret, and the excitement in the voice led to a strong pressure and vibration echoing in the air. The strange thing is that she looked at the powerful pressure that was visible to the naked eye like a water ripple in the air, but did not feel the slightest discomfort. Is it the contract that has caused the ancient sacred beast to phoenix? Thinking of this, she couldn't help but look at the little guy who was holding the eggshell behind her. Darkness, I really can't see this little point so useful. Look at the deity. The little guy glanced at her. Feng Ji smiled and suddenly turned and squeezed his pink and tender face, What do I do when I like you? Hearing this, Xiao Huo Feng's eyes widened with surprise and a delicate little face screamed red. He tried to make an angry look, but his face was tweaked, his face was three-pointed and shy. Comfortable. You, don't think that this deity will change for you, you are a fool. The deity will not like you, and you don't have to be old-fashioned, not like a woman. Said, he did not open his eyes, not to see her. Feng Ju smiled and felt that this little girl was so cute and shy. Little girl, come over, come over and let me have a good look. The thick and mad voice came again, and this time, the sound came out, and with a suction, the whole person of Feng Ju was sucked in. Stupid woman. After eating the eggshell, Xiao Huo Feng, who was wiping her hand, saw that she was sucked into the inside with a force, and she could not help but exclaimed and quickly followed. Feng Ju only felt that he couldn't move and he couldn't even yell at it. It was almost just a blink of an eye and he was caught inside and came to the front of a skeleton. In the next moment, 
a force invaded her veins. She felt that under the invasion of the power, the whole person was like the naked body exposed to the sun. There was no secret of the red fruit. After the small fire phoenix caught up, it hit a layer of enchantment and was isolated, unable to get close to Feng Zhu. Seeing her whole person standing motionless in front of the cheekbone, he shouted in a panic, Stupid woman! What a stupid woman, how are you? The body of the mysterious spirit? Is it the body of the mysterious spirit? Ha 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 ha! The body of the mysterious spirit that once happened in the millennium actually made me Chu Bassian encountered? Ha ha ha! Heaven is endless, I can't stop me! Ha 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 ha! Feng Zhu only heard the excitement and excitement of the voice laughing, the force that bound her, and she fell on the ground, unable to fall on the ground. Because I didn't feel the killing, I didn't feel the malice. Some of them were just the excitement and excitement. Therefore, Feng Zhu didn't worry much. Instead, he turned to the small fire and phoenix that was isolated from the enchantment, I'm fine, do not worry. After all, the two have a soul contract. After the small fire phoenix calms down, she also feels that she is okay now. Now she snorted and some uncomfortable words, who is worried about you? But the eyes are still not free. Looking inside the enchantment, I want to see her situation. Knowing that his mouth is not right, Feng Zhu did not care, but focused on the cheekbones in front of him, tentatively screamed, Predecess. At this time, the bones of the cheekbone floated, and a middle-aged man in a black robe emerged in midair, sharp and full of gaze watching the Feng Zhu below. With the body of mysterious spirit, little girl, you are not simple. Not only does it possess the mysterious body of the rare millennium, but it is also the decree of the ancient sacred animal phoenix. How can such a little girl be ordinary? It's also God's eye, sending such a cultivator before his last blood will be exhausted, so that he can continue the inheritance. The body of mysterious spirit. Feng Ji looked at the shadow of the illusion and asked, the body of the mysterious spirit is rare. Forgive her for coming to the world soon. There is really a lot of ignorance in this cultivation. This mysterious body has never heard of it. The body of Xian Ling is a cultivator, not only can cultivate Suankai, but also cultivate Aura, and the speed of cultivation is ten times that of others. The middle-aged man looked at her with a smile and continued, in other words, it takes ten years for others to practice to the Suankai martial artist. If you are, you may be able to practice at the level of the martial arts in one year. It's a ghost. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu stunned, said, Is it impossible? I have tried to practice qi into the body, and I have not felt that my body is different, and there is no such thing as the practice of the seniors. She also used a lot of time to ventilate her body, and the mysterious atmosphere that has been cultivated until now is not enough. That's because the mysterious spirit of your body has not yet opened. He stared at her with a burning gaze, I hope that you will worship me as a teacher, so that I will open up my spirits for you to cultivate. If you change to someone else, I hear that such a strong person says that he wants to accept himself as a disciple. It is estimated that he will not want to, but Feng Zhu's eyebrows are slightly squinted when he hears this. The old man did not speak for a long time. You are not willing. Seeing that Feng Zhu did not respond with joy, his brow wrinkled and the pressure was released, but he found that his pressure did not have any shocking effect on her contract with the ancient beasts. And turned and sighed. You don't have to worry about what I have. I just hope that you can do three things for me after you become my disciple. Wen Yan, Feng Ji thought about it, this is the way, predecessors can come and listen, if it is my ability and does not violate my style of behavior, I can promise. The middle-aged man laughed when he heard this, good. I see that you are also a casual person, similar to my temperament. Feng Zhu smiled and said nothing. Shan Tao, I was the owner of the Tian Yuan Palace, Chu Bassian, no one dared to be an enemy with me when I was in the scenery. I will do my best in my life, and I will do it in the world. As long as I think it is right, 
I will definitely do it. Then. He will talk to Feng Zhu in detail. Feng Zhu also listened earnestly. He learned from his words that he is a free-spirited person, but because he is too arrogant, he is regarded as a demon martyrdom. He has a sword with a thin iron and a mud called Qing Feng. A decent fairy who peeks at his Qing Feng sword will smother him to wash the mortal village, so that he is chased by the defenders of all parties. Fear those who are lower than him. However, they arrested his people and threatened him, so that he was seriously injured and fled to this place, and finally died. For so many years, he has been waiting for a good person to come here, he has to inherit and rebuild the Tian Yuan palace for him. Complete his wish. The first thing is to reorganize the Tian Yuan Palace, what about the second and third? The second is to find the Qing Feng sword in Wanjian, as for the third. His voice was slightly sighed and he sighed, I was too arrogant and arrogant, especially when my wife was in the middle of the year. After so many years, I don't know how they are. I want you to help me find it. Find them and see if they are doing well. Listening to the request is not too much. Feng Zhu nodded and smiled and asked, Since it is a teacher, is the predecessor just helping me to open up mystery? If there is no practical benefit, her worship is too bad. Ha ha ha, of course not. The middle-aged man laughed loudly and watched Feng Zhu's gaze more and more appreciated. When Yan, she did not say much more, kneel down and kneel toward him for a week of teacher ceremony, the master is on, please accept the phoenix phoenix worship said, respectfully bowed his head. Well, my Chu Bassian finally has a successor. Ha 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 ha. He laughed excitedly. This is the way, Shan Tao, you take the third brick on the left hand side of my cheekbone, and put it inside. What the teacher gave you. Good. Feng Zhu should have a voice, his hand knocked on the third brick, it was really hollow, use the dagger to open the brick see a small wooden box inside and take it out. Master, how can I not find it? The small wooden box is clearly unlocked, but it cannot be opened. That is for the seal of the teacher, the average person cannot solve. Chu Bia Tianxiao said, waved a glimpse, a light through the box, well, you take out the things inside. Feng Jukio was suspiciously opened again, but this time it was easy to open but there was only one inconspicuous ring, and there was a little embroidered trace. She crossed a few black lines on her forehead, Master, this is what you said baby. I looked it out and didn't see anything special. Oh, I really don't know where you came from this gimmick. Haven't you even heard of the space ring? Chu Bassian shook his head and smiled, don't look down on this ring. It's not a normal space ring. In addition to storing things, it's self-contained, and even life objects can be put in, and, food. The time put in it is still and will not deteriorate. So amazing. How do you get this baby master? This should be more priceless than Qing Feng sword. Is there such a thing, can someone still see his Qing Feng sword? This space ring was accidentally earned by the teacher. In the past, the teacher only used it as an ordinary object. I don't know if it is a space ring. After all, the space ring is impossible to see in this place, or it is seriously injured later. The blood of the division is dropped into the ring, knowing that this is a space ring. Speaking of this, he sounded a meal and said, because the teacher is behind, the sole contract of this ring is also lifted. You only need to drop the blood to recognize the Lord, you can enter it. There is a lifelong collection in the space. Treasures, those are gifts for the teacher. I can enter this ring myself. Her eyes glowed, some surprises, darkness, if this is the case, if you are chased after nowhere to escape, can you hide in the space? Chu Bassian is not aware of her thoughts, if she knows that she will definitely die, such a baby she actually only thought of avoiding the pursuit of killing, but also too ambitious. The owner of the space can go in, but there seems to be an enchantment barrier in this ring. When the teacher was unable to figure out the oil due to the light, he only knew that it could store the living things. As for the other, 
you will be in the future. Explore slowly. He said, he looked at her and said, the last bit of blood for the teacher will also be exhausted. You will come forward and work for you to get through the veins. Upon hearing this, Feng Chu looked up at him and saw that the illusion had gradually weakened, and this came to the front. She knows that the illusion of his eyes is suspended in the air because of the last glimpse of the blood of the gods. As long as the blood and the gods are exhausted, he will disappear in this world forever. Stabilize your mind, calm down, the process will be a bit painful, but you have to hold back. Chu Bia Tian Shen said with a voice, this will cover the last fine blood on her body. I saw a visible light shining in Feng Chu, sneaked into her veins and expanded for her. Pain. Heartbreaking pain. The muscles of the whole body were forcibly expanded by a strong airflow. From fine and large, it seemed to burst at any time. The pain caused her to sweat coldly, even if she was holding a knife on her. Unbearable. But she clenched her teeth and screamed, her hands clenched into fists, and her nails pierced into the palm of her hand, revealing a trace of blood. The small fire phoenix outside the enchantment saw her face pale and worried. She walked around and wondered, and she was afraid to disturb her. She could only watch her pain in the expansion of her veins. After about half an hour, I saw the breath that shrouded her, and she was unable to fall on the ground and gasped. Seeing it, Xiao Huo Feng jumped some feet and quickly shouted, Stupid woman! How are you? Feng Jukyang stood up against the weakness of his body and looked at the illusory figure. He asked, Master, how are you? Being a teacher is already an ancient person. Keeping the last blood and mind can wait for you to be a descendant. There is no regret for the teacher. Chu Basian looked at her and groaned, Shan Tao, before you can't be strong enough to protect yourself, you must remember to act low-key. Don't let people know that you are the body of mysterious spirit, otherwise you will only be tempted to kill the enemy. The world is cruel, even if you are a natural cultivator, you have to grow up. Yes, master, I know. She nodded and passed a warm stream under her heart. You can't point you to one or two in the cultivation. You go back and take a hard look at the cultivation methods in the space. In the future you will ask the famous teacher to point you one or two, but you must remember that the heart of the people is indispensable. You are the things of the different treasures must not let the second person know. Yes. She showed a smile, and at this moment, she finally admitted that he was her master. You can't go out at the bottom of this deep pool. For the teacher, you will send you to Wang Jianyu. You should not show people easily after you find the Qing Feng sword. Otherwise, Ching Feng Sword will bring you the root cause. Repeatedly. Master, I went into Wang Jian, how can I find the Ching Feng Sword? Wang Jianyu is the place to bury the sword, but every person who enters Wang Jian is not able to find a sword suitable for himself. The sword is spiritual, it will pick the master by itself, and the Ching Feng Sword is even more so. His voice was slightly stunned and continued but you have a glimpse of my blood. This blood can help you to sense the position of the Qing Feng sword. However, whether you can get the Qing Feng sword, you have to see you. Your own, if you can't get the Qing Feng sword this time, you must take it out of the sword in the future. Yes. She sighed and saw his hand smashed, the enchantment dissipated, and the little phoenix ran in. The next moment, I saw a scroll-like thing in his hand, just listen to him. The two were sucked in by the real. When Feng Zhu came back to God, she and Xiao Huo Feng were already in the sword, looking at it, full of swords, and the fierce sword in the air. She looked down at the little guy who was pulling her horn, and then spread her hand, revealing the inconspicuous ring inside, and biting her finger into the blood, I saw the original ring with the embroidered ring. Flash, actually recovered as new but still not very eye-catching. Putting the ring on the finger, the ring automatically becomes compatible with her finger, injecting into the gods and exploring it inside. As she said, there is a space in which there are a lot of magic and treasures. When I went into some explorations, 
I found that I was blocked by a force. She stopped her heart and did not explore inside. Instead, she looked at the full Jian Shan and sighed, Is it really necessary to find a Qing Feng sword in so many swords? It seems not so easy. Even if you can't find the Qing Feng sword, you can find something else. There are a lot of good swords in the sword. Xiao Huo Feng instinctively followed her, but when the words came out, it seemed to think of something in general. Glanced at the arrogant road, you don't think too much, the deity is not for you. Good. Feng Ji smiled and took his soft little hand and walked inside, go. Since it is here, it will turn. Three hours of time, if you don't find a suitable sword, you will be sent out. We have to hurry. She was holding her hand, and Xiao Huo Feng snorted a little, but did not open her hand, but let her lead to go inside. The surrounding swords exude a sharp sword, and the ones are inserted on the ground, and some have been embroidered on the blade. After walking for a while, I didn't feel the position of Qing Feng's sword. So, she wanted to try it. Is it true that her master said that the sword is the master? I took a sword and tried to pull it up. However, the sword was firmly inserted on the ground and didn't move. I wanted to try again and then I felt a cold sword. The blade slammed out and instantly retracted her. Oh, it's amazing. She said with novelty, the more radiant in her eyes. What's so magical? The sword of the sword is like this. The little fire phoenix snorted and said, raising his head and looking at the stupid woman who was just like a layman, wrinkled his brow and said, You don't would you really plan to find it slowly? When I heard this, Feng Juyi said, No. Xiao Huo Feng's face was pretty, and she looked at her with contempt, You are so stupid. The red fruit was despised, and Feng Ju was very helpless. Who told her that she really didn't understand it? Isn't that person left you with a lot of blood? You can feel it with your eyes closed and see if there is a breath of Qing Feng sword around. Can this be done? The little guy raised his chin and said in his old voice, The Qing Feng sword is not an ordinary sword. What's more, you have a smattering of the former owner's body, and of course you can sense its location. Then I will try. Just do it. Feng Ju had no intention of closing his eyes, but he quietly felt the sword in the sword. When he was half column, she suddenly opened her eyes and had a surprise in her eyes. Found it. Over there. When she really felt the breath of Qing Feng's sword, she was very happy. She came to the place where the Qing Feng sword was scented with a small fire phoenix. It was a small hill with a variety of swords on it, and the Qing Feng sword was at the top of the hill. At this time, the sword was floating with a sword and a sword, and a low-pitched sword. Introduced her knowledge, let her heart shocked. That is the Qing Feng sword. Her eyes stared at the frosty sword on the hill, and there was a feeling of blood boiling in her heart. That feeling was wonderful. Hey! A sword was heard in her ear and stood under the head of the hill. She saw that the Qing Feng sword at the top was shaking, and a sound of the sword was heard from the body of the sword. The sword on the sword became more and more fierce, until the Qing Feng sword slammed up and slammed down from the top of the mountain. Xiao Huo Feng saw this scene also a little surprised, the spirit sword will choose the lord but it is rare to see that she does not need to go up and pull. His eyes looked at her eccentrically, and I really couldn't see what she was special about. Hey! The long sword landed, and the tip of the sword was inserted straight into the soil. It was just right, right on the right-hand side of Feng Ju. Feng Juyan grabbed the Qing Feng sword and felt only a strong vibration accompanied by a sword from the sword body, reaching the soul, pulling out the sword with a slight force in the hand. A slamming sound, the sword body appeared a touch of cold light, the original rusty sword became the same as the new cast. Looking at the whole body of the sword, there was a faint blue light. The Qing Feng sword, which was engraved on the sword, was a layer of cold light. She couldn't help but praise, it's a good sword. Once, I saw that Jian Jian was so tempted to pass the air, and the sharpness was very good. 
The master must have never thought that Ching Feng Sword would choose me for the Lord. She chuckled and put Ching Feng Sword into the space ring. Only then did she think that they could not get out of it for three hours. In any case, now we can't go out. It's better to find a place to sit down. Just right, I can look at what kind of books are borrowed in the space. She said while holding a small fire and looking for a sword. Sit down in a heavy place. Just as she took a hidden book from the space and looked at it, she suddenly felt that the little guy's eyes had been staring at her face and she looked up and smiled and said, What happened? The peak was caught, and he quickly turned his eyes away. Some embarrassed eyes turned away from seeing her. But I couldn't resist the curiosity in my heart, so he hesitated and asked, How many scars are on your face? After he mentioned it, she remembered that the medicinal juice on the bottom of the bubble had been washed away, and naturally revealed the face full of scars. She reached out and touched her face, there was a bad woman who took a knife and a knife and put it on my face. The tone was a little bit careless, but the narrow bottom of the eye was not easy to detect. Xiao Huo Feng listened and frowned. Then you won't fight back. Can't beat others. She smiled and squinted. Darkness, she was not her at the beginning, and if she was, she would not fall to such a degree. So you are weak and still don't believe it, but it doesn't matter. The deity is strong, and the deity will protect you. The little guy straightened his waist and said with a delicate little face, Do you tell the deity who is scratching your face? The deity helps you revenge. After listening to his words, Feng Ju's eyes smiled and reached out and squeezed his pink face, Are you not too abandoning me? The deity is a dislike of you, but you are my person, the deity can bully, how can you let others bully? The little guy said that the arrogant and arrogant, but unfortunately the soft voice of the soft voice is not shocked at all force. Just your little body. She raised her brow and gave a chuckle, it is estimated that it will fall. Seeing that he was suspected of strength, he immediately stood up and said loudly, this deity is the ancient sacred animal phoenix. Although it is now in its infancy, the deity has to be ancient heritage, the strength is very powerful. Well, then you tell me, what do you have? She chuckled, and some disapproved. After all, it's a three-year-old kid, where can I be strong? Don't look at the deity is now a child, but the strength of the deity can be stronger than that of the monk in the Yuan Ying period. If the former secret government had the shackles of the man, the enchantment could not stop the deity. The little man raised his chin slightly, and I looked at Fang Ju with a strong look. She couldn't help her lips, and looked at him with the eyes of worship. Is that you are so powerful? That is. He looked proud and proud. It's just my contract beast, I am still your master. She smiled and glared at the fact that he deliberately wanted to forget. Sure enough, seeing the whole person suddenly fell down and looked at her with resentment. Right, you have to be in the advanced space. Otherwise you will be eye-catching with such a small child, and it will be awkward to let those who know that you are a small fire. Because her master told them to come over, they will still appear in the nine-volt forest when they are out of the sword, because they were originally in the middle of the nine-volt forest, he can only send them out of the water, but cannot send from the nine-volt forest. The small fire phoenix that I wanted to refuse, after hearing the words behind her, was unwilling to point her head down because her strength was too weak, and although he was very strong, it would be very troublesome to go out and attract attention. True. When he saw his nod, Feng Ji picked him up and kissed him, watching his cheeky red face, and the shy little expression could not help laughing. Feng Ju Shen read a move, the small fire phoenix entered the space. After three hours, there was a vortex over the sword, and her whole voice was sucked in. Well? Where is this? She looked at the place where it suddenly appeared, as if it was still in the nine-volt forest, but there was no one around, and there was no glimpse of a beast, and it was a little infiltrated. And it is already night. Call. It's so cold. She rubbed her arm and walked in the forest and thought, I don't know if Guan Xi's stupid big is still waiting there. 
After walking for a while, I heard the sound of fighting. Fighting? In her eyes, she was surprised, and immediately she looked at the sound and quietly searched for the sound. When I came to a big tree and looked down, I couldn't help but blink my eyes when I saw the familiar figure. Uncle? Actually it is him? Count the first two times, this time again, but the third encounter. She really had a relationship with him, and she met three times in just a few days. However, how does he seem to be a bit wrong? She looked behind the tree and accidentally found that he was holding a three-finger wide sword. The sword was so fierce and murderous, and there was a naked air in his body. It was not mysterious, but aura. There is no doubt that he is a cultivator. However, he is obviously not right now, although he is trying to suppress the endure, but what is the layer of white frost that condenses on his beard and his face is not frost. Frost? How can I suddenly get a frost? What? A scream of screaming, the last black man pierced the air-stained sword at the chest, and the black man squatted halfway, his mouth overflowing with blood his eyes staring at him, and he opened his mouth and wanted to say something. I can't say it anymore. Finally, I didn't swallow it and fell down. At this time, Ling Mohan's body trembled and seemed to be frozen. He stood there quietly, as if it were ice sculptures. The coldness of the ice was like a thousand years of ice, so he was hiding in this tin. She can feel the coldness when she is outside the rice. Hey. The whole man straightened down and the body trembled on the ground, gradually curling into a ball, not only that, the frost on his face seemed to be getting thicker and thicker. Seeing the situation is wrong, she ran quickly. Uncle? Uncle, what's wrong with you? She came to his side and was about to lift him, but when he came across, he felt the bitter cold. Oh! So cold! The instinctive retracted hand. Some of them looked at the person who opened her eyes and looked at her. How was it so cold? Will he be frozen to death in this way? Just looking at her, he closed his eyes again and his lips were gradually purple. Seeing that he was in a bad situation, she bit his teeth, and this was a shock to the piercing cold and explored his hand veins. This is, a thousand years of cold poison. She stared blankly, some incredible. There is a chill in his pulse, which is the result of the extremely cold air flowing in him, and the extreme cold is clearly cold, and it is not a general cold poison. It is a thousand years of cold poison. Suddenly heard the looming sound in the night and the murderousness coming to this side, listening to the static is no less than twenty or thirty people. She glanced at her, and she thought about it, and there was no hiding place around her. So the finger that injects the power of mysterious power points to his faint hole. The next moment, God reads and moves him into her. Space. In the next moment when the two disappeared, thirty black men surrounded the sword with a sword, and the first one saw the dead black man with a frown, and the gloomy voice was suffocating. There is still breath here, his cold poisoning must go not far. Find. Yes. The black man screamed in unison, splitting into several teams and looting in several directions. At this time, in the space, Xiao Huo Feng was angered by Feng Zhu, but she did not expect that she actually got such a man with a chilly chill. At this time, Feng Zhu had no time to pay attention to him. Instead, he was busy with Suan Kai to protect Ling Mohan's heart. If even the heart was frozen, he was not far from death. Xiao Huo Feng's hands clasped his chest and the strange man who suddenly entered his territory. The tender voice was sour and indifferent, that's cold poison, the world is cold, and your point is unstoppable. His heart, he, is dead. At this time, Feng Zhu had no lazy color on his face. She reached his heart with one hand, with a serious, tone-changing voice, he helped me, I can't let him die. Xiao Huo Feng was photographed by the look on her face, and she had to whisper, How do you want to save him? This millennium cold poison is that the deity can't help. No, you can help. Feng Zhu suddenly showed him a deep smile. Hearing the words, 
Xiao Huofeng blinked his eyes, some curiosity, just want to ask her what? Seeing that she had untied his clothes, revealing his horse-breasted chest, his hands injecting mysterious force against the acupuncture points on his body. Come here. She suddenly stopped her hand and looked at the small fire. Ah! Why? Although it was incomprehensible, Xiao Huofeng stood up and walked over to her side. In the Phoenix Nine Dynasty, he showed a gentle smile that was not like words. He saw that he had a goose bump, but in the next moment, he made a scream. Ah! The hand of the deity! The hand of the deity is bleeding, you, you a woman, what the are you doing? He looked at her with anger, and his heart was very wronged. Let you use some blood, it's just a small mouth, you can't use much blood. She took his little hand to Ling Mohan's lips and dripped the blood from his fingers into his mouth. The entrance of the phoenix's blood, the coldness of his body gradually dissipated, as if it was suppressed, the body poured a hot air, the heat made his stiff body ease, originally curled into a ball the body will not shrink any more. Is the blood of the deity so useful? Then he knew that her previous words meant it. Seeing that he finally passed, Feng Ju whispered the export gas, explaining, You are an ancient phoenix, the blood of the phoenix is the most hot, naturally can suppress the cold poison in his body. Said, touched his little head, smiled and said, Thank you, I have helped personally. Hey! Xiao Huo Feng had some awkwardness to open his face, but his heart was very happy because of her words. How long are you going to put him here? What if he wakes up? There are people chasing him outside. After a while, those people will take him out when they are far away. He should be awake after the cold pressure. He should not wake up with his ability. It's said that Xiao Huofeng didn't talk anymore. Feng Ju, indeed, as she said, took him out on the grass after half an hour. Uncle, I have saved your life, I still have something, just leave it. Seeing his eyelashes move, knowing that he will wake up, immediately use the strange pace to plunder the forest. Shortly after she left, Ling Moen woke up, and the voice of the little baboon was echoing in her mind. He was a little surprised to see that he had recovered his original body. He felt that the cold was suppressed, his heart was shocked, and he looked around, but he could not see the figure of the little nephew. As for Feng Ju, because he was worried about Guan Xi's stupid big man still waiting for her there, he rushed to the original place overnight. When the day was bright, he finally came under the big tree and saw that there was no such thing. Can't help but sigh. It seems to be gone, but it saves me. I have been worried that he is still stupid waiting here. But when the words just fell, I heard a familiar scream and a roar of the beast. When she heard the voice, her face changed slightly, and she immediately flew in the direction, but when she came there and saw the scene, she was stunned. She only saw that the man who was covered in blood was fighting with a tiger, and the body was torn by the tiger's claws. The scratches of the road were shocking. And around, there are more than a dozen grey wolf bodies. Just when she was shocked by the fact that he killed more than a dozen grey wolves and fought with the tigers by one person, he saw his fist twisted, and a mysterious breath filled his fists, and a slamming blow with the fierce tigers weighing hundreds of pounds flew out. Hey! The tiger screamed, and the heavy ground fell a few laps, and even heard the snoring of the tiger's head being broken. Little brother! Looking back, Guan Zhu screamed with a surprise, and reached out and wiped the blood on his face and ran over with excitement, Little brother, I thought you had an accident. Be careful. His words had not changed his face before he changed his face. When he exclaimed, the whole person rushed toward him, and his outstretched hands pushed him away. The speed was so fast that Feng Ju, who had been aware of the danger behind him and turned back, was pushed to the ground by him. Roar! Oh! A roar of the tiger, accompanied by a scream of sighing and sighing, little brother, fast, fast running. The sudden change made Feng Ju's whole person stunned. He looked at the half-shoulder and was bitten by tigers. Her eyes were red, 
and she jumped out of the dagger and rushed over. Damn beast! Before the pounce on the tiger's fur, the dagger in his hand stabbed his neck. Hey! The tiger screamed and screamed, but the person biting in the mouth of the tiger was dragging and refusing to let go, until the head of Feng Zhu's dagger slammed into it from the top of his head again, and the tiger was plop on the ground and dying. How are you? She smacked the tiger's mouth with some hands and feet, dragging him out, watching his shoulders, and the arm that was unable to hang down, heart, trembled a little. Such an injury, his hand. Small, younger brother, you, have you been hurt or injured? He asked worriedly, his voice was weak. Hearing his words, her heart was tightly tied together, her heart was sour and her eyes were so hot that she could only take out the hemostatic wounds on his wounds and screamed, You are too long. Who wants you to save me? I could have avoided it. What do you push me to do? No one has ever been so arrogant in front of her, but he, this silly stupid big man has done so. Really stupid. Stupid enough. For the first time, her indifferent heart like frost was shaken by a corner. A strange emotion made her heart burst into a sorrow. The hot eyes seemed to be covered with a layer of water mist. Face. Yes, sorry, I, I am anxious, I forgot. He pulled out a thick smile. It was just because the injury on the body was too serious, and his face was too pale. With the blood in the body, the whole person seemed to be dead at any time. Little, younger brother, don't cry, me, I'm fine, I, I'm just tired, think, want to sleep for a while. His voice gradually weakened, and the whole person lost consciousness and passed out. The warm sun shone in the forest, and the face of the tree was closed under the tree. His brow slightly wrinkled, and the fingers of his left hand moved slightly. After a while, he slowly opened his eyes. Some looked at the sun on the top of the head and slanted through the leaves. Woke up. The gentle voice came, let Guan X I stunned, little brother. I wanted to sit up, but I pulled the wound on my body, and it hurt him to take a breath. You still have injuries on your body, don't move. Feng Zhu held him down, looked at him in a complicated look, and asked, You don't even know what name I am calling, why do you want to protect yourself like that? Little, younger brother, you, are you angry? He looked at him a little embarrassed. Answer me. Seeing his seriousness, he had to say, I am older than you, and you are my younger brother. If there is danger, I will of course protect you. Feng Jiwei, I did not expect it to be such a simple reason. Little brother. My name is Feng Ju. She suddenly opened her eyes and his eyes fell on his awkward face, and, I am a woman. Ah! Women, women, women. This time he was shocked and his words were stuttering. Because he doesn't look like a woman, which woman dares to deal with a group of wolves like him alone? Moreover, he always thought that he was him, and he never thought that he was actually her. Looking at him silly, her eyes flashed and said, Your right hand shoulder muscles were bitten by the animal. Oh. He glanced at her and responded. I mean, your right hand is gone. This time, he paused and squinted, Well. Repent. Hearing the words, Guan Zito looked at her and shook his head and said, I don't regret it. If I don't stop, if you bite you, you may not live. I am a male, and grow strong. Just abolished an arm, nothing, the right hand cannot hold the sword, I will practice my left hand later. After hearing this, Feng Zhu had been stunned for a long time. After a long while, he showed a smile, it really is a fool. Little brother, no, Zaiju, I am not stupid, I am just honest. He grinned and screamed, and he was not decadent because his right hand was scrapped. Would the honest man say that he is honest? She raised her eyebrows at him, and her heart decided to cure his right hand. Small nine, are you in danger of collecting medicine? How can you go so long? I thought that he had waited for a day and night to see her back, 
and thought she had met the beast again, only to run to find her, but was besieged by wolves and tigers. There were some accidents. I was chased by two bears and ran across the forest. Are you hungry? I went to play nearby to play only the game. She took it in three or two sentences, and she did not intend to say anything about what she encountered that day and night. Hungry, but don't go too far. He said with some concern. Know it. She smiled and got up and walked around. A few days later in the Nine Volt Forest. During this period of time, the two people became more and more close, knowing that Feng Zhu had only one person, Guan Zia shouted to recognize her as a younger sister. However, his Feng Zhu also felt that he was a good brother, so the two simply went to worship and confirmed the relationship between brothers and sisters. Small Nine, go to Shilin Town. The blood behind his head dissipated, his memory also recovered, but he did not want to go home. Well, yes, let's leave here first. For her eyes, it's the same everywhere. So, when they left, they left and went to the direction of Shilin Town. Two days later, Shilin Town. Guan Xi's body was ruined with blood, and the handsome face was made black and black, and the muscles of the arms were developed. It looked like a wild man. As for the white clothes on Feng Zhu's body, it has turned into a grey coat, and the face has been smeared with medicinal juice. It seems to be messy and really no different from a child. In this way, the two entered the town of Shilin, which naturally caused a lot of disgusting eyes. Even those who passed by them tried to avoid them in case they were hit. The atmosphere in the town is different. Feng Zhu took a deep breath and only smelled the smell of various snacks in the air. Small nine, we have to change clothes and say, otherwise the inn will not let us in. Guan Xi slammed the tattered clothes and said. Well, look for a ready-to-wear store nearby. She said as she looked around, her eyes fell in one place, and she walked over to the side, where there, there. There is one. Wait and so on. He quickly grabbed her and whispered, Small nine, do you have money? How can you buy clothes without money? When Yan, she crossed a few black lines on her forehead, how can I have no money? Rest assured, I have. He said, raising the bag at the waist, go. Don't say one set, ten sets are fine. After hearing that she said that she had money, Guan Xi grinned and the two went to the clothing store together. Brother, you wear this one. This one is for you. She picked up a black robes, the texture is not bad, let him try. Okay, then this one. He had no opinion at all. He took the clothes and went inside. After a while, he changed out and went out. When she saw that she was picking men's clothes, she said, Zaiju, what do you do with men's clothing? We are all back in town now. Don't wear men's clothing, wear a skirt, girls should wear a skirt to be beautiful. Because when he was in the family, the girls liked to wear skirts and they still buy more than a dozen sets, so he thought that his sister should also wear a skirt, and should not be made like a small donkey. Men's clothes are convenient. She said, she was going to hand the men's clothes to the shopkeeper, and he saw him pull her to the side of the women's clothes, and then called the shopkeeper, come, help me with this piece and that piece. Take it down to my sister. Seeing this, Feng Zhu is a little bit smirking but think about it, now it is in the town, do not have to wear an armor, then she changed back to women's clothing? Give me the sets of red ones. She said to the shopkeeper on the side. Good. The treasurer did not see that such a small cockroach was actually a girl, but still quickly took those sets of red dresses. Is there a veil? Give me a few more red veil. She said, and then gave Guan Ziu a few more sets which took out the money, check out. Small nine, don't you change it. She smiled and said, if you put on a new one, it will be dirty if I don't break it. I will find a hotel to take a bath and then change it. Otherwise, I will not wear new clothes. We'll be comfortable. Well, this is also true. 
He nodded, and this was the nearest in to her. Zaiju, you are advanced to bathe, brother guards the door for you. Outside the room, Guan Ziu's pace is intended to be a door outside the door. Seeing his posture, Feng Ju couldn't help but smile, no, here is the inn, the door is closed, and you can help me with the door. You can go to the bath. My stomach is hungry. Wait for us to go out. Look for her food. Saying, push him to the next door. Listening to her saying that she was hungry, Guan Ziu had to compromise, well, you remember to close the door, I will wait here when I wash it. Yet. She replied, and then she turned into the cubicle and closed the door into the water that was already prepared. Perhaps the first time he was a brother-in-law, Guan Ziu was also very concerned about Feng Ju, especially after she knew that she was a woman. After rushing to take a shower and dressing him, he left the room and went to the door of the door next door, which attracted a lot of strange eyes from the passing guests. Feng Ju's bathing time is not short, and it takes about half an hour to open the door from the inside. When Guan Ziu heard the sound of opening the door behind him and turned and looked around, his eyes could not help but be greatly widened. The stunning and incredible eyes in his eyes floated on his face. Small, small nine. Yet. Feng Ju should have a voice, her lips under the red veil slightly raised, a smile on the lips. Although her face was destroyed, her body was excellent, and the exquisite curves were matched with this dazzling red dress, just like the dazzling sun, so beautiful that it was impossible to look straight. The face covered by the red veil adds a mysterious veil to her, which gives her a mysterious feeling. It attracts people's hearts and wants to see a beautiful face, but can't see the face under the veil. A red dress is worn on her body, it is charming and enchanting, but also arrogant, especially her body is a kind of cold and arrogant like a red plum in the snow, not like the feminine beauty of a woman, but a kind of superiority and innate and noble. Looking at the red beauty in front of him, Guan Ziu couldn't speak for a long time, only to feel that his little girl was incredibly beautiful. But seeing her supple ink draped behind her, she tied it with a red ribbon and two hairs hanging from her cheeks, adding a feminine and enchanting color to her, the eyes that were exposed outside the red veil. When I smiled, I was full of confidence and arrogance. This kind of her, it really makes him difficult to think of a small messy child who was originally dirty. Small nine, you are beautiful, the fairy is not as good as you look, he <laughs> he. He grinned and grinned thinking that the woman who was so beautiful was his sister, and his heart suddenly rose with an unparalleled sense of pride. Let's go. She chuckled. She changed her mood and was very good. She walked downstairs. Oh, good. He was busy keeping up with it, as if he thought of what he was looking around. Sure enough, the men upstairs and downstairs stared at his sister with amazement. Seeing this, his heart is proud and at the same time he is also determined to help Xiao Ji to give the scar on his face. Until the two went out of the inn, the talents in the inn returned. It's beautiful, what is the girl? When did the town come to such a beautiful beauty? In the restaurant opposite the inn, Mirong Yuxuan, standing by the window, looked at the red figure in his eyes and wondered. Why, the familiarity of the back? Because of doubts in his heart. He stepped downstairs and looked for the red figure to go. On the other side, Feng Ju and Guan Ziu found a restaurant, ordered a private room, ordered a dozen dishes and two jugs of wine, and then opened the door after eating. Putting the veil on the side of the Phoenix nine-sided wine, said, Brother, let's stay here for a while. Waiting for a quiet place to rent a yard, it is better than staying in the hotel. Okay, let's go and wait. For this, Guan Ziu has no objection. Zaiju, don't drink light, drink a bowl of stew. He gave her a bowl of soup and used a spoon to help her lick the meat, taste it well. You eat. I will come by myself. Said, seeing that he used the right is not used to it, chopsticks are not good, then put each dish into his bowl, and said, wait a while, I will be repaired to bring up and then find the drug help you cure your right hand. Hearing this, 
he was a little bit stunned, can it be cured? Well, just need something that is not very easy to find. She drank a bowl of soup and added some food to eat, but no problem, I have a 10% grasp that will make your hand recover the same as the original. With her medical skills, as long as the drug is complete, there is no cure. Not to mention that the ribs on the shoulders are bitten, that is, an entire arm is bitten up, and she can pick it up again. Although he did not regret his hand, but listening to her said that he can be cured, his heart is still very happy, Zaiju, if my hand is still good, then I will try to cultivate and protect you. It is good. She bowed and smiled. Knowing that his strength is not low, he can deal with a group of wolves and tigers with his own power. It is conceivable how strong his explosiveness is in the desperate situation. She also believes that he will become stronger in the future. Downstairs, Mirong Yuxuan sat on the first floor of the table and drank wine, and his eyes narrowed with contemplation. He didn't know how he followed him, but he didn't know how he would treat the red woman as a song. Can be a glimpse of the previous upstairs, that back is really like. But he followed the road, but at this time it was a bit uncertain, because the temperament of the two was different. Ching Song is gentle and gentle, and the red woman is arrogant, and the red dress is so dazzling on her body, although his Ching Song is also very good, but, never a person, moreover, she never wears red clothes. How could he suspect that the Kinga that has gone back is faked by others? The familiarity of every move, the smile is her. However, there is a voice in the heart that is questioning, so that he has to doubt. For a long time, when the door in the upstairs room was opened, and the red figure appeared again, the pair of glamorous eyes of the diners upstairs and downstairs could not help but follow her again, which was slightly scorned as she walked. Vale, let them want to blow a gale to blow the veil away. Murong Yuxuan looked up and saw that the red woman with a very temperament was walking slowly. Every step of her was calm and elegant, and the red dress was like a fire, but she was a girl. The indifferent atmosphere of the stockholders is not close, and the noble atmosphere of the superiors naturally emerges. I noticed that a pair of eyes looked at her with inquiry, and Feng Zhu's instinctively looked up, and the four eyes were opposite each other. When I saw Murong Yuxuan, Feng Zhu had some accidents and accidentally met him here. In fact, she was aware of it before someone followed them, but she didn't feel malicious. So she didn't pay attention to it. When she wanted to come, the person behind him was him. Just, isn't he staying with the fake Feng Ching song? How did it appear here? What does the inquiry in his eyes mean? Under the veil, she showed a smug smile, faintly regained her gaze, and walked out, just a few steps away, but the person who was sitting was in front of her. She didn't talk, just looked up and looked at him. Mirong Yuxuan did not speak. He stood in front of her and looked at the eyes quietly. He seemed to want to find a trace of familiarity from those eyes. However, he was disappointed. Although those eyes are like her, the eyes that are so arrogant are not what she has. These eyes are so beautiful, similar to the one in his heart, but his clear-eyed eyes are gentle, and the eyes in front of them are hidden and distinct, two different flavors. Let him not know how to distinguish for a while. Boy, what are you doing? Seeing that the head is not right, Guan Zhu stepped forward, and the strong body was blocked in the middle of the two, which separated the two people's faces. Murong Yuxuan returned to God and looked at the man in front of him, revealing a gentle smile, this Zion Tai. I just saw this girl like a friend of mine, want to say hello. Perhaps his gentleness and extravagance on his body made Guan Zia feel like a bad person. Therefore, he was slightly puzzled and looked back at the person behind him. Girl, the peach blossom in the peach blossoms opens in March. He looked at her quietly, his eyes soft as if he could get out of the water. And this inexplicable sentence also made Guan Zia feel a little confused and did not know what to say. Only Feng Zhu's heart is moving, and in memory, there is such a warm face painting. Mu Rong brother, I heard that the peach blossoms and the peach blossoms are the most beautiful, red and white, 
and there is no end to the mountains. Is it true? Under the peach tree, the beautiful girl looks up slightly and her eyes are full. Affectionately looking at the white man around. The white man's eyes were full of gentleness. He reached out and looked at the girl around him. When said, well, the peach blossoms and the peach blossoms are endless, the wind is blowing, the red powder petals are flying like rain, waiting for March this year, the peach blossoms are in full bloom. I will show you there. Waiting for March this year, the peach blossoms are in full bloom, I will take you to see. Half of the eyelids under her eyes, she had a sigh of relief, and there was a sourness and pain in her heart. She knows that it is the deep love of the original lord for Murong Yuxuan. People are in front of their eyes, words are like yesterday's words, but the Iraqis have disappeared between heaven and earth. Murong Yuxuan's heart was slightly tight, and her deep eyes fell on her double-shouldered eyes, trying to see the strange look of her. The peach blossoms and the peach blossoms are open in March. I will take my sister to see them. Why do you remind me? I don't know what the meaning of Guan Xi's words are, and I'm not angry. When I took Feng Ji's hand, I walked out of the stride and groaned, Sister, don't ignore the little white face, the guy looks like a playboy. Also peach blossoms open in March, I think he wants peach blossoms to bloom. Hey! Hearing his words, Feng Ju couldn't help but laugh out loud. She looked back and smiled a little. Murong Yuxuan Yu Feng Kinga is a person of the heart, in her Fengju, but just a stranger. She will only rely on herself, even if this person is one of the people who Feng Kinga trusts, she will not inform him of the situation. Seeking people is always better than asking for yourself. And Murong Yuxuan looked at the figure of the two leaving. Younger sister? The man said she is his sister? Then she is not a clear song? The heart, suddenly seems to be empty, some lost, and some are fortunate, maybe, everything is just that he thinks more. After all, his suspicions are so incredible. If the suspicion is true, isn't it true that the Feng Qing song that is now back in Feng Fu is fake? Even if he had some doubts in his heart, she thought she was not, but could her father and grandfather still admit mistakes? Maybe, all this is really just his heart. On the other side, Guan Ziu and Feng Zhu saw several courtyards. Finally, they looked at a relatively quiet courtyard. The location was relatively remote, but the victory was quiet and the environment was good. On the same day, the two men moved in and went inside. After a confession with Guan Xi, she entered a retreat practice. For three days, the closed doors have not been opened. In the past three days, Guan Xi, who was in the hospital, has been practicing swords with his left hand. His talent is good, and his explosive power is also strong. From the original left-handed unsatisfactory to the present, there is already a model. Although it is not as good as the right hand, the strength is gradually applied. In the room, Feng Zhu, sitting cross-legged on the bed, put his hands on the double lap, and the whole body was covered with a red-colored sacred air. The sinuous air on her body was running very fast, and it was almost a rapid reunion. In the air of the eyebrows, they gradually gathered into a group. The first-time cultivator, stepping into the martial arts stage, has to practice for several years before it is possible to break through the early days of entering the military. Take the original Feng Qing song, the original strength is only the repair of the second section of the warrior, but now she has used only three days. The sea has been small, and it has entered the mysterious in the early days, the strength jumped up. You must know that the Xian Yuan martial art is already small and powerful. Like the middle-aged man of the martial arts level that she had encountered in the Nine Volt Forest, the strength is already the main pillar of a family. What's more, the other side is just the middle of the martial arts. In the middle of the martial arts in the middle of the martial arts, he was not her opponent not to mention that she was now practicing in the sea and entering the second stage of the military. When she snorted and slowly opened her eyes, there was a small fire and a pleasant surprise in her mind. Stupid woman, the enchantment in this space has been broken by the deity, 
you come in and see. There was a strange look in her eyes, and now the gods read and moved into the space. This goes in, not a glimpse. This is. How? I said that the strength of the deity is very powerful. The enchantment that the old man did not break open the deity. Xiao Huo Feng looked at her with a smug look and said, You don't know what to take in the sky, even the extremely rare space of the world can let you meet, practice here, three days outside. Inside the day. When she heard the words, she felt incredible, because she found out when she came in. After the original enchantment was broken, the aura was very rich. She walked slowly inside, seeing the blue sky and white clouds as a small world. When the original space enchantment was not solved, it could only be seen but could not be crossed, but it was different at the moment. Looking at this space link view, her mood cannot help but fly, this is really a baby. Look, there is still a Wang Ling Chuan here. I have seen it. This Ling Chuan water is nourished by the aura of this space, and the water source is aura. Xiao Huo Feng is also very happy. He was happy to have a good time here after the enchantment was solved. For this, he also likes his heart, otherwise he will not stay here for so many years. Shouting to go out, you know, if he is practicing here, the strength will rise very quickly. She smiled and touched the head of Xiao Huo Feng, then you are practicing here, I will go out first. After I practice, I will come here to practice. I believe that the strength will improve quickly. Know it. The little fire phoenix licked his mouth and went to Ling Chuan to play with water. Feng Ju saw a smile, and God thought about it, and it just came out. When the door was opened, I saw Guan Zia practicing the sword in the courtyard. Seeing his left hand waving a sword with a bit of rigidity, it was not very flexible. Her heart frowned and called, Brother. Small nine. Are you coming out? You are really, how do you cultivate and do not want to die? This has kept yourself in it for three days. He put the sword to her, the right way, Xiaoju, cultivation is not a temporary work, it will be impossible to have an achievement for a while, and it will be step by step. Wen Yan, Fengju could not help but smile, yes. Although she has already reached the early stage of the military's mysterious realm, she still presses her strength to the second section of the warrior. The average person can't see how much her real repair is. Can have such an advanced speed in a short period of time, naturally because it is the body of the mysterious spirit, and the pulse of the mysterious spirit is opened by her master, just like the original vein is just a small stream, but now it has become a in general, the speed of cultivation in the Yellow River cannot be set in the same day. Right. I want to buy a set of silver needles, let me go with me. Well, let's go now. He washed his face and carried a sword with her and went out with her. When they entered the treasure pavilion, Feng Ju knew that they were being stared. The other party's hidden atmosphere is so strong that the neighbors are not aware of it. If she was not good at the line, it is estimated that she will not be seen. The treasurer, do you have a whole set of silver needles? Yes, I don't know what grade the girl wants. We have three models at this time, which are divided into high, low and low grades. The price is different and the quality is different. The shopkeeper smiled and introduced three sets of silver needles placed on Fengju. In front of this one. She picked the most expensive one, because the set is relatively long and the quality is really good. Her eyes fell on a sword set hanging on the wall, her eyes lit up and asked, Is the sword sold? The treasurer looked down at the gaze and smiled. The girl has a good eye. This is the unique sword set of our treasure chest. It can be said that the whole Yeokuo country can't find the same one. He took off the sword cover on the wall and continued, The seven main gemstones of different colors above are rare treasures. The pattern carving on the sword cover is fine and the color is gorgeous. It is not so much. Sword sets, it is better to say that it is a pleasing pendant. She took the sword and looked at it and said, check out. The shopkeeper heard a smile and asked her to go to the counter and smiled. Girl, 
the seven star sword set is 1.2 million, the set of silver needles is 35,000, and the two things only except the girl 1.23 million. The five digit mantissa should give the girl a fold, and hope that the girl will come back next time. After Feng Zhushuang quickly paid the bill, he took the seven star sword and silver needle into the Qunkin bag and left with Guan Zhu. Seeing that she used the Qunkin bag in the eyes of the shopkeeper has a strange look, Qunkin bag? It seems that the girl's family is not ordinary. Also, how else would you buy a million seven swordsmanship directly without even a counter offer? The two bought a lot of things outside, and they went back after a whole day, and the people who stared at them didn't leave until they saw them in a remote courtyard. In a hotel, a middle-aged man practiced on the knees. When he heard the low-pitched voice from outside, he said, Come in. A man walked in quickly, and after a respectful dedication, said, Second Lord, the subordinates followed the two people for a whole day, seeing them enter a more remote courtyard, and asked them around. I knew that they moved in three days ago. They claimed to be brothers and sisters, and when they were in the treasure pavilion today, the bag that the red woman took out was the young man's bag. The middle-aged man's eyes were murderous, and he said with a gloomy voice, A pair of brothers and sisters? You will tell me about their body shape. Yes. He depicted the figure and appearance of the two, and finally said, It's just that the woman in red is covering her face with a veil and can't see her face. The middle-aged man's eyes were gloomy, with one hand hanging down on the side of the body, while the other hand was tightly picked up, and the blue veins appeared and creaked. Draw the red woman and send it to the black market mercenary task list. By the way, tell the people in the black market where they landed, tell them that I will see the woman's head the next morning. Yes. The man respectfully responded and quickly retired. It was night, the night sky was dark, like a cloud covered with clouds, not half a star. In the red dress, Feng Zhu lie on the roof with one hand on his head and one hand looking at the Qunkin bag in his hand, muttering, it turned out that there is a soul mark inside, no wonder I changed from an armor to a women's dress, actually will be stared. After collecting the Qunkin bag, she looked at the dark night sky and sighed, this feels, how is it so good? The night is black and windy, killing night. The careless tone took a bit of laziness, and there was a touch of imperceptible, anticipation. The night is getting darker, and the phoenix on the roof is yawning and a little drowsy. Until, in the middle of the night, Yu Niang was as shy as a girl, and she looked out from the darkness of the dark clouds, and sprinkled the bright moonlight on the earth. Four black figures holding a long sword with a cold murderous step, quickly came to the front of the courtyard to raise the gas and jumped up, when they wanted to jump off the yard, but was shocked by a voice. I am waiting for you for a long time. When the lazy voice with a little drowse came, the four black mercenaries instinctively looked down the sound. Just look, at the roof, a woman in red turned up and sat up, the red dress fluttering in the wind, the ink hair scattered behind her, bathed in the moonlight, arbitrarily and arrogant, evil spirits and lazy. After a moment of embarrassment, four black market mercenaries showed the color of sinfulness. It is her, I can't think of a real person more enchanting than a portrait. Yes, it's a pity to kill it like this, it's not as good as. The other person touched his chin and smiled, and the fierce gaze looked at the red enchanting figure. Although I think that the woman in red is very amazing under the moon, the other two people are more stunned than the two, but they are more cautious than the two, especially when she sees her not to panic. The calm and elegant appearance is even more surprised. A mercenary with a scar on his face said with a gloomy voice, This woman is a little surprised, don't take it lightly, or kill it directly. But it's a girl, the third child, you can afford to see her too much. One of the mercenaries was scornful, and he did not agree. Looking at the enchanting woman in the red dress flying in the night wind, he laughed, Just like a girl, I can get her alone. He tipped on the roof tiles and lifted his breath to the opposite side. It's a pity to kill it, or to play with Lao Zi first. He smiled sullenly and leaned forward to grab his hand and grabbed her, 
sitting on the roof of the phoenix chest. At that moment, the phoenix-eyed Feng Zhu's eyes flashed in the cold, and instantly shot the other's wrists and forced them to the next fold. Hey! Oh! The sound of the broken bones screamed through the night sky with a scream of screams, breaking the silence in the night. Almost at the same time, Feng Zhu, who was originally sitting, took the opportunity to stand up and lift his foot and use the toe of the mysterious force to kick the opponent's trousers accurately. Okay. There was no sound, only a suffocating suffocation, and a painful stretch of body pain, and the trembling leg slammed directly. On this strength. She snorted, loosened the hand that buckled his hand bowl and slammed it into his throat, slamming her neck and throwing it into the yard. The second child. A few exclamations came out, and the three men looked angry at Feng Zhu. They were shocked by the fierceness of her hands and feet, the speed of the movements, the speed, so that they didn't even react to the time, they could only watch her. Kill the second child. Kill her. The voice of the older man's haze sounded a fierce suffocation, and the sound rose up and leaped to the opposite roof, and the sword in his hand caught the mysterious force. Wu is the middle of the military. She brows her face, but she really does not see their strength. With a hand movement, the sharp dagger was glowing with the bloodthirsty light of Sen Han in the night. She suddenly leaned over and swayed sideways at the distance of three inches from the tip of the sword, and the head daggered in the hand, only listening to a sigh. It was said that the mercenary on her side was violently stunned and fell straight into the hospital. A move to kill their boss? The rest of the two were dignified and the horror was on the face. The murderous anger of the woman's body is more intense than the black city mercenaries, so that they are not free from the fear of the Lord's heart. Go. Such people are not killed by them at all. If they don't leave, they are afraid that their lives will be confessed here. Seeing the figure that fled back, Feng Zhu hooked his lips and smiled. Come on, don't want to go back alive. As soon as the sound fell, the red figure flashed, and in the night, like a ghost, the two men swept away. The dagger in the hand reflected a bloodthirsty cold light in the night. The next moment, I saw her figure from the two men passed by, the blood stained, and the two people fled in a moment, and they went straight to the hospital. Hey! There were no traces of fighting, and no one was alarmed. The four black city mercenaries died quietly in her hands. Feng Jun, who stood in the wind, stared at the four bodies in the lower court, and the light was moving. In addition to the cultivation of the mysterious power, the mysterious martial arts, the two can be combined to play the strength of the basaltic, and her, Suan Kai has reached the early stage of the martial arts, plus her own assassination and fighting, it is not a problem to deal with the basilists in these small towns. However, if she leaves the town, her strength will have to be upgraded again. Otherwise, she will be stronger than her, and she will only be slaughtered. Leaping down the yard, she went to the bodies and looked around, only to find the same black card from them, which read the words of the Black City Mercenary. Black Market She whispered and searched for information about the Black Market in her mind. However, the previous Feng Ching songs rarely touched such things, and there was very little information about the black market in their minds. It seems that I need to go to the black market to see. She smiled and pulled out the liquid from the space after the afternoon, and sprinkled it on the four bodies. Only when the sound of the symbol sounded, the four bodies braved white blister and light smoke, which quickly turned into a pool of blood, leaving only those black clothes crumpled there. Next day. Guan Xi licked his neck and walked out. Some wonder how he would sleep so hard last night? Looking up, seeing Feng Zhu practicing soft fists in the courtyard, could not help but grinning, Xiao Zhu, this punch is not like this. Speaking of coming to her side, he steadily slammed down the horse trail, look, the boxing should be stable, the fists should be tightened, the punches should be strong, the sounds should be heard and the strength of the whole body will flock to the fists. Powerful, if you are like you, you will fall when you punch. At this time, 
he seems to have forgotten that she was afraid of the wolves when she was alone, and forgot her sorrow when she was harvesting life like Shura. All he remembers is that she is a girl, just a fifteen-year-old girl, even if she has a strong and strong side, but in his heart, she is only a sister who needs his protection. Feng Ju, who heard his words, couldn't help but laugh, Brother, your boxing method is practiced by men. It is the strength of the boxing. I use this method of punching, but I use the power to make a big effort. Saying, it seems to think of something in general, ask, Brother, I remember you said that you are practicing the mentality of your home, right? Yes, it is the heart of the family, martial arts is also, Zaiju, do you want to learn? Brother teaches you. She smiled and shook her head, no, I have a role of heart that is suitable for you to practice. She handed him the bag of the soul that had been removed from the soul. In this, you have a good look at this time, do not practice the fist, first cultivate this method. Zaiju, do you give me the entire Kyunkin bag? What do you do yourself? Guan Ziu opened the Kyunkin bag and saw that there was a lot of money, as well as some bottles and cans in addition to a roll of the heart of the flames, and asked, You give me so many things to do. What? He took the heart out and looked at it. He couldn't help but open his eyes, Heaven, heavenly heart? I, I am not mistaken. This kind of heart, that is, the Yaori royal family cannot get a roll. You must know that the heavenly heart is the treasure in the treasures. It is impossible for a small country like Yeokyo to find a volume. Then, where did she get it? For a time, the hand holding this heart method was a little shaken, excited, and hot. He was fortunate enough to see a roll of heavenly mind. It's incredible. Yes, it's a heavenly mind, this set of minds is also a power to repair, just right for you. She smiled and said, your hand can't practice boxing and practicing swords now, don't practice, just lick this I will be familiar with the method of time, and I will give you a role of heavenly martial arts. This method of mind is naturally found out from the things that her master gave her. Last night, I felt that this method was suitable for him and I took it out. Can I really practice? He looked at her with bright eyes. Of course. She nodded. If you don't understand, you can ask me. Well, then I will go back to the room to cultivate my heart and mouth. He took the heart of the law and he was a little fluttering, and couldn't wait to go back to the house to practice. Feng Ju saw this smile, and after playing for a while Tai Chi activities under the bones, this time back to the room to practice. In the next few nights, black market mercenaries came to their small courts almost every night, but every mercenary came and went. And all of this, Guan Ziu knows nothing. Because, Feng Ju will use silver needles to help him move his right hand veins every night, and finally he will point his fainting, let him sleep until dawn. A few days later, Feng Ju made a sneak peek in the courtyard, and after confessing to Guan Xi, he went out to the black market. At the same time, the middle-aged man who had been in the inn for a few days without news, gloomy face, got up and went to the black market, and roared, it's all useless waste. Even a woman can't solve it. When he said this, obviously, he forgot the fact that he was not a Phoenix Nine opponent. The black market is an underground exchange. There are not only rare and precious herbs in the black market, but also things that are needed by all practitioners such as medicinal herbs and weapons. In the black market, there is a military field, with Wu as a battlefield, and by force to make money in a famous battlefield. The scattered mercenaries are some ferocious desperados. They are not recognized by the formal mercenary guild. In the black market, they have their own loneliness, some are in groups of three, and the tasks are just some formal. The mercenary will not do the assassination mission. Here, they only recognize money and only sell for their money. When a man dressed in a dazzling red dress walked into the black market, many people's eyes could not cover up the stunning light. The man was slender and exudes a scent of evil spirits. The golden delicate mask is full of enchanting red mandala flowers. 
he can't see his face, but he has a mysterious feeling. More importantly, no one can see through his cultivation. Do you dare to go into the black market like this, and you will be an ordinary person who has not been cultivated? Since it is not an ordinary person, there is only one possibility left. The strength of the other party is unfathomable. In the eyes of everyone's guessing, a veteran dressed in grey clothes walked up with a smile and bent down and said, The old man has seen you, the old man is the deputy manager here, surnamed Zhu, I don't know what can be what do you do for you. Feng Zhu, who looked around in a circle, regained his gaze and looked at the management in front of him. He said, Give me a private room and watch the battlefield. Wen Yan, the deputy manager smiled and said, You please come with the old, the battlefield is still in front of the place. He led the way in front, taking Feng Ji to the private room on the second floor of the competition. Please look at the dissatisfaction. He opened the window and retreated to the side. Feng Ju went forward and saw that there was a rectangular space underneath. In addition to the rows of seats on the first floor, the second floor was a private room, and the upper and lower floors could accommodate nearly a thousand people. At this time, there were two warriors fighting in the battlefield. The scene was very fierce, and the cheers of the surrounding audience were overwhelmed. We are a sub-market here, there is only one competition field. Therefore, only one Huang Bang is set up here. If you arrive at Yunyu City one day, you can go to the main city of our black market and see only the main city. There is a list of the top three in the sky. Seeing that Feng Zhu didn't talk, the manager said with a smile, If you are interested, you can also bet on the warrior who wins, and the odds are 1 to 10. After only looking at it for a while, Feng Zhu didn't even look back on his interest and looked at the management side. He asked, Do you have an inspector here? The matter was awkward and then nodded, yes, I don't know what you want to test. Pharmaceutical. When I heard this, there was a more positive color on the face of the face, please wait a moment, wait until the old ones to ask the inspector to come over. He said, and he walked out for a ceremony, and then he retired. At the moment when the door was closed, the manager looked back thoughtfully and then quickly left. About half a column of incense time, that Zhu Guan incident came back with two old men, and entered the door, he smiled and said to Feng Zhu, Hello, this is our black market supervisor, surname Dong, this is our drug tester, Deng Lao. The two people who came in were quietly looking at the people in the room. See him in a red dress sitting diagonally on the side of the window, one hand and half holding his head and looking at the competition on the martial arts. The golden mask is full of enchanting flower mandala. The whole person is full of evil spirits. Breath, but this breath has a high and unattainable glory, not free of the Lord's heart and awe. When he heard the sound and looked back, the scorpion was as deep as a glimpse of the deep pool, with three points of laziness and seven points of edge. It's just this look at the face, and the two know that this red man is definitely not simple. Dong has seen you, I don't know what kind of medicine you want to test. Pharmacy but what the refining pharmacists only made, not to mention their town, Yunyueshin is only rare, so when he heard that someone had to test the pharmacy, he rushed. Feng Zhu glanced at them, and then took a bottle from the sleeves and handed it to the side of Zhu Guan, the lazy voice came out unhurriedly. This is a bottle of gas. It can let the people who are exhausted by Xian Li burst out of the usual three times of strength, and the time is half an hour. What? The three people in the room were incredibly exclaimed. This, can this really make the people who have exhausted the mysterious power instantly recover three times the power? Even Deng's voice, who was a drug examiner, had a tremor in his voice. He took the pharmacy and had an incredible excitement in his heart. Feng Zhu didn't talk because she saw a strange figure in her eyes walking underneath. Is that person, the person she is looking for? The lips are slightly squirmed, and there is a strange smile in the eyes. She watched him sit down in the front row and hired a black market person who didn't know what to say. The three people in the room were all paying attention to the bottle of medicine at the moment. 
the two managements looked at the old Deng who opened the bottle and smelled the bottle of Chinese medicine, but he saw that he had a good second half of the action. Director Dong could not help but shouted, Deng Lao. Deng Lao smiled and looked at the two men and the Fengju, who leaned on the windowsill, said, It is really awkward. Although the old man is a drug examiner, he has never tested such a drug. The implication is that he could not test whether Fengju said it was true. It is said that the two managements are not at all stunned. In this case, they have never encountered it. You see who the girl and the big man will win in the end. Fengju's voice suddenly came, attracting three people in the room. Several people heard that they went to the battlefield on the first floor and saw that a 16-year-old girl was fighting against a big man, but she was not the opponent of the big man. At this time, she was beaten, but still tenacious want to stand up. Zhu Guangzai looked at the following and said, She is only a repair of the sixth segment of the warrior. Her opponent is the repair of the second stage of the military's Suanji. It is naturally that the big man wins, and it can be seen that it is exhausted. I can't fight any more. Feng Ju smiled and smiled and shook his head, No, she will win. Her gaze fell on the girl who was not losing her mind, saying, You take the bottle of liquid and let her drink it, so the result of the test will naturally come out. Three people in the room have a bright eye. Yes. This method is simple and straightforward, so that they can know whether the liquid is as magical as he said, and that the liquid is drunk by the incompetent girl in the battlefield. If it wins, that is a living signboard advertisement. I take it down. Zhu Guan said, this took the bottle of medicine and hurried down the building, and went to the first floor of the battlefield. Fighting field. Ha 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 ha, little girl, you still admit defeat. You are not practicing opponents for ten years. It is not an opponent of Lao Tzu. He thought that he bought the money he won for ten times and could not help but laugh. The girl spit out a blood, and it was like being crushed by a carriage. It was so painless that she had no consciousness, and even a little strength could not be lifted. But she is unwilling, she is not willing to lose like this, and she is not willing to lose like this. The biting teeth were strong, but they fell back, and the people watching the audience laughed. Come on and lose. Next time. Don't delay our time. Someone has shouted impatiently. At this time, Zhu management took the liquid medicine to the girl's side, I did not know what to say to her, the girl took the bottle and did not hesitate to drink the things inside. Just when everyone was wondering about Zhu's management, he saw that the girl's body was filled with a red and strong sense of indulgence. Hey! How is this possible? The audience of the entire fighting field was unbelievably exclaimed, and many of them stood up with a shock and scream and looked incredibly at the girl who was full of mysterious spirit. The mysterious atmosphere visible to the naked eye is not fake. The momentum that her whole person exudes is even more real. However, the moment before, she couldn't stand up even in the station, but the next moment she was full of mysterious spirits that were stronger than before. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, I really couldn't believe it. At this time, on the battlefield, the girl was shocked, surprised, and excited. Her hands were tightly twisted into a fist, and when she felt the mysterious breath in her fist, she suddenly looked up at the big man who was wrong, there is no difference in the victory and defeat. When the voice fell, her whole person burst out. More than three times faster than usual, throwing a fist. Above the fist, the surging Suan Li breath formed a sound of screaming in the air and in the incredible gaze of the big man, he punched him out a distance of ten meters, the strength of the road, the momentum, let the audience in the field took a sigh of relief. The atmosphere has solidified for a moment, and it seems that it has not been able to slow down. Until, after a long while, thousands of spectators from the entire battlefield stood up, applause was thunderous, and cheers echoed. Compared with the audience in the field, Zhu Guanzi was even more excited. He looked at the battle and the Wu Tai, and then walked back. In the field, whether it was the audience on the first floor or the VIP room on the second floor, 
they saw the Zhu Guan thing leaving quickly and revealed a thoughtful look. They each hired a waiter and asked them to inquire about it. What is that bottle of stuff? Compared with the excitement downstairs, Fang Zhu in the upstairs room looked calm, because the result was expected, she was not surprised. It's really strange that the tenacious war of the girl's disappointment can't be won with the help of the potion. Compared with her calmness, Deng Lao and Dong Guanzheng were excited and their faces turned red. They looked at Fang Zhu's eyes with amazing light, as if they had discovered a huge treasure, such excitement and excitement. Respect, how much does the pharmacy know? How do you want to trade with us? After the management of Dong Guan, he even changed his name and his attitude became more and more good. You must know that such a magical liquid medicine is to the black market on the side of Yunyu City will also set off a sensation. After all, in such a small country like this, such a drug has never been seen before. If you have a bottle of this kind of medicine, it is equivalent to having a life-saving symbol on your body. Even if you encounter a hardcore enemy, you can use it to escape. How can you not make people feel excited? Is this pharmacy to be refining? Is it a refining pharmacist? Deng's eyes widened and looked at Feng Zhu, and his eyes were full of excitement. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu gave him a look, the voice with a bit of laziness and coldness, I don't seem to need to tell you about it. Knowing that he was getting farther away, Deng Lao quickly bowed his head and bowed his head, the Lord still has to be arrogant and the old is just a moment of excitement and chaos. Yes. Can you not be excited? The people in front of you are very likely to be refining pharmacists. You know, they have not had a refining pharmacist in Yeokuo. After sweeping the two people, she said, I have two bottles of pharmacy here, but I only intend to sell them at the price of the auction, and you can't reveal a little about my information. I heard that there are still two bottles. Dong Guan's eyes are bright and he smiled. Although we are here in the black market, we have not been able to give permission. We will not pass on the information of the private drive, and we can rest assured that we can drive. Feng nodded nine times and said, In addition, I need you to help me find some elixir. Her voice was slightly stunned and said, When I am, I will use a bottle of gas-filled liquid for the ceremony. Of course, the price of the elixir will not be treated badly. When the two of them heard their eyes bright, what kind of elixir was busy asking? In the end, Feng Zhu asked them to bring paper and pen, and wrote down the required elixir and handed it to them. Respect, if he finds the elixir, how do we inform you? Dong Guan asked. Feng Zhu gave him a look, I will come over later, I don't have to worry about this. She squatted and stood up in red, left the two bottles of medicine, and walked out. Please stay in the car. Dong Guan Wu screamed and quickly came to his side to hand out a token, this is our black market black, is a distinguished representative, please please accept it. It was said that Feng Zhu's hand was taken over and he was in the sleeves of his sleeves. Seeing this, the two of them quickly took the medicine and sent it out just to see the smiling face of Zhu Guan. I have seen the car. Zhu Guan Chen quickly bowed, and he was excited to speak, and he was stopped by the raised hand. You don't have to send me, I can go around everywhere. She stopped their delivery and walked forward. The three men watched the red figure disappear into the corner, and then they regained their gaze, signaled it, and returned to the room again. A lot of people have asked me about it. What is in the bottle? Zhu Guanyin said with excitement, although they did not say anything, they are estimated to be pharmacy. After all, only medicine can have such amazing effects. Don't let go of the news about the car, and secretly report it to the reporter. Dong Guan said with a calm voice. Would you like to send a few people to follow? Do not. Director Dong shook his head, we still don't know his depth but this person can't be offended. If you send someone to follow him, you will not be pleased with it. It will not be worth the loss. At this time, Deng Lao, who had never spoken, suddenly said, the elixir above is not easy to find. Well? How? 
Dong Guan looked at him, because he was not very familiar with the medicine, and naturally he did not know what the medicine on the list was. These are extremely rare in our country, but I have to collect them from other countries. He looked at them and looked at them with gaze, I can conclude that this must be a refining pharmacist. Even, it is very likely that it is still an alchemy teacher. What? The two exclaimed, alchemy? Is such a noble existence, is it possible? Judging from his voice, it should be still very young, how could it be an alchemy? You must know that the alchemists are above the refining pharmacists, not to mention that they are small countries, that is, in the sixth class middle countries, it is difficult to find one. At this time, the people in their mouth were standing in front of the black market mercenary list, looking at the reward above, her lips slightly hooked, revealing a smile. I can't think of her top prizes in the top three, hey, it's an accident. I was thinking, I heard the voice coming from my ear. How did the woman in the portrait get on the top three? The reward is actually 500, 000. You just didn't know when you came back. Now there are no mercenaries who dare to take this hunt. Why is that? Because every mercenary who took out this mission did not come back alive, in less than half a month, many mercenaries have been planted on this woman. The two were talking about it. Looking at the red man standing in front of the list, they were a little surprised. One of them asked, do you want to go to the task? After all, only the black market mercenaries can pick up the tasks above. Feng Zhu looked back at the two men, shook his head and smiled, and the middle-aged man saw that the middle-aged man had gone outside, and he followed the step. When she left, the black market mercenary could not help but say, the man seems to be coming for the first time. The breath of the body is very impressive. I don't know what it is. Don't worry about what he is coming, go, I invite you to drink. Another person took a big shot and walked over with his shoulders. The middle-aged man who went to the inn suddenly stepped forward and looked back. The brow could not be screwed. He speeded up the pace and turned into an alley to stop and sigh. Who? Come out. A red figure slowly walked out with an elegant pace. It was still a dazzling red dress. The ink was tied with only one red ribbon. The only difference was that the face was wearing a golden flower of hell. Mask of the Mandala. Looking at the man who walked out slowly, his eyes narrowed and he had a guess in his mind, but he quickly denied it. No, it should not be the woman. The man in red is taller than the woman. It should not be her. It's been a long time gone. Feng Zhu's voice was lazy, with a hint of banter, a touch of coldness, and a murderous murder. It's you. After hearing the unfamiliar voice, his face changed slightly, and the voice had a slight tremor. The instinctive fear made him retreat two steps in the first time, and the body was tightly prepared. Hands on, but already cold and sweat. I don't blame him for being a warrior who will fear her a warrior, but he has handed over her knowing her is so powerful, thinking that she was almost dead in her hand, thinking of his hand that she was scrapped, in his heart. There is a fear of not being free. This is also the reason why he will go to the black market to hunt down the task, but he dare not directly deal with her. Seeing his reaction, Feng Zhu couldn't help but sneer out, since I am so afraid of me, why should I kill me under the hunting mission? She walked slowly forward and stepped closer, I have forgotten that you have such a number of people. Who knows, you came to me again. As soon as the sound fell, she heard the movement behind her. She browed slightly and looked back. I don't know when there was a middle-aged man and an old man behind him. The two were full of enthusiasm and their eyes were sharp and sharp. A powerful pressure was released from the two, and the murderous moment was overflowing. In the alley. Ha ha ha. Want to kill me? It depends on whether you have the ability. The middle-aged man changed his previous panic and fear, and looked at the two with excitement. The great elder, the four elders, is this person, that is, she killed Penger. Elder? Her glimmering and looking at the gods, 
the two men are already the perfection of the martial arts, and it is no wonder that they can appear quietly behind her. Different from the victory of the middle-aged man, the elders and the four elders are looking at the phoenix of the red wicked enchanting. If it wasn't for someone to break, they couldn't see that the man dressed in front of him would be a woman. Rao has seen many people in the world and has to admit that there is a male and female in this person. A and D. Unfathomable. With their strength, they will not see through her cultivation? Is this not unfathomable? When they came out of them, they never saw her having a panic. Her lips, which were exposed outside the mask, were still wearing a touch of evil with a bit of evil at this time, which made them feel a little more cautious. Who is your lord? Why do you want to be an enemy of my family? The elders asked in a calm voice, and the sharp eyes stared at the red figure in front. Feng Juyi glanced at the elder elder, and the voice was a bit strange, I am against you? Isn't it? This has always been your enemy with me. Why have I taken the initiative to find it? She sounded a meal, and smiled and smiled at the middle-aged man in front of him, it is not the second man of your family who ran to the black market to reward my head. Why would I find him? That's the case, you killed our Sioux family, and abolished one arm, which is undeniable. Oh? So, you want to kill me, I can only stretch my neck to kill you. She raised her eyebrows, her lips still smiling, just a little cool. The elders were so sullen and sneered that can only say that you have provoked people who should not be provoked. I am a family of Sioux family, you can provoke? If you know each other, it is best to get rid of it, otherwise. Otherwise. She hooked her lips and smirked, and asked with interest, how else? Kill me. Otherwise, mention your head back to life. The elder elder's cold voice fell, the fingers were pulled out in claws, and when they saw the hand, they knew that they had been trained to be pure. Then let me take you well. She sneered, and the figure moved instantly and greeted her. The elders have a strong mysterious hand to buckle her wrists to twist back, but who knows that she is free to break free like a snake, her handcuffs are often deducted by her, and the next set is attacked, only feeling one force was released from her hands, and the whole person was lifted out by her. He slammed his strength and stabilized his body balance and turned his face. His face was so heavy, there is really two things, but unfortunately, I will die here today. It is a pity. She nodded in agreement, and looked at him with sympathy, as if the person who decided to die would be the elder. Her pitiful and sympathetic gaze angered the elders, took a long sword and pointed her at her, and screamed with anger, the frivolous child. You will pay a painful price for your eyes. Your first level. The old man must be fixed. The tip of the sword points straight, and the strong mysterious force rushes out from the body like a tide, gathering on the blade. In an instant, the fierce sword is full of Mori's murderous shot. He teleported forward, with the murderous murderousness hitting the red figure at a speed that could not be covered. Hey! A long sword with a cyan glow crossed in front, and the two swords reached each other. The fierce swords did not match each other. At the same time, there were a few sighs and exclamations. Ching, Ching Feng sword. Hey! Hey! A slamming crack broke out, and the great elder stunned his eyes wide open, looking at the sword in her hand with a cyan glow, and then looking at the sword mark in his hand, the heart slammed. In the next moment, the sword in his hand was shaken by the sword of the other party, and the slamming sound fell to the ground. At the same time, the whole person could not even retreat and was shaken by the sword of the monk. Hiss. What? His body lost its balance and retreated. Fortunately, the four elders in the rear supported him, and he was not able to fall to the ground. How is it possible? How could it be Ching Feng's sword? He looked incredulously at the sword in her hand, the green man's on the blade is so dazzling, looking at the world, and only Ching Feng's sword comes with Ching Meng. Not only him, the four elders and the Su family were shocked at this time, but in addition to their shock, they were more greedy and greedy for the sword. 
Qing Feng's sword, that is the sword to the treasure. King Feng's sword, which has disappeared for so many years, actually has a day to see again, and let them meet, how to not excite them. How can I not ask them to be greedy and want to be their own? Qing Feng slanted to the ground, Qing Mang faintly floating, red clothes flying, bloodthirsty breath filled her body. She looked at the three people who were both shocked and greedy. The curvature of the corner of the lips rose slightly, revealing a sinister and cold smile, those who saw my sword would die. As soon as the sound fell, the red figure flew out like a ghost. However, she did not go to the great elders and the four elders, but turned back and turned, and the young front of the hand slammed, and the fierce sword slammed through the air. Hiss. That Su family is unguarded by a sword. Because I can't get out of it, I can't afford to dodge. To death, his eyes were unbelievably screaming, and to death, he could not swallow in one breath, because his heart was unwilling. To Lord. The four elders of the elders exclaimed, watching the figure stiff and falling down, but in the blink of an eye, a life disappeared in front of it. Even because her sword was too fast, the blood in her throat did not ooze for a time, until he fell, pulling the deadly wound at the neck, and the blood of the blush was sprayed like a blood column. And it's red, it's red. That is the brother who is most valued by the family, and now it is dead. They can't imagine how much anger will the family be when they return. Seeing the look on the faces of the two men, Feng Ji sneered out, Do you think that you can still go back alive? She took out the Qing Feng sword from her and didn't think about letting the three of them leave. This alley will be the end of their lives. The half-squinted eyes flashed cold, the murderous overflow, the red figure also ran with the two people, the hands of Qing Feng fretting, the smashing swordsmanship turned into a sword of the road. Kill her. The two angered, the elders waved their broken swords and greeted them. The four elders also pulled out the sword and attacked them. The two joined forces, and the great pressure and breath of the martial arts suddenly filled the alley. The breath in the air became solidified and suppressed. Hey! 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 When the swords touched each other, the fierce airflow and snoring came out from time to time, and the two people's heart was a bloodthirsty murderess, and her deadly attack, which made them feel a little confused. Do not! An exclamation! The four elders who had been repulsed even couldn't stop it from being watched as the big elder's broken sword was hit, and the green-skinned Ching Feng sword slammed into his chest. He can even see the incredible gaze of the elder elder. He is so unwilling, such a mistake, cannot believe, he died in the hands of a person he despised. Looking at the elder's body twitching and falling down, watching his eyes stunned, his heart trembled and looked at the woman who was flying in red. Seeing that she was pumping back the sword toward him, almost at that moment, his instinct want to escape. Yes, escape. There is only such a thought in my mind, and his body has instinctively reacted to escape, however, the pace is only moving, and the ghost-like voice is introduced into the ear. I said that people who have seen the Qing Feng sword have to die. The icy and bloodthirsty sound fell, and the red dress flashed in front of the four elders. It looked like a smile and a horrified look. Where do you want to escape? What? He shouted, and the sword in his hand was lifted up, and he was injected into the mysterious atmosphere. He can only fight to death if he can't escape. Even if he was surprised by her strange hand when she had previously played against her, there was no choice at this time. In order to be able to survive, he explodes the mysterious power of the whole body, and the perfect atmosphere of the martial arts is surging, and the dust on the ground is rolled up. I don't believe it, my martial arts master will lose you a stinky girl. He screamed, and the mysterious breath that was surging in his body raised his speed to the extreme, and smashed out, and his figure was as fast as a whirlwind. Seeing this, Feng Ju will also bring up the mysterious power of the whole body. Her advantage is not so in Li but the Qing Feng sword in her hand, and the deadly attack she has smashed. She also did not intend to compete with him for mystery. All she had to do was kill the other party in the shortest time. 
otherwise, the movement here would soon lead to some monks, and it would be difficult to get out of the way. The red figure plucked out, and with the strength of Qing Feng, each of her swords was a deadly killing trick, and the technique was quick and embarrassing. Rao was the four elders who were wary and could not stop the shaving of Qing Feng's sword and her. Deadly attack. It's over. She held the sword in both hands, and in the moment he was shaken back, Xian Li poured into the Qing Feng sword, and squatted at him with a quick and awkward blow. The four elders instinctively used the sword in their hands to stop, but... Hey! Oh! A scream of suffocating smashed the sky, and the swords of the four elders were smashed by Feng Zhu, and together with him the whole person was split into two halves and fell to the ground. After Feng Zhu's gaze passed over the three bodies on the ground, Qing Feng Jian in his hand provoked the Qiankin bag at their waist, lifted his breath, and turned over the alley to quickly leave. Just as her forefoot had just left, there was a lot of monks coming in from the alleys of the hind legs. They heard the movement, but when they saw the scene inside the alley, they changed their faces, and some could not help but vomit on the spot. The murder is not overwhelming but the scene inside is too bloody, so that they can't stand it when they meet. The three people who died are martial artists. A daring elderly monk looked at the three dead people and was shocked to learn about their strength. Kin kill three martial artists, how strong is that person? Here, the three dead martial artists not only alerted the surrounding monks, but also alerted the pavilion in the town. However, the pavilion is usually only to maintain the law and order of the people in the town. They are unable to intervene in such things as the practitioners, not to mention the martial arts level practitioners who have died, which makes them feel more difficult. Therefore, they can only first find a way to identify the identity of the three martial artists before notifying their family. However, this matter was quickly spread in the town. After all, three martial artists were killed at once. This kind of thing is not a trivial matter in this town. As for this, Feng Zhu did not care. After she returned to the hospital, she entered the space to practice. The black market mercenaries in the town seem to have automatically avoided the task of hunting her. The next few days have been very calm, and both of them are busy practicing until, a few days later, going out to buy food and returning to work. Lost in the soul and walked into the yard. Brother. Feng Zhu, who was wearing Tai Chi in the courtyard, saw that he was not right. He called, and did not. Brother. She yelled again, only to see him suddenly returning to God. Ah! Zaiju, are you calling me? He packed his head and looked at her, pulling out a smile, but he didn't know that his smile seemed to be stubborn. What happened to you? Is there something wrong? She asked him. Guan Ziu silently lowered his head and did not speak. Don't tell me. Then I don't ask. Hearing this, he hurriedly looked up. No, Ziju, just, just. He looked at her, he was so loud, and his tone was a bit stunned. I went out to buy things and heard the news in the family. My cousin is going to be a relative. After knowing it for so long, she did not ask his origins, his family, the same, he did not ask her family. This time, it was her first time listening to him about his family. Do you want to go back to his wedding? His hand is not free to the Lord's caress the wound that has healed in the waist and abdomen. The voice is a bit stunned, small nine, do you know? I have been raised in the knees since the age of six, with my cousin. Together with Xi Wu, although I am not a mother compatriot, I have always respected him and regarded him as a brother. However, I never thought that he would suddenly kill me from behind. If it wasn't for you who saved me, I think I am dead now. I always wanted to understand why he wanted to kill me, but when I heard him become a relative, I realized that it was for her. She. She was a bit confused. Well. The woman who married him was the third daughter of Kay's family, Kay Zinya. She was the fiancé that my father had set for me. Wen Yan, Feng Zhu's eyes are awkward, some dumbfounded, what is this with? Assassinated by the cousin, 
was also robbed of his fiancée? She looked at him with some sympathy and felt that her cheap brother was really not a sad reminder. Looking at him with a look of despair, she asked with some curiosity, Brother, do you like that woman? Guan Zia shook his head, I can't talk about it, just, I know that she grew up to be my woman. Now I heard that she actually wants to marry someone else, and that person is my cousin. I feel bad in my heart and feel that wronged. Hey! She couldn't help but laugh out loud. When she saw his dizzy eyes, she quickly resisted, Well, I don't laugh, don't laugh. But the mouth of the open mouth can't stop. The overflow of smiles. Zaiju, my heart is uncomfortable. You don't comfort me, but also laugh at me. He looked at her with some shame, but the uncomfortable feeling in her heart was diluted by her laughter. No. I haven't seen you like this. I think it's very novel, he he. It's really novel. You said that although he looks handsome, he is almost as strong as a tiger's back. This kind of awkward man's face is wronged and his grievances are like deep sorrows. Can you not let her want to laugh? But, what about your parents? Since it is the marriage that your father has set for you, should this object be against it? She was curious. How long did he have this incident? Those people thought he was really dead? Hearing this, the shame on Guan Xi's face dissipated, and some stunned, I have never seen my mother since I was born. When I was six years old, my father heard the news of my mother and went out to find her. But I have never been there again. When I came back, there was no news to pass back to Guanjia. People at home said that he was dead. He went to the stone table and put things down, but I don't believe that my father's talent is the best for the family. I don't believe he will die, so I will make a wish when I am very young. I must make a name. Li Wan. In this way, as long as my father and mother are still alive, they will know me. Looking at his serious and serious look, Feng Ju secretly nodded, no wonder, his Xian Li repair is not very high but the explosive power is very strong, the muscles of the limbs are also very developed, I think it is a lot of hard work. Brother, I believe you must do it. She patted his shoulder and encouraged, cultivate well, your talent is not low, and you will definitely surpass your father in the future. When the sound fell, her eyes crossed a glimmer of light, and smiled and said, but brother, since your cousin wants to be a relative, why do you have to go back and congratulate? Or else you can't say it. Ah. He looked at her somewhat puzzled. Well, that's it. I will go with you. Anyway, I can't live here anymore, or else I can wait for the family to receive the news and find trouble. Now she has no strength to deal with a family, naturally she has to keep a low profile and know how to avoid it. Moreover, Yunyueshin, she also wants to go back and see. You will wait for a carriage, I will go out and wait for it to come back. She returned to the room to change her men's clothing, put on the mask and went out. Guan Zio looked at her and changed her body to dress up the door. She was just surprised. She didn't ask anything. After eating something, she also went out and went to buy a carriage to travel. When Feng Ju came to the black market, he saw a black girl at the doorway squatting straight. She glanced at it, only to see a black lacquered face and a drooping eyelid. She walked in and didn't pay much attention to the black girl. It was the girl in black who raised her eyes as she walked past her, and the eyes of the original arrogant and faint eyes suddenly appeared a glimmer of light, staring at the red figure that went inside like a midnight star. Would you like to leave? In the wing room, Dong Guanzhen's face was anxious, but, we have not collected all the elixir. Does Yunyu City not have your black market? You will send the elixir there when you go there. She played with the thin crystal card in her hand, which was the money that was auctioned for two bottles of medicine. I didn't expect that it would be most useful for her to be in the end. However, she is only the agent that was formulated. If it is the alchemy of the world. Thinking of this, she passed a glimmer of light in her scorpion, and a thought in her heart gradually formed. 
She looked up at the director in front and asked, I saw a black girl outside, like the one who had the potion that day. Yes, it is her, she has been there for two days, in fact, it is to see the drive. See me. She picked her eyebrows and was a little surprised. Yes, she is a small well-known warrior in the black market fighting martial arts field. It is said that there is a younger brother, but the body is not very good. The money she won here is to cure her brother. However, many doctors look at it. I have said that her brother is not living for a long time. Dong Guan said, seeing Feng Ju quite interested, he said again, I heard that her brother was in a coma two days ago. The doctor in the town couldn't do anything. She didn't know what happened, she went there. It is said that it is to seek to see the car, we promise to drive any news that does not reveal the car, naturally will not be her, so she has been squatting there, and cannot catch up. Feng nodded nine times and didn't say much. After a while, and after telling him about the elixir, she also got up and left. When she stepped out of the black market gate, she passed her black girl and noticed her gaze. Feng Ju's foot was slightly stunned, and she glanced at her and walked away. The black girl turned and looked at the figure that had gone away, her eyes flashing, and she immediately got up and followed. After Feng Ju walked three streets, his footsteps suddenly stopped, and the voice of the play was also heard. With such a long time, are you trying to rob me? At the same time she spoke, she turned around. A black figure came out from behind, it was the black-faced girl. She looked at the red figure in front, her lips screaming and said, You have a medicinal taste on your body. You are a refining pharmacist who modulates the pharmacy. Feng Ji smiled and looked at her with her hands around her chest. The lips of the microhooks had a bit of evil, and then... The black girl looked at Feng Ju, silent, for a long time, her knees bent down and bowed her head, Please save my brother. Her voice was hard and stretched, cold, and although she was kneeling, her waist was standing straight. Obviously, this is not a master who will ask for help. The smile on the lips of Feng Ju deepened, but he shook his head, no rescue. As soon as the sound fell, she turned and walked forward. However, the figure that was originally squatting was once in the place where she was three steps ahead of her eyes. Please save my brother. It is still the hard, stretchy voice, still the straight waist. Feng Ju met, remembered her on the stage that day, that pair of eyes like a small beast, tenacious and firm. Then you said, why should I save your brother? I can help you kill. Feng Ju shook his head, the murder has a full-time black market killer. My life can be for you. She shook her head again, I want your life to be useless. Hearing her words, she looked up and looked straight at the person in front of her eyes, what do you want? Feng Ju's gaze looked up and down on her, shook her head, smiled evilly, and left without talking. Looking at the figure that gradually drifted away, the black girl stood up and shouted, I can give you a warm bed. After hearing the words behind him, Feng Ju's foot was under a shackle and almost fell to the ground. She turned back a little, looking at the black-faced girl, some uncertain questions, what do you say? The girl licked her lips and looked at the red figure, I can give you a warm bed. Feng Ju listened to this words, resisted the urge to laugh and laughed, and said, I still prefer beauty, you have a black face and a small steamed head to give me a warm bed. Upon hearing this, the black girl raised her sleeves and rubbed her face to reveal her original face. I am not ugly. She looked at Feng Ju. Yes, the girl is not only not ugly, but also very amazing, it is a natural beauty face, the delicate facial features with the small face of the palm should be a beautiful and beautiful beauty. However, there is no woman's shyness in her body, and some are cold and indifferent. However, the cold atmosphere on her body makes her feel like an ice beauty. In addition to the excellent face smeared, her eyebrows and eyes have also been modified, so I did not look at it. You don't have to look at it, you can naturally guess that the chest of her flat is bundled with cloth. 
she also loses her cleverness and knows to cover up her outstanding face. Otherwise, the face of light is enough to cause a lot of trouble. She strode back to the black girl's side and looked at her with a playful look, Do you really warm me? As long as you save my brother, my life is yours, let alone this body. She was very indifferent and seemed to carelessly, but the body that became tight due to the closeness of Feng Zhu, and the hand that was quietly picked up, told Feng Zhu that she was not what she showed. Care. Also, which girl would carelessly give a warm bed? Just surrender your own life? She glanced at her deeply, and her lips twitched slightly, lead the way. Yes. The girl squinted her eyes and asked her to take her to where she lived. After half an hour, Feng Zhu looked at the house where the wind was almost blown down, and then looked at the black girl who opened the door and walked in. She followed the step and entered the wooden bed. Teenager. The black girl washed the cloth and wiped his forehead and palms, and then looked at Feng Zhu, he is my brother. After taking the medicine two days ago, he vomited and stunned. Feng Zhu stepped forward and saw the young boy with a thin chin and sharpened his face. His face was pale and bloodless. When he glanced at it, he reached out and took a small wrist to explore the veins. Retracting his hand and commanding, untie his shirt. At the same time as he spoke, he took out the silver needle. The black-haired girl untied her brother's blouse and saw her holding a few needles on the body that seemed to be casually inserted with silver needles. Her heart was slightly lifted, and she resisted the urge to stop, and her eyes were tighter. Tightly staring at her brother, I am afraid that something has changed. After a while, Feng Zhu took back the silver needle and stood up, threw him and walk with me. Then he turned and walked outside. The black girl saw her faint younger brother on her back and followed her. When Feng Zhu came to the courtyard, he saw Guan Zichen moving the soft couch to the carriage. When she saw her back, she was delighted to call, Zaiju, what do you think of this carriage? I specially bought the biggest one, so on the road, if you want to rest, you can lie down and sleep in it, it will be more comfortable. When I saw the two people behind her, I was a little surprised and asked, what are they doing? Feng Juyi smiled, warm bed. It's a bit strange to hear about it. Why did you bring two such people back? Get on the bus. Feng Ju gestured, let the girl first put her brother on the carriage. Yes. With a cry, she walked toward the carriage. Guan Zia pulled her aside and lowered her voice and asked, Zaiju, are you going to take these two people together? The boy looks like his body is not so good. Can this be done? Will it be halfway out? What happened? Reassured, nothing, let's go. Saying, seeing no driver, he asked, Brother, don't you plan to drive yourself? Well, I can drive the car, rest assured, I can do it with one hand. He grinned and motioned, indicating that she was getting on the bus. Listening to him said that she did not say anything, and then jumped into the carriage and entered. Guan Zhu sat up after they got on the carriage, and drove the horse outside the town with one hand and set foot on the way back to Yunyu City. On the other side, Yunyu Eshin, Sujia. Hey! The middle-aged man in the main position took a heavy hand on the table, and suddenly stood up incredulously, glaring at the guards squatting underneath, his voice stunned and chilly. What? What do you say? Tell me again. The momentum of the superiors and the breath of the strong made the squatting guards underneath pale, cold sweats oozing out, but they had to open again. Hey, the family, the owner, the pavilion of Shilin Town sent people to say that they found three bodies of martial arts and martial arts. Suspicion and doubt are our Su and Su family. Hey! His whole person lost his mind and fell back and said incredulously, How is it possible? How is it possible? With the strength of the elders and the four elders, how could someone in Chilin Town kill someone? The squatting guard did not dare to speak, but the body was still shaking. Who is it? Who killed them? He stared at the guards below, the two guards accompanying them. Did they come back? 
The screaming guard whispered, No, I don't know who killed it. The two guards who accompanied him were afraid of the family and ran away. The elders and the four elders were killed together with the two masters. If the two of them came back, the anger of the owner was not so good, and naturally they fled outside. Good very good. His fists are tight, and the gloomy voice is cold and bloodthirsty, check it for me. Give me a good check. Hisijiaban is a medium-sized family of Unueshin. Although the power is not as strong as the four major forces of the eight major families, it is also famous on this side. Now, in less than a month, his son was killed and his brother was killed. Even the elders and the four elders were killed. If you don't find the murderer, this tone tells him how to swallow it. In a courtyard of Yunyu City. A black coat with excellent cold cream looked at the courtyard wearing a white coat and was wearing the soft boxing figure. The eyes were a bit complicated. That day, her younger brother woke up. On the night of the night, she fulfilled her promise to take her off and lie on her bed. At this time, she remembered that when she opened her quilt and saw her in the red fruit, she was confused and cried. It was also that time that she knew that she was the daughter. Since she does not need her warm bed, not to look at her beauty, why should she help her? However, no matter why, since she gave her life to her, she is her master, and this will not change. Cold Frost, is my brother coming back? Feng Ju put up his fist and looked at the beautiful girl standing on the steps. The more he looked, the more he felt pleasing. Cold Frost returned to God, walked towards her, and bowed his head slightly respectfully, the master, the young master has not returned yet. He went out early in the morning, and hasn't returned yet. She said strangely, and asked, isn't the family and Kay's family not after three days? It was after three days. Cold frost should be, the sound is a meal, and said, but when the young master left, he said that he wanted to go back in advance, and he did not want the master to follow. He said that he handled it himself. When Yan, Feng Ji smiled and thought that he was worried that if she went to the scene, she would not be able to clean up. Moreover, he should still not believe that Guanjia would be too cruel to him, and he would not believe that his people would be in the interest. Indifference to him in front of him. This is also good, let him deal with it, he will know that some people in the face of interests, even the brothers and brothers will certainly be ruthless. Her family, she didn't feel good about them. It's Feng family. When she thought about the things that she knew about Feng Jia after Yunyueshan, she had a complicated heart. The Feng Jia people really love Feng Qing songs, but they do not know that the Feng Qing songs that they are holding in their palms now kill their original daughters. The cold frost on the side looked at the distorted knife marks on Feng Ju's face, and could not help but flash. The knife marks of the road were scattered on the face of the master. The innumerable knives obscured her original face, and only those treacherous scars were seen. She really can't imagine, in the end, who would have destroyed a woman's face so thoroughly. What kind of hatred can you get to such a hand? Thinking of the master who has no self-protection, she secretly made up her mind that she must protect her from time to time. Now the cold frost, I do not know Feng Ju's skill and strength, because since she followed her, she saw her every morning in the yard with this soft and non-attacking boxing method. In addition, she is a refining pharmacist. Therefore, the preconceived notion also makes her think that she is only proficient in refining medicine, but she is vulnerable to cultivation. Feng Ju, who was thinking about things, noticed the cold frost and looked at her side and asked, What happened? The cold cream shook his head and lowered his head slightly. Seeing this, Feng Ju seems to think of something in general, put on his face, chuckled, Curious how this face of my face is destroyed. Her voice was slightly stunned, and she didn't care very much, in fact, it is much better now. At the beginning, even I can't stand it. She doesn't worry much about the scar on her face. After all, as long as the medicine is complete, it can be restored to the original face in a month. She is more worried about her cheaper brother's hand. 
there was news from the black market that the elixir she was looking for was hard to find, and she has not yet found it. One day the medicine was not good, and his hand could not be recovered in one day. Her heart could not be relieved one day. If she can't find the elixir, then she can only exchange things for those who have the elixir. At this time, in Kjia's Hong, Guan Xi, a young man in a Tibetan robes, looked so sullen and looked at the beautiful woman in front of him. The voice was hard and stretched and asked, Do you really want to marry my cousin? Is it your own consent? Or is your family forced? Your. K. Zinya was scared by the close enrollment that suddenly came in. They all said that he was dead, and she thought he was dead, so seeing him suddenly appeared in front of him, not happy, but shocked. You, are you not dead? She looked pale and her voice trembled at him. Guan Zito looked at her, her eyes were complicated, and she did not know why she would come here. Maybe, she was unwilling because she always regarded her as his woman. Xiao Zhu asked him if he liked Kei Zinya. He told her that she couldn't talk about it, but she still liked it a bit. After all, when she was young, she knew that she grew up to be his woman. She looked at her eyes and treated her attitude differently. But this person he always thought would become his woman, but now he wants to marry, or marry his cousin, this change makes him very uncomfortable. But now, he just wants to know, is she willing to do it herself? When KK and Kemu, who heard the news, saw the figure in the daughter's courtyard, their hearts snorted and their faces changed slightly. How are you? Guan Zai turned back and saw that it was Kefu Er Lao, and he calmly said, I will come to a sentence. He said, instead of looking at them, he stared at Kei Zinya in front of him. Seeing her daughter's face pale, her eyes are not afraid to look at him. Kemu's distressed approach put her in her arms, and some dissatisfied squatting. What are you doing? Your marriage contract with my family Ziala has been solved. Who is Ziala married and what is it for you? XIXI. Your marriage contract was released after the two families of Guanke negotiated. As for Ziala and your cousin's relatives, they also agreed with the parents. Kefu looked at Guan Ziu, and his heart sighed. The seedlings are good seedlings, but it is a pity that there is no father or mother. How can they not compare with the status of his cousin? Do you agree? He still looked at Kei Zinya, and he wanted to ask. However, seeing him repeatedly asking her daughter, Kemu is also annoyed. What is Ziala's agreement? Will it be lost with you if you follow Guangzai? You don't look at what you have? Parents are not. What is the status of Guangjia in the home? Her words are flustered and her words are ridiculous. She continues, tell you anyway, let you die, but the parents are talking about it. After three months, the younger brothers of the family will run for election. I will win and become a young master. In this way, my family Ziala K is the wife of the young master. In the future, I will be the owner of the family, but the wife of the family who is the family, follow you, what can I have? After listening to her words, Guan Zia did not speak. He just stared at Kei Zinya, who was guarded by her mother for a long time, and left without a word. Cody looked at his inability to hang his hand on his side, and he was a little surprised, how does his right hand seem to be abolished? Kemu did not care very much, take him so much to do, anyway, he has nothing to do with our family Ziala. I will go back to the house first. Kei Zinya said, she went to the room. When she closed the door, she went to the dressing table and sat down. She looked at a wooden scorpion in the jewelry box. She picked it up and threw it into the corner of the corner. My choice is not wrong, I will not regret it, I will not regret it. She abandoned the slightest discomfort in her heart and her eyes were firm, because she knew that even if she was good to her, she still couldn't give her what she wanted. I am back. In the courtyard, Feng Zhu looked up and saw him coming back with anger. He couldn't help but smile, what is this? Who is messing with you? I ran to Kay's house. He went to the table and sat down, 
poured a glass of water and poured it. Going to Kijia. She looked at him with a strange look, I thought you were a return home. I won't go back home, I will wait three months and then go back. I will retreat in these three months. When she heard the words, she blinked at the slightest blink of an eye, how come out to be so irritated? He told her the family's words, and finally, said, so I decided, they want to get married, let them go into a good enough. Anyway, after three months of family campaign, I must fight the customs. Go on. Let them know that I am not good at bullying. He must let them regret, not only the K family, but also the elders of the family. They all think that he is not as good as Guan Xi, but he will prove to show them that Guan Xi is not as good as him. Feng nodded nine times, well, I agree, I just let the cold cream go to the black market. Within three months, I will let your hand recover. His heart was warm, revealing a smile, Xiaoju, thank you. You are my brother, what are you thankful? Okay, go back to the house to practice. Before the hand has recovered, the mind will learn first, then you can get twice the result with half the effort. Okay, then I will go back to the house first. He stood up, and he went to the room. The next days, calm and busy. Guan Xi is busy with the practice of the law, Feng Zhu is also busy practicing, developing drugs, because of the busy days, time is a blink of an eye. Unconsciously, they returned to Yunya City for two months. Moreover, the method used for bartering did not take up the medicine she needed for a month, and it took a month and a half to cure her brother's hand. These two months, let her reputation in this cloud city gradually open, for no reason, because even those who have not been to the black market know that there is a ghost doctor in Yunya City, not only highly skilled, but also refined medicine. Only the dragons see the end of the dragon, only the name of the ghost doctor, but not the ghost doctor. If the whole cloud city says that someone knows what the ghost doctor is, that is a black market deacon undoubtedly, but the black market is not a general power, the black market power is spread all over the country, even if the Yeokuo country's national lord cannot open the black market's mouth to ask the ghost doctor identity. Many forces came to seek to see, but unfortunately one by one was rejected, even the Yeokuo's nationals personally came to see the ghost doctor. It is precisely because of this that the identity of the ghost doctor becomes more mysterious and makes people more curious. Early morning, in the courtyard. Feng Jiuchen taught his cold brother, Lang Hua, to play Tai Chi, and he heard the voice of Guan Zia with a bit of joy from far and near. Ziyaju, the peach blossoms and the peach blossoms are open. You are not saying that you want to see it. I will go with you today. Feng Zhu slowly put up his fist and whispered his mouth. He said to Lenghua, you continue to practice. This is how to look at Guan Xi, said, brother, I have already asked for cold cream to go, and I will leave, but hey, you should not go. When he couldn't let him go, he was anxious, how can I not go? How about going with you and the cold cream? What if I have any trouble? Feng Ji smiled and said, How come? You don't know the cold cream. You can say, you don't forget that after a month, you have to fight in front of the people, not much practice. How can I do it? Her voice was slightly stunned and said, Not to mention, I heard that the scenery of the peach blossoms is good, I plan to stay there for a few days and come back. Do you live for a few days? He glanced and said, but the peach blossoms have never been left for people to stay. Feng Juyi smiled, I don't want to stay, but, what do you think? She took a thing out of the space and raised it in front of him. Guan Xi took a look and couldn't help but exclaimed with wide eyes, lease of title? Deed of peach blossoms? How do you get it? Someone went to the black market last month to ask for me? I didn't want to pay attention to it, but I saw that the reward was that the peach blossoms were taken over, so this place is all ours in the future. She smiled and put away the title deed, saying, I just have a free time. I used to look at it. 
one rewards the peach blossoms, and the other looks at the place. If it feels good, I will use it as a ghost doctor. Guan Xi's eyes are bright, said, the peach blossoms of the peach blossoms are very large, and the outer layers are full of peaches. However, its name is called peach blossom, but in fact it is not related to the shackles. I used to be far away. I saw it a long time ago, and the pavilions inside were very elegant. I heard that the peach blossoms that were not allowed to enter the inner area were transplanted from other places. They bloomed all the year round and are beautiful. When Yan, Fengju gave him a look, jokingly said, Brother, you know it quite clearly. Guanxiu scratched his head and smiled awkwardly, I have been to a few friends before, so I know some. Said, seeing her still staring at him, cannot help but wave, go. I will not follow, and wait for me to go back. Well, wait until there is done, you and Lenghua are not too late. She nodded and looked at the coldness of Tai Chi practicing behind her, saying, you come over. After finishing the hand, Langhua whispered his mouth and gas, and he quickly came to her side. Master! Since he woke up, his body improved day by day. He had difficulty in walking a few steps in the past. Now he can learn Taiji with his master. Although, he also felt that this soft Tai Chi was useless, but the master said that it was good for his body, so he followed it. Looking at the teenager who had been fat for two months, Feng Ji smiled and said, I went to Dehua with your sister, you stayed to nurse your body, and, stare at my brother, see if he has be lazy. Guan Zhu, who was around the side of Lang Hua Chao, glanced at him and nodded seriously, yes, I will stare at the young master. Why can I stare at him? This kid can take care of himself. Guan Zhu whispered. Feng Ju did not care, continued, and, Tai Chi will practice sooner or later. Good. He responded again. At this time, a cold cream in a tight black dress came in. When they saw that they were in the courtyard, they came to Feng Ju's side and said, The master, the carriage is ready. Well, I am going to change my clothes and leave. She said as she walked to the room. Cold Frost only looked at her brother. His eyes softened a bit, and he confessed, I go out with the master, you take care of yourself at home. Lenghua nodded and said with no confidence, Sister, you have to protect the master, don't let people bully her. Guan Xi, who heard this, nodded and said, Well, yes, you must look after it, especially if you can't let those people get close to Xiaoju. The more I think about it, the less assured I am, in fact, I should follow it right. Unfortunately, Xiaoju did not let him follow, and he also had to practice at home. Cold Frost saw him with a worried look, this is the way, the young master does not have to worry, I will guard the master. Then, and confessed to a few words with Cold, this went to the door and waited for Fengju come out. After a short time, Fengju, who was put on a red dress, stepped out and walked out with the Cold Frost. After sitting in the carriage, she told the two people who were sent to the door, let's go, go back. Be careful on the road. Guan Zhu said, in fact, it takes about two hours to go to the peach blossoms here, but he is like how far they are going, and he has to confess with the old mother. Feng Ju put down the curtain and sat outside with the cold frost, which allowed the driver to drive away and go to the peach blossoms. At the same time, Feng Fu, Yui Yiwen. Hello, are you okay? Yuxuan is waiting outside for you for a long time. A phoenix general who was in a shackle was walking around with a step outside, and looked at the closed door from time to time. When he saw the door open and his baby daughter came out, he quickly went over. How do you let say how to say hello? Since Ru Yun has gone, you don't even have a gimmick around you. What do you do yourself like? You are my daughter of Feng Xiao, don't do anything, since there will be people who will serve you properly. If you listen to it, look back and find it to follow. If you can't do it, you will be transferred from Feng Gui. In the Feng Qing songs, 
there was a smile in the face, and the beautiful face was with a hint of tenderness, reaching out to hold his hand. Hey, don't worry about it. It's all trivial. I can do it myself. Besides, I am the daughter of the mighty general. If everything is done by others, others can't say that I am so weak. Not decent. Feng Xiao I listened, and the heavy sword eyebrows suddenly stood up. The tiger looked at it and said, Who dares to say? Who dares to say that I will teach him a good meal? When the sound was heard, he said again, My daughter has to be raised, not to mention, I only have such a baby daughter, you are not hurting you, who is the one who hurts? Okay, okay. Let's talk about it later. Don't let me wrong's brother wait a long time in the front hall. She took him and went to the front hall. Do you know how to let him wait for a long time? Then I will find another girl when I turn back. Some things can help you do it, and save a lot of time. He groaned, though his statement was rough and majestic, but his eyes were full of favor. Yes, yes, I listen to you, I will look back when I look back, I must find it. She continued. Feng Xia was nodded with satisfaction and smiled. This is almost the same. In the front hall, Murong Yuxuan, holding a teacup, looked at the tea in the cup and looked a little distracted. This time, she always remembered the red woman who met in Chilin town. Not for the other, just for the inexplicable familiarity. He once suspected that the songs were transferred, but they found something that only the two of them knew, she knew. In this way, that is to say, this time he thinks more? Just thinking, I heard the laughter coming from outside. He looked up and saw her coming with Feng Xiao. The father and the daughter are intimate and natural, and the demeanor and relatives can't be faked. What's more, if it is really fake, Feng Xiao is her father, and the closest relatives will not be able to detect it. In fact, he did not know, for Feng Xiao, Feng Kinga is his daughter, a close relative, he is who doubts and will not doubt the head of his daughter. Even if I noticed something different from the previous one, I wouldn't think that my daughter was replaced by someone else, because that kind of thing is too unbelievable. Moreover, his daughter, what he thinks is good, no matter what she does, what she becomes, in his heart, she is his daughter, and should not be suspected. Mirong brother. Feng Ching Song released the hand holding Feng Xiao, ran to his side, Happy eyes looked at him with love, you have been waiting for a long time. Concentrating on the distracting thoughts in his heart, he put down the teacup in his hand and stood up, revealing a touch of refined smile, no, I have just arrived. He looked at the phoenix that came in, and he gave a ceremony and called, Xiao Shu. In Fengjia, he is not the three princes, but the future son-in-law of the Feng family. They are the children who grew up watching Murong Yuxuan, so they are the rights of the younger generation. Oh, Yi Xian. It's rare that you have time to go out with this girl. I am relieved to have you with her. Feng Xiaolang smiled and said, The peach blossoms have two hours away from this. It is not too long before this steamed bread. You are going to start soon. Don't go there for noon. Hey, you really don't go with us? Anyway, you are still at home, it's better to go together. Just as I can accompany you to enjoy the scenery of peach blossoms and peach blossoms. She swayed with the arms of Feng Xiao the language is spoiled. Wen Yan, Feng Xiao laughed, ha ha ha, no more, there is Yi Xian to accompany you, but it is in the way, you two to play well, do not have to hurry back. He looked at Mirong Yuxuan and said, Yi Xian, this girl will trouble you to take care of it. For this future son-in-law, he is more satisfied with the more he looks. The two men are acquainted with each other and are only waiting to pick a ecliptic. Xiao Xu is relieved, I will take care of the songs. He looked at the cheeky Feng Qing song, and his lips showed a smile, hiding the strangeness in his heart. Feng Xiao sent the two men to the carriage. After watching the carriage far away, they went to Fengfu. On the other side, Peach Blossom. 
Follow the path to the Phoenix Nine in the inner circle of the peach blossoms to see the more satisfied the scenery. Such a place to live is undoubtedly the best, not only suitable for cultivation, but also suitable for cultivation. Peach Blossom is located in a mountain forest south of Yunyu City. The whole forest is full of peach blossoms, and you can't see the end. The peach blossom is in the depths of the Dahua Forest. It is a place like a fairyland, but no outsiders are allowed to set foot. In this case, every year, when the peach blossoms are in full bloom, it still attracts many visitors to visit Doshan. It is also a glimpse of the peach blossoms in the depths of the peach forest. Now, this peach blossom falls into her hands. After looking around, she stopped, cold frost, the black old city is not adjusting a black guard? You told me to keep them at the foot of the mountain and seal the mountain for three days. Yes. No doubts, no doubts, after the cold frost respectfully responded, this went back and passed the news to the black guard. When the black guard received the order, it was immediately executed. Because that is the strict command of the old, to unconditionally obey the arrangement of the man, there must be no disrespect. Fengshan's order, some tourists who enjoy the flowers on the mountain naturally have to be expelled. After all, the peach blossoms belong to the private territory, and the host family will let them come in to see the flowers in the peach forest. If they refuse, then they can only leave. Go with. It was still early, and there were not many people in Dalin, so it took less than half an hour to expel those tourists from the boundaries of the peach blossoms. At this time, Feng Zhu and the peach blossoms came to a pavilion and saw a grey-haired old man sweeping the ground in the courtyard. She stopped and asked, The servants here have left, how are you still there? The old man in grey coat turned back with a broom and looked at the red figure standing under the peach tree in the courtyard. He said, it has been reluctant to leave after sweeping it for more than ten years. When Yan said that Feng Zhu showed a smile, her eyes fell on the grey old man's body, and the bottom of his eyes passed a touch of unclear light, if you are not willing to leave, then stay. The grey-coated old man glanced at her and looked at her again. He continued to sweep the ground and did not speak again. Feng Zhu did not care to turn and left. And just after she left, the grey old man stopped his hand and glanced in the direction of her departure, then regained his gaze and continued to sweep the ground. When Murong Yuxuan accompanied Feng Kinga to the peach blossom, he learned that the new owner of the peach blossoms ordered the closure of the mountain for three days. Seeing this, he looked at the Feng Qing song around him and said, We are not coming, it is three days to seal the mountain. It can only come again in three days. Because of the closure of the mountain, she was a little depressed, after three days, will you accompany me? If you say that you are busy, what should I do? Hearing this, he smiled softly and said softly, no, I will do it if I promise you. That can't be done, come here, even if you can't get into the mountains, can you go around? She said, she held his arm and said, Mu Rong brother, you will accompany me. All right. He nodded his head and it took it. Wen Yan, Feng Ching songs are happy to open, happy to say, Mu Rong brother you are too good. Mu Rong Yuxuan smiled and didn't say much, just stayed with her and took a look at the mountain scenery. Perhaps it was his coldness, and Feng Ching song was a little overwhelming. She suddenly stopped and looked at the people around her, biting her lower lip, and asked with aggrieved words, Mu Rong brother, do you not like me? Already. Mu Rong Yuxuan was slightly surprised, how do you say that? This time I feel that you are faint to me, and it is not very happy to be with me. She glanced at him and sighed down, in the past, you would not be like this. Do you not like me? Stupid girl, how come? He smiled and licked her head, I am just worried. Ah. She looked at him with a confused look. Murong Yuxuan smiled and said, The ancient beasts were born in Jufulin. However, they have not heard of the income of the people. They also attracted the strong powers of other countries. This is a big event for the royal family. Recently, 
I also thought about it and my mood was a bit heavy, which made you think. After hearing this, Feng Kinga just let go of his heart, and his face once again showed a smile and smiled, I have come here, you don't think about anything else. The scenery of this Doshan mountain is so beautiful, it can just distract. Yet. He smiled and walked with her on the mountain path. Three days is enough for Feng Ju to slightly rectify the peach blossoms. She first changed the peach blossom to Dawahu, and used the method of learning the cloth around the Dawahu to isolate the inner circumference from the periphery. This way, there is no need to worry about people outside entering the Dawahu and disturbing her. Peach Blossom Forest is available for visitors to enjoy, but she set a bit and enters Dalin to collect money. There are no other people in Dawahu. Apart from Fengju and Cold Cream, there is only the old man who sweeps the floor. Around Doshan, it was surrounded, leaving only one entrance and exit, and the money that was collected at the mountain pass was the black guard transferred from the black market. Three days later, when many tourists came to Dahuashan again, they learned that Dahualan was actually collecting money, and many people were wrong. I want to pay for the flowers in the mountains. What is the distance? That is, we didn't use it before. Isn't such a large piece of peach forest released? How do you collect money? Some people indignantly glared at the several black guards who guarded the entrance and exit. They felt that they were unreasonable in collecting money and could not accept it. Some people say that understanding, after all, Dillon is a private place. It is also reasonable to enter the private places of people to give money. It is more than heart. If they are in their home, they will not be plain and make people want to go in and play. The scenery is on the scene. Highway would not be so amiable to explain the reason. One of them swept the squatting person and said with a calm voice, If you want to go in, you will pay the money, and you will not be willing to spend money to stay on the side. Those people are said this way, naturally they will not admit that they are not willing to spend money, so they are all blushing and paying for money, and this is so discouraged into Dalin. Not far from the Fengqing Song holding the hand of Murong Yuxuan, looking at the scene in front, some doubts said, is this peach blossom changed the owner? Isn't this place a private place not to sell? Who? So big ability, can you buy it here? And Murong Yuxuan's line of sight fell on the three words of Dawahu, and his eyes were slightly bright, and he could not help but praise, good word. The wild and free-spirited font has a strong and cozy style. Just look at the font to know that the person is a free and easy person. If you want to come, write this Dawahu three-word person, it must be this Dawahu. The new owner. Moreover, according to the news, it seems that the new owner of this Dawahu is a mysterious ghost doctor who only recently heard his name but did not see anyone. Hearing his heartfelt praise, Feng Kinga also followed his gaze. I really saw that the three words of the Dawahu were flying and dancing. She was not good at calligraphy. She also had to admit that the three words were written. Very good. Let's go. Murong Yuxuan smiled and said to the Fengqing song around him. In the original, he didn't feel anything about the flowers. Now he has added a bit of interest. Yet. Fengqing song sighed and walked beside him. In the peach blossoms in Dawahu, Fengju is sitting under a peach tree to make tea and flowers, while the cold frost is standing still away. A breeze blows, shaking a tree of red and white petals. Cold frost. Master. The cold frost behind came over. You go back and tell my brother to go back when he waits for the election to go home, let him not be distracted, practice well, and Lengua will stay there and be with him then come over again. Yes. She responded, but did not step, hesitated, and asked, Master, I will not be protected when I go back to you. Wen Yan, Feng Ju couldn't help but chuckle, looking at her eyebrows and looking at her, Do you see your master? I am so weak that people need people to protect themselves. Without waiting for her answer, she waved her hand and gestured, Go. Don't worry here. In the three days here, every night she entered the space to practice, and her strength progressed rapidly. 
however, she was able to hide the whole body and make it undetectable. After all, her identity as a ghost doctor and a refining pharmacist is already very popular. If she is known to be a strong man, it will certainly make some people feel threatened. Moreover, her space has an ancient beast, even if it is still in its infancy. Not a glimpse. The cold frost left, and Feng Zhu got up lazily and walked out of the peach blossoms on the light footsteps. In a red dress, she didn't wear men's clothing. The loose hair was loosely tied with red silk. She didn't wear shoes. The red skirt couldn't cover the delicate white feet. She stepped on the smooth, smooth stone road step by step, and the delicate toe of the seductive red was exposed from the red skirt. Unconsciously, I walked away and faintly heard the sound of the melody from outside. Okay. She glimmered and shook her eyes, and then she took a touch of surprise. Then, she took out the red veil from her sleeve and covered her face. The toes were light, and it was like a flower elf in the peach blossoms. After a while, it was gone. Array. The red figure jumped and sat in a beautifully blooming peach branch. The white and delicate feet swayed in the air and looked very leisurely. She lazily leaned against the peach branch behind her, and stretched out her hand to make a peach blossom to play. Listening to the sound of the piano that came from not far away, the lip corner under the veil could not be slightly picked up. A song of the gods, elegant and elegant, like a drop of jade plate, crisp and crisp, and like a mountain stream, when the time is slow, the flow is long. Such a gahan song, she does not think that this magical cultivation world will have. Suruyun, Suruyun, you said that I haven't been looking for you yet. How come you come to me twice? She whispered softly, and the half-squatting beauty passed a glimmer of light, and a strange smile appeared on the bottom of her eyes. When she wanted to fly and jump to the front, she suddenly felt that an invisible gaze fell on her. Body. Her head was slightly stunned, and she looked at the past with a peach blossom. In this look, the eyes could not help but float up and smile, and the brilliance of the flow, a little smile, like a dazzling star, unconsciously fascinated. Is her. Murong Yixian looked at her and there were surprises and tensions in his eyes that he did not even notice. He looked at the red figure sitting in the peach blossoms like an elf, watching her a pair of delicate white feet swaying in the midair, watching her head from the back of the peach blossoms, and the pair as if the talking eyes are filled with a little smile. He only felt a heart screaming, a kind of surprise feeling filled with a feeling of sorrow filled in the chest, gradually swaying, unable to suppress himself. Mirong brother? What are you doing here? Hearing the sound behind him, he returned, and the instinctive look back at the sound, Ching Song? How come you? As soon as the sound fell, I seemed to think of something. I looked back at the peach tree. The elf-like woman has disappeared, as if it was just his illusion. When the petals were shaken by the breeze, there was a fascinating flower rain, but there was a faint sensation in his heart that was unclear. You still have a good time to say it. I wanted to play the piano for you. Who knows that you ran here to see flowers? She looked down at his gaze and saw only the petals falling with the wind. One place. The peach blossoms here are very charming, and I don't think I'm crazy. He said softly, his face was light and his face was obviously distracting. I want to say that the peach blossoms around this are the same. The look of Fengking's song is awkward and asks, Mu Rong brother, have you smelled something? Scent? This air is a peach blossom. No. She shook her head. It seems like there is another smell. As she spoke, the voice of the screaming came from her. She looked down the sound and saw that a large bee in the black wee view not far away was coming to this side. Her face immediately changed. The excitement of living. B. Murong Yuxuan also changed his face when he saw the large group of bees, and immediately pulled up her hand and ran. Thousands of bees came up, but they couldn't get them with one or two hands. However, even if there are bees collecting nectar here, there should not be so many bees coming to them at once. 
What? Feng Ching Song screamed, only feeling that his hand was smashed, and then the body also dropped ten bees, scared her to shoot on himself. Go away. Go away. Looking at the bees around, I only glared at her. Mirong Yuxuan snorted and quickly took off her robe to her. But before she met her, she heard her scream and slammed her body. Jumped a few steps to avoid the bee that caught up. Mirong brother. Mirong brother a lot of bees yell at me, ah. She shouted and ran, and the bees were also chasing behind me, especially when she crossed the front of the crowd, and the tourists were screaming and screaming, but they found that the bees only chased the phoenix song is one person. Is she touching something? How can she attract so many bees? She had just had a scent on her body when she ran here. It might have been too much powder. Being so many bees, the face is estimated to be swollen like a pig. The surrounding tourists, both male and female, stood by and watched the Feng Ching song full of Dylan running, and some women looked at her with gloating eyes. The crowd looked at the group of bees that were chasing after them. Some of them flew faster on her face, causing her to scream and think of the feeling of falling on her body. The body is not tight. Ah! Mirong brother! Mirong brother save me! At this time, Mirong Yuxuan was also awkward because of this sudden scene, and at the same time he was helpless. When I think of the bees being afraid of fire, I quickly took out the fire and tried to drive away with the fire, but I saw her screaming and ran to the 100 meters away, and slammed into the pool where the peach trees were poured. Hiss! The crowd took a sigh of relief and looked at the scene incredibly. Mirong Yuxuan came back to see the bees hovering over it and flew for a while and finally left. This was quickly coming up, pulling her up from the water and wrapping her in her coat. Ching, how are you? Mirong Yuxuan was slightly panic, seeing her face swollen on her face, could not help but feel a distressed and guilty. When she left the door, she promised that Xiao Xu would protect her, but now she was chased by bees, and there was nowhere to hide into the pool making her wolf. Feng Kinga did not speak, but sagged slightly and his body shivered slightly. Someone directed at her. That is the fragrance. Who is it? Who is targeting her? When she thought of her wolverine bees chasing the running of the peach forest, she jumped into the water to escape the bees, and she was so angry that she trembled. Mirong Yuxuan thought she was sore and cold and shivering and quickly picked her up and quickly went to the carriage. Looking at Mirong Yuxuan with Feng Kinga leaving, the tourists around the flowers whispered. No one noticed that on a peach tree not far away, a red figure was smiling in the peach branches. In the next moment, she swept through the peach forest like a fairy in the flower, and disappeared instantly in the peach blossom. Returning to Niwei, she took the following yarn and was happy with the little song. She stepped on the goose stone under her feet and leaped. When she came inside, she met the old man and was sweeping the ground. Then she stopped and looked at him. Continue to walk on the stone and walk inside. Waiting for the red figure to go inside, the old man sweeping the ground looked up, glanced at her, his eyes were slightly moving, but his look remained unchanged, and he continued to sweep his head down. The cold frost came back at noon and it seemed that she was not assured that she stayed in the Dawahu, so she almost rushed back after the news was conveyed. Feng Ju gave her a sword method, let her practice hard, and she moved some medicines and closed the door. Sometimes it was a whole day, and even the rice did not come out to eat. The days in Dawahu are in peace and comfort. In the meantime, the phoenix licks the herbs and cultivates them. The days are busy and full. No one knows that in less than a month after coming to Dawahu, her cultivation has already reached the middle of the martial arts. It took her less than a month to develop a realm of time that she spent more than a decade or more. At this time, she did not know that in the courtyard where Guan Zhong and Lenghua were in the city, a killing broke the tranquility that was maintained. Who are you? Why are you in the courtyard? Guan Xi, who only wore a white coat, held a sword in his hand and looked directly at the dozens of black men who were forced to enter the hospital. 
The enchantment in the courtyard was broken by these people, and as a result, they were alarmed by the sleeping ones. Lengua hurriedly put on his clothes and saw the black man wearing a long sword outside. He was shocked. After all, he never faced such a scene. At this time, he saw those black people. They are surrounded by bloodthirsty swords, and they are shocked. A figure wearing a black robes with a negative hand came out from behind, the gaze of the eyes stared at Guanzhou, the sneer of the negative test. Those who killed my family, do you think you can hide? And the grey-clothed old man who was with him swept away the customs and cold eyes, his brow wrinkled, and his voice calmly asked, Who is the cloth that is under the law? It turned out to be the owner of Su. When I heard the middle-aged man in Suanyi, Guanzi remembered who he was. Like the Guanjia, Sujia is only a medium-sized family in Yunyueshan. However, Sujia has nothing to do with Guanjia. He has never seen such a family owner before. However, Su's family in Yunyu City has been ranked first. And only that one. What did the Su family say about killing you? Is there any misunderstanding? Having said that, my heart is spinning fast. I guess this can be related to Zaiju, but I can't admit it at the moment. As for the old man in the grey coat, it is even more strange. He has never seen the man, but he has broken the pattern of Zaiju. It is not easy to think about it. Thinking of this, he approached the coldness behind him and lowered his voice and said, You are looking for a chance to escape. Don't let them catch it. Although Lang Hua was a little confused, he calmed down at this time. This time his body has been nursed back and his physique has become better. However, he has never cultivated and he has never been able to fight with these people. If he stays, he will only let the younger brothers distract, but he might as well escape. The method is to inform the master and sister. Thinking of this, he moved back slightly. Misunderstanding? Ha 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 ha. A misunderstanding. Su Jiazhu laughed loudly, and the laughter suddenly stopped. His eyes were gloomy and bloodthirsty and stared at him, my son, my second brother, and the two elders of my Su family died in the hands of the stinky girl. You thought it was a sentence. Misunderstanding can be done? It's too naive. Really? Guan Xi's heart is awkward and it's really a small nine who killed his Sioux family. Just, when is this? Why didn't he know? What about the stinky girl? Hurry and ask her to come out and die. Su Jiazu sighed with a sullen voice, his eyes swept over the surroundings, but he saw that the movement was so big. In addition to Guanzhou, there was only one uncultivated in this courtyard. Teenager. Su Jiazu, we just said it. Grab people and don't kill them. The old man still has to ask, where did her formation learn from it? The voice of the old man in the grey coat seems to be I directed at the array of Fengju. I promise you something, Su will definitely do it. At the moment, I still have to ask the whereabouts of the stinky head. When the sound fell, he gestured, catch them for me. Come on. Guan Xi sighed and pushed Lenghua to the back and he blocked the attack for him. Hey! Call out! The sound of the sword's collision sounded crisply in the night, and the fierce breath crossed. Guan Ziu's long sword guarded the attack of the black man and wanted to win more opportunities for Leng Hua to escape. Of course, he is not Feng Zhu after all. Although the combat effectiveness has improved, it is obviously incomparable compared with the people who have been carefully selected by this master. Not to mention, it is still an enemy and ten, not a moment. The white coat on his body is already bloodstained. But those black people who wanted to take him without hurting his life were obviously a little hard, so the Sioux family who had watched for a while had a sullen voice. It's all waste. I flew out of my own hands, and the palm of my hand contained a strong sense of mystery. Boom. Puff. Guanzia was shot by him. When the body flew out, a blood spurted out. He fell to the ground and had not had time to stand up. Nearly ten swords had already reached his throat, 
so that he could not move half a point. At this time, a black came to his side, the owner, inside and outside, searched, did not find other people, only the teenager fled back, but we have two brothers to chase. At the same time, the coldness that escaped from the back door was blocked by two black guards. When the two black guards saw that Lang Hua was an ordinary person who had no repairs, he did not put him in his eyes. You can't escape. Let's just let it go. During the conversation, a black man leaned over and buckled at his wrist. He wanted to push him back and bring it back. But who knows, he intends to hold the boy's hand but is buckled by the teenager's back hand. The whole person was pulled and pushed and slammed into another black man. Hey! What the are you doing? The other person was hit by the head, could not help but roar, pushed the man away, saw the young man sprinting out, beaten in one place, and the sword in his hand turned, and a sword flew out. Court death! What? Lenghua screamed, his footsteps slammed, only the burning pain behind him, a warm liquid flowing down from behind, making his face pale. But he didn't stop, he still ran forward, but a black figure leaped, and he easily crossed him in front of him. Run? Why don't you run? If you can't even catch it, wouldn't it be a joke to go back? The black guard sneered, holding the sword and attacking again. The goal was to stab a sword in his left leg. But who knows, the young figure who was still in front of him flashed his attack, even in the absence of his reaction, his hand holding the sword was clasped by his hands and wiped to the neck. Hiss. What? The black guard had only had an incredible sigh of relief, and he saw the sword that he was holding in his hand smeared at his neck. The speed was so fast that no one else could stop it. Boom. A heavy fall. The black guard guarded the whole person and fell down. Unsatisfied eyes violently screamed at the throat. The cut wound was like a blood column, and it quickly became red. Lenghua seems to have been scared by his instinctive reaction. He has not cultivated it. Some of them are only learning Taiji with the master. This time is playing Taiji in the morning and evening. The Taiji technique has penetrated into the bone marrow. When danger comes, he is almost instinctual from Tai Chi from the insurance. He knew that he would not escape if he did not kill the other black man. So he gave up and fled, but turned to look at the black guard who was in the wrong face, slowly falling down with his hands. Slightly lifted, the heart meditation Taiji mouth. Shun the top of the two arms loose, the ribs under the gas to support the stalls. What a hell! The black guard saw his companion being killed. The kid didn't escape. He also played a soft boxing method, and immediately attacked with a sword. As for the front. Say. Where did the stinky head hide? He stepped on Guan Xi's chest and suddenly spilled blood in his mouth. He was sulking and didn't speak. He only glared at him with a pair of eyes. Bring him back. I don't believe you can't open his mouth. Su Jiazu said with a sullen voice. Seeing that the two guards who chased the boy had not returned yet, they could not help but frown. What happened? Even catching an ordinary person who has not been repaired can't catch it. If you can't catch it, kill it directly. Don't leave alive. At this time, a black guard came in a hurry, homeowner, our two brothers were killed, the boy ran. What? Was it killed by a repair? His voice was slightly lifted, with anger, striding toward the back door, and sure enough, seeing the two guards fall to the ground, one was wiped the neck, and the other was stabbed in the chest by a sword. Seeing this, his face was heavy and his fist tightened, very good. I didn't expect a kid who didn't fix it, but he also had such a big skill to kill me. The followers of the old man caressed their beards, if they are not repaired, they can kill those who have repaired, and there are also masters in this place. It seems that there is a secret in the woman. Thinking of this, his slightly squinting eyes swept through the light. What is the relationship between the man who was caught and the woman? The old man looked at the Su family. Wen Yan said that Su Jiazuo came back and said, 
the man is a child of the middle family of Yunyueshan, but he was said to have died in Jufulin a while ago. I guess the woman saved him, the relationship between the two. Yes, it seems to be commensurate with brothers and sisters. So, if she knew that the man was caught, it would have appeared. Yet. Yeah. Su Jiazuo nodded, then his face slowed down, let the boy escape, he escaped, he will find the woman told her that he was arrested, I will not believe, that Xi Yan is in my hands, she will not come. The old man's brows were slightly twisted and he said with a calm voice, if this family knows that he is in your hand, will there be any action? Oh, how come? This is the abandonment of the family, his fiancé was robbed by his cousin, who will be cared for by his family. That's good. Before he could lead the woman, he couldn't die, and he couldn't make any trouble. The old man said with a calm voice. Hearing this, Sue's mind was slightly moving, and some doubts looked at the old man, predecessors, you are already a master of the battle, how can you be interested in the formation of a small girl? The old man glanced at him and looked pale, the old man's thing, Su family is still not curious, don't want to be good, know that the more people know, the faster you die. Being said this, the Su family did not dare to ask more. After all, the identity of the old man is not that he can offend. As for the other side. The cold escaped escaped in an alley and gasped. His body was full of blood and there were his guards who were killed by him. He was the first to kill. He was in a critical situation and didn't think much about it. At this time, his body was shaking slightly. He was afraid and could not calm down. I hid for a while in the alley, and there was no movement around. I didn't catch up. He just bit his teeth and stood up against the wall and stared at the night to go to Dawahu. He knows that the other identity of the master is a ghost doctor, but also has a black market, but at this time he can not go to the black market, because in the past his sister went to the black market, and did not say that those people do not know him, that is, let him go in. However, I am afraid that things will grow bigger and expose the identity of the master. The wound on the back could not be bandaged with blood, wet and wet on the body, and every time he walked. He hurt the wound, which made his face weaker and paler. Even so, he's still walking with your teeth. When the sky is going to be bright, the sky is still in a grey state. Several black guards in the forest are chatting while patrolling the mountains. When they come to the front, they see a glimpse of the figure falling down and coming to this side. The people looked at each other and walked quickly to the front and side. Who? Lang Huakyang walked forward with a heavy body step by step, and the body fell slightly and fell and climbed up. The wound on his back seemed to be blood solidified. He was already unaware, his feet were heavy, and he was struggling every step. The eyes are gradually blurred. When he saw the night patrol, he swayed and fell again. He reached out and dried his throat, take me, take me to see cold, cold cream, she... She is my sister. His voice was weak, but the black guards still heard it. Cold cream brother? They had a touch of surprise in their eyes. One person went forward to inspect the wound, and one person swiftly swept inside. Whether it was true or not, he had to inform the cold frost before he said it. Who are you talking about? My brother. After hearing the black guards' words, the cold frost that came out of the ringing of the ringing method was a heartbeat, what about people now? Where? Take me to see. Iowa should be with the young master in the hospital, how come here? Is it something? When the cold frost rushed in, when he saw the coldness of his body, his face changed greatly. The light blue clothes on his body had been dyed into blood, and her heart was shaking. Ahua! Ah. She trembled trying to help him but didn't know how to start, only shouted, fast. Send him in. Holding the black guard of the cold and the other black guard behind the cold frost, when they came to the peach front, the two thought, maybe this time you can go inside and look at it, no matter what, the front cold frost stopped. Give him to me. She stepped forward carefully, 
took the cold water from the hands of the two black guards, and walked toward the peach array step by step. Soon, the figures of the two disappeared into the peach array. What is the mystery in the end? We have been here for almost a month, but we haven't even entered it inside. It's really unwilling to think about it. The black guard whispered, and his heart was very curious about it, especially the one who lived inside. The black guard captain looked at the inside thoughtfully and looked back at the black guard after he regained his gaze. Shen Sheng said, You are not a day or two for you to be a black guard. You must know our distance, not don't ask too much if you know, don't be curious, otherwise it won't be good for you. Yes. The captain's face was trained, and the black guard quickly bowed his head. As for the inside, the cold frost sent the unconscious cold to the room, first checked his wounds, and simply wrapped it, which quickly came to the door of Feng Zhu and rang the door. The master, the master. Her voice was a little anxious and a little panic. Feng Zhu, who was asleep in the room, opened his eyes after hearing the sound, and opened the door with a coat, what? Her voice still had a bit of drowsiness, but her eyes were already sleepy, because she knew that if something was not urgent, the cold frost would not knock on the door. The master, Iowa is coming, the body is full of blood, and the man has fallen into a coma, fearing that there is something wrong with the young master. Upon hearing this, Feng Zhu's heart sank, where is he? Take me to see. Cold frost placed him in his room. As soon as he entered the door, Feng Zhu smelled the rich smell in the air. He came to the bed and saw that the shirt of Lenghua had been taken off. The man was half squatting and his face was pale. Side outward. Looking at the long sword mark on his back, Feng Zhu's eyes were so light that he reached out and explored his pulse. In the cold frost eyes next to it, it is difficult to cover the color of anxiety and anxiety. The injury on the back of Iowa is heavier. The few injuries in front of me are just scratching the skin. When I help him in, the blood on his wound has solidified. How to call it is not awake. After Feng Zhu explored the lower veins, his eyes fell on his feet and he saw that his boots had not been taken off, but his toes were and he had worn several small holes. Her hand stretched out into the sleeve, and a pair of brown pills were pinched into the cold mouth. Two bottles of medicine were given to the cold cream. Take off his boots and clean up his feet. Hurt. Yes. Cold Frost quickly took over the medicine she handed over, carefully took off the cold boots, and when she saw the skin that was smeared with blood and blood, she only felt a hot eye, tears could not stop falling. Seeing this, Feng Zhu slowly said, the wound on his back is not shallow. Fortunately, his blood has solidified the wound. Otherwise, the blood will flow out from there until nearly four hours. As for the wound under his foot. It's just a skin injury. It's better if you take the medicine for two days. There will be no danger. She is more worried about her cheaper brother, cold, and coma, and I don't know what happened. After hearing her words, the heart of the cold frost was put down. When she helped her brother to wrap the wound, she discovered that the master had not been in the room. She got up and went out. When she saw her standing in the yard, she asked, The master, can you go back and inquire about the news? Feng Zhu shook his head, No, wait for the cold to wake up, no one knows more about what happened last night. Do not worry about the master, the young master will be fine. Yet. She nodded and said, Cold waking up and telling me. This stepped back to the room. Entering the room, she flew into the space, turned her hand, and a pill appeared in the palm of her hand. This is a pill that can help her improve her mysteriousness. But after all, it is the first time I have developed it. I don't know how strong this effect is. Will there be other reactions? Therefore, she developed it, but she has not yet taken it. Xiao Huo Feng in the space saw her pill staring at the palm of her hand and wondered what she was thinking. Then she walked forward with a small short leg, and the soft voice asked with curiosity, What? I want to rush to the martial artist's mysterious peak. She held the pill in her hand and said the voice. 
As soon as the little fire phoenix heard it, suddenly his eyes widened and fell. You are crazy. You are now only the third order midterm in the middle of the martial arts. The more you go up, the more advanced you are. You want to enter the peak period. Even if you have this space, you have to use the first half of the year to do it. Until now, if there is any accident in the rushing step, it is one thing to repair it as a waste. The serious life is not guaranteed, you know not. Seeing that she did not respond at all, she stared at the pill in her hand. He quickly said again, and ah. Xian Li and martial arts are indispensable. You can move up your spirits. If you can't comprehend martial arts. The main point, the empty body has a mysterious force to repair is also useless, you know. It's dangerous to close the school. She narrowed her eyes, he is my brother, I can't leave him alone. Then you can't take it for you. The little phoenix squinted and the chubby little face screamed, if you have an advanced accident, who will save him? Although I am now able to deal with the monks of the martial arts, I am worried that if the strength of the other side is above this, there will be an irreparable situation. Her voice was slightly stunned and she meditated slightly, and, in the courtyard, I have arranged the law. It is not impossible for the master to crack it. So even if Lenghua has not woken up to tell me everything, I know that this is not the same. In general, the enemy I will face is also very strong. If you do, you should not take the medicine. If you really can't deal with it, at most, the deity will help you. It was said that Feng Zhu's eyes fell on his small body and he did not hide his doubts about his words. Little guy, although you are an ancient phoenix, but now it is only a young age, and it is still the appearance of a three-year-old human being. If you can't even deal with someone I can't use it, what can you use? Okay. She just thinks that this short-legged short-legged chubby chubby kid like a Fuwa has no fighting power. After all, is he still not a mature? If she really encounters a strong person who she can't cope with, she does not believe that he can have the ability to help. However, Xiao Huo Feng was not happy to hear this. The little hands clasped around her chest, and she sat down on the ground, holding her eyes and glaring at her, you don't look down on people. The deity is not as useless as your human three-year-old baby, the deity is very strong. Of. He once again stressed that even if Feng Zhu did not take his words seriously. The master, Iowa woke up. Outside, there was a cold frost. Feng Zhuyi in the space listened, looked at the pill in his hand, thought about it, or put it away, confessed, you are here to cultivate inside. Said, this just flashed out of space. Open the door and you will see the cold frost look happy. The master, Iowa woke up. Yet. Yeah. She nodded and walked to the cold room. When I came to the room, I saw the coldness on the bed and opened my eyes. When she saw that she was thinking about getting up, she was pressed by her, there is an injury on the body, just lying down. The master, the young master was arrested. His voice was still weak, but it was much better than before. Can you know who those people are? She sneered, but she was just caught, not killed. The middle-aged man said that he was a family member, saying that the master had killed his son and his second brother and two elders, and he was looking for the master to settle accounts. When I heard this, the cold frost was a little surprised. The master kills? How is this possible? The strength of the master can only be counted as an embroidered pillow. How could it kill a family elder level character? And Feng Zhu heard the words, then the light flashed slightly and the heart was awkward. It turned out to be Su. Then Su Jia Iryi and so on were killed by her, how did they know that she killed them? Is it speculated to find her portrait from the black market reward? Are they bringing people who have taken the law to the past? How did you escape? Tell me carefully. That Su Jiazua brought a grey old man over, and the formation is that he broke, as for me. His voice was slightly stunned. When he thought about the situation at the time, he still felt incredible, the master, the original Tai Chi is very powerful. 
At the time, I was almost instinctive. If it wasn't for the Tai Chi, my master taught me to die under the swords of the two men. Thinking of this, he still has a trace of fear in his heart. After all, in the past days, he has been protected by his sister, his body is weak, and he is sick in bed all the year round. Things like that night are things he could not have imagined before. However, after that night, a strong thought was formed in the heart. He also wants to cultivate. Even if he can't compare with his sister, he has to cultivate. In this way, he does not have to be protected, and if something goes wrong, he can protect them. After listening to his words, the cold frost could not help but look at her master, and my heart felt incredible. The punch that the master practiced was able to meet the enemy. She has always been the main son, that is, practicing activities and activities, I did not expect this time, it was the Tai Chi Chuan saved Ahua. After listening to his words, she nodded and said, You have to take care of your injuries, and you don't have to think about other things. Turned out and went out. Cold frost followed, and when she saw her standing in the courtyard, she asked, Master, what are we going to do next? I will go back and see if you look after it. The master wants to save the young man alone. She was a little embarrassed, and then worried, the strength of those people is not an opponent, the master is gone, isn't it? Since the investment network? She did not say these words. In her view, even if the master's Tai Chi is very refined, it will definitely not be the opponent of the family. Moreover, she has only one person, but the other is a whole family. Not to mention the disparity in strength, that is, the number of people is too much difference, how can she let her go to die? Those are not what you should worry about, just do what I confess. She turned back to the room, put on the men's clothing, put on the golden mask of the mandala flower, and the whole person's breath seems to have changed. It is a kind of fierce, lazy atmosphere, like the danger and mystery of the Night King. The momentum that has been huddled and hidden in her body is also released at this moment. It is such a negligible. She went out of the hospital and plunged outside the forest. The mysterious force surged, the pace of the changes changed, and she was gone like a ghost. Su Home Dungeon Hey! Hey! Okay! The sound of the whip fluttered with a squeaking airflow, and the whipping of the road was accompanied by a squeaking noise, mixed with a thick smell filled in this dark and damp dungeon. On the cross stake, the wounded body was tied up, and the whip marks were stacked one on top of the other. The blood was slipped with sweat and wet the drenched blood coat. After being caught, the whipping did not stop. He was exhausted and shouted and couldn't scream. The whole body seemed to be not his, and he had already felt painless, and even his head could not lift, but the wave the whip man is not soft, cursing while smoking a whip. Let you kill my son. Let you kill my second brother. Let you destroy my two elders. Let you be enemies with my family. The guards on the side saw that the customs had been dying and stunned, and could not help but be careful. The owner, the man passed out. Take the red ironed iron. I will wake him up. The guards heard a tremor in their hearts, but they still responded quickly. When they came to the back, they took the red soldering iron and handed it over to the owner. I have to see how hard your bones are. Su Jiazua said with a sullen voice, the soldering iron in his hand will be burned to the body of XIXI, and the red soldering iron is still braving the heat of the wire, even the guards on the side are afraid to look. Stop! A voice containing the pressure of power came, and the master of the family who had to print the soldering iron stopped his hand and turned his eyebrows to see the people. The grey-coated old man walked in, smelling the smell of the dungeon, and the slumbering sorrow, frowning, sinking his face, and staring unwillingly at the Sioux family. This person is still useful. If you kill, who is the woman who is not coming to the old man? Hearing this, the Sioux family did not say anything, just handed the soldering iron to the guards on the side, the seniors don't have to worry, the stinky girl will come. Just don't come, 
turn this whole Yunya city over and he will also give people out. As the night fell, Su Fuzhong was still in full swing. There were a team of guards inside and outside the patrol, and the nets under the cloth were just to catch the prey that might come tonight. Hidden in the dark to observe the day, just waiting for the night to fall, Feng Ju suddenly saw a familiar black figure, her brows twisted, the red figure flashed, and swept away. Cold frost is about to jump on the wall of Sufu. Suddenly, one hand clasped her shoulder, the other grabbed her mouth and pulled her into the dark. She was trying to fight back and listen to the familiar the voice is coming down. It's me. At the same time as the opening, Feng Zhu released his hand and slightly twisted his brow and looked at her who turned around, I am not letting you look at the Dawahu. How are you here? Master. Cold frost eyes are slightly bright, I am worried about you, so I am coming over. Let her help to save people, she still has some peace of mind, so after I told Ahua to take care of myself, she followed. Noisy. Her voice was deep, if it weren't for me, you would have broken my business tonight. When Yan, Cold Frost could not help but bowed his head, sorry, the master. Go back now. When she heard this, she suddenly raised her head and shook her head. I don't go back. I want to help the master to save the young master. You may just be dead when you go in. She looked at her with firm gaze, the life of the cold frost is the master's, it is death, and the cold frost can't let the master take the risk alone. When Yan, Feng Zhu looked at her deeply, for a long time, this will not open his eyes, since you are not afraid of death, then follow it. Yes. Her heart was happy and her eyes lit up. Feng Zhu took her quietly to the back wall and hid in the dark. She saw at a glance that the place where there was no patrol in the outer circle of Sufu had laid out the law. If he wanted to enter, he would have to go through the law. There is a formation in the law, follow me, and do not go wrong in one step. The sound fell, leaping down, with cold frost into the formation. In Sufu, there is a courtyard. Su Jiazu was drinking tea. Some people did not trust, predecessors, can the law really be able to trap people? Will she not come to us? Will not. The old man shook his head and said with confidence, the old man's array of laws, no one can shake this country, as long as she dares to come, without us to do it, she is bound to be trapped in the law and not come out. However, the two people at this time did not know that the people they said in their mouths had already walked out of the law safely. As soon as they went out, they met a visiting night guard. When the cold frost was too late to be dodged, it was pulled to the other side by Feng Zhu, and the lightning-fast figure flashed past, making the people who watched the night without notice. Waiting to stand, the cold frost is awkward, and the eyes of the master are watching with incredible eyes. That kind of bodywork is that she can't match her estimate of ten years of cultivation. Go. Feng Zhu whispered and took her to the side. On the way, although she encountered the Sujia patrol guard from time to time, she was avoided by both of them and did not alarm them. Cold Frost finally knows what the main character said. Here, the outer circle is the array method, but the inside of the patrol is visible everywhere. If she comes in, it is estimated that it has already been discovered. Let's wait here. After Feng Zhu left the words, he quietly plucked out, and the last patrol was buckled and pulled to the darkness. When the patrol guard went far away, he lowered his voice and asked, Where is Guan Xi? The guard squinted in horror, his eyes were begging for mercy, his fingers were pointing in a direction, kicking his feet and trying to escape. Seeing this, Feng Zhu's eyes were cold, and his neck was twisted and dropped into the dark. The two left again, looking in the direction, and escaping from the patrol guard until they came to a fake mountainside, Feng Zhu stopped. Cold Frost asked with a gaze, wondering why she suddenly stopped. Feng Zhu's gaze passed over every front of the scene, and there were four guards guarding a fake mountain in the distance. In addition, there were many hidden people in the dark. She was musing and knew that she could not solve the people in the Ming and the Dark in an instant, 
so she only had medication. Turning the palm of your hand, take a medicine bottle from the space, quietly sneak into the windward place, sprinkle the medicine foam in your hand through the night wind, and then wait quietly until the dark and the bright people all fall down. She said that cold cream came out. You are guarding, I will go in and see. As soon as the sound fell, he turned the stone door and went in. Once inside, the dark and damp smell rushed in the face, and the rich smell made her brow tightly tightened, especially when she saw the person who was tied to the pile and had flesh. The murderous gas of the whole body overflows. Brother. She whispered, but he was already in a coma, and the whole person was unaware. Seeing this, she quickly put a pill into his mouth, cut the rope, and took it out. I will lead people away, you look for an opportunity to take him out first. The cold frost that helped Guan Excise nodded and nodded with care, Master, you should be careful. Well, go. She responded, watching them go to the other side, and then they set their sights on the house of the house, with the murderous murder of the cold and bloodthirsty, and the voice came from the mouth low. I will let you know what kind of people are irritating. It's on fire. It's on fire. Get fire. When the Sioux family and the old man who were still talking in the courtyard heard the sound of fire fighting from outside, the whole person suddenly stood up, what happened? A guardian look came in a hurry, homeowners, not good, there are many fires in the house, the fire is very fierce, it is necessary to spread here. When they heard it, they changed their faces and quickly swept away. However, when they came outside, the owner of the house saw the situation, but almost fainted. If the big Sufu, the guards say that there are hundreds of people, but now these people are falling down on the ground one by one, I don't know if it's dead or alive, only two elders and four captains in the Sufu middle school. On the wall, a red figure looked down and looked down. The flamboyant red flames fluttered in the night wind, and the golden mandala mask looked mysterious under the flame. Surprising. However, when she saw the golden mandala mask on her face and the red dress on her face, the Sioux family was white, you, you are a ghost doctor. Ghost doctor. An awesome and mysterious person, no one knows that he is a man or a woman, but he knows that he always wears a red dress with a sinister affair, and a mask with a golden flower and a mandala flower. People from all major families in Unueshin want to meet him and be rejected. The Yeokuo Kyuokuo wants to see him and is also rejected. The black market forces that distribute the countries respect him, and they are regarded as VIPs. It is rumored that he has the medical skills to return to life. It is rumored that his bottle of pharmacy can instantly enhance the strength of a warrior. Rumor There are a lot of rumors, but this one is just a rumored person for them. Today he came to his home, and he still appeared here in such a way. How can he not tremble with his heart? That is the person who the black market forces must protect. If the power is known, his Sioux family will have no place in this cloud city. However, while the trembling is passing through the heart, a crazy thought also floats. Kill her. As long as she dies, the black market forces will not know that he has touched her. As long as she dies, he will not have to worry about being retaliated by the black market forces. Kill her. Kill her for me. He slammed back and screamed, his fingers pointing at the red figure standing on the heights, his voice sullen and full of crazy suffocation. Must not let her live out of here. The old grey-haired old man frowned and swept the home of the master, and then he did not open, his eyes fell on the red figure, his eyes leaping with excitement and anticipation. No. The old man wants her to live. The two elders quickly came to the side of the house, and their robes were burnt. Some escaped from the fire, the hair was messy, and the face was smudged. At this time, the whole person looked awkward. Homeowner, there is a ecstasy in the fire. People below the level of the martial arts are faint. Kill, she, she. The Sioux family's sullen voice said in a word, drinking the four martial artists together to kill the red figure, while the eyes swept to the grey old man around, 
angry and irritating some irrational questions. Don't you say that she can't get out of your formation? You are not saying that when you come in, you will know it. She set fire to the roots of my government for a hundred years. Today, if I don't let her head to the blood, I will not give up. Oh! At the same time as the sound fell, his mouth spurted a spurt of blood. The whole person was shot and flew out. He slammed into the corner of the wall and fell into the ground. He didn't even have time to call, he heard a loud bang. When the whole wall collapsed, the owner of the house was buried. Home! The two elders were exclaimed, and the four martial arts captains also changed their faces, and they looked at the grey-haired old man who suddenly shot. The old man is a gaze, and he has a breath that overflows with a haze. The scornful and chilly voice is slowly coming out of his mouth. What are you doing? How dare you ask the old man? The gaze of the haze swept away, and suddenly the two elders around me trembled, and involuntarily retreated two steps. One palm. One palm will kill the strength of the home of the martial artist's peak level. In the palm of one hand, the opportunity for their homeowners to stand up is not lost in his hands. In the raging fire, under the pile of rock, the home of the Sioux family, who has been rooted for a hundred years, is so grievous and unexpectedly dead. The brow under the phoenix mask standing on the high side was slightly raised, and there was a strange look in the eyes. Are these two people not a group? Actually shot the killing of the owner? Kill it with one hand. Her eyes fell on the old man in the grey coat, watching the nakedness of the naked eye that his palms condensed. Big martial artist. The strength of this grey old man is a big martial artist above the martial artist. Also, one can kill a martial artist, and its strength is naturally much higher than that of the Sioux family. Just, the big martial artist. At the moment, she should have no problem with the level of Su Jiazu. It can deal with the big martial arts, and it seems that the strength is not limited to the masters of the first stage of Suanji. It is obvious that neither of them is the opponent of the other side. Go, take her to the old man and remember that the old man is going to live. The grey-coated old man stood still and crossed his hands in his sleeves. He stood quietly underneath looking at the red figure with the glamour and glare with excitement and anticipation. The gaze was so strange that people feel creepy. Yes yes. Whether it is two elders or four martial arts captains, even if they see that their homeowners have been killed by him, they dare not avenge their homeowners because they know that the strength of each other is far above them. If they do not obey, one of them is dead. Seeing a few people who came to her siege, she flashed a glimmer of light, took out the dagger and held it in her hand, and lifted her breath, falling on the roof not far away. The few people chased after them. They had no weapons in their hands. It seemed that they did not dare to attack her because they were jealous of the old man, but they did not know that this would only give her a chance to kill them more easily. Where to escape? An elder sipped and reached for the shoulders of Fengju. The surging of the mysterious force and the pressure of the martial artists all came out at this moment. I thought that after shaking her, I would try to catch it, but I didn't expect it. His hand was reversed and twisted to the back, like a ghostly body, and the tricky technique that made him inevitably fall into her hands. An icy dagger had been so easily reached his neck when he had not had time to retreat. The other few people saw it, and their hearts were slightly stagnation, shocked and incredible. They all know the strength of the three elders, but now, she was easily detained by her? Still falling into her hands, life and death by her? Don't, don't kill me. The three elders were a little scared, but they couldn't believe it. In the blink of an eye, this imaginary scene happened, and the man who was caught in the breeze became him. Late. Feng Ju said in a cold voice, the dagger in his hand was pulled and he saw a deep mouth in the neck, and the blood rushed out. The third child. The elders trembled and exclaimed, watching the three elders, who were like brothers, being wiped with a knife, the blood that rushed hurt his heart and burned his eyes. He twisted his hands tightly, and his fists screamed out of his joints. 
the resentment in his heart boiled in his chest. Like a hot magma, he seemed to spurt his chest. The owner died, and the four elders were left with only one. The Su family was also burning in the fire. Without any surprise, it would only become a ruin. Su family, lost. And all this is caused by this person. He wants to kill her. Only killing her can vent his anger. Only killing her can commemorate the 134 people in this Sufu. Hey! The cold light flashed, the long sword appeared in the sleeve of the sleeve, the sharp sword tip pointed to the ground, the gloomy and the murderous eyes stared at the red figure, and the mysterious atmosphere of the whole body gathered the murderousness. And out, it is to inspire their own strength, just to fight for a fight. At the moment when the three elders were killed, the four martial arts captains were physically stretched, instinctively trying to escape, but when the figure was rushed out of the run, several silver needles hit the back of their neck, and the four were only stuffy. As soon as the body was stiff, the whole person fell weakly below and rolled into the fire. Oh! Ah! The screaming voice came in the flames, and the four men were rolling in the flames, struggling to stand up and flee, but in the end, they were still swallowed by the flames ruthlessly. The old man swears in the name of the old parents. It is death, but also dragging you back. The voice of the two elders was sullen and cold, and the mysterious force surged. The sword pointed out the sigh of the monks. The naked sword was like a poisonous snake, and it was attacked by her. The speed is fast, the sword is smashed, with a determined determination to her death. Seeing this, Feng Zhu did not dare to care about it. The dagger in his hand infused with the mysterious force, the swords touched each other, and the snoring came out from time to time. The fierce air flow also permeated between the two people and screamed. Below, I saw that the two elders attacked the man's moves violently and deadly, and the grey-haired old man's eyes could not help but sink, staring at the two people above. For him, the woman is very useful, but can't be killed like that. However, when she saw that the woman could have had so many innocents under the hands of the two elders, it was a little unexpected to look at her eyes. After all, in his view, since she was involved in the formation of law and medicine, it was impossible to take care of the battle, but she did not want to, she repeatedly brought him an accident. Yes, it is an accident. He thought that she couldn't break the arrangement under the cloth. As soon as she entered the battlefield, she would be trapped, but she could calmly step out of the formation, and still not alarmed him. I can imagine that her array the law is more advanced than he imagined. Moreover, he is more and more sure that there is something in her body that he has never studied and studied. Thinking of this, his eyes suddenly brightened, and the ancient method of borrowing. I didn't expect to encounter such a good thing in the small country of this region. Since I met it, he would never let it go. Together with this woman, he also wants it together. His implied gaze fell on the enchanting figure, guessing the beautiful face under the mask, and his heart secretly planned, after getting the ancient loan, this dazzling woman would want her. He is his practice stove. What? A cry came and I saw that the long sword in the hands of the two elders on the roof was kicked by a kick and the long sword fell across the flame in the air. Because he was kicked, the tiger's mouth was sore, as if the bones of the wrist were kicked off, and the pain could not be lifted. It could only fall down weakly, shivering slightly, and looked pale in front of the red figure. The smudged figure appeared more and more dazzling under the flames below, and the ink was blown up by the night wind, as if there was a pair of hands swaying her hair and flying in the night. The golden mask was blooming and fascinating. The mandala flower makes her look so mysterious and weird. Her body was filled with a bloodthirsty murderous atmosphere, very strong, and even so strong that he felt frightened. Also, if the other party is a general generation, some of their elders will not be damaged in her hands, and even the owner will lose the entire family because of her. Thinking of this, he gritted his teeth and slammed his body into the danchon. In an instant, his whole body exploded like a suffocating ball, and even his robes were cracked. Showing the original skinny body. 
However, at this time, the skinny body is rapidly rising, and the airflow is soaring, so that the veins under his entire skin are floating up and clearly visible, but it seems to be blasting at any time. I said, it is death, but also pull your back. The two elders yelled wildly, and a grey hair fluttered in a mess in the flow of the whole body. He opened his hands wide and madly rushed toward the front of the phoenix, the speed was higher than that of the previous Fengju. When you fight, you have to be twice as fast. The old grey-clothed old man saw that the two elders wanted to spurt the body and squandered with the woman. His face changed greatly and he screamed with anger, Damn! The old man said he wants to live. To live. The feet are on the ground, and the grey figure is instantly mentioned. The speed is even several times faster than the two elders who are going to explode and die. Fengju guarded him from the madness of the two elders. Therefore, when he saw that he had detonated Xian Li and planned to go with her, she was surprised. I did not expect the two elders to do it for Su. This is the point. Immediately, she quickly retreated, stepping away and trying to avoid it as soon as possible. After all, the spurt of a martial artist Ji Feng was not a joke, she did not want to accidentally lose her life. However, just as she was receding, a grey figure was rushing like a ghost. She couldn't even see his figure, and saw the two elders who had come to her by the grey figure. The kick kicked into the sky. Ah! I am not willing. Hey! Bang! Resounding in the night sky is the resentful voice of the two elders. The voice has not even fallen, and the sound of the blast is heard. The two elders blasted in the air and made a loud bang. The fire and the loud noise broke the silence of the night, and almost everyone in the cloud city was awakened at that moment. Just as the practitioners in Yunyueshin rushed toward the place, on the roof, the grey old clothes were facing the Fengju, revealing a touch of sly smile, but the eyes leaped excitedly and surprised. The light stared at her like a prey. Don't be afraid, I will be good to you. When Fengju heard this sentence from the mouth of the grey-haired old man, he only felt a bit of chills, and the goosebumps came out, and even the corners of his mouth could not help but pump. In particular, the old man still stared at her with a pair of excited and strange eyes, the kind of disgusting, can be imagined. She glanced at him, rubbing his hands with his goosebumps, and rudely said, Old things, when you talk, you don't take a mirror to look at your old face like dried oranges. The person who entered the coffin, actually still such an old shame. The ridiculous words made the old man's eyes sink, and even the smile on his face was converged, staring at her with a haze. The old man will accept you as a practice stove, that is to see you. How to practice the stove? Feng Ju screamed, and looked down from the bottom to the top. He sneered, can't you see that this old thing is still a ghost? But you are a lot older, can you use it? Presumptuous. He was so angry and sulking, his chest was ups and downs with anger, his eyes were violent, and he glared at her. The next moment, the grey figure flicked out like lightning, and the thin palms were clawed to the phoenix. Feng Ju's expression changed suddenly, and the fierce temper suddenly burst out. She did not evade the welcoming. The half-eyed gaze with a bloodthirsty breath, the strange footwork drove the figure, the dagger in the hand turn, the spur of the mysterious airflow to the grey old man. Glyphs. The old man in grey clothes snorted and turned his hand. It was easy to avoid the attack of Feng Ju. When one hand blocked her dagger, the other hand buckled at her. The hand was buckled by the old man in the grey coat, and Feng Ju immediately took advantage of the force to squat down. When he was separated from the old man's five fingers, he lifted his foot and crossed it. He only listened to the force of the envied force in the air. Bringing a fierce screaming airflow, the old one did not notice, the calf bone was kicked, and the knee was bent. When the man went down, he quickly jumped back and suddenly retreated from Feng Ju's side. Feng Ju did not stop and attacked again. She knew that the movement of the two elders in the midair had already alerted the forces of Yunyu City. Those people will definitely rush here. At the moment, 
what she has to do is those people rush to solve this old man. Oh! The old man's body was balanced and stood firm. He saw the cold dagger facing the neck, and he was so shocked that he leaned back and kicked his body. Unexpectedly, the woman jerked back and smeared it. The dagger blade slammed into the calf he kicked. The stabbing force, and the strength of his kicking and kicking, almost touched each other, and his foot pierced through his life. He only heard the sound of the sharp blade piercing the flesh, and the heart of the heart the pain, the strength of his body burst out. What? A powerful Wu's own breath suddenly burst out from his body, and the savage and mysterious force of the savage force flew out. Puff! Feng Ju's heart hurts a few meters, and it spurts a heart of blood, and the heart is damaged, making her whole person's breath suddenly weak. Seeing that the old man unplugged the dagger and threw it into the flame, step by step toward her, her eyes were slightly stunned, and she did not panic and endured her heart and stood up, standing in the wind. Raising his hand, the blood of the corner of his mouth bears a complex and ancient imprint, and the voice of indifference is like a low-pitched, melodious and mysterious sound from ancient times. With my blood, break your bondage. In my name, let you show your true body. As her voice fell, a ray of light erupted from her hands that had her mark, like the red light of the blood, and suddenly went straight to the sky, and it looked like a dazzling red-red flame, and instantly rushed up, according to bright the entire night sky. Hey! As soon as the sound of Feng Ming from ancient times sounded in the night, the thick pressure in the sound formed a stream of visible air that swayed out, powerful pressure and release of airflow, causing vibration in the sound. Underneath, the ground of the entire Yunyu city is shaking slightly, as if the dragon has turned over, it is terrifying. And when the people who were rushing to the flames suddenly heard the sound of the deafening phoenix, they stopped in shock and watched the sky in an incredible way, bringing out the blazing flame in the night sky. Burning, the red-red figure that illuminates the entire night sky. The shock of the vision went straight to the soul, and in their hearts, the waves of turmoil and waves could not be calmed down for a long time. That, that is the phoenix. That is the ancient sacred animal phoenix. The ancient beast actually appeared here? Who is it? Who owns the ancient beast? The people exclaimed incredulously, in their minds, in their eyes, all the phoenixes in the night sky. Some time ago, they heard that there were beasts in the world, but they only saw the shadows in the air, but they did not see their true body. At that time, they also attracted the monks from other countries to come and them. I didn't expect that the ancient sacred fire phoenix finally fell to them. In the middle of the country. Looking at the fire in the sky, the hands of the hands flapping their wings and burning the flames of fire, they only feel the blood of the heart. It is actually the true body of the ancient phoenix. Among the small countries like them, they actually had a day to see the ancient beasts. How can they not be excited? In the crowd, Murong Yuxuan, who is rushing to the flame, is also shocked to see the flame figure in the night sky. The ancient sacred beast, the phoenix of the abyss, is so dazzling, so beautiful, it is it's incredible. Although his heart was excited and groaning, he did not stay too long, but quickly returned to the flames to plunder. In the Sufu house, above the roof, the old man in the grey robe was unable to stand up even under the strong and profound ancient pressure. His legs trembled softly and sat down, unbelievable. Looking at the fire phoenix that fluttered in the air that day, the eyes were red, not willing to believe. Do not. This is not true. How can you have the ancient sacred fire phoenix? How can it be? Under the powerful ancient pressure, he should have been unable to speak even when he spoke. However, he forcibly broke through the shock of the ancient pressure, and his mouth was broken, his heart and veins were damaged, and his mouth was overflowing with blood, but he was still crazy. Unwilling to believe in this cruel fact. Seeing the prey of the things in his bag, suddenly flew, and brought him such a strong and unacceptable shock, how to make him accept it? Feng Ju, who stood in the wind, was cold and cold, leaning against the old man who was sitting down, and the cold voice slowly spread, 
under the fire, you are not losing. Just as her voice fell, the phoenix in the sky slammed down with a raging flame, and the unfolding flame wings wrapped the old man and flew again. Do not. Unwilling and fierce voice came from the flame, Feng Ju saw the sparks in the night sky, the fire and the wings spread, hovering over her head. When Murong Yuxuan jumped on the roof and came to the roof not far from the Su family, he saw the shocking scene, the whole person could not help but be lost, and looked at the stunning scene. On the roof of Su's house, the red figure stood in the wind, and the dazzling red dress seemed to be like that in the flame, the flying ink, the burning flame, and the hovering around his head. The huge fire phoenix in it, everything seems to be so mysterious, such beauty, beauty is so unreal. Perhaps he noticed his gaze, and the man turned back. The golden mandala flower mask clearly reflected into his eyes under the illuminating flame, so that he couldn't help but want to reveal his mask. The impulse of true capacity. However, without waiting for him to return to God, he saw the phoenix of the night sky whispering, and swooping down and turning into a ray of light into the mysterious person who stood in the wind disappeared. Almost at the same time, the man took back the gaze that fell on him, lifted a few leaps, and the figure flicked through the flame like a ghost, quickly disappearing into the night. He took a step involuntarily and reached out to try to call the man. In the end, he still took back his hand and did not shout. Who is that person? He thought that he could vaguely guess in his heart. Zhang Yang dazzling red clothes, the mysterious evil spirits, the arrogant momentum, and the golden mandala flower mask, he, isn't that mysterious ghost doctor? When the heads of the families of the parties who rushed to see the Su family surrounded by the fire, they couldn't help but take a breath of air. Some were unbelievable, and a medium-sized family was so declining. Hiss. This, this is Su family. God. Su, is this being destroyed? How did this Su family provoke the master of the ancient beast? It was a miserable end to the end of the door. Everyone talked about it watching the whole house outside and outside the home surrounded by flames burning, stunned. For a family to fall like this, disappeared in unuation, they have incomprehensible complexities in their hearts. This is the world where the strong is king, the unchanging truth of this world. Even if you are a family of 100, if you provoke a lot of people, it is only a matter of minutes, even if it is a genocide, it is only overnight. A homeowner saw that Murong Yuxuan, who first arrived here, looked in a direction and couldn't help but blink. He asked, Three kings, you are here first, can you see who it is? Upon hearing this, the other talking owners also looked at Murong Yuxuan. Yes. Who is the person who destroyed the Su family? Who is the man who has the ancient sacred beast and the phoenix? Murong Yuxuan returned to God and saw that their eyes with inquiry were on him. He meditated and said, I only saw a red figure. As for who, I can't see it clearly. Red figure. Everyone has a sigh of relief, and he can't help thinking of a person in his mind. Ghost doctor. Will it be him? This Yunyu city is now the most mysterious person. It is also the person who wants to see but can't see. Although they have never seen the ghost doctor, they have heard that he likes to wear a dazzling red dress and wear a golden man. The tulip flower mask, the evil spirit is like a enchanting, mysterious. Two days later, in Dawahu, Feng Ju, who only wore white casual clothes, walked out of the door and saw the cold frost welcoming. Master. Cold frost looked at her with some concern. Since that day, the face of the master has been very pale. Is my brother awake? She asked Cold Frost, and the voice still showed a trace of weakness. That night she was hurt by the heart. If she was not proficient in medical skills, she could not get a bed in these two days. However, although the injury improved, she did not fully recover, so she spoke loudly or coughed. It will be a pain. The young master is already awake. Well, I will go see it. She said, walking away. Guan Xi's yard is next door to her, and it is easy to move around. 
therefore, it is only a few steps away from the courtyard door. When I entered the hospital, I didn't open the door and walked in. I heard the coughing sound coming from inside. She stopped and looked at the cold cream, is his medicine drunk? I just drank when I woke up. Wen Yan said that Feng Ju went in and went inside. He saw that he was lying on the bed and he was about to sit up. He stepped forward and walked forward, there is still a wound on the body. Lie down. Xiao Ju. Guan Xi saw her, and she showed a smile, but when she saw her pale face, she couldn't help but say, Xiao Ju, how is your face so bad? He just woke up and hadn't had time to ask them how he got here. Injury to the heart, it will be good to raise some days. She sat down at the bed and reached out to explore his pulse. She said, there are many injuries on your body, but most of them are only skin wounds, but they don't hurt your bones. Otherwise, you have to rest for ten days. Half a month. Seeing her pale face, I thought that he was saved now, and then he was slow to know that she was going to save him. The unreasonable eyes were slightly hot, Xiaoju, brother is useless, always give you trouble. What are you talking about? She put him on the quilt and said, You have gone out of bed after two days of training, but after three days of election, the time is tight, I am worried that your body will not be able to eat. Nothing, I can, I have to go back to the election campaign. Then you will raise it in these two days, I will give you medicine so that your injury will recover as soon as possible. She stood up and said, I will go back to the room first, and there is nothing to tell you about the cold cream. Well, if you are in poor health, take more rest, don't always come to see me. Feng Ju smiled and nodded, looking at the cold cream to explain the change of medicine, and finally returned to the room, flashed into the space Ling Fu. That night, not only was her heart damaged, but even the phoenix fell into a deep sleep. The phoenix that appeared in the appearance of human children wants to show the true body. It only has to wait for adulthood, but last night, she used the ancient imprint to break the bond with blood and let him show his true body. The realism of his body can almost reach the peak of adult ancient beasts. It is naturally easy to deal with a wuzong, but the cost is also great, that is, falling into a coma and I still don't know when I can wake up. She looked at the small fire phoenix that was wrapped in the small fireball in the space. It was still the appearance of a three-year-old human being, just like sleeping, and sleeping there. Taking back her eyes, she sat down and adjusted her interest to repair the wound in the body. With the surge of spiritual power and mysteriousness, her whole body was wrapped in the two breaths, only a warm current flowed between the veins. Three days later, an inconspicuous carriage slowly walked on the street, the carriage was not conspicuous, and the conspicuous one was a cool black girl driving. Her face is exquisite and glamorous, and the body wrapped in black is extremely hot and tempting. If she has a smile on her face, it will be a stunner for a man to be fascinated. With the icy breath, the cold breath of life makes people dare not approach. In the carriage, Guan Zio looked at Xiao Ji, who was leaning on the book, and wondered and wondered, Xiaoju, your medical skills are so good, why don't you give the scar on your face first? It's been so long, the cockroaches on her face haven't faded. Whenever I saw the scars on her face, he was anxious for her, but she seemed to be used to it, but she didn't think it was meaning. Doesn't it mean that women are not willing to lose their faces? How does he think she is not in a hurry, don't care at all? I don't worry, I'm going to add a little bit of medicine to the cream. She said casually, turning over the page and continuing to look at it. This is a volume of Ling Yun's step, which was found in the space collection of her master. She looked at it, and the footwork inside was much better than her original pace. From the appearance of Da Wahoo, she was reluctant to let go. Until when I smelled a scent, I couldn't help but look up. Brother, have you smelled anything? She looked at him with a slight gaze, smelling the scent, and not swallowing the throat of the free master. Seeing her look like a serval cat, Guan Zi couldn't help but smile and reached out and tapped on her head, 
you smell the food, can you smell the scent of scallion cake through the curtain? Yes, that's the scallions. She smiled and hugged his arm and swayed, brother, you can buy me for me, I want to. She swayed with two fingers. Good, I will buy it. He shook his head helplessly. At this time, the cold frost in the carriage heard the conversation inside, has slowed down the speed. Guan Zhu picked up the curtain and jumped off the carriage. He said to the cold frost, You stop the carriage, I go to buy the cake, and I will come back soon. At the same time, the person has gone to a stall not far away. Cold frost stopped the carriage and waited, looking at the stall. Uncle, come to four scallions. Guan Xi screamed for money. Don't want to come to two bowls of mung bean soup? It is also excellent to eat green onion cake with green bean soup. The old man asked while holding a hot cake. Also, then come to two bowls, no, three bowls, you can help me with my equipment. Good. The old man smiled and squinted, and quickly packed him with three bowls of mung bean soup. Not far away, Murong Yuxuan who accompanied the Fengqing song from Yuxuan Pavilion, inadvertently saw a man who was shopping in front of the stall, and could not help but see a gratification in his eyes. It's him? The brother of the red woman? He is here, is that red woman here? Thinking of this, his heart was involuntarily beating, and a feeling of tension and expectation permeated his heart. Mirong brother? What happened? Asking his phoenix song to ask doubts, seeing him standing still, he followed his gaze and saw only a man dressed in a common scallions. Mu Rong brother knows. Well, it's a friend, I used to say hello, you are waiting for me here. He hurriedly told him that he was leaving, and quickly walked over. When Feng Ching Song saw it, it was a little strange. His eyes fell on the man and he couldn't see any good places. Just as Guan Zia bought something and prepared to return, he heard a voice coming from his ear. This son. Mirong Yixian called, came to his face, a gentle smile on the handsome and elegant face, when Chilin Town was a different day, I did not expect to meet the son again in Yunyueshan. Guan Zia looked at him inexplicably, are you? He did not remember this person at all. Seeing that he did not think of him, Mirong Yuxuan smiled slightly, but then resumed as usual, said, My surname is Mirong, Ming Yixian. Mirong Yixian. Guan Zia was a little bit stunned, and then he looked at him with surprise and excitement, and even the voice increased slightly. You are Mirong Yuxuan? The three kings of Yeora country? The martial arts practice genius. The name of Mirong Yuxuan, who is a member of the Yunyu city Guanjia, has naturally been heard, but he has never seen it before. He only knows that this person is not only very good, but also a cultivation genius in the new generation. Pride, I did not expect that he would meet him today. Thinking of this, he was excited, Three Lords, I have long wanted to see you, I did not expect this time to let me meet you on the street, it is really fate. Before he opened his mouth, he said again, Do you know? You have always been my goal. I used to think hard to cultivate and then defeat you. When I heard the first few sentences, Mirong Yuxuan smiled deeply and was about to ask if the sister had come. After hearing the last few sentences, the face was smiling but slightly stiff, and it was dark, this person is really rude. However, he did not care much, and smiled, I haven't asked the name of the son yet. My name is Guan Xi. He quickly reported his name. It turned out to be Guan Gongzi. I don't know if the girl is with the son. He noticed when he came over. How many snacks he had in his hand, did he buy it for his sister? Does she like to eat these? Okay. Hearing him mentioning his baby sister, Guan Zhu's face was full of smiles and stared at him with vigilance. What do you ask my little girl to do? You don't know her. This is the case. I was inadvertently offended in Chilin Town last time. I always wanted to find an opportunity to apologize to her. I just couldn't see each other. I met, 
and she saw her like a flower demon in Dawahu. It also made him look awkward after he came back, and a heart is involuntarily indulged. Even during this time, he was thinking about his feelings with Ching Songs, and wanted to find a suitable opportunity to talk to her, but he never found a good time. The hand holding the scallion cake waved and waved, No, my little sister is very large. She won't care about what is offensive to you. Don't care, it's that you haven't angered her, angry, she won't care much about a small amount. Ah! She is still waiting for my scallion cake. Don't say it, I will go first. Thinking of his little girl's business, the things around him are trivial things. The moment I even have a cold feeling with him, I quickly ran to the carriage, for fear that she would wait for a long time. Guan Gongzi Murong Yuxuan's gaze fell on the carriage that was parked in the direction he ran, and his heart moved. Is she inside? Thinking of this, his footsteps were involuntarily followed up. The back of the Fengqing Song saw, the brow slightly twisted, looked at the inconspicuous carriage and looked forward to step forward. Over there, Guan Zhu came to the carriage and handed a piece of scallion cake to the cold cream, this is for you, and there is a mung bean soup. If you want to eat it, let us go. Cold Frost glanced at him and reached for it. He thanked him. He stepped into the carriage and went to pick up the curtain. He said, Small Nine, the scallion cake is still hot, and the uncle said that the soup with green beans is very good, so I brought you a copy. Fang Zhu in the carriage took his onion cake and mung bean soup, and smiled and said, Mung bean soup. I have not drunk for a long time, just, brother, thank you. Hey, thank you, thank you, you like it, go back and buy a few rings to go back, let them wait for you, give you a good meal. For so long, he knows that she likes food. It is good. She smiled and saw him sitting back in the carriage and when he opened the bag and was about to bite the scallions, he heard a strange sound coming from the carriage. Miss Guan, under the Murong Yixian. Miss Guan? Who is it? The phoenix in the carriage was slightly stunned, looking at the cheaper brother she was also stunned, silently asking, what happened? Guan Xi took a bite of the onion cake and said, what I met when I bought something, called Murong Yixian said that I had offended you in Chilin town last time and wanted to say sorry to you. Speaking of this, he was a little annoyed and said, I just told him that he didn't need it. He followed him. I really don't know what to do. I will go down and see. He put down the scallion cake in his hand and was preparing to open the curtain and jump off the car. He turned back and said to Feng Judeo, Ziaju, you put the veil on. The scar on Ziju's face is still not good. She always went out to the top of the yarn. He didn't want others to see her being scratched and looked at her with a colored look. Yet. Feng Ju smiled and tied the yarn, some strange, what does Murong Yuxuan want to do? At the moment, Murong Yuxuan, waiting outside the carriage, was a little nervous, and his palms were slightly sweaty. He looked forward to seeing the carriage. Would she pick the curtain? Does she still remember two occasional encounters with him? Sitting outside in the carriage of the cold frost to see the look of the face of Murong Yuxuan with a hint of hope, not to brow slightly, some strangely looked at him. What does Murong Yuxuan want to do? As far as she knows, isn't he booked a kiss with Miss Feng Fu's Feng Ching Song? How do you look at the carriage with a look of hope and tension? The curtain of the carriage was picked up by the customs. He walked down and laid down the curtain to look at the Murong Yixian standing in front of the carriage. I didn't all say that you don't have to apologize for anything? How come you followed? At this time, Murong Yuxuan was obsessed with watching the carriage. When she thought that the curtain was opened, the woman in the carriage came into the eye, and a heart jumped up. Today, she didn't wear red clothes but a white dress with a veil of the same color on her face. She sat quietly and sat there, revealing a quiet and refined atmosphere. Elegant. In her red dress, she is as dazzling as the sun, and she raises her hand to make her feel lazy and charming. 
It seems that every time she sees her, she brings him a different soul shock, and every time he is let him involuntarily fascinated for her. Waiting for him to talk back, he saw him looking straight at the carriage behind him, his face suddenly darkened, and he moved to the left, and the whole big man was in front of him. I said, what are you looking at? Murong brother, do you know someone in the carriage? Feng Ching Song walked slowly and asked softly. His eyes fell on the carriage and then moved away. He looked at Guan Ziu and showed a smile, this son, since it is my friend of Murong's brother, then it is also a friend of my Feng Ching Song. Which one is the son of the carriage? Why, please come out and see. She has been watching there for a while, it is really doubtful, the idiotic look on the face of Murong Yuxuan has made a sense of crisis for the first time after replacing the identity of Feng Kinga. Such a gaze is too familiar. Too much trembled her. Once, she looked at it quietly like she was, watching him look at Feng Ching Song with such gentle and affectionate gaze, but since she replaced this identity, she felt that he was right. She always lacks the deep affection and gentleness of his previous Feng Ching songs. Even if he looked at her, he also said gentle words, but also thoughtful to her, but sensitive, like her, still aware. This made her uneasy, but she did not dare to go into it. I was afraid that the final result was something she could not bear. She had been neglecting and told her that she thought more. But just now, she stood there, watching him look at the man in the carriage when he opened the man in the curtain, almost crashing her. Don't look at it, the woman's intuition also knows that the person in the carriage is a woman, but what kind of woman is it? Can you let him be so mad? Guan Zhu looked at her like an idiot, I am familiar with you. Is my sister familiar with you? You want to see, she will come to let you see. The Feng Ching song that heard this was not very good, but it didn't happen. Instead, he turned to look at the carriage and whispered, Girl, it's the fate, it's better to come out and see. The phoenix in the carriage played with the hair hanging from the chest, his eyes twitching slightly, and the lips under the veil were smeared with a touch of playfulness and evil spirits. The voice was not slow and slow, with a three-pointed lazy, seven points of carelessness. Do I know you? Why go out to see you? Listening to the sound coming from the carriage, Feng Ching's song is awkward and seems to be a little familiar. And there is more than one of her feelings, even Murong Yuxuan is slightly stunned, the voice is somewhat similar to the Kinga, but it is somewhat different, because the voice reveals a casual lazy, very it is a monk. Perhaps it was a little familiar voice that made her heart uneasy. She actually crossed the front of the clothes, and came to the carriage and reached out to pick the curtain. However, the extended hand had not touched the curtain. Grabbed by a pair of big hands. What are you doing? Guan Xi blinked and his face was dark and he was very unhappy. He stared at this beautiful woman. She felt that her brain had gone all over her face and couldn't understand people. Let go. Feng Kinga scolded and frowned at the hand holding her wrist. After Guan Xi took her two steps back, she let go of her hand and looked aside, if you didn't want to smash the curtain, do you think I want to hold your hand? Snapped. Ching Song. Murong Yuxuan face slightly changed, and quickly went forward. Guan Xi squinted and looked at the incredible Feng Ching Song, you, you hit me. Didn't he do anything bad? Why is this woman slap him? He is so big, he hasn't been beaten yet. The heart is angry, but there is no hands. He is a man, can't you be a woman in the street? The cold frost holding the rope was light and cold, and when I was about to get out of the car, I saw that the carriage's curtain was picked up by a pair of slender and white hands. Miss. She screamed and quickly picked up the curtain and let her out. Feng Juki bent over, walked out of the carriage, held the cold frost, lightly lifted the skirt and put down the carriage, looked at the cheaper brother who tightened his fists into a fist, and saw the slap on his face. India, her glimmer of light, looking at the two, slowly walked forward. When Murong Yuxuan saw the white woman coming down from the carriage, her eyes suddenly lit up 
and when she looked at her graceful and graceful money, he couldn't help but feel nervous, and there was still a hint of faintness. Look forward to. When Feng Kinga saw the white woman who came down from the carriage, the whole person was paralyzed. That figure, that posture, is so familiar, just like, it is like. Hey! Hey! The two loud slaps sounded, and they both awakened the two and stunned the people around them. Because of the excellent appearance of several people, it is on the street, people around you have been paying attention to this side. After all, that Mirong Yuxuan and Feng Kinga are still the people of Yunyueshan. Just what they can't think of is that the Feng Qing Song will suddenly raise the hand and slap the man's slap. What is even more unexpected is that the veiled white woman who came down in the carriage will raise her hand after slowly walking towards them. I smashed the two slaps of Feng Kinga and saw them screaming. This scene is too hot. Feng Qing Song incredulously sizzling with a burning face, a pair of eyes almost smoldering staring at the white woman who is squatting, you, you dare to hit me. Feng Ju casually groaned with a painful hand, and did not look at her. He looked at the wrong face and taught, Brother, see no, people hit you with a slap, you have to go back to slap, this is the number of rituals, and you can't be rude. Guan Xi's eyes brightened, and she looked at her with admiration. He nodded heavily, Well. Brother remembered. If there is a next time, she will be the first to say that she is a man or a woman. Well, that's right. She smiled and nodded her head and said, The time is not too early. Let's not let the irrelevant people delay the time, let's go. It is good. Guan Xi's face was filled with a happy smile, and he was too lazy to take care of the two. In his opinion, his slap in the face of his baby sister had helped him double back, the nature of the man's husband. Will not go to the woman again. Irrelevant person. Mirong Yixian looked at the back of her turn and left, and echoed the sentence in her mind. Yes. Is he not an irrelevant person? He is not her, why do you want to see her and see her? However, after listening to her sentence, after seeing her from the beginning and the end, she did not look at him and turned away, a heart will be so lost. You stand for me. Feng Ching Song stepped forward and his face was angered in front of Feng Zhu, I want to go when I hit it. Not so easy. During the speech, she reached out and revealed the veil on the face of Feng Zhu, wanting to see her face. Feng Zhu early against her. Seeing her reaching out to her veil, she naturally went to the side of the car and hid behind her, her hands clasped to the clothes on his back, a pair of beautiful eyes, and said with aggrieved words, Brother, she bullies me. On the side of Mirong Yuxuan, she did not expect that the elegant and calm woman would suddenly hide behind her brother, revealing such a grievance and tender look, and the soft words with a grievance and complaint, let he couldn't help but want to protect her in front of her, relying on her. Seeing her own baby sister hiding behind him, she used the wronged voice to accuse the woman of rude behavior. She closed her eyes and looked at her chest. What do you want? How is this rude? What is the daughter of General Feng? How can Feng General's famous name teach you such a polite daughter? I think you are a fake. His voice is very loud, with a bold and sturdy voice, and the voice is not waiting for the response of the Feng Qing song. When many people around him watched, they said loudly, You, you all said, is this woman a woman? I don't know how to be polite. We don't know her. When she comes up, she slaps me and reveals my sister's veil. Are you saying that it's too ugly? Feng Kinga had to retreat because he stood up to her top, but when he heard his words, his heart was very angry, especially after seeing many people around her pointing at her, and her heart Mirong Yuxuan, who was reading, was obsessed with the white woman hiding behind her brother. When she did not stand up and said something to her, she felt embarrassed. She gave a grievance and sadly glanced at him, her eyes narrow red, and she ran away with a quick cover. Oh, your beauty is crying and running. Feng Ju smiled and said, looking at the Murong Yixian, who still looked down on her, felt that men were bad tempers, eating bowls, 
and still want to look at the plate. Mirong Yuxuan looked at her in a complicated way and didn't talk. It was only after she gave her a hand, and then she left. Brother, let's go. It can be a lot of time here. She patted his arm and motioned him to the carriage. It is good. Guangzai grinned and smiled. He looked at Fengju, who was on the carriage, and suddenly stopped. He said, Xiaoju, how do I feel that the woman just looks like you? Fengju, who has already picked up the curtain and has fast moved into the carriage, heard this in his eyes. He smiled in his eyes and smiled back, where is it? I can't think of her cheap brother, who looks careless, but it is quite careful. Guanxiu scratched his head and thought, it is the figure of the body, the temperament is not like, but the face and eyes seem to be a bit like each other. She smiled and sat down in the carriage and waved at him, come up. Hey! He strode into the carriage and took the curtain and sat down. After the cold frost outside, they drove the carriage and went to the home. Fang Ju in the carriage took the yarn below and smiled at him. Brother, your eyes are brighter than some people. Ah! He was a little bit stunned, and he was puzzled by the fact that he had no heads and tails. You will know later. She blinked at him, laughed and said nothing, and did not intend to tell him everything now. Today's Guanjiam and Taochuo City, the outside of the park docked a lot of carriages, it was invited to watch the younger generation of Guanjia, the number of young people in the election, the people who come today are good friends with the customs, and with the homeowner and his children of the same family with similar strengths. When the cold frost drove in front of the gate of Guanfu in the carriage, it was already faintly heard that the cheering of Dabi had begun. She stopped the carriage and looked at the two people inside the carriage, young master, miss, arrived. The curtains opened, and Guanzi jumped off the carriage and then reached out, Ziyaju, come, I will help you. When the two guards who guarded the gate saw Guanzi, they suddenly widened their eyes, that, isn't that the young master? He, isn't he dead? How is he still alive? The two guards changed their faces, and one of them returned to the world and rushed to the inside to report. Fengju helped his man in the carriage and looked at the carriages parked outside Guanjia. He smiled and said, Brother, it seems to be quite lively today. Well, the same family will come over to watch Dabi. His gaze fell on the plaque above the gate, Guanfu, here is his home, but it made him feel so strange, so cold. Xi Xiao Xiao, young master. The guard who guarded the door quickly came forward to perform a ceremony. Looking at him with a stunned look, he secretly looked at the woman who was very good with white temperament. The palace said that he was dead up and down, but how come back alive? A big ratio started. Guan Zio looked at him with a calm voice. At this moment, he exudes a calm and sturdy atmosphere, and the change of his body is not comparable to him a few months ago. Open, open, start. Under the pressure of pressure from him, the guards could not help but see a cold sweat. Wen Yan, Guan Zia walked inside with a step forward, and Fang Ju behind him moved gently and followed, and cold frost stayed by her side. After they entered, the guard could not help but wipe the cold sweat, muttering whispered, how can this be seen for months? The atmosphere of the young master has become so scary. Thinking of the K Zinya who has been married to the young master, the guardian is a bit curious, and the young master is back. If he knows that his fiancée has become the wife of the young master, what will happen? It's a pity that you can't go to the door to see the situation, otherwise he really wants to follow up. As for the inside, the competition is under the stage, the front row is the main characters of the Guan family, and the homeowners, the back row is the younger generation of Guanjia, and the children brought by the family owners. They talked from time to time, while watching the competition on the stage, seeing that the son of Guan's son Guan Ziu had won eight or nine games in a row, and that no one in his family was his opponent, the voice of the compliments of the homeowners also constantly. The young master of Guanda is really a young hero, the style of the homeowner. There is already such strength in the young, and the future must be limitless. 
The Guanjia master was very proud of his face, but still smiled and said modestly, Is it yours, and the young masters of the family are not the dragons of the people? I often confess, so that he has time to have more with the young masters. Learn to learn. Guan Laozi also smiled and stroked his beard and nodded. He was about to speak, and he saw that the housekeepers looked changed in a hurry. The first row of the homeowners naturally saw the steward look in a hurry, and saw that when the butler said a few words in the ear of the old man, the face of the old man was also slightly changed. Everyone, the old man first lost. After he left his words, he did not wait for everyone to react, and went with the butler. Oh, we continue to see, my father should remember what has not been dealt with. Guan Jiazua smiled and said to the owners, but his heart was puzzled. What made his father's face change slightly? Kei Zinya, who is sitting with the Guanjia Nuwa, is now a big-time grandmother who is close to the family. Naturally, she is also watching the competition on the stage. She was previously watching her married people on the stage. The opponent, a heart is also flying. Darkness, her vision is correct, and her choice is correct. However, when she saw the steward's look rushing in, even when the old man left, her original joy was not tight, her hands unconsciously tightened her clothes and her face was slightly white. Because, just after the housekeeper accompanied the old man to leave, the seemingly unintentional look at her made her think of Guan Xi. Is it true that he really came? Is he really dare to come? Guan Zhu and Feng Zhu, who entered the gate of Guanjia, have not yet stepped into the venue of the competition platform, and they are called by a low and old voice. How are you really? The old man's hand struck with a cane and struck. When he saw the tall figure coming on the face, he was really stunned. His eyes were a bit complicated, some doubts, but he was not surprised. The eyes of his eyes were very cool, and his expression was a little indifferent, and he called out, Grandpa! You! Guan Laozi originally wanted to ask, how come you came back? However, when I got to the lips, I turned around and said, if you come back, you should go back to the hospital to rest. Later, when you come to the study, I will talk to you. The people of Kijia should have told my grandfather long ago. I am still alive. He looked at him and his footsteps did not move, Grandpa is not curious, why does the cousin say that I am dead? Grandpa should not tell me, my fiancé, how did it become the cousin's wife? As an elder, he was questioned by a junior. The face of the old man suddenly sank, his brows were slightly wrinkled, and his unhappy face looked at Guan Zhu. What is this about you? Is this a question to ask your grandfather when I come back? Didn't you hear, I told you to let you come to the study late? If you didn't come back for a few months, it really didn't feel decent. I don't understand the distance. For me not returning, Grandpa is a little happy. The old man was stunned for a moment, and the old face was a little uncomfortable. Guan Xi, who looked at him indifferently, did not care about his reaction. He was about to move forward. Stop. The old man moved in front of him, frowning and unhappy, where are you going? Isn't today a family ratio? Don't I have to participate? Today is the competition for the lesser masters. You are not an opponent of excise. If you don't participate, then... He said in a calm voice, his eyes fell on his face, and said, since you have returned go back to the hospital to rest, don't give me a shame. After hearing this, Guan Zixiao laughed. He looked at his grandfather, and the smile on his face slowly gathered. The iron-like breath of his body also filled with the diffuse voice, and the rough voice came out from the mouth with a firm tone. No. I am coming back today to participate in the competition. Grandpa is relieved. I am not interested in the position of the family. I just want to ask my cousin to give advice. As soon as the sound fell, he strode forward to the front and did not give him the opportunity to stop. The old man was also a bit stunned at that moment, 
and he was surprised to see the breathtaking atmosphere of his sudden change. The strong and chilly momentum made him seem to see his father's shadow from him. Time is lost. The lips under the phoenix veil that had been watching all the time were slightly raised. She glanced at the stunned old man, and walked along with the pace. A cold cream in black is naturally behind her, silently protecting her. When the tall and sturdy Guan Xi's pace came in calmly, the stage won another smile that was smiling. He stared at him like a ghost, and he was shocked and shouted, How are you, how are you? Still alive. His face became pale, unbelievable, a little panicked, and a bit guilty. He thought he was dead. In a place like Jufulin, he was not able to survive if he was seriously injured. But why is he still alive? Why is nobody telling him that he is still alive? Another person who is also dysfunctional is Kei Zinya. Almost at the moment I saw Guan Zhu, her whole body stood up instinctively, with anger and anger, and a hint of vanity. She thinks that Guan Xi will come to Guan Jia to participate in the competition because she is, because he can't let her down, because he still thinks about her, which greatly satisfied her vanity. At the same time, he was angry. He felt that he was embarrassed because he was originally his fiancé, but now he became the wife of his cousin. Two men on stage and on stage, she is afraid that she can't bear the gaze of others. Because of the exclamation of the Taishang customs, and because of Kei Zinya's gaffe, everyone in the audience was a little surprised and looked down. This look is a bit strange and somewhat amazing. The former is because of the tall and strong masculine man, the latter is because of the white woman who is wearing a veil behind the man. Those who are the masters of the family will not say it for the time being. It was just the sons sitting behind them in a row, and after watching each other, the stunning eyes fell on the white woman, and they did not hide their curiosity and interest in her. After all, they are all men, and their mentality is the same. When you see a woman with a graceful temperament and a clear spirit, I will naturally be interested in watching more. In particular, the woman's face is still veiled, although she can't see her face, but the clear temperament of that body and the beauty of the pair exposed outside the veil are enough to show that the veil is definitely a piece. Beautiful and beautiful. Beauty is the nature of human beings, and they don't feel that they are staring at women's women. Therefore, the front row of the homeowners are looking at the customs, the young men behind are looking at the mysterious woman in white, curious about her identity, and, the face under the veil. In the end, it is still the first time that the family has returned. He stood up and laughed and walked to Guan Xi, surprised and excited, ha, you can come back. These days, the family is very worried about you, where are you going? How can you not even send a message? Come back. Xi Xi? Close? Everyone looked at each other, not that he went to Jufulin with the family, but left because he did not listen to the command of the team leader, and finally died under the beast. Why are you still alive and alive? They all heard that the wife of Guan Xi's wife was originally a fiancé's fiancé. This time, he returned, and his fiancé became a cousin's woman. Although nothing was revealed on the surface, everyone still had a few optimistic attitudes about the play, and they did not speak. They only looked at the people. Guan Zia watched that he didn't talk, his face was also slightly faint, and he couldn't say a smile. Seeing his expressionless face, the look on the face of the Guanjia family is also astringent, and the voice asks, what's wrong? The uncle asked you, why shouldn't you? Guan Xi's eyes fell straight on the stage and tried to suppress the panic and guilty cousin. The voice was cold, I am coming back to compete. At the same time, he has already stepped forward. Go with. The owner of the house was slightly stunned and frowned at him. He wanted to stop, but he did not say anything. In his opinion, he is not his son's opponent, and he only asked for it when he went up. On the stage, Guan Zia watched him step by step, but the panic mood slowly calmed down. From the time he appeared to the present, he did not say that he was stabbing him in the back. It should not be said here. After all, 
this is a ugly, how can he take care of the reputation of Guan? Thinking of this, his look was loose, his tight heart slowed down, and his face showed a smile, ha, you can't come back. Guan Zia went to the stage and looked at him. His face was deep, I thought you didn't want me to come back. Upon hearing this, the smile on the face of Guan Xi's face was awkward, and he said, How come? Xi Xi, are you blaming me for your heart? Actually, my heart is the elders of both sides. At that time, we all thought that you died in Jufulin, so it was. The following people heard this and secretly nodded, Um, this is not very good, it should be that his fiancé became a cousin woman. Otherwise, it will not be a good face for the family. When Kay Zinya, the son-in-law, heard the words on the stage, her face showed a guilty look, and the voice softly and softly said, Xi, I am retiring from the arrangement of the elders of both sides, and then marrying Xi's I hope that you don't want to be confused with your family because of me. You have to blame, and you can only blame us for having no part. However, after hearing the words of the next pass, the whole person's face was full of blood and became pale and embarrassing. Guan Xi glanced at her and held her chest with a disdainful voice, you can't help but see yourself. A woman who has changed her mind and loves vanity. I really can't look at my eyes. Close Xi Xi, you are too deceiving. Uncle took a table and stood up, hearing that his daughter was so insulted in public, his face was full of anger. Guan Ziu sneered and glanced at Kay's father, isn't that what I said is not the truth? She hasn't seen her differences and loves vanity. When Kefa glanced, he glared at him, she is the master of the elders of both sides, and the name is justified, and it is as bad as you said. Is it unbearable? Everyone understands it. Guan Ziu snorted, no longer paying attention to them, but looking at the opposite customs and holding a fist is a gift. Also ask my cousin to advise. On the side of the stage, Feng Ju stood on the stage not far from the stage, but saw a man coming over. Girl, there is a position there, it is better to sit down and watch together. A Jinyi man came to Feng Ju's face, blocking her sight, but made a gesture to her. Feng Ju brows a wrinkle, and his eyes fall on the person in front of his eyes, no need. The footsteps moved to the left and the line of sight looked at the stage again. The homeowners over there are paying attention to the movements on the stage, but the young men in the back row are paying attention to this side from time to time. When they see the girls, they don't want to care about the man. They can't help but laugh out loud. Women are beautiful, but after all, they are in other people's homes. They can't do it anymore. Besides, their fathers can be here too. They can all be restrained by every move. It is not outrageous. Q. The man's words came out, and the footsteps followed him. He saw a black figure and walked up. He reached out and stood in front of him, warning out, Let's stay away from my lady. The man frowned, just wanting to speak, he listened to the station and heard a cry, could not help but look back, this look, slightly embarrassing. The two men on the stage have already gotten up. It's the customs and customs. But how can the momentum on the XI's body be so strong? Even when they were under this stage, they could feel the breath of his body. It's no wonder that the Guan XI will be hurt by the backwardness of his boxing eyes. He looked at the father in the front row and the homeowners. Sure enough, they also saw that they had a distressed surprise on their faces. Hey! When Guan Xi's eyes screamed and his voice went backwards, Guan Zia did not stop the attack, but strode forward, and the next set of three punches and three punches together, the fists with mysterious breath were heavily shot down. Guan Xi's abdomen, so that he did not even have a chance to fight back, and even the corners of his mouth oozed blood. The audience under the stage was dark and dignified. His sharp eyes stared at the stage and he was steady and punched with a dark spirit. Some strangely, his strength could be improved in just a few months. This is fast. Moreover, the mysterious breath of his body broke out in the battle, 
and that breath is clearly the realm of the great perfection of the military. Is there any adventure he has had outside these months? Otherwise, how will the strength improve so quickly? Looking at the sun on the stage, step by step, the move was attacked, and the mouth spit blood. His hands on his lap are secretly tightened, and if he goes on like this, XIXI will lose. Hey! How did XI's brother become so powerful? He was not an opponent of XI's brother. How many months did he not see the strength of the upgrade? Yet. He was still lying in bed for three days by XI Jin from the last year. The children of the off-campus in the audience were talking in a low voice, and they all looked at the Guanzhou on the stage with amazement. The voice of the discussion was also static because of the next scene. Close XI. He was beaten with a sullen face and a resentful sorrow. The shame of retreating and retreating made him lose his sense of reason. He did not know where to take out the long sword and shook it. It was actually a murderous dynasty. Everyone in the audience saw this scene and looked different. The competition of the family is generally compared to the mysterious force and martial arts. Therefore, it is rare to move the sword. Like Guan Zhu, if he does not play, he will show off his weapons. When the weapon is out, the nature will be different. Moreover, because he showed his weapons, even if he won, he would not be glorious. What's more, as far as they are concerned, it is not the opponent of Guangzhi's enthusiasm. As a family leader, if there is no eyesight for judging this point, then they are also sitting on the unstable home. Seeing that his son showed his sword, the face of the Guanjia master was also extremely ugly, but he did not stop it, but allowed the situation to continue to develop. Today is the choice of the Lord, his son, must win. As for Guan Xi, when I saw Guan Zhu's long sword, the look was unchanged, the hands were tightly twisted into fists, and the sounds of the fingers and joints were screaming, and the body suddenly showed a mysterious breath. Hey! A strong and powerful atmosphere. The heads of the audience under the audience were exclaimed by the smell of the mysterious force that emerged from him. Even one or two stood up involuntarily, and they were shocked. At the age of Guan Xi, I can have a mysterious atmosphere comparable to them. What does this mean? It is self-evident. This child is definitely not in the pool. Kay's father is also a person with eyesight. At this time, when he saw the breath and the exuberant momentum that came out of Guan Zhu, the whole person sighed and whispered, looking away, actually watching going out. Kay Zinya was also shocked to see the close of the stage, and the body shivered slightly, and some could not believe what she saw. How could he be so strong? How did he become so strong? On the other side of the stage, when the old man who came in with the watchful look of the brave and mighty martial arts on the stage, he seemed to think of his best son, and his old eyes were all in vain, watching the smear on the stage. Jian Chuo's figure is so complicated. At this time, the form of Guan Xi's body on the stage suddenly came out, and the speed was fast, and several figures appeared on the stage. His figure instantly swept forward, and while leaning on the body, he clasped the wrist of the sword with the hand and folded it with his hand. When he slammed, he only heard a scream. Oh! Hey! The sword in the hands of Guan Zia fell on the stage and made a clear sound. The people in the audience also stood up in shock and looked at Guan Zia on the stage. The eyes were incredible. Transformed phantom. He actually made a phantasm. The hearts of the heads of the family were shocked and stunned. No one cares that he broke the hand of Guan Zhu. What they care about is that he actually practiced the practice of removing the phantom. That way, they may not be able to cultivate, but he. A young man who was only 20 years old was actually trained. For a time, the heads of the family watched his eyes become very hot. It was like a group of old ghosts who saw a beautiful woman who was so good that she couldn't wait to throw him up and take it for himself. At this moment, even the eyes of the old man in the Guan family also shot the excitement of the light. The body shivered with excitement. The crutches in his hands slammed into the ground and excitedly laughed. Ha 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 ha! 
good. I have a good family. I have a good time. The shocked and shocked surprises of the people, only the face of a family owner is as black as a casserole, and the gloomy can drip out water. He tightened his hands into fists, his eyes gazed at the close of the stage, and his eyes flashed a chilly killing. At this time, Guan Zhu, has been broken in one hand, one hand was twisted and pressed on the stage, the body cannot move half a point, and even because the face is close to the table, so even the call cannot be heard. Guan Xi's eyes were staring at the cousin who was defeated in his hands. He intended to abolish his hand. However, his mind remembered the picture of cultivation as a child, and there was a hint of soft heart. You lose. He took back his hand, didn't open his eyes, and looked at the stage. The knife behind the nine-volt forest has already cut off the brotherhood between them. Today he defeated him, proved himself to them, and told them that he is not worse than anyone. It's really a hero, a young man, and a grandfather, so son really makes me so shocked. It's really to congratulate the old man, the children in the family are so good, and there is no limit in the future. The heads of the family have seen the winners and losers have been divided, and they have congratulated the old grandfather of the side. There is such a genius child in a family, and the rise is just around the corner. Oh, thank you very much. The old man laughed and smiled. When he looked at the stage with a smile and a gratifying gaze, his face changed dramatically, and he screamed and screamed. Stop! Everyone was shocked and looked down the gaze. This look is also very wrong. I saw that the close-up who had climbed up from the stage pulled out the dagger hidden in the boot, and the violent and crazy gaze was facing away from his care and the back to him, but the head is not back, in the exclamation of the crowd suddenly swayed back and kicked, the holding of the dagger slammed the scream suddenly screamed, the whole person flew out a few meters away from the stage. Puff! Under the fall of the stage, Guan Zhu squirted a blood, and the whole person squatted on the ground, and did not even have the strength to stand up. Learning! The Guanjia master exclaimed, and hurriedly ran over to lift people up. Father, kill and kill him. His hands clasped his father's sleeves tightly, and the words in his mouth filled with blood and said so hard. K. Zinya stunned, and the whole person stared at the scene of this scene. She only felt that the whole day had collapsed. The strong impact made her mind unable to calm down and rush, and her heart rushed to the throat. The throat is salty. Puff. She squirted a blood, black in front of her eyes, and the whole person fainted. Heart, heart, and heart. Kefu and Kemu trembled and shouted, and quickly caught people. Looking at this messy scene, everyone is a look of sorrow, this home is too chaotic, right? The son of the Guanjia family lost the position of the young master of the family campaign, but he still had to kill him with a knife? Now, my strength is not kicked out. The strength of Guan Xi's foot is that they are all shocked. It is estimated that he can't get out of bed for ten days and a half. However, compared to his movement of killing, Guan Zhu's foot is already a foothold, otherwise, it is a breeze to kill him with his strength and want to return to him. Feng Juxiao of the stage squinted at the chaotic scene, as if he was afraid that the world would not be chaotic. He smiled and said, Brother, are you still having something to say? Hurry up, after you have finished, it is too messy. It is. Everyone listened to her brother, and they all stunned. But I haven't heard of Guan Zhu and my sister? Could it be that this girl is close to the family? Girl is a family member. The man standing next to Feng Zhu asked curiously. Darkness, if it is really a family member he must let his father come to the door to come to the family after returning. Not only can he have a good relationship with Guanjia, but he can also hold a beautiful person. Why not? How can I not remember that I have a family like you? The old man took a look at the phoenix, and the old voice was so heavy. Feng Ju squinted his eyes and said a strange saying, let's put gold on your face. When do I say that I am the one who shuts you? presumptuous. 
Do not bully my sister. The old man's screams fell, and the close-up on the stage was followed by a loud voice. The fierceness was not inferior to his grandfather, so he drove everyone to squat, half. The response did not come. Is he stupid? Guanlai, but his grandfather, he actually so loudly with him? Even the old man was also flushed, not knowing whether he was shy or angry, his body shivered slightly, and the crutches in his hand were heavily on the ground and screamed in the mouth, reverse. Are they against it? One by one, is it right? Is there any distance? On the stage, Guanzia greeted his glare without retreating, and stood up to his chest. His eyes looked at his grandfather with a firm and deep look. The color of the break in the eyes made the audience still angry. The old man's heart burst into a panic. When I wanted to open the door for everyone to leave, I heard his suffocating voice coming out of the mouth with a mysterious breath, and clearly passed into the ears of the people below. I, Guanzhou announced here, since I asked for the family. From today, the people and things in this family have nothing to do with me. The man's voice was slammed and powerfully heard, and a screaming thunder was shot down in the hearts of the people, making them shocked and taking a breath of air, and even more incredible. Since I asked for a family? Is he crazy? There is a family sanctuary and no family sanctuary that is different. He is a child with such outstanding talent. What does it mean to ask for a family? That means that the cultivation of resources has been broken, and the family has not been sheltered, and it has become a lonely man. The owner of the house, who gave his son to the back to the hospital, looked at the close-up on the stage with a sullen look, and his eyes flashed slightly, and he did not speak. The old man is mad and trembled, pointing at him, You, you have a kind of give me another time. Guan Xi's eyes are heavy and his voice is hard and stretched, it's the same for a hundred times. I'm close to you, please ask for help. Xi brother, you have won the competition, you are a family leader, how can you ask yourself to go out? Under the stage, a teenager looked worried and shouted at Guan Xi, who was on the stage, you are going to admit your mistake to Grandpa. Grandpa won't care about you. Whether you disagree, my words will be smashed today. This is the reason why I am coming back today. I will not stay here again. When I heard this, Guan Laozi was so angry that he said, Is it a thin house? Or what happened? You want to ask for a family? If you don't say one or two today, don't say you don't have to think about it. I can ask for a family member, and I have to ask the family and the family to wait for you to teach you this unspeakable child. Guan Zia met his gaze without fear. I don't want to be thin, do you not know in your heart? In this home, I don't have parents, I don't want to be thin, don't you really know? Listening to his voice, the old man's lips trembled, but he couldn't say a word. Although he was raised, he usually didn't really think about it. When he heard that he was dead, they even started to deal with the aftermath of sadness, and solved his marriage contract. When he married his fiancée, he knew that he was not dead. He hoped that he would not come back outside. When he returned to Guan, he rushed to stop and did not want him to compete. Guanji raises you so big, you are also very embarrassed to compete with your grandfather, and also say what you want to go out of the family, I see your conscience is to let the dog eat. Guanji Azua screamed, the face of justice, it is the head of the head of the family. Ha 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 ha. Guan Zito looked up and laughed, and the laughter suddenly stopped. A belt opened his robes to reveal the awkward wound in the abdomen. Do you know how I came here? He walked down the stage and came to the front of the housekeeper. He stepped closer and asked, Do you know how this scar came from? I tell you, it's your son, my brother-in-law, who left behind me by a knife. When the words came out, everyone's eyes were incredibly cold and the whole scene was quiet. All of them were screened and snorted. You are nonsense. The Guanjia master screamed and shivered. But there is a voice in my heart telling him that this is true, otherwise he would not dare to speak out in front of so many people. 
Guanlai is even more black-eyed, almost fainted by this news. Brothers are maimed, ugly, ugly. I am nonsense. Guan Ziu tied his belt and said, he just didn't want to kill me with a dagger from behind. You are all blindfolded. You close this home, do you think I can stay? Leave it to designate I don't know when I was killed. He looked at the old man, today, I asked the family to tell you, not to ask for your approval. What kind of family rules and regulations are not useful to me from this moment? You still have to teach and teach. Children. Stride toward Feng Ju, said, Sister, let's go. Everyone looked at each other and did not expect that a match in this customs would be like this. This is really a good show. First, it was the age of the, the inside story of death. One piece of this pile, that is, they were shocked and shocked by the shock, not to mention those who shut the family. At this point, I saw that the three of them had already stepped away, and no one in the family shut down, as if they had not returned to the gods. They even went forward and left, and left. I thought that the family had a genius, but who knows that I have to ask for a family, but also involved a scandal of brothers and brothers. I thought of this, the old man's chest was bloody, and he couldn't come up in one breath, and the whole person passed out. Grandpa. The old lady is fainting. Please, please, please. Hearing the chaos exclaimed behind him, the heads of the family who went outside shook their heads secretly, what is the reputation of this family today? When the heads of the family came outside, they saw that the horse that was not so eye-catching passed by and watched the carriage drift away. They also went to the carriage and then told the car to pay more attention to the customs. The future is moving. I thought that since he had already asked for a family, they could try to bring him to their family. After all, they saw that this future will be extraordinary. I didn't care about the chaos of the family, and I didn't pay attention to the eyes of others. On the carriage, Guan Ziu sat silently and did not speak. I didn't know what I was thinking. Seeing this, Feng Ju asked, Brother, do you regret it? No. He looked at her and shook his head. I don't regret asking for a family. What are you thinking about? He was silent for a moment and said, I have left the home today and asked for a family. However, I want to stand on my own. I want to have a family that is not inferior to them in this cloud city. Yes. This is a good idea. She smiled and nodded in favor, where do you want to buy a house? We can buy it right away. Guan Ziu shook his head, Ziyaju, I don't want to use your money, I want to make money myself and use my own power to implement this matter. Hearing this, she wanted to say that she didn't have to be so troublesome, but looking at him with a look of her face, her eyes flashed resolutely, and this smiled and said, Oh, then I will not help you, but, you where do you plan to settle your home? I can help you with your palm and look at the location. Seeing that she didn't insist on it again, Guan Ziu showed a smile, thank you for your small nine. You just don't say that I must find you. Your eyes are much better than me. That is. She raised her face and nodded her head. Her face was smug, and her eyes inadvertently fell on the window of the wind-stricken window. The accidental glimpse of the figure, the look could not help. Parking. The cold frost outside stopped the horse rope and stopped the carriage. What's wrong? Guan Ziu was a little surprised to see her standing up on the yarn. Brother, you and the cold cream to buy a few next person to go back, I have something, go back later. Said to open the curtain and go on. After a close visit, he quickly followed, small nine, let the cold frost follow you, I will drive in my own car. Cold Cream is also preparing to dismount, but listen to her voice. No, let's go. I will do it myself. Seeing this, the Cold Frost did not follow, but looked at Guan Xi. Guan Ziu was silent and didn't insist on it. He just said, since she doesn't want people to follow, let's go. She is fine. Yet. Yeah. Cold Frost should have a voice, 
looked at the master who walked to the side, and then drove the carriage and continued to walk forward. Feng Ju went back to the front of a wine shop and looked at the old man who was holding the wine gourd sitting at the door of the people's shop and was unwilling to leave. For a time, his eyes were very hot, and his heart had an unspeakable sour taste. That is her grandfather. In fact, it is the grandfather of the original master. It is reasonable to say that she should have no feelings about him. However, when she saw him, the feelings in her heart all came up. Her grandfather loved her, teaching her, and the scene was replayed in her mind. The pictures seemed to be yesterday, and she felt like she personally. She watched him take a sip of the wine in the gourd, and spit it out again, dumping the wine and abandoning it, and gently raised a smile on his lips. What happened to your old man? Didn't you give you alcohol? How did you get rid of it? The store's eyes were wide open, and even the voice was straight. God knows that the old man who came out from there didn't go to the door of his wine shop. He didn't give the wine, he gave it to the wine, but he fell down. It's really dying. People. Feng Laozi snorted and looked disgusted, who wouldn't let you give the old man a good wine? Those wines are as light as white water, you can drink it, the old man can't drink too. The store was so angry that he shouted, You, you old man. Who is it? How can this be unreasonable? You don't want to give money and want to drink good wine? I will give you those wines and you should snicker I still don't know enough. I warn you, if you don't leave, I will be unkind with you. Father Feng took a wine gourd and slammed it on the head of the store. He said, there is no big or small. Didn't you teach you that you can't take your fingers to the elders? It's really arrogant, too. Let it go. The people around the crowd who heard the excitement heard this and couldn't help but laugh out loud. The store's face is red, and even the crying heart has it, Father, I can't ask you if you can't do it. You can do it well, go quickly. Go home, don't block me from doing business, I am just a small book. Business, you are always sitting at my door, how can I do business? Going home. The old man holding the wine gourd's head and squinting, frowning, and thinking, said, Which is the old man? It seems to have forgotten. When I heard this, the store was directly stunned. He rushed to hold the thigh of Feng's father and cried, My father, I beg you, you should never use it here, I will sue you, I should not yell at you, should not be disrespectful to you. If you are an adult, don't count the villain, go home soon. Feng's father's face was awkward and said, I'm really dying. Is this a big deal? I'm crying. You don't know if the man is bleeding and not crying? What are you doing? It's too ugly. The old man has no face to see you. Said, actually did not open his eyes, do not go to see him, just push the wine gourd into the store's arms, go, give the husband a half pot of good wine, good wine. Inferior old husband does not drink. The people around me looked at the store with some sympathy. Some people even shouted, I said, you will give a good meal to the old man. Look at the wear of the old man, it is definitely not the elders of ordinary people, but also afraid of you. That money is not enough. That is, a lot of you drink money. Feng Laozi smiled and squinted, while urging, hurry up the old man drunk again. The store hesitated, and then the wine gourd was taken inside to play wine. Because he was afraid that he would fall again, this time it was really a good wine, while the meat was hurt, thinking that the old man could can't take out the money? Who is it in the end? When the wine was ready, the store hesitated to hand him the wine gourd and asked, Master, who are you? Father Feng took the wine gourd and didn't expect him to look at him, isn't the old husband just said it? The old man has forgotten which one is, but you can rest assured that the old man has a lot of money for you. When he stood up, he untied his clothes and said, when the old man is worth the clothes, he will give you money. The store was crying and sullen, I want your clothes to be useless. I will give him his money. 
This sudden female voice was introduced into the ears of the store, so that he could see the sound of the sound of the sky, and the eyes brightened toward the sound. The people around me also looked at the woman who walked slowly, and when her eyes fell on her body, they all lit up and sighed in the heart. A good temperament woman. Although the veil cannot see the face, but the elegant and elegant temperament of the body makes people shine, and they automatically let a road come, let her go forward. Girl? Girl, what did you just say is true? You know the old man? It's great. I am bothering you, and I will take him away. I can let him delay the business all day. The store seems to see the help. Floating wood in general, said before and after. Feng Ju throws a piece of silver, this is money. This is how to look at Feng Xiang. When Feng Lao, who was standing at the gate, walked out from Feng Ju, a pair of eyes were spinning around her. At this time, she saw her, and she couldn't help but grin, and with a bit of temper, she licked her mouth and looked at her. The boring, very doubtful question, Xiao Feng Er, how did you find Grandpa again? Xiao Feng Er, how did you find Grandpa again? Feng Ju Wei, standing there, looked at him with a sullen look on his face, watching him with a boring look on his face, but his eyes could not hide the overflow and found happiness and joy. In his mind, because of his words, he recalled the hide-and-seek that the two grandparents often played in childhood. When she was found by her, he was so boring and puzzled and asked, Xiao Feng Er, how did you find Grandpa again? The heart was slightly sour, the eyelids were slightly hot, and an uncontrollable mist of water caught her eye and blurred her view. Because of his glance, she recognized her, and because of his voice Xiao Feng Er, her heart was involuntarily affected. Her grandfather has intermittent amnesia. He will forget where his home is. Will forget who he is. Will you forget the name of his son? But she will not forget her alone. He often said that she is the little phoenix of Fengjia, and it is also the treasure of their palms. They hurt her, pet her, care for her, bring her the best things to her, just to see her happy. See her eyes surplus with mist, phoenix father a panic quickly stepped forward. How little you finger who bullied you do you tell grandpa, grandpa help you beat him, is that he will contribute, also twisted his fist and waved. She shook her head, took his hand, took him out of the crowd, and headed for Fengfu. Slowly walking, she did not speak, and the next phoenix father also let her lead, followed by awkward, from time to time carefully watching her, I wonder why she is crying? Xiao Feng Er, do you still have money? He asked cautiously. Feng Ju stopped to look at him and then gave him a piece of silver. Father Feng was delighted to take over and grinned, You are waiting for this grandfather, don't run around. He said that he ran away. After a short time, he ran back and handed the things to her in a treasure-like manner, Hey, Grandpa bought it for you, is your favorite sugar lotus seed, eating sugar lotus seeds. You can't cry anymore. Listening to his words, looking at the bag of sugar lotus seeds in her hand, her throat was slightly stunned, her heart seemed to be filled with something, warm, but it was sour and sour, a grandfather wanted to call, but did not dare to call. I cover my face. How do you know that I am your little phoenix? She pinched the bag of sugar in her hand and asked her doubts. After all, even Murong Yuxuan and Suru Oshui saw that she could not recognize it at a glance, how did he recognize her? Who knows, her words in exchange for the contempt of the old man. You grew up when your grandfather looked up. Didn't you recognize your face? Grandpa wouldn't recognize you coming. What's more, Grandpa's retreat seems to be only a few months old. How could you not recognize you? Hearing his words, Feng Ju remembered this. Before the accident, the old man was retreating in practice. He thought that he should have just rushed out to find a drink after drinking, and it is estimated that he had not seen the fake Feng Ching song in Feng Fulai. So, do you think of which one are you? Father Feng looked at her and shook her head and sighed, Xiao Feng Er, Grandpa has only closed for a few months. 
How do you feel like you are stupid? You are my granddaughter, which one are you, which of course I am. Yes, this is still asking. Feng Ju mouth corner pumped. Although he has nothing wrong with this, how can she be a little weird when she listens? Moreover, obviously he did not think about who he is. The two walked on the street for a long time, and when they approached the Fengfu gate, she stopped, go back. Don't go out and go out and smash the phoenix, or you will forget the way back. Father Feng listened to it and felt strange. He looked at the front door of Fengfu and looked at her who turned and wanted to go. He asked, Xiao Fenger, don't you go home with Grandpa? Where are you going? Said, and then followed her, but also learned, you said that you did not ask a person to go out with a girl? If you are in danger of being taken away, what should you do? You can be like this for you. Baby, if you let people go, let us find someone to go. You don't go back. She looked at him with a weird look. Some of my heart is guilty, this time is good, what should I do with him? Father Feng smiled with a pair of eyes and said, You are not going to go shopping? Grandpa will accompany you, but you can also protect you. Moreover, Grandpa has just closed for a few months and didn't want to go home so quickly. He patted the wine gourd at the waist and said, This wine has not been finished yet. Looking at the Fengfu gate, which was close at hand, and then looked at the old man around her eyes, she sighed silently, and this took people away. Feng Fu's Hong When Feng Xiao, who was talking to Mirong Yuxuan, heard the controversy of the butler, he immediately stood up and screamed, What? The old man didn't know when you got out of the house? Now I haven't found anyone outside the house. The housekeeper looked down slightly, and some did not dare to look straight into his eyes, Yes. Yes, the old slave sent the guards in the house to go out, but there is no news yet. It's sneak out and find a drink. Feng Xiao said with some worries, looking at Mirong Yixian, the old man is gone, I have to find it, the song is hidden in the room before returning, and I have to trouble you to help me see her. Xiao Xu, do you want me to send someone to help find it? Mirong Yuxuan stood up and asked. No. The staff in the house is very full, and I guess it should be in the city's wine shop and the like, we will find it. He said, not waiting for him to say anything more, he strode out and shouted, Give me the old prince's feng wei. Seeing that he strode away with a big step, Murong Yixian paused, and then he went to the backyard and came to the courtyard of Feng Kinga. The two prostitutes waiting in the hospital saw him hurriedly and screamed, Three kings. You retire. He stood in the courtyard, indicating that the two prostitutes had retired. The two looked at each other and responded with a voice. This went out. The Feng Ching song in the room heard the voice of Murong Yuxuan outside, and the more he wanted to be more wronged. Clear songs, I have something to say to you. He stood outside the door and did not go in. The door slammed open, and the angry Feng Ching song stood at the door. What do you want to say? Is it because you didn't mean to watch me being beaten? Or to see that it was covered? Beautiful girl, you are tempted. Mirong Yixian looked at her in a complicated look. Listening to her words, he was silent for a while and said, I'm sorry. Sorry for listening to him, her heart was awkward and there was a trace of confusion, Mirong brother, I have always felt that you are far away from me in the past few months. Do you really dislike me? Ching, you are very good, really good. He caught his eyes and remembered the veiled woman in his mind, saying, We can say that we are happy and happy, I always thought that we would go on, even a few months ago I was ready. Please ask the father to let us marry. Mirong brother, you. You listen to me. He looked at her and said, But in recent months, as you have felt, I also feel that the distance between us is getting farther and farther, the kind when we were together. I don't know when it's gone, I know it's cruel to you, but I don't want to deceive you. Looking at her silent tears, he didn't open his eyes, I just wanted to tell your father about the marriage between us, 
but after your grandfather went out, I didn't know where to go. He brought people. Go find it, I will tell him in a few days. She rushed forward and hugged him, crying in a panic, No. I don't. Murong brother, I don't want to retire, I like you, I like you for a long, long time, you know. He allowed her to hold, and the eyelids with the guilt, clear songs, don't you do this, will I be treated as good as your sister in the future? No. I don't want to be your sister, I don't want. Murong brother, you said, isn't I doing well enough? Is it because I am not doing well? You said, I changed, I must change. She looked up. I looked at him with tears and sadly, not willing to believe what I heard. She really likes him, really loves him. For him, she learns the Feng Ching songs every move, learns her words, learns her manners, and even for him, she can live forever in the life of Feng Ching brothers. Face her with her face, but now, but now he actually said that he wants to retire? He opened her hand holding his waist and looked at her guiltily, clear songs, this is not my moment. This thought has been in my heart for a while, until today, I hope you can understand that emotional things can't be reluctant, I am sorry to hurt you. When the sound fell, he stopped looking at her, but turned and strode away. Feng Kinga fell to the ground and looked at him without hesitation, and his fingers pierced his palm deeply. For a long time, she wiped away the tears in her eyes, and her eyes gradually recovered. However, the fundus also floated with hatred and sorrow. Mu Rong Yixian, I have done so much for you, how can you say that I will bear me? I will not let you do what you want, you are destined to be mine. On the other hand, on the other side, in the courtyard of Fengju, the Feng Laojia brought back is looking at the courtyard like a child visiting the compound. He asked, Xiao Fenger, who is this yard? And you, how have you been veiled? Although he is somewhat forgetful, he is not stupid. This road is also faintly visible. His granddaughter, especially in this yard, has been veiled, which is not right. So, his eyes crossed a glimmer of light, his face showed a smile, a flash of his body, a hand raised, tearing off her veil. This yard is. Feng Ju ran, the words have not been finished, the veil on her face was pulled down, revealing her face that was covered with scars and ruined. Hey! This, what's going on? Father Feng took a breath of cold air and asked with anger. He wanted to make a joke with his granddaughter, tearing her veil and seeing what she always wore. Unexpectedly, under the veil is a face that has been destroyed. This is his granddaughter his baby granddaughter. Who is it? Who dared to hurt her like this? Feng Ju stroking his face, did not expect that he would suddenly tear down her veil, which was completely beyond her expectations, she did not want him to see her now ruined face. Who is it? Tell Grandpa who killed your face like this. The old man was so distressed that his eyes could not help but he was so red, and he even choked his voice. He looked at the face full of knives and knives. It was impossible to imagine how painful she had come over. Who is it? Such a jealousy, ruin the face of a girl like this? Feng Ju's heart trembled and looked at the old man whose eyes were red and sobbing. She narrowed her eyes and asked, So, do you still think that I am your granddaughter? So, do you still recognize that I am your granddaughter? Listening to this, Feng Laozi couldn't help but shed tears. He hugged Feng Ju and patted her head with one hand, comforting with choking, Feng, don't be afraid, don't be afraid. Grandpa I recognize that no matter how you become a grandfather, you will recognize it. Grandfather. Feng Ju finally couldn't help but scream, this grandfather, from the heart, has the emotion of Feng Ching Song, and also has the feeling of her Feng Ju. Perhaps, when he recognized her from a glance, she decided that he was the grandfather of her Feng Ju. Father Feng took a step back and grabbed her shoulders with both hands. Feng Taotu, you told Grandpa, is it something that happened to Grandpa's retreat? Who is your face destroyed? 
Fengju was silent, for a long time, said, The Feng family has a Fengqing song. What? Father Feng Zi said, You mean, is there a fake at home? Is this impossible? You are not stupid about my son. How can you not recognize your daughter? Seeing her toward him, Feng Laozi quickly waved his hand and said, Grandpa is not not convinced of you, but he feels that it is incredible. If this fake person can't see it, then even the family will not see it. She didn't say much, just said, Grandpa, you can go home and see, but I am here, I hope you don't mention it. Father Feng heard this saying, You are not going to go back with Grandpa? Are you worried that you don't believe it? Or don't you believe Grandpa? She shook her head, If you see the Feng Qing song in Feng's family and still think that I am your granddaughter, I will go back with you. Seeing this, Feng's father caressed his beard and silenced for a while, In this case, the grandfather will go back and see what the situation is. You can rest assured that Grandpa will come. At this time, his face was full of serious color, and his body was also the momentum of the lord of the family. He secretly whispered under his heart, if there is a fake phoenix song in the family, then the man will ruin him. Granddaughter's face. If so, he will not be the one who is light. In the wise eyes, the fierce color flashed past. When I saw the phoenix, I smiled and smiled. Feng, don't be afraid, wait here. Grandpa will go home and see, don't worry, Grandpa is very I will pick you up soon. Wen Yan, her heart warmed, showing a smile and nodded, well. Although she did not think about going back so quickly, but since things let him know, then take a look. After the Phoenix father had confessed, he left the yard and went to the Feng family. When I was on the streets of Feng Feng, I met Feng Xiao, who was looking for him. When I saw him, Feng Xiao looked worriedly and came forward. Hey! Where are you going? Why don't you come out with you? I haven't seen you in the nearby wine shop. Feng Laozi glanced at him with a heavy hand, snorted heavily, his face was black and calm, and he obviously suppressed his anger. He said, You tightened the skin for me. Go back and pack you. Feng Xiao's face was wrong and I didn't know where the old man was angry. Just want to ask, but he saw that he had already strode to Feng Fu and quickly told him, go, call everyone back, and say that the old man is looking for it is. Yes. The guard behind him should have a voice and quickly turned away. Feng Xiao strode up and asked, hey, what's wrong with you? Who made you angry? Father Feng didn't respond to him but he walked with a big face and a big step. His eyes were so deep that he was so infiltrated that he couldn't help but scream at the sight of Feng Xiao, who didn't know what was going on. Into the Feng Fu, Feng Lao Tai sat on the main seat, one hand on the table, a heavy shot, the old but full of voice with an angry drink, go to call me. Feng Xiao, who was coming in, quickly came forward and asked incomprehensibly, Hey, who is it? Of course, the old lady baby granddaughter. He bit the words very heavy, his eyes sharp as a knife, seems to be trying to restrain the anger. Clear song. Feng Xiaoai, looked at the angry old man, and cautiously asked, Hey, what are you looking for? Is it because she irritated you? This shouldn't be. You ran out when you went out. She hasn't seen you for a few months and she can't make you angry. Boom! Feng's father's heavy hand was shot on the table, and a loud noise was heard. The whole person stood up in anger and glared at him, I said to call someone to me. Feng Xiao was stunned by the angry old man who shook his feet. God knows that he has been so angry that he has not seen his father for many years. He does not dare to ask again at the moment. He only said, Well, don't be angry. I will let people call. Said, quickly went out to let the butler go to the backyard to call her daughter. At the same time, in the courtyard of Feng Kinga, a middle-aged man quietly appeared outside her room and shouted at the people in the room, the master. The Feng Qing song in the room was a little surprised when he heard the sound outside. 
he immediately said, Come in. The middle-aged man flew into the room and saw her sitting at the table. He whispered forward, Feng Lao Tai found it, but when he came back, he was angry and named to see the master. This will bring the housekeeper here. It's unusual to look at things, and I'll come over and report it. When she heard the words, she looked at her eyes and thought for a while. I know, you should go out first, don't let people discover. Yes. The middle-aged man should be here, and this is leaving. She sat quietly in the room, thinking about it. After a while, she heard the voice of the housekeeper. Miss, the Lord invited you to the hall. In the room, she got up and opened the door and walked out. Looking at the housekeeper in the courtyard, she greeted her and asked, Cheng Bo, did Grandpa find it? The old man is looking for, Miss does not have to worry. The housekeeper smiled and said, The old man and the Lord are waiting for the lady in the front hall. Miss is coming. Okay. She nodded and went to the front yard. In the lobby. Feng Xiao took the tea from the maid and put it at his father's hand. He said, Hey, you should drink tea slowly. Father Feng did not speak, but looked at the door of the hall, seems to be waiting for the arrival of Feng Kinga. What is going on? Feng Xiao's heart was puzzled and somewhat uneasy, but he did not ask for it. My father doesn't seem to want to say it, and it seems that this matter is related to the Qing Song. Just as his heart groaned, the atmosphere in the hall became more and more depressed, and finally heard the voice of the housekeeper coming from outside. Old man, lord, miss. Wen Yan, Feng Xiaozheng wants to get up and go to remind her, who knows that this is only away from the chair, just listen to a loud drink accompanied by the sound of the table. Sit down. Suddenly, he scared his legs and jumped back and squatted back. He was sitting at the distance and looked at his angry old father with a slight sigh, but he was unfortunately greeted with arrogance and anger. I had to pull out a smile and said, Hey, don't make such a big temper, don't wait to scare the song. For the majesty of the old father, he is deeply rooted in the bone marrow. Almost as soon as he screams and screams, he can make his powerful generals become turtle sons. Oh, no, it is immediately smashed. His mighty domineering is only for the outside world, and for the family, there is no such thing as a mighty momentum. Father Feng did not speak, but placed his sharp and wise eyes on the figure that came in from the outside. When he looked at the familiar face, his eyes narrowed. There are really two granddaughters. A face is destroyed, and a face is as good as ever. He looked at the old eyes and looked at it from beginning to end. When I walked in, Feng Ching Song felt that the sharp eyes of Feng Laozi fell on her body with a look of incomprehension. The heart could not help but secretly wonder, why do you want to look at her like this? Did he see where she is not like Feng Kinga? Grandpa, he he. She screamed and tried to ignore the suffocating atmosphere in the hall. She came to the side of Feng's father and hugged his arms with his hands, revealing a smile. Grandpa, Feng Tao to miss you you retreat. It's just a few months, I haven't seen my grandfather for a few months. There was no intentional laughter. On the contrary, Feng's father stared at her with a pair of eyes. The sharp eyes seemed to see what they were wearing, and her heart suddenly shouted. Grandpa, what's the matter? Even the hand that originally held his arm couldn't help but loosen it. He took a step back and looked at him with a bit of uneasiness. On the side of Feng Xiaojian, he quickly went forward, Hey, Kinga calls you. I remember that you have a phoenix birthmark on your arm. I took off my coat and showed it to me. Feng's handsome man's sharp eyes stared at her, his voice revealing majesty, and she let go of a slight look on her face. Hearing this, not only Feng Qing's stunned eyes widened, but even Feng Xiao frowned. Hey, what do you mean by this? How do you suddenly want to see the birthmark of Kinga? What are you suspecting? Grandpa, do you suspect that I am not your granddaughter? Her eyes were filled with tears of grievances, and her face was sad. Feng Xiao saw the distressed and quickly comforted, 
Ching Song, your grandfather didn't mean that, don't think about it. However, Feng Laozi was heavily snorted, sweeping Feng Xiao's eyes, looking at Feng Ching Song, frowning, tone is very tough, show the phoenix birthmark to me. Father! Shut up! Feng Laozi screamed and screamed, and his eyes were sharply stunned. Feng Ching Song bit his lip, tears in his eyes, Grandpa don't be angry, Grandpa wants to see the phoenix birthmark, I will show it to Grandpa. She said that she only half small belt, pull the coat down, revealing the white arm on the red phoenix birthmark. Hey, look, isn't the Feng Feng birthmark of the Ching Song? He really can't understand the old man. How do you go out and want to see the birthmark of Kinga? Is it difficult to suspect that his daughter has been transferred? You know that he is watching her walking around her eyes every day, that move, the look, and the look, how can it be fake? Seeing the phoenix birthmark, Feng's father frowned and said, Come here. Father. Father Feng did not care about him, his eyes fixed on Feng Ching Song, Come here. This time the voice was tough, with an unbearable majesty. Feng Kinga bit his lip and glanced at him. Then he walked slowly and went to his front to see his eyes narrow. Feng Laozi glanced at her, his fingers dipped in some tea, and squatted on the red phoenix birthmark. Then, the red phoenix birthmark was still there, no fading, and he was not wiped off by him. The deeper the wrinkles. Grandpa, can I pull the coat up? She asked with a slight voice, looking at Feng's father with a look of injury. Not waiting for Feng's father to open his mouth, Feng Xiao quickly said, Clear songs, pull the coat up, you go back to the house, I told your grandfather. Yet. Her tears fell, and she pulled out her clothes and ran out. To see her leave, Feng Xiao could not help but frown, and said with a calm voice, Hey, what are you doing? Are you doubting your granddaughter? Father Feng looked at him and looked at him. Yes, I doubt she is not my phoenix. How is it possible? Hey, what did you encounter when you went out? Is there someone who talks with you? How do you think so? Feng Xiao couldn't accept his father's doubts about his daughter. What? Looking at Feng Xiao, Feng Laozi shook his head, and even his own father could not detect the true and false of his daughter. It is no wonder that his phoenix head did not dare to come back. He stood up and shouted his breath and said, Sometimes people's eyes will be blinded. Many things must be felt with your heart. Look at them with your heart. You have lived so old, eaten. Salt is more than the rice you eat. He glanced at him and continued, Even if she is wearing a phoenix's face, she has the same phoenix birthmark as the phoenix phoenix. It must not be a phoenix ho. I want to know, I feel that I can't lie. Seeing that he had changed his body, he walked out in a big step. Feng Xioxin was shocked and stopped him. He asked, Hey, what do you want to do? Father Feng looked at him and said, She is not my phoenix girl. I will grab her and take off her mask. When Feng Xiao heard this, he suddenly made a mistake, and even the voice could not be aggravated, Hey, you are crazy. She is the Kinga, your granddaughter your phoenix. He thinks his father is a magical obstacle. Otherwise it is impossible to say such a thing. Hey! I think you are crazy. Even your own daughter can't tell, but it's a good idea to say that it is the phoenix's cockroach. You know what phoenix phoenix suffered? You know. Thinking of the ruined face of his baby granddaughter, his throat suddenly choked and his eyes glared at him. Have you ever thought that if the Feng Ching song in this house is fake, then where is the real Feng Kitu? But is it guilty? Will it suffer? If you don't, you don't even want to have that. Maybe it happened, even I told you, you don't believe it, you said, there is a father like you, how can my phoenix head go home? Hey, what you said is simply impossible. My daughter is clear, she has been with me and there is nothing wrong with it. How do you say what happened to you? Hey, you are isn't it too tired? Or are you drunk? 
why don't you help me to go back to the hospital to rest? He tried to help him, but he did not expect his sleeves to smash, and a force came over, and he pushed him out of the meter. Miscellaneous things. You wait, wait for me to pick up the fake thief, pick up the phoenix head and pick you up. Father Feng's anger screamed and leaped into the courtyard of Feng Kinga. Father. Feng Xiao was shocked, and he quickly followed up with a cry. Yes, he was not as good as Feng Lao, and his speed was far worse than him. However, in a blink of an eye, he disappeared. Seeing this, he shouted, Hey! Don't mess! Because the movements of the father and the son were very large, the people in the house were almost alarmed, and they all came out and whispered. What happened? I seem to hear that the old lady said that the lady is fake. How is it possible? It is the old man who is drunk. How can the lady be fake? What? A scream came and I was shocked by the people who were talking about it. Not good, something went wrong, go see. When Feng Xiao came to her daughter's yard, she was scared by the scene and almost jumped out. I saw that the old man did not know where to take out the long sword, holding the sword in both hands and using the mysterious breath to slash in the courtyard, and his daughter was scared to hide and cry. Hey! What are you doing here? He exclaimed, and quickly rushed forward to try to take the sword in his hand, lest he hurt him, but who knows, the Lord also turned and pushed him away, roll. The old man wants to kill her. Kill her. Feng Xiao's face was full of blood, and once again he rushed to hug him from behind, Hey! You are sober. That's Kinga. It's your granddaughter. She is not. She is not. She has killed my phoenix. She has killed my phoenix. Ah! Let go. I want to kill her. Father Feng's eyes were bloodshot and his eyes shouted wildly, struggling to get on. No one saw it, and it was a panting phoenix song that was hiding on the side of the crying face. The gaze of the phoenix phoenix looked with a hint of haze and excitement, and the gloom and excitement flashed past, almost nowhere. People perceive. She cried in panic and shouted, Hey, save me, Grandpa wants to kill me, hee <laughs> hee. Feng Xiao listened to the crying helplessness of the loved one, and then looked at the old man's almost crazy look. Seeing how he couldn't stop it, he finally had to pay respect, and a hand knife fell and stunned him. Hey! Father Feng's body softened and the sword in his hand fell to the ground. The entire yard finally calmed down because of his coma. The housekeeper, I will invite Lin Lao to check it out for my father. Feng Xiao's face was dignified and supported the father and told the housekeeper outside the hospital. Yes. The butler quickly responded, and rushed back to see the busy people, and then quickly went to the doctors in the house. Feng Kinga came over and looked at the fear, Hey, what happened to Grandpa? Have you been hurt? He looked at her and saw her tears in his face. He comforted, Don't be afraid, there is no one who can hurt you. You go back to the house and send your grandfather back to the yard. Speaking, the unconscious father walked out. Hey, let me go and see. She followed in a small step and said, I don't trust my grandfather. Okay. Feng Xiao nodded and followed by her. It was not long before the father was put on the bed, and an old man came in under the leadership of the butler. Master. The old man gave a tribute to Feng Xiao. Lin, you come over to see my father, see if he is uncomfortable. Feng Xiao said quickly, indicating that he came forward. Yes. Lin Lao Ying, quietly looked at the Feng Ching song at the bedside, and then he stepped forward and went to the bed to help Feng Feng's father check it. After a while, he took back his hand and asked. Master, I don't know what's wrong with the old man coming back. Feng Xiao's eyes were full of worry. He sighed and said, My father ran out after retreating. I thought he went out to the wine shop again. I didn't expect to meet him in the street. I saw him face badly. After returning, I was even more angry. 
I also said that Kinga was not his granddaughter. Later, I went to the Kingiwan. When I arrived, I saw him slashing with a sword and scaring a heart. He sounded a sigh and meditated, and, I saw that his look was a little wrong. Lin Lao nodded and said, That's right, Lin Lao Tai should be a problem in the cultivation, so that the spirit is somewhat confused. What? Feng Xiao exclaimed, You said that he is a problem in cultivation, which leads to some confusion in the spirit. How is this possible? If there is a problem in cultivation, it is estimated that it is also ruined, but I have visited him. Everything in his body is normal, it is impossible to have the kind of thing you said, are you diagnosed wrong? When I heard this, the old man brows slightly, if you don't believe, you can ask someone to come and treat the old lady, but I just want to say that no matter who you are, it's the same, and it's better to lock the old man, otherwise wait. He woke up, but he still didn't know if he was as before. Now he is very dangerous. He didn't even know what he did. You, you mean, grandfather woke up, it is very likely that he will take the sword to kill me. Feng Kinga's voice trembled and asked, his face was white. Lin Lao nodded, well, very likely. Upon hearing this, Feng Xiao's face was also dignified. He looked at the daughter who tried to suppress the panic, and then looked at the faint old father on the bed, and could not help but sigh, please ask a few doctors to check it out and say, clear song, you go back to the hospital, there are just fine. Okay. She nodded her eyes and thought that he would not lock up the father so easily. After all, he and his father's father and son have always had a very good relationship. They will not judge the father because of a doctor. Insanity, it will not easily lock the father. However, even if he asks who is the same, she will let him believe that the father is crazy. On the other side, Feng Juyi held his hand in the courtyard, and he did not know what he was thinking. Even the cold frost came back, and she did not notice it. Master. Well. She came back and saw her standing next to her and asked, Are you back? Can you pick someone? Yes, the young master bought five people back, and is about to ask the master to go to the outer court. Yet. She tied the veil and walked slowly to the outer court. Guan Ziu saw her rushing up and greeted, Ziju, you are coming, look at it, I bought five people back, one of them is a cook. No, but to those people, you put your head get up and let my sister see. Yes. A few people should be there and this is how to look up with a sly look. When I saw the woman standing in front of the clear spirit, several people's eyes were amazing, but they did not dare to look too arrogant. She, but looked at it and quickly lowered her eyes. Feng Zhu's eyes passed over a few people. After looking at it, he asked, What are you calling? Please ask the lady for the name of the slaves. The older cook said, Because they are selling and later this is the family, and naturally can no longer use the previous name. There is a green word for the generations, and you should choose one of the four words of peace and happiness. As for the cook, it is called Ching Niang. Miss Ye gave her name. Several people bowed their knees. She nodded and said to the side of the clothes, Brother, let the cold frost arrange them to stay, talk about the distance, I am a little tired today go back to the room to rest. Okay, then go. He nodded his head and watched her leave, only to confess to the frost and settle them, and he followed. Come with me. Cold frost said, taking them to the hospital. Two or three days later, Feng Laoji did not come again. The original Feng Zhu felt that maybe he saw that she was a fake after seeing the Feng Qing song in Feng Fu, but the more she thought about it in the past two days, the more wrong she was. In the attitude and tone of Feng's father, even if she thought she was a fake, she would definitely come back to her, but she waited for two or three days, and she did not see him again. This is strange. So she went out of the door and told the cold frost in the courtyard that she was practicing in the knees, cold frost, you have to inquire about what happened in Fengfu these two days. Yes. 
Although the cold frost was puzzled, she did not ask to get up and leave. She came to the hospital to sit down and waited for the cold frost to inquire about the results. This matter has not been handled well. She has been unable to calm down and practice. Originally, she did not intend to return to the Fengjia so soon. It is just that this situation. Zaiju, Ching Niang sweet soup, I brought you a bowl, you taste it, the taste is not bad. Guan Xi smiled and walked in, and there was a bowl of sweet soup on the tray. Thank you, brother. She smiled and smiled and got up and took it. Guan Ziu sat down at the stone table and said, Zaiju, I will come over and tell you something. Well? What? She asked while drinking a sweet soup. He hesitated, and this said, I want to go to the black market to punch. Wen Yan, her brow wrinkled, do you want to use that to make money? That kind of money cannot be earned, and if you encounter opponents who are stronger than you, and you are squatting, you even have the chance to admit defeat. Will not have. I feel that in such a place, in addition to making money, I can also enhance my combat effectiveness. What I lack most now is the actual combat experience, so I thought about accumulating experience first and then participating in Yeokuo Kyuasen. The annual selection campaign has become the top 10 on the star list, so that they have the opportunity to enter the Nebula Academy. The Nebula Academy. She searched in her mind and said, Is it the training school that was rated as the 7 Star Academy? I remember that the selection was very strict, and it was a three-year election. It was like a small country like the country. It seems like this for many years. No one can enter the Nebula Academy. Well, the Nebula Academy recruits students very strict, and it is located in the Qingtang country of the 6th grade middle country. Only when it becomes the top 10 of Yeokuo, can you have a chance to go there and try it. Although it is difficult to know, I still want to try. Try it, and, only if you leave the country, I may find my father in the future. Wen Yan, she nodded in understanding. He did say it well. He wants to go from a small country like a small country to a country with a higher level than the nine. Only the strength is recognized before he can enter. Otherwise, even if he is a king, he can only be rejected outside the city. Take Murong Yuxuan, he is the prince of Yeokuo, and he is also the pride of the sky. He had a great chance to enter the Institute of Nebula, but he had an accident three years ago, and he missed the opportunity, with the Nebula Institute. Passing by, if you want to re-enter the Nebula, you can only wait for a three-year campaign. Since you have set your goals, do it. But be sure to remember that you must be careful when you are too aggressive. If you encounter two strong opponents, you must admit defeat in time. You must know that losing a match is not lose your face, if you lose your life, then you will regret it. Okay, I know. He grinned and saw cold frost coming in. Master. The cold frost screamed, and he turned to Guan Xi's head, young master. How? Feng Zhu asked to ask her. The Feng family did happen in the past two days, and Feng Lao Tai was shut down. Closed. Her brows were slightly twisted, and the voice was unconsciously raised. Yes, because it is a thing inside Feng Fu, there are few people outside, but I know that these two Phoenix generals have invited a lot of famous doctors to go to the government. They all diagnosed that Feng Lao Tai had the disease of madness and said that he had the danger of attacking people. So it was shut up. After hearing this, Feng Zhu's face was half sounding and didn't open. This made the sight of Guan Zia very strange. He looked at the cold cream and looked at Feng Zhuyi. Finally, he couldn't help but ask, Xiao Zhu, what do you do about the Feng family? Hearing, she looked at him and saw him with a curious look. Even the cold cream looked at her. After a pause, she said, this may also tell you. The two of them were brief, and their eyes fell on her body. They always knew that she had a secret, but she did not say it, and they did not ask. I still have an identity, that is, Feng Xiao's daughter, Feng Ching Song. 
what? Listening to her saying that, like a thunder, a wave of waves in the hearts of the two people. You are Feng Kinga? Then, what about the Feng Qing song we met that day? Who is she? Guan Ziyu's eyes widened and his face was shocked. However, he thought that Ziyu could not lie to him. He thought that the day he always thought that the Feng Qing song was similar to Ziyu. At this time, listening to her again, it only felt incredible. Even the cold frost that has always been indifferent is a stunned look at this time. If the master is Feng Kinga, then it can explain how she cares about the Feng family. But if the master is the Feng Qing song of Feng Fu, then is the fake Feng Qing song that is the destruction? The person who looks at the face of the master? She is Suru Yun. When I was a few years old, I was taken back from the roadside. I was always with me. It was just that the human heart was unpredictable. She replaced my identity and made my face sway. I sold it to the brothel, and I was afraid that I would not die to feed me. Her voice is light and windy, as if talking about other people's things, but Guan Xi and Cold Cream listened, but the fists were tightly picked up, and I felt so sad that I could kill the vicious woman named Suru Yun. Feng Ju drank a sweet soup that was already cool, showing a smug smile, saying, Just, she is countless, it will not count, I will still live, not even counted, I have already returned. Ziyu, you have not returned to Feng Jia, are you afraid that your face is ruined, your father and grandfather can't recognize you? Guan Ziyu looked at her with a distressed heart, and a heart twisted into a ball. When she met in the Nine Volt Forest, she was only fighting against the wolves, the savage, and lore, he still remembers now. He has been unable to think about what kind of family can cultivate a child like her, but at this moment, he fully understands. It's not that she wants to grow, but she is forced to grow. If she doesn't, she can't live. The face is ruined. However, when I met my grandfather on the street a few days ago, he recognized me at a glance. She thought of the phoenix father who was so drunk, she could not help but smile. The smile is converging, and there is some ambiguity in my heart. He is now locked, and I don't know what happened. Is it true that Feng Lao's grandfather was past the madness of this time, is that the ghost of Suru Yun? Guan Xi's eyes are white and she only feels that the woman is terrible. Since she has won the identity of Xiaoju, she does not treat her relatives as relatives, but also designs to harm them. Such a woman can only be ruthless. She meditated and nodded. My grandfather can't go back suddenly. I think it must be her ghost. I will check it out later. Do you want to sneak into Fengfu? However, in a place like Fengfu, the guardianship is very strict, I am afraid that it is not easy to go in. He said with some concern, and said, if you are caught, when you are a what if the assassin kills? I don't have to worry about this. With my current strength, it is no problem to sneak into Fengfu. She was confident in her words, her eyes on him, and said, I will handle this matter myself, you don't have to worry, everything waits for me. I will talk after I have visited Fengfu in the evening. Well, then you must be careful. Guan Ziyu did not trust it. Master, can I go with you? Or should I be outside? Cold Frost asked. No need to. She stood up and said to the two people, you are waiting at home. I will go back to the house to practice, and I don't have to call me for dinner. After the confession, when I turned to enter the room, I stopped and looked at the cold frost. My brother, he is going to the black market, you will wait until the past, let them take more care. Yes. Cold frost should be, watching her enter the room, this will look to the side of the close young, young master, you have to go to the battlefield. Yes, I want to go there and try my hand. In his tone, he was eager to try, his eyes leaping and fascinating, and I want to enter the Nebula Academy, so in the three-year competition, I have to get the top ten places in Yeokuo. The Nebula Academy recruits students in three years, and now there is still one year to prepare. She said, looking at him, 
said, however, that is very strict, gather all the elites in one place, you have a year of time can I enter the Nebula Academy? I will definitely go in. He was firm in his words, and his eyebrows were full of confidence. Returning to the room, Feng Zhu entered the space to practice. In the space, her body's mysterious force quickly turned, and the more and more thick and thick, after practicing the mysterious atmosphere, practicing martial arts until the nightfall, the space is out. She put on her face in black, and her toes went out of the courtyard and went to Feng Fu. At this time, in the Feng Fu Hall, the lights are in full swing. The phoenix that quietly sneaked into Feng Fu was on the roof of the hall, and the body was half sliding to reveal the tiles, and looked down through the slits. I saw, in the main position, Feng Xiao, who was sitting in the lower left, heard the words of Murong Yuxuan, who was in the lower left, and his face was stunned. The angry anger was remake on the table and shouted loudly, You will tell me again. Murong Yixian Junmi's face was guilty and apologetic. He stood up and solemnly said, Xiao Xu, I know that you are very difficult to accept, but this is what I decided after careful consideration. I also I have said it with the song. He looked at him in anger, guilty said, so I hope that the Feng family will open this mouth and propose a retreat, so that the damage to the Kinga can be minimized. Reducing the damage to her? Do you know that your resignation is already hurting her? Feng Xiao glared at him and stood up and accused, you two can grow up as childhood friends. I have been sympathetic since childhood. I thought you would be married this year, but now you actually say that you want to retire, you said, you can you afford to sing a song. Feng Zhu on the roof looked at the angry Feng Xiao, this is her father, a father who loves women, but because of this excessive love, he never doubted how his daughter changed. In his opinion, it is best for her daughter to do whatever she does. For him, she really can't tell what it feels like. Disappointed? No, after all, he doesn't know she is being transferred, isn't she? In any case, he is a good father, a father who loves his daughter. I glanced at him deeply, and she looked away and placed her eyes on the body of Murong Yuxuan. I didn't expect him to come back to the family. However, these eyes have nothing to do with her. She still first asked her where her grandfather was locked. Carefully moving the tile back to the original position, she took a breath and quietly left and went to the backyard. With the memory in her mind, she became familiar with the Feng Fu and was able to come to her grandfather's yard. In her view, even if the father got the card of the madness is locked up, it can only be locked in his yard. After all, it is impossible to treat him with the filial piety of her grandfather. Let me go out. Let me go out. The old man is going to kill you. You are a vicious woman. A vicious woman. Before I got close, I heard the roar of the old man in the room. After a while, Suru Yun, who was in a blue dress, walked out of the room and closed the door. At the same time, the two guards of the gatekeeper, Grandpa is not good, you must take care. Miss Assured the subordinates will look after the old man. Tu Feng Wei said in a calm voice. Well, I will come back tomorrow. She nodded, and then she moved away. Watching her leave, the two Feng Wei saw no one around, could not help but say, why do you say that the old lady is always miss? Also said she is fake. I didn't say that I have invited a lot of famous doctors. Did the final diagnosis result the same? I said that the old man got the disease of madness, and you said, if it is not like this, how can it be good to kill the young lady? The name of Feng Wei scratched his head, and he said, but this is very strange. The old man was so good before, how could it suddenly become like this? I always feel a little strange, just can't say where it is strange. Then don't worry so much, keep the old man off, don't worry about it, um. The sound of Feng Wei fell, and the two snorted and the body fell to the ground and passed out. In the Black Phoenix, he jumped into the courtyard and looked around. He quickly pushed the door open and went in. However, 
when she saw the old man inside, she could not help but blink red, and hurriedly ran over, choked and called, Grandpa. The old man is right in the room, but what she didn't expect was that his head was locked in the bed, his hands and feet were locked with mysterious chains, his eyes were covered with abnormal bloodshot, and there were some black and blue under the eyes. I haven't seen it in the sky, and the whole person has lost a big circle. Kill you. Kill you. Ah. Let me go. Let me go. Feng Lao Tai completely lost his madness and screams, and the mysterious force is surging, making people afraid to be too close to him. Grandpa, it is me, it is me. I am Feng Taotu. Watching the old man suffer from such sin because of her, tears are not free to flow down the Lord, a heart is tight and painful, this moment, she really wants to lift the Suruyun to cut the flesh and blood. To vent her hatred. Kill you. Ah. Seeing that he completely lost his mind, she could only endure the pain in her heart, and took out the silver needle and injected it into the mysterious breath. Kill. The voice of Feng Lao Tai is weak, and the whole person is also coma, and the mysterious breath of the body also dissipates. She hurried forward and went to the bed to take down his pulse. This exploration was heartless. Remove a piece of iron wire from the space to untie several locks on his hands and feet, then click on his faint hole and send him into the space. Then he quickly leaves, but he does not want to, when he leaves the door, he meets and walks in. The housekeeper in the hospital. Who? The housekeeper screamed loudly and saw Tu Feng Wei fell to the ground without knowing what happened. The black man went into the room of the old man, and he was shocked. He shouted loudly, Come on! Come on! There are assassins! At the same time as the sound fell, the pace went up, and the whole person rushed forward and wanted to hold the black man. Damn it! Feng Ju cursed in the heart, did not expect that someone would come over at this time, at this time, see the housekeeper rushed over, immediately lifted the gas, kicked a foot on the butler's shoulder and swept away to the roof ready to leave Feng Fu quickly at that time, but did not want to control the exclamation of the house, the people in the palace, especially the Feng Xiao and Murong Yixian in the front yard. Where the little thief flees. The sound of Lo and Rich Suan Li came like a tiger, and the powerful mysterious atmosphere shocked the air in the air. When Feng Zhu looked back, she saw her old man lifted her breath and flew in. The tiger fist hit with a strong darkness, and the wind blade brought by the fist's strength crossed the air and made a snoring sound. Naturally, she can't do it with him, and she doesn't say that she can't beat it. It's not good to accidentally hurt him. At the moment, she was in a shape, and she quickly avoided his heavy punches while flicking. Instead of confronting him, she chose to quickly retreat and jump out of the house. Catch the little thief! Feng Xiao sipped and saw Murong Yuxuan in front of the black man. He turned back and went to the room. When he saw that there was no father in his room, his heart sank, what about the old man? The butler hurriedly followed, and saw no one in the room. He was shocked and said, the old slave just saw the black man coming out of the old man's room and didn't see the old man. Look. Give me a look. He screamed loudly his eyes on the two hands at the roof of the orthogonal hand, must catch the little thief. She is not good at her, she is not polite with Murong Yuxuan, not to mention, this is the first day of the glory of the country, Murong Yuxuan, she has long wanted to compare with him, so she shot excuse me, step by step to kill the machine. Hey! Hey! Seeing that the man in black is not inferior to Murong Yuxuan, Feng Xiao is shocked. This Yunyu city, when did you come to such a master? You must know that the strength of Murong Yuxuan is not generally dealt with. I just couldn't take a closer look. Now, look closely, why do you think that the black figure is familiar? My heart is puzzled, and when I meditate, I am interrupted by a voice. Hey, what happened? Feng Kinga came to his side and saw the two figures on the roof. He couldn't help but widen his eyes, is there an assassin coming into our house? What is he doing? 
Grandpa? Grandpa is fine. Your grandfather is gone. Feng Xiao brow slightly twisted, and there is a worry in his eyes that his father's body is now gone. Who is it? What purpose does that person have? What? Grandpa is gone. She was shocked and her heart was somewhat puzzled. How can the old man not see? Was it not who was taken away? Can you marry him and what can he do? Moreover, it can be as if there is no one in the Feng house, the person's skill is too strange, right? Hey! Hey! The fist and the foot hit each other, and the sound of the air and the heavy sound, a black and white two-skinned figure are filled with a thick and powerful sense of mystery. The two men's attacks are not merciless, and the recruits are so fierce that the following people can't help but watch the war. Secretly stunned by the black man's skill, he saw the black man kicking a side kick, and the swept leg even condensed a sharp air stream visible to the naked eye, to cover the ear. The speed kicked to Murong Yixian. Okay. Murong Yuxuan snorted and his body fell out of balance and fell from the roof to the ground. He quickly adjusted and lifted the balance of the body. It was still because of the speed and strength of the falling, but still not free to go back a few steps. Stable. When he stood still, he looked up again and saw the black figure on the roof sweeping into him. The gaze made him feel a little familiar, and for a time, he lost his heart. Fast chase. Feng Xiao saw the black figure flying and flew away, the black figure quickly disappeared into the night, and immediately hunted to hunt. The speed of the Fengfu guards, can you catch up with Feng Feng? After she left the Fengfu, she did not stop and graze. After the person behind her was far away, she returned to the courtyard and took the father in the space and helped him jump into the house. The inner court. Small nine, how? Can it still be smooth? Guan Ziu and Lang Shuang were in the middle of the hospital. When she saw her coming back, she rushed to meet people. Fortunately. She handed him over to him, saying, First enter the room, Cold Frost, you are guarding in the yard. Yes. Cold Frost should be kept in the courtyard. Entering the room, Guan Ziu put the father on the bed and looked at the faint and phoenix father. He couldn't help but look back at Feng Zhu, Xiao Zhu, what happened to your grandfather? How is the whole person so embarrassed? Feng Zhu came out after the screen and changed into the clothes he wore when he was free. After she netted her hand, she came over and said, Brother, you give me a bowl of water and come first. While talking, she sat down at the bed and re-examined her grandfather's body again, then took out the silver needle and set it aside. Guan Zijun called the water, placed it next to him, and then watched at the bedside, did not bother her, she saw her take out the silver needle to puncture her grandfather's ten fingers, and then squeezed in the water blood. When he saw that the basin of water was dyed by the dark, black blood, he couldn't help but breathe. The vicious woman turned out to be poisonous to your grandfather. Feng Zhu's eyes were light and said, she is a poison master, otherwise she will not be able to check out so many doctors. Change another basin of water. It is good. Guan Ziu once again went to a basin of clear water and replaced the pot of blood. This time, seeing the blood flowing out gradually recovering the bright red color, he asked, is this poison solved? There is still no need to clear the poison. She saw that it was almost the same. This signaled the removal of the basin, wiped the hand with water, covered him with a quilt, and went to the table. Brother, Don, you can grab the medicine on this list and take medicine in several places. She wrote a prescription and handed it to him. Guan Xi took a look after picking it up and nodded, Well, I will go to the medicine when it is done. At the same time, Feng Jiazhong is a mess. Feng Xiao took people out to find the old man, and Murong Yuxuan also joined the help. This evening, it can be said that people are upset, and because of their movements, many people know that the old man of Fengfu was defamed. However, everyone is weird. You said that the Fengqing song is still eloquent. After all, people are the jewels of Fengfu, and they are still a beautiful woman. 
They can put a beautiful woman, but they are old, and they have recently been it is not surprising that you are diagnosed with a disease of madness. Therefore, there are many arguments, thinking, will it be any enemy of the Feng family? Or is the enemy of Feng Laozi doing it? As for the Fengfu, Feng Kinga's courtyard, a middle-aged man came to her room again. The master, the identity of the brother and sister is clear. Say. The man called Guanzhu, who is the second house of Yunyu City Guanjia, only fell out with the Guan family in the previous days. He asked the family to stand in the house, and now lives in a house in the south of the city. As for the woman, the investigation did not come out only knowing that it was the sister who had been worshipping, and no one had seen her face because she had always covered her face with a veil. Wen Yan, Suru Yun's eyes crossed a murderous murderess. An unexplained fox Miyaza can also make Murong Yuxuan lose his soul, which is a good skill. Take a few people from the poison door to kill the surname. As for the woman, give me back, I have to see what kind of face under the veil. Her voice is yin the embarrassing embarrassment is particularly infiltrating in this quiet night. Yes. The middle-aged man respectfully responded. In addition, check out what the old man was being taken away by any force. If it is found, solve it directly outside. An old man who is inconvenient, if she is acquainted, she will not kill him, but she is so old, and there are a pair of shrewd eyes that are disgusting. Since it is a hindrance to her, don't blame her for not reading that love. Yes. The middle-aged man responded again. After seeing her wave to indicate that he had retired, he turned and left. The next morning, early morning. When Feng Laozi slowly woke up, he saw the individual at the bedside, and looked at him slightly. The ruined face was reflected in his eyes. When he thought of what the woman said, there was a pain in his heart. The old tears could not help but wet the pillow. Seeing her ruined face has made him feel distressed, but when he heard that the woman said that she was holding a knife and a knife to open the face of Feng Biatu, the heartache made him suppress. Turned into anger and anger. His Phoenix Ho. A child who is so obedient has suffered so many sins that he is so embarrassed. The skinny hand trembled and swayed trying to gently touch the scars on her face, but unexpectedly, she didn't touch her, she woke up. Feng Ju suddenly woke up, and sat up with vigilance. When he saw that the old man who was waking up was stretching out his slightly trembling hand, he relaxed and saw that the old man was crying silently, and could not help but glimpse. Grandpa, how are you crying? She raised her hand and wiped his tears and asked, is the body still uncomfortable? Come, I will help you get up and sit. Her vigilance made the old man smashed into a ball. How long does it take for her to have such a vigilant response? Is she afraid of being dangerous and not sleeping? Feng Shan Tao. Grandpa, Grandpa can't help you. The old tears are crisscrossed, and they are remorseful and painful. If you know that such a thing will happen in a few months of retreat, he will not retreat in any way. Wen Yan, she showed a smile, lifted him up and sat on the bed, whispered, Grandpa, you don't do this, I am fine now, really good. In order to divert his attention and prevent him from continuing to blame himself, she asked, Grandpa, what happened after you went back? You inhaled the medicine with excitement and the body was poisoned. Exciting effect. The old man wiped away the tears and thought about it. He said with resentment, I was the woman. I went to the hospital and wanted to arrest her. But she told me that I didn't pay attention to sprinkle some powder. I accidentally inhaled it, and said. Speaking of this, he sounded a moment and hesitated. I said that my face was scratched by her. I was irritated by her tormenting her grandfather. The estimate she could think of is this, or the father will not be easily recruited. Father Feng nodded. Yes, I was very angry when I heard it. I only felt a rush of fire on my head, and my mind was somewhat uncontrollable. Speaking, I think of something general, some strange questions, yes, how can I be here? Am I not locked up? 
Although rationality lost control at the time, his consciousness was somewhat clear, but he did not know how to come here. When she heard this, she smiled and smiled. The agile eyes sparkled with a sly look, nature is what I brought my grandfather. But, seeing that he still wants to ask, she interrupted his words and smiled and said, Well, Grandpa, you have already thought so much after you have already come out. You still have more than enough poison on your body. Let's go back here first, then I will go. The end bowl porridge came over to the grandfather to eat. Seeing her turn and go outside, Feng Laozi is slightly stunned. Bring him out of Feng Fu? This is unlikely. What kind of alert is Feng Feng, no one knows better than him. When the cold frost in the hospital saw her out, she greeted her, the master. Cold frost, you go to the kitchen to see if the maiden porridge is good, but come over. Yes. She sighed and went to the kitchen. After the cold frost went out, Guan Zia walked in and said, Ziju, I bought it back, I have already told the Qing Niang, right, I went to buy medicine this morning and saw Feng Fu. People are looking for people around. Are you saying that you will find us here? Reassure, even if you find it here, it will be fine, but pay more attention to their movements during this time. Well, you can rest assured that I know this. He nodded and looked at the room and asked, Have your grandfather woke up? Woke up? She said, looking back and said, He has been blaming himself, saying that he did not protect me. She sighed and said, Go. Go in and see him, by the way, I will give you introduce. Good. Guan Zhu nodded and followed her to the room. When I entered the room, I saw him sitting on the bed and wondering what to do. Seeing this, Feng Zhu screamed, Grandpa. The old man came back and looked at the two men who came in. The gaze naturally fell on Guan Zia's body, and he looked at it secretly, Feng Shan Tao, he is. The younger generation is close to Xiang, and I have seen Feng Grandpa. Guan Zia went forward and showed a sleek smile. Grandpa, he is my brother of different names. I usually call him a brother. She took his hand and said, he has helped me a lot, and people are very good. The old man nodded and said to Guan Xi, my Feng Tao Tao was taken care of by the little brothers. Feng Grandpa is serious. Guan Ziu is a little embarrassed. Where did he help Ziju? They are all small and help him take care of him. Master. The cold frost outside called out. Come in. Feng Zhong Feng called. The old man looked at his voice and saw a woman in black with a hand in his hand and walked in. He secretly looked at it. Before he thought about it, he listened to the phoenix head around him. Grandpa, she is called Cold Cream, my escort. The old man's heart is awkward, with the waiter. This black girl's body is very calm, not too old, but it is calculated in the same number, and there is also the customs and Feng Shan Tao is who knows these two people? Although my heart is puzzled, I did not ask immediately, but I was observing them. Feng Zhu has a porridge at the front, saying, Grandpa, your body is poisonous and weak, and you can't eat two good things, so I make people lick the porridge, you can eat it. Okay. Feng Laozi nodded his head and passed the bowl himself, Grandpa himself will come. Upon seeing it, Guan Zijun said, Zaiju, let's go out first. I went to the kitchen to see if Ching Niang took the medicine and didn't give it to Feng's grandfather. In the words, he went out with the cold cream and closed the room. Door. When they left, Feng Laozi asked, Feng Fengtu, how do you know them? This is a long story, I will focus on talking to my grandfather. She smiled and watched him eat porridge and said the process of meeting them, but the difference is that she took her alone. The war wolves rescued the customs and turned them over. When the matter was finished, he saw him not and said that he would have to thank him if he recovered his body, or she said that she was not thankful for her family. Finally, let him take a nap after taking a pill, but he was left in the blood because of the unresolved poison in the body, 
and there was some medicine that was exciting in the blood. After sleeping, she was not quite stable. She had to use a silver needle. His sleeping hole allowed him to sleep well. In the evening, Guan Ziu came to the hospital. Small nine, did your grandfather wake up? After drinking the medicine, I fell asleep, what happened? She looked at her face with a bit of dignity, some doubts. Someone is eyeing us. He frowned slightly, I just don't know who it is. Well? How? She picked her eyebrows and was a little surprised, as if they hadn't gotten into someone recently. Guan Ziu calmed his voice and said, There is someone stepping on the outside of the house, and I went out and found someone staring in the dark. Upon hearing this, she paused and said, You and the cold frost will do as usual, and the door will go out. In addition, let the young lady and the niece in the front yard look dark. Stay in the room, don't hear anything. Well, I have said it in the past, you have to be careful here. He was not worried. I know. She smiled and nodded, but some wanted to know, who is this who is looking at them? After all, since the Sufa government was destroyed, the forces in the city of Yunyu City were all safe and secure, and did not dare to cause trouble. Although I don't know who it is. However, she believes that she will know soon. It was night, the house was quiet, and the prostitutes in the front yard had locked up the doors and windows and went to sleep early. In the backyard, after Phoenix nine o'clock, her grandfather's sleeping hole, he came to the courtyard to sit, playing chess with Guan Ziu, and the cold frost was kept in the room and did not come out. Perhaps it is felt that several people in this house are not afraid at all. Therefore, the eight black figures sneaked into the backyard, and plunged into the backyard. As soon as they entered the backyard, they saw the two people sitting in the courtyard. Men's kill, women's catch back. A black man in the head gave a sullen voice, and as soon as the sound fell, several figures flashed from the darkness, showing the sword in his hand and attacking the two people in the courtyard. After hearing the words of the black man, Guan Xi's Feng Zhu looked at the traces without a trace. Under the veil, Feng Zhu whispered a word, and then stood up in panic. Ah! Brother! She exclaimed, hiding behind Guan Ziu. Sister is not afraid, I protect you. Drink! Guan Xi sighed and screamed, and the two boxings contained the ten black men who attacked the attack. Only two loud bangs heard the sound of the cracked bones, and the two blacks that were swept up. The whole man flew out and fell into the corner of the wall and swallowed even if there was no scream. Seeing that he punched two black men, the veil of the nine-necked corner of the veil could not help but pump. Obviously, he told him to stay a bit of strength. He used ten percent of his strength. With his current boxing power, a punch of 10% is not something that anyone can withstand. Guan Ziu sighed and sighed, and guarded the black man in front of Feng Zhu. However, he did not forget the plan of the two men. When he saw a black man holding a sword, he would Feng Zhu pushed aside, flashing into the back of the two people, two or two boxing, this time, the two black people's neck bones were broken. What? The screams sounded followed by the sound of two black men falling to the ground. Seeing this scene, the face of the head of the person has become difficult to look at, his gaze is staring at Feng Zhu. The next moment, his body jumps and crosses Guan Xi to go to her. In his opinion, the man is too strong, it is not suitable for hard hit, but this woman is different, she has no mysterious fluctuations, it is an ordinary person, since the master ordered her then he will take people back to cover life. Ah! Brother save me! Feng Zhu exclaimed, only feeling that one hand clasped her neck tightly, and the next moment, the whole person was carried away. Also because the black man was behind her, so I didn't see the smile that seemed to flash in her eyes. Younger sister! Guan Ziu exclaimed, because he was unable to keep up with the remaining few people, his face was anxious and screamed, Give me her. The black people stopped him again, and saw that the head of the man was holding her and she had disappeared. 
The anxious color on Guan Xi's face also dissipated, and the sharp eyes swept away against those black clothes. He smiled and said, I just want you to stop me. I don't know how many things I have. As soon as the sound fell, the figure suddenly appeared like a ghost, and the powerful and honest Sun Li breath rushed up, letting him faintly float the power of the monks, and the fists that were thrown out were even more fierce. The airflow was so shocking that several black people changed their faces. Not good. They want to go backwards, but the speed is not as good as the customs. I saw that the two of them were kicked by a boxing center. They suddenly made a loud crack, and the whole person flew out and fell to the ground and twitched. The other person was buckled by his neck. The whole person was struggling to lift off the ground. He only heard a scream. The man could not even scream and screamed and died. Withdraw. Quick withdrawal. One person exclaimed, his face changed greatly, and he didn't even dare to turn around and want to go. Since it is here, do you think you are still going? Guan Xi was cold and cold, and several people were solved in the next two or two. Looking at the bodies in the courtyard, he turned back to the cold and frosty road guarding the old man in the room, cold frost, here I am handed over to you, I look at the past. Okay. Cold frost opened the door and looked at the stained courtyard, and didn't even blink his eyes. On the other side, the head of the person brought Fang Ju to a house, and when he entered the house, seven or eight black people came out and one of them came out. One of them saw that he was alone and could not help but be surprised. How come only you are left? What about other people? The strength of the Guan Xi is stronger than I expected. Others estimate that he was killed by him, but fortunately, I took the woman back. The black man who grabbed Feng Ju pushed her forward. One push, watching her fall to the ground. You, who are you? Why are you arresting me? Her voice trembled, looking at the people around her with fear and panic. The loss of a few brothers caught such a woman, I really don't know what is special. A black man stared at the phoenix on the ground. Another black man showed a strange smile and said, tear off her veil and see her true face. This woman has never seen her since now. I really want to know if it grows. More stunning. I was trying to get started, and I saw a middle-aged man coming out inside. When I saw him, the black people in the courtyard suddenly became respectful. I have seen the left guardian. Feng Jukio looked at the panicked pilgrim. When he saw the middle-aged man, he quickly lowered his head, and the half-folded eyelids spread a chill of murderousness. The corner of the veil slightly evoked a curvature. Old acquaintance. At the beginning, although this face was destroyed by Suru Yun, the help of this middle-aged man could not be avoided. I didn't expect it to be met today. It's really a break from the iron shoes, and it takes no effort. The middle-aged man's gaze fell on the ground and looked down at Feng Ju. The volume of the man looked a bit familiar, his brow wrinkled slightly, and he calmly said, take her veil down. Yes. The black man should have, I have long wanted to take off her veil and see her true face. Right now, finally have a chance. Looking at the black man striding forward, Feng Ju's hand was pressed on the calf without a trace. She looked at the middle-aged man, her eyes fixed on him, her eyes bent slightly, like a smile. Seeing this scene, the middle-aged man's brows were deeper and he felt that the woman was very surprised. He was about to make a sound reminder, and he saw that the woman who had fallen on the ground jumped up, and a dagger with a cold light was in her. Turning in the hand, the next moment, the sharp blade smothered the murderous murder of the cold to the black man in front of him. Be careful. Screaming out, the surrounding black people reacted instantly, but they could only see that the black man who was half tilted to pull the woman's veil was stiff and snorted. Boom. You you. The big man who had previously smashed her black man's eyes, some incredulously looked at the woman who had suddenly changed her breath. The previous weakness was replaced by the fierceness at this time. There was no trace of mysterious power on her body. But at this moment, she stood there, 
and there was a powerful Suanli force visible to the naked eye. More intense than any of them. The eyes that were originally with panic and fear were slightly squatting at this time, and there was a scent of evil spirits in the eyes. If they didn't see them, he couldn't even believe the woman in front and the weak woman. It is the same person. Feng Ju stood there, playing with a delicate and sharp dagger in his hand, half squinting eyes passing over the black men and then falling on the middle-aged man. I didn't expect to meet an old acquaintance, it was an accident. When I heard this, the middle-aged man's voice was so heavy that his eyes passed a ray of light, old acquaintances. Since you are an old acquaintance, why should you not dare to see people with a veil? Ha ha! She chuckled, the silver bell-like laughter was crisp and sweet, and it seemed extremely clear in this quiet night. The laughter is full, the voice is seven minutes of carelessness and the arrogance of three points, I don't dare to see people, but you are not qualified to see my face. Her eyes glanced at the courtyard and said, Isn't this your old nest? I am curious, how many secret forces are there in Suru Yun? Upon hearing this, the middle-aged man's eyes narrowed, and his heart was shocked by the wind and the waves, and the pace stepped back. The sharp and hazy eyes stared at her as if to see through the veil. Is it you? You are not dead yet. There are not many people who know about it. This woman is actually the Feng Ching Song? Also, it's no wonder that he looked at her body shape with a little familiarity. It turned out to be the woman they thought was dead. Just, how can she change so much in just a few months? The sinister spirit of the fierce and bloodthirsty, and the self-confidence and frivolity that came out from the body. If she did not say that sentence, he simply guessed who she was? I don't even know that this woman would be the Feng Ching Song. How can I find you revenge after you die? Under the veil, she squinted at her lips and stared at him, step by step, maybe, you can try it, can you escape from me today? When I heard this, the middle-aged man smiled and said, ha 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 ha. It's ridiculous. Just want you to stay with me? It's too naive. He stared at her with a sullen look, his face with a hot look, and a long sword from his waist, a gloomy road, escape? You can't scare me away. In contrast, this time you it's not so good luck. Sister. I will help you. Followed by the phoenix left by the phoenix, Guan Xi rushed to the wall of the house and stood on it and looked at the people in the courtyard. After looking at it, he said, the old one is dealing with you, and the other is handed over to me. As soon as the sound fell, the sword leaped in the hand, and the sword of the hand shook, and the sword of the scorpion instantly hit the black man in the courtyard. Seeing that he followed, she veiled the lower lip corner and did not forget to confess, Brother, this time give me a few live mouths, but don't kill them. No problem. He screamed, and his voice was full of enthusiasm. The sword in his hand went to the throat of the black man. After hearing her words, he turned his head and turned to the other side. Go with. Don't dare to catch up with this. Brothers, kill him. The black man saw him coming to him with a sharp sword and immediately screamed. Several people around him sighed, and eight people quickly surrounded him and trapped him in the middle. The swords of the eight long swords were also aimed at him. The mysterious surging of the people, the bloodthirsty murder, and the fierce swordsmanship from the tip of the sword screamed in this courtyard, with eight enemies, how to see that the eight people won, therefore, that name the middle-aged man just glanced at it and didn't pay attention to them. Instead, he dropped his gaze on the woman in front. Feng Zhu Zhao Guanxiu looked over and looked back, not worried that he would be killed by the black people. After all, he was not a white cultivator during this time. Her gaze fell on the middle-aged man in front, and at the same time mobilized the body's mysterious breath, infused into the dagger in the hand, the next moment, the figure flashed toward the front target, and the knife in front of the knife formed a sharp the air flow, slamming through the air, collided with the other's long sword. Hey! The middle-aged man held a sword in her hand to block her attack, and sneered, Do you fight with me? You are still tender. The force was pressed, 
and the sword in his hand turned and flew toward her. Hey! Call! At the same time, Feng Zhu sneaked forward and stepped forward. The dagger in his hand smashed his sleeve and pierced it into the flesh, and the smell came out. Just listening to him screaming at the sword, she immediately blocked her sword and lifted her foot. In his stunned gaze, the kick of mysterious darkness fell on his chest and slammed him. Fly out! Okay. When he snarled his body backwards, he only felt the blood in his chest rolling, and a blood rushed into his throat and spit out from his mouth. Puff! He stabilized his footsteps, and when he looked up, his eyes were incredibly shocked and looked at the hot woman in front of him. Some uncertain questions asked, are you really a Feng Qing Song? If it is Feng Qing Song, how can it be such a skill in just a few months? If it is not Feng Qing Song, why is the body shape similar? Is it something that she has had in these months? Thinking of this, his eyes flashed. Adventure. There are both adventures, and there is a secret on her body. Seeing the flashing light in his eyes, Feng Ju sneered, you will soon know if I am. As soon as the sound fell, her body speed changed and she plucked like a light and shadow. The speed was several times faster than before, and the middle-aged man who was shocked was not able to respond at the moment. When he was back, he only I feel a cold and stinging between my neck. How? I said you can't escape. The gentle voice rang with a coldness behind him. He was stiff and his eyes were shocked and his face was incredible, how, how could it? He is a master of the martial arts peak period, how could she be instantly restrained by her? However, the pain from the neck and the smell of the silk made him unable to believe it. He really planted it and planted it in the hands of a woman who was not in his eyes. Moreover, this woman was Feng Qing. Song. Hey, I thought you were caught and bitter, and I didn't expect you to love your life more than I thought. Listening to her sarcasm, the middle-aged man closed his eyes and closed his eyes, what do you want? Yes, he does not want to die. How can he find himself in the realm of his great martial artist? Even if he knew that he was in her hands, he would not end well, but he could not do anything. What? There were a few screams coming over there. He opened his eyes and saw that the black people were all stunned on the ground, and the mouth was too weak to be closed. It was obvious that the man had licked his chin. Seeing this, his eyes were deep and his heart sank to the bottom. They are too underestimated, and the two people who thought it would be easy to solve, but let them a dozen people are planted here, how to inform the master of the situation. That's your fist is not hard to believe me. Guan Zito lifted his feet and slammed a few people on the ground. This was when he walked toward Feng Zhu and grinned. Xiao Zhu, these people were all stunned by my chin. Feng Zhu swept those people and said, abolish their cultivation. It is good. There was no change in the words, and the repairs of those few people were all abolished. In a moment, the people who had fainted in the past recovered their consciousness because of the pain when they were repaired. However, their chins were screaming and unable to speak. Only the twitching of the body. Seeing that the repairs of those people were only abolished in the blink of an eye, the middle-aged man's face finally became pale and bloodless, and there was a panic in his eyes. How has he been willing to be scrapped after decades of cultivation? Speak out what I want to know, or... I can make you die. Hearing the voice coming from behind, the middle-aged man's eyes must be fixed, and his teeth are bitten, if you want to kill, you will kill. You can't imagine any news from my mouth. Is it? Feng Zhu's lips and micro hooks, suddenly kicked a kick, his whole knees bent down, and he used his mysterious breath to seal his repairs. At the same time, a pill was forcibly inserted into his mouth. Hey. Why should you give me poison? If you kill, you will kill, I will never ask for a word. The middle-aged man was cold-stricken, and the medicine that was dissolved at the entrance did not need to know that he was wearing the poison of the intestines. He had to commit suicide. He did not have the courage. In the hands of her, she was unwilling, but there would be no fear. 
After sealing his repairs, she walked out from behind him and played with the dagger in her hand. The smile in her eyes was a bit strange. No, you will say it, and will ask to tell me. Seeing the strange light in her eyes, the middle-aged man's heart trembled and was a little uneasy. Brother, go see if there is something like a dungeon here. Feng Ju smiled with a pair of eyes, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Okay. Although Guan Zia did not know what she wanted to do, she immediately followed her words and quickly found it inside and outside the house that was not too big. What do you want to do? You will know soon. Feng Ju smiled low, and after a short time, he saw Guan Zia have returned. Ziyu, there is no dungeon here, but there is a cage, which is like a customsman. Then throw them all into the cage. She gestured. Let him take the middle-aged man first, and she gave the other people a medicine, which dragged the person back. After they were locked into the iron cage, after locking up, Feng Ju moved to the chair to find a position to look at the show. Then, it seemed to think of something general. He looked at the cheap brother around him and blinked, Brother you have to watch too. What are you looking at? Guan Xi's face was unclear. So he only saw that she had put all the people in the cage. She also sat in a chair and looked at it, but she didn't know what to look at. Hearing this, Feng Ju smiled a little slyly, There is nothing, brother, you go to the hospital to guard, be careful and have their people come in. Or first open him, or else, too dirty his pure heart it is. Well, then you should be careful here, if there is anything, call me. He nodded, and he did not suspect that he went out and went to the outer court to guard. Seeing this, she smiled and looked at the middle-aged man in the cage and said, You still have time to say it, I said, you can make your death easier. As soon as the sound fell, my eyes passed over the black men who had already woke up. Because their chins were smashed and their mouths could not be closed, but because they had slowed down for a while, their strengths were back. Just after all, repairing is abolished, and now it is just an ordinary person. The sudden heat of his body surprised him. Especially when he saw that several black people had their eyes blurred and their clothes were changed, his face changed greatly. He almost screamed. You, you used us for. It is not suspicion, but affirmation. The body is too hot to change people. The demeanor of those people is even more unpredictable. However, he did not think that such a method could actually be imagined. You know, they are all male. Let me go out. Let me go out. Seeing that the people were pulling each other's clothes, one of them had hugged his legs and pulled his pants. His face was pale and bloodless, and the panicking look could no longer be concealed. Reassured, I have given you a small amount of medicine and they are eating more weight. There was a fascinating light in her eyes, and she said casually, if you think of it, there is only one way. If you want to know what I want to know, then you don't have to be devastated by those people, or else, hey. Ah. Go away. A man rushed up, and he was shocked and screamed. He lifted his foot and opened the door. He shook the door of the cage with his hands tightly and shouted in a panic. Let me go out. I said. I will tell you what you want to know. Wen Yan, her lips slightly hooked, smiled and stood up and approached the iron cage, let's say. What kind of power is under her hand? Tell me what you know, don't play tricks, otherwise, the consequences will be very awful. You let me go first. Or else I will kill those few people before I say it. He opened the one with his thigh and retreated to the side of the cage. Feng Ju's hands and rings, his brows are light, his eyes are ridiculous, their medicinal properties really have to be inspired for a while. If you want to delay the time, I don't mind watching a good show. Madman. He cursed at the bottom of his heart, but he dared not to drag on, only to say everything he knew. Do you have a poison door? She whispered softly and a slight glimmer of light in the half-concealed eye, the lips under the veil slightly smack a playful arc. Let me go out. Hurry, um. 
He shouted in panic, but the sound suddenly stopped, and the whole person fell down with powerlessness. The other men rushed to the scene, one person pulling the pants and one tearing the clothes. Feng Zhu's eyes were cold, and he glanced at the iron cage. The careless voice was cold and cold, I will never be soft-hearted when treating the enemy. Since you have no courage to commit suicide, then I will help you and let you not struggling with strength, play with them. As soon as the sound fell, he turned and walked out, and as she turned around, there was a loud breath behind her. When Guan Zhu, who was outside the hospital, heard the rough breathing coming from inside, he stunned, and his eyes were filled with doubts. He wanted to go in and see, and Feng Feng came out and immediately greeted him. Small nine, are those people dealing with it? Well, I have to deal with it, let's go. She smiled and nodded. But how can I listen to them still alive, and still breathing heavily? He was puzzled, trying to go in and look at the ground, but she was pulled out. The few people don't care about them. I gave them poison. They can't live tomorrow. Don't you want to have more practical experience? Go, I will take you to a place. She even dragged him. Pulled out. When I heard her words, my eyes blinked and I was busy asking, is their old nest? Are you questioning? Yes, it's their old nest. We went to the end of their nights. The forces cultivated by Suruyun, overnight, she will destroy it as much as possible. The power of the poison door is rising in recent years. It is mainly poisonous. It also contains the assassination mission. The people who are poisonous are generally afraid to provoke it. Because the strength is stronger, those who like to use poison often do not have them. When I was aware, I was poisoned and died. Therefore, even if someone knows where the position of the poison door is, no one has ever thought about destroying the poison door. However, this time they are provoked by Feng Zhu, and the lord of the poison is still enemies with Feng Zhu. Suru Yun, such a chance of revenge is in front of her, she will not let go. In the darkness of the night, two smudges swayed through the forest. Under the night, it was clear that the two were Feng Zhu and Guan Xi. Suddenly, Guan Zhu stretched his hand and took a look at Feng Zhu. He lowered his voice and said, Xiao Zhu, look at this. He pointed to a stone in the grass. The poisonous door is heavy, the thief is dead. Feng Zhu lightly read it, and the taste of the lips curled up, half a gaze. Small nine, this poison door is the woman's old nest. Guan Xi's voice was low and asked, some incredible. To know that this poison door is equivalent to a medium family power in Yunyueshan. No one knows who the master behind the scenes is, but he does not want to, it would be Suru Yun who grabbed the identity of Xiaoju. Not bad. She sighed and took out a bottle and poured out two pills, eat, this is a detoxification pill. When Yan, Guan Zhu picked up a suit and asked some questions, how do we get rid of this poison? I have heard that there are many people who are poisonous, and they are good at using poison. No. Feng Zhu also went down the pill, and then said, do not directly do it, we give them a poison attack, go. This night is destined to be a sleepless night. In Feng Fu, Suru Yun was still happy to wait for the good news that came after tomorrow's dawn. However, when the dawn came, no one came to report it, it was like a sinking sea, and there was no wind or noise. From morning to noon, there was no news. Finally, she could not wait for her excuses to go out and go to a house in the south of the city. Hey! Two knocks sounded, and she stood outside and looked down. After waiting for a while, no one came to open the door. The bad hunch in her heart became more and more intense. She immediately went straight into the wall. It's not good to come in. This comes in. When I saw the scene in the iron cage in the backyard, she couldn't help but sigh. Yes. The unsightly picture made her face extremely ugly. In particular, the middle-aged man in the cage was also shocked. His strength is equivalent to the backbone of a medium-sized family. 
he has always been with her side to facilitate her transfer. The strength of the martial artist Yu Feng is not killing anyone, but now it is such a humiliating death. It is really she was shocked and angry. Is it a close brother and sister? According to the investigation, even the martial arts are not even the martial artists. How can the left guard of the martial artist Yu Feng be locked into the cage? She muttered to herself, only feeling that a heart could not be calm after seeing this scene. The person who planned to contact the poison door asked about the situation. So, when she turned and left, she burned the house. Out of the outside, walking on the street, I still feel a little disgusted when I think of the unsightly scene. The murder is not the only thing that is her, and she can't think of such cruel and creepy punishment. Have you heard that? The poison door was destroyed last night. It is said that a fire burned out the entire hill. It was only after the fire was extinguished this morning. Many people went to see it and said it was all burnt to grey. Oh. No, is it? Who did it? The power of the poison door is equivalent to a medium family, and it has been rising for several years. How could it be suddenly destroyed overnight? Hearing the whisper from the ear, Suru Yun's heart sank. She looked back at the few people on the roadside tea stall and strode forward clasping one of the shoulders. The voice was cold and murderous. With. What did you say? Say it again. Hey. My shoulders. The middle-aged man who was caught by her five fingers was pale and sweaty because of severe pain. The two people next to each other quickly said, You are letting go of the girl, we tell you that it is the poison door that was destroyed, and there is no living mouth in the fire. This has already spread in the city. You can find someone casually. I know all of them. Upon hearing this, Suru Yun seems to be in the hail, and the body is cold. She stepped back a few steps and it was difficult to accept such a message. No, this is impossible, impossible. The middle-aged man sighed and slammed his shoulders, and he was not angry. What is impossible? I went to see it this morning. The whole hill was burned, and there was no living. That is, the news spread early this year. Many families in the city sent people to watch it, but it seems that they have not said what was destroyed by the forces. Impossible. I don't believe it. Suru Yun screamed loudly, his cold eyes swept the few people and immediately ran away. She is going to have a look. She is going to have a look. She never believes that her years of hard work will be a torch. The woman is crazy. The person in the poison door is not a good thing, it is better to die, what is she excited about? Don't worry about her, just a crazy woman, I won't hurt my shoulder. The middle-aged man squatted down his shoulder and said, but it is incredible to kill a force overnight. You said, is this something that the ghost doctor did? In the latter half of the sentence, his voice was a little bit cautious and obviously depressed. How can you say this? How can the ghost doctor kill the poison door for no reason? Does medical poisoning not be the opposite? Is there anything strange about destroying the poisonous door? Besides, you said that if someone is not a ghost doctor, who would dare to do this? That is, the ghost doctor has the ability to do it overnight. A family, a power, isn't it? When I heard this, the voices of the other people also lowered a few points, what do you mean is that the family's door is made by ghost doctors? Is this the door of the poison door made by ghost doctors? I told you, this matter. It's best not to talk nonsense, be careful to make a mistake, after all, no one has seen it. After hearing a few words from the mouth, several people looked at each other and did not mention the topic. Instead. They drank a few cups of tea and went home. When Suru Yun came to the hill that had been burned to death, the people who watched the excitement had already dispersed. She looked at the bare hills with red eyes, and her blood spurted out of her heart, and the whole person fell. Sit down. How is it possible, how could it be? She muttered whispering, the whole person was like a lost soul, but this was the place where she devoted all her efforts the force she intended to expand, 
but now she was destroyed overnight. The tumbling blood made her heart hurt. She sat on the ground for a long time before she stood up. The lost eyes reignited the sinister sinister radiance, and her hands were tightly twisted into fists. I will never let you go. Absolutely not. The roots were biting, and she turned and left. The poison door is gone, then she will pick up Feng Wei. The strength of Feng Wei is the main force of Feng Fu, and it is a force that even the country of Yeo Kuo must be afraid of. She only needs to take over Feng Wei as the Phoenix Master, not to mention the brothers and sisters, that is, to destroy a medium-sized family, but only a command. Originally, I thought about waiting for a while. After all, the previous Feng Qing songs rarely touched Feng Wei. What they were exposed to was only one or two Feng Wei who were transferred to protect. As for the others, they simply looked at it. Never seen it. But now, she wants to be the phoenix. Be sure to get that power. Two days later, Feng Zhu helped the father to walk around the courtyard and asked, Grandpa, how do you feel about your body? Is there anything better? Oh, much better, if you can let Grandpa drink a few mouthfuls of wine, it is estimated that you don't need to help, Grandpa can also fly like a fly. The old man smiled and squinted, the whole person's spirit was raised here for two days and came back. However, I didn't drink for a few days, and my body recovered. It's really awkward. Now, don't wait, wait a few days for how much you want to drink and drink. She helped him to sit down at the stone table in the courtyard and poured him a glass of water. Feng, when do we go home? It is not a way to live outside of this, and the Suruyun at home has not yet been resolved, and your confused old man has been deceived and turned around without knowing it. He shook his head and said, and sighed again, speaking of your grotesque, you don't know anything. She has told him all the things in the past few days. Fortunately, she is still alive, and fortunately she can meet her on the street and recognize her. However, I did not expect that the vicious woman in the house would be Suru Yun who was always docile and close to Feng Xiaotu as a sister. The heart is separated from the belly, it's really a matter of knowing people and knowing what to do. Grandpa is better, we can go back at any time. She chuckled and thought it was time to return to Feng Jia. The old man listened very happy, patted her hand and said three times, Good. Small nine. Guan Zia walked in from the outside and walked in. His face was in a hurry. When he saw the old man, he also called out, Grandpa. Because of Feng Zhu and his relationship, the old man knew that he had asked him to go out of the family, so he also called him his grandfather. When he returned home, he asked him to worship Feng Xiao as his righteous father. Seeing his look anxiously worried, Feng Zhu asked, Brother, what happened? Grandpa, Xiaoju, you are going back to Feng Jia, Feng Jia has an accident. When the old man heard it, he quickly asked, What happened? I just came back from the outside. I heard that my father was not able to get sick because of his grandfather's disappearance. It seems that the righteous father still has to hand her Feng Wei to Suru Yun to mobilize, so that she can find the whereabouts of her grandfather, and many families in the city. The people have been invited, just for the noon announcement ceremony today, telling everyone that the main son of Feng Jiaoyi is his daughter, but the problem is that the righteous father does not know that the Feng Qing song in the house is fake. Give her, that trouble can be big. Although he is not a Feng family, he also knows the strength of Feng Wei, but even the royal family should be jealous. If such a force is obtained by the snake woman, then it will be worth it. This Suru Yun. This white-eyed wolf. The old man screamed with great enthusiasm, your body has always been as strong as a cow. How could I be so ill when I disappeared? It must be that the white-eyed wolf has poisoned people. Feng Zhu, who heard this, couldn't help but smack his mouth and grow like the first cow. The metaphor of her grandfather is so apt. But grandfather, how can our family's Feng Gui be jealous even the royal family? When I went out to take you out that night, I felt that the strength of the few Feng Gui guards at the door was not so good. 
that's because you haven't touched the elite division of our Feng Gui. The old man stood up, with one hand behind him and one hand with his beard, the Feng Gui of our Feng Jia family is also differentiated by level. That elite teacher is the card of our Feng family. But I have never seen the Feng Gui of our Feng family. It seems that in memory, I have never seen the Feng Gui of Feng Jia, but there are some Feng Gui in the government guarding the grandfather and father. Feng Jia Ei will definitely come into contact with you in the future. Now, let's go home first. Otherwise, once this thing is open, I am afraid that it will be out of control. The old man said with a calm voice, looking at the side of the customs, said, Xi, you are going to prepare the carriage. Now it is not much time from noon. Go back soon to stop. Good. Guan Ziu said, and immediately went out. Cold cream came in with a snack in his hand and said, Old lady, miss, use some snacks. This is what Ching Niang just did. Feng Ji smiled and said, Let's go back to the Feng family and bring the snacks on the carriage. For the situation at the Feng family, she is not as worried as the father. Just by Suru Yun, I can't afford anything. Storm In Feng Jia's Hong, due to the news, the homeowners in the city have come to the government. They sit down and talk about it in a low voice. In their view, the Feng Ching Song is too young, I'm afraid it is cannot control Feng Wei, cannot become the Phoenix Lord. But no one thought that Feng Jia would have had so many things in this time. The old man had got the disease of madness, and he was left unaccounted for. The two-day squadron fell down again. Today, in this Feng Fu, only Feng Ching Songs can be the main thing, but for her strength, everyone is not optimistic. Although Feng Kinga is the jewel of Feng Xiao, but compared with her strength and ability, her beauty is even more relishing. After all, the same people in Yunyueshan, they are naturally clear that Feng Qing what is the strength of the song? In fact, the strength of the Feng Qing song is such that even the children of some middle-class families can't match, but the victory is that she has a proud son as a fiancé, and there is a strong backing of Feng Fu. Therefore, how strong is it? It's not what everyone cares about. In a pavilion in the backyard, eight men in brocades were sitting, some standing, and some hands leaning against the pavilion and talking. Do you say that the old man will come back today? He was talking about a young man in a blue robe. He was sitting at the table, holding his chin in one hand and asking other people. A serious black robe man took a sip of tea and said, the news is all released, and he will definitely come back. There are a lot of people coming here today. I listened to the following people's reports. It seems that even the emperor's old man has come. The man leaning on the pavilion and holding his chest in his hands said. A man with a folding fan in his hand in white asked, However, is it true that we don't report it so well? Is it too much? How come? The owner did not ask us to investigate, it was known after our own investigation not to know. The man who spoke raised his eyebrows, the tone, and a few points of course. The other person couldn't help but smile. He said, fortunately, the old men are going to retreat. Otherwise, we know that we are standing by and watching and not solving the trouble. It is estimated that it is a drill. Speaking, who is the girl who is with the father? Her identity is not even investigated by us. It is too strange. When I heard this, several people were silent. The eight of them are not others, and they are the captains of the eight teams of Feng Wei's elite division. For those who are engaged in closed training, if Feng Feng's affairs are not reported to them, they will not know. But after learning about what happened recently in Feng Fu, they started investigating. In particular, Feng Laozi got the disease of madness and beggars but he did not expect that the owner who took the escorts outside the house was taken away by a girl and nursed back to the body in a courtyard. They tried to get close to the observation, but they were noticed as soon as they approached. I really don't know if the girl is too keen, or if their hidden breath is weak. Originally they wanted to bring the father back, but see the old man talking and laughing with the girl, 
and the girl would help the father to walk around the courtyard every day, watching the father not like the person who was mad, they it also dispelled the thoughts. Although I don't know who the girl is, the concern is not to be faked. Since there is no maliciousness to the father, they will not be in control. Hey, you said that the girl's face has been destroyed like that. How does it seem that I don't care too much? The blue man asked with some curiosity. When he first saw the ruined face, he was scared. Jump! After all, it was the girl's house, and even a face was completely ruined, and he looked pitiful. The girl has no mysterious breath. It is estimated to be an ordinary person. It is the calmness of the name called Guan Xi, which is a personal thing. The black robe man said with a calm voice. After a pause, he narrowed his eyes and said, You have seen the daughter of the family today. How do you feel? Not very good, when we are the main son of Feng Wei, it is really not enough. Well, the strength is really not outstanding, but it looks very good. Looking at a woman who is warm and gentle, let her be the master of our phoenix? Oh, I really don't want to. Hey. See you for the first time, I feel very disappointed. I am not optimistic either. She can't stop us. There is no way, who will let the owner be such a daughter? After listening to them one word at a time, the black robe man stood up and said, No, she is not simple. Well? How? The seven asked in unison, and some were surprised that he would say such a sentence. The Fengqing song, they did not see anything special. Intuition. Laugh. A few people snorted, I don't feel at all. With a gaze, several people looked at one place. One of them smiled and said, I don't want to talk about people during the day, don't talk about ghosts at night, you see, this is the case, people come. Not far away, the figure of a colorful Chinese dress is coming over here, followed by two prostitutes. When she saw the few young men in the pavilion standing or sitting or looking good, the imposing young man had a glimmer of light in his eyes. These eight people are the captains of the eight squad members of the elite division of Feng Wei's Hong. The strength of these eight people has already reached the realm of the martial arts peak. You must know that the old man has been practicing for a lifetime and he is only the strongest of the eight segments of the early stage of Wuzong Xian. It is Feng Xiao, who only entered the Wuzong level a few years ago. Today is just the second order powerhouse in the early days of Suanji. In time, these eight people will surely jump into Wuzong, then. The man in blue saw her standing outside the pavilion and looked at them. She didn't talk. She couldn't help but pick her eyebrows and asked, Is there something missy? Suru Yun returned to God, his eyes passed over the faces of the eight people, and the words were soft and soft. What is your name? Name. He smiled and walked over and leaned against the pavilion. The old men on our heads have confessed. Our name can only be said to our masters. So, before Missy has not been our master, we I don't mind if Missy puts the numbers on us and gives us a name. A man who came up behind him glanced at the person around him and looked at the person outside the pavilion. He looked at the face with a few sighs and said, She is not our master. We can't order us. It's impossible to mobilize us by ranking us. Missy, although we are Feng Gui, we still haven't recognized the Lord. If we can let us recognize the Lord, it depends on your ability. Another person also came up, and the tone was very rude. After all, although they are Feng Wei, they don't need to be polite to those who are not their masters. When Ruiyin, Su Ruyun is not angry, she looked at them with a smile, words with confidence said, You will surrender to me. The voice fell, turned, and walked to the front yard. In her opinion, the true Feng Qing song is already dead. This Feng Gui is only a matter of time in her hands. She does not believe that her can't let them surrender. When she approached, the man in a black robe walked up and swept the two people next to him. He said, Don't be too much. She is the daughter of the owner, and we will be the loyal master. Cut. 
Do you know that she has the ability to let us be willing to call her a master? The man who hanged the Lang was not convinced, obviously did not put her in her eyes. Don't forget, a few old men have been telling us. When I heard this, several people were silent, and no one spoke more. After a while, the black robe man said, The time is almost the same, let's go ahead and see it. All right. Several people should go and go to the front yard together. At this time, the way to Fengfu, because of the emperor's trip, attracted people on the street to follow and watched, and looked at the magnificent team to the Fengfu, and on the dragon the head of the Minghuang robes was sitting on the majesty's side, on the side of the side, wearing a purple robes and wearing a noble atmosphere, Murong Yuxuan followed the horse. The homeowners in Fengfu heard that even the king of the country had come, and they were a little surprised. Fengfu announced that the Fengqing Song was the lord of the phoenix, and generally did not use the kingdom to visit, but now it has come, and the meaning of this is intriguing. In this case, everyone still came to meet outside the house. After all, the other party is the king of Yeokuo, and it is a powerful and powerful person. They naturally dare not have a trace of disrespect. As the governor of Fengfu today, Suru Yun walked out of the crowd and bowed to the dragon, the female phoenix lyrics, Welcome the king of the country. I will wait for the king. The heads of the family said in unison, and they also performed a ritual. Yet. Long Hao uploaded a low voice and the national lord dressed in the Minghuang robes walked down from above. The sharp eyes with majestic momentum swept the crowd, and then they walked toward the inside. When the people entered, they all sighed with a sigh of relief and looked at each other. When they were about to go inside, they saw a carriage slowly parked in front of the Fengfu gate. Not all come almost? How come people still come? The people were puzzled, and the footsteps of the trip were slightly stunned and the carriage that was in front of the gate was inconspicuous. The Murong Yuxuan, who was going to walk in, also stopped after seeing the carriage. He was not only familiar with the carriage, but also felt that the black woman who was driving was somewhat familiar, as if she was from the girl back. People. Zaiju, I will help you. Guan Xi, a body of Swanyi, jumped up from the carriage and once again reached out to hold the person behind him. That little nine, let Murong Yuxuan's heart jump, there was a hint of surprise in his eyes, and his footsteps were still moving, so he looked straight at the man who came out of the carriage. At this time, Suru Yun did not see the people who came down in the carriage. Because the king of the country had entered the government, she went to the front to entertain. Therefore, she not only did not see Guan Ziu and Fengju, but even the last carriage. The people who walked down did not see it. Otherwise, they would be scared and pale. Hey! That, isn't that Feng Laozi? When the heads of the family watched the two men and women holding the old man in the carriage, they saw that the old man was the missing father of Feng Fu. Moreover, look at the look of the person who is suffering from the disease of the madness. At the moment, everyone surrounded him. Feng Laozi, you can always come back. Feng Laozi, you are not in the government during this time, but General Feng is worried that he will fall ill. Feng Laozi, where have you been during this time? Everyone asked, and the words were concerned. Because today is only a big family in Yunyu City, and the middle family has no glimpse. Therefore, everyone is completely strange to Guan Ziu and Feng Zhu, and no one knows. Oh. Let everyone worry, the old man is fine. The old man said with a smile, and nodded with the person. Feng Grandpa. Murong Yuxuan came over and saw that his temperament recovered very well, and his heart could not help but wonder. How could he be with the brothers and sisters? With a gaze, the sight of the inquiry fell on Feng Zhu's body. Father Feng saw him, and said in a tone of voice, It turned out to be Yi Xian. You are here today? The old man heard that the country is also here. Seeing that he is watching his phoenix, his face is smiling. Deepened a few points. These two people, how to see them are very paired, but unfortunately, the face of Feng Biatu. 
When Feng Fu's guards saw the old man in the carriage, they ran quickly inside and shouted, It's the old man. The old man is back. The old man is back. Grandpa, let's go in. Feng Ju did not go to see Murong Yuxuan, but helped the father to go inside, Guan Zia was on the right side of the old man, and the cold frost was behind her. What, what? What do you say? After Su Ruyun, who was sitting in the middle of the court in the hospital, heard the words of the guard, the whole person was stunned and white, and the body was not free. The Lord shivered, Who are you coming back? Who? It is the old man, the old man is back. The guard also said with surprise. The Lord who sat with T noticed that she was not right, and slightly picked her eyebrows. Some of them were surprised that she was in a panic with a panic reaction. My grandfather is back, shouldn't she be happy? How is this reaction? The old man is back? Where? Listening to the voice, the king of the country looked at the sound. This look, the face is strange. However, in a few days, this Feng Xiao is actually weak like this. I can't even walk, but I still have someone to support. Homeowner, you will sit here first, the old man will come to the door, and will come in a moment. The man in a white coat with a folding fan said gently, holding him down and looking away from the courtyard. The head of the country, Murongbo, looked at the outstanding men standing next to Feng Xiao, who had thought through the sharp black scorpion and looked at them without looking at them. When Su Ruyun saw the few Feng Wei who were guarding Feng Xiao, the roots were bitten. These people not only did not put her in the eyes, but also brought Feng Xiao out without authorization, it is damn. Originally, she only intended to let Feng Xiao come back for a while, so as not to be seen, but now. At this moment, Feng Zhu helped the father to come in, followed by a group of people. When he saw Feng Zhu around his father, Su Ruyun took a cold breath, How could it be you? How come you are here? This woman. She did not forget that her poison was destroyed by her. This woman, mysterious and strange, now dare to appear in Feng Fu, appearing in front of her, really when she would not take her. Come on. Give me her. She sipped, and the guards will take Feng Zhu on the spot. Of course, no one is at all, because they dare not. The fool also saw that the veiled girl was holding their old man. Going forward to catch people? They are not tired of living. Feng Zhu did not speak, but she looked at her with a faint smile. Father Feng saw it, and snorted heavily and said, Where is Feng Wei? The eight men standing next to Feng Xiao, like the nobles, stepped forward and stepped forward. The pace was steady and the momentum was fierce. They stood side by side in a row, and the concerted actions were full of powerful and powerful voices. The breath is with a respectful outgoing. I have seen the old man. A few short words made the hearts of everyone present shocked. After the salute, the eight people stood up straight, and the sloppy and hanging children who appeared on them were not seen at all in this moment. The serious face has a violent and intriguing murderous spirit. The momentum of the body is tough and fierce. Like the predator from the battlefield, the planning of the same pace, and the straightforward heroic attitude, are all eye-opening. The heart is shocked. This is Feng Wei. It is an elite teacher who makes the neighboring army stunned. That team, all of them are such a tough guy, all of them are such outstanding children. Get her to me. Father Feng's hand points straight to the white-faced Su Ruyun. If the sharp and resentful eyes can kill people, she has died no less than one hundred times. Father. Su Ruyun looked back in shock, her first reaction was to find Feng Shi's shelter, because for the father, only Feng Xiao can protect her. However, she is destined to be disappointed. Because Feng Xiao was looking at the white dress in a white dress, wearing a veil and holding the elegant girl of the father. A thought emerged in his mind, his trembling opening. You, who are you? After the eight people were in the air, two of them stepped forward and seized Su Ruyun's backhand and took it to the old man. Everyone was wrong before the old lady, 
Feng Wei, grabbed his granddaughter, and then doubted the reaction of Feng Xiao at this time. So they fell on the white woman and explored her identity. Mirong Yuxuan looked at the Feng Qing song that was deducted and handed to the old lady. He couldn't help but slightly open his eyebrows and wanted to speak. He listened to Feng Xiao's question, so he also looked at the white woman. Body. He also wants to know who she is? Feng Zhu looked at the phoenix that was so excited and faint, and sighed and said, You have already guessed, aren't you? He is not a fool. This time, there are so many things happening in Feng Fu, plus now that the old man is back, and even she has appeared. If it hasn't reacted yet, he is not the famous general Feng Xiao Feng. You are my daughter's song. His voice whimpered and reached out to hold the hand of Feng Zhu, I'm sorry, sorry, I don't know if the person around me is fake. I thought of what the father said that day, thinking of his anger at the time, and then seeing her now. With a veiled face, his heart was so painful that he couldn't help but burst into tears. I'm sorry, it's not good, it's not good. A powerful general, actually crying like a child, the appearance of tears under the rain makes people look wrong and shocked. What did he say? The veiled woman is his daughter's song? Who is the one who is being held? Xiao Xu, who do you say she is? The voice of Murong Yuxuan with uncontrollable tremors, he looked at the woman in white with a veil, some unbelievable, excited and happy, a heart thumping, the feeling, can't speak. Oh, my daughter, my daughter. Feng Xiao cried because of his heart, but because of his weak body, he could not withstand such an impact. The whole person cried and cried and passed out. You two, send me back to the room. Feng Zhu looked at a few Feng Wei who looked at him with a big eyes, and said with a calm voice. Yes. The almost instinctive voice should be followed, a few people suddenly glanced, looked at each other and looked a little surprised, but still out of the two, sent Feng Xiao back. At this time, Feng Lao's old but full-bodied voice contained the mysterious breath, when everyone is here, the old man tells you about it. His voice slammed and pointed at Suru Yun. She is not my granddaughter Feng Kinga. She is just the solitary woman Suru Yun who came back from the street when my granddaughter was a child. My granddaughter treats her as a sister, but she counts me. The granddaughter wants to murder her, replaces the identity of my granddaughter, and takes everything she has. And this, after being discovered by the old man, uses poison to think of the old man, this woman, sullen and sinister, ruthless and unjust. After hearing this, everyone shouted and took a sigh of air, feeling that it was incredible and terrible. Even the identity has been replaced. If no one finds it, then if the big Feng Fu, in the end, did it fall into her hands? Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Suddenly laughing, let everyone glimpse, look at the crazy woman. At this moment, things can't turn, she doesn't have to hide anything. At this moment, she finally knows why she met her when she met her on the street. Finally, I knew why she sent her to kill her, not only lost her hand, but also with her hard-working forces. It turned out to be her. It turned out that she has never died. Feng Kinga has a lot of weight and she is very clear. With her ability, she can't have the ability to destroy her poisonous door overnight, and it is even more impossible to save the father from Feng Fu. The only certainty is that behind her. Someone. Remove your veil? Are you not a Feng Qing song? Take your veil off. She looked at Feng Zhu provocatively, and her eyes were crazy and hazy, let all people look at it, whether the face under your veil is a Feng Qing song. Feng Zhu looked at her and the light was shining with cold light. She did not pay attention to her words, but said to the old man, Grandpa, your body is good, you can't be too irritated, you can go back to the hospital. Here. Just hand it over to me. Fang. The old man was not at ease, afraid that she could not cope. Nothing, I can do it here. She chuckled, motioning him not to worry and then called the housekeeper to let him back the father. 
Everyone saw this, they were curious, what did she want to do? Can't you let the father be there? Murong Yuxuan looked at her, her heart was very complicated, and she could not find a chance to speak. The country's Murong Bo today is a neglect of the bottom, no way, who let everyone's attention on the true and false Feng Qing songs. You too, take her to the Feng Fu gate outside. Feng Zhu's gaze passed over the two Feng Wei who buckled Suru Yun, then turned and walked out. The two saw each other, looked at each other and held the man up. In front of the Feng Fu gate, Feng Zhu sat on the chair that the guards had moved. The surrounding area was surrounded by the heads of the families who were watching them, and the guards they were waiting outside. Even Murongbo was quite novel. I followed it up and sat down on the chair that I was moving with. I looked at the graceful and calm Feng Zhu with enthusiasm. Do you not bother with my face for so long? She held her chin in one hand and sat on her feet. It was a less elegant movement, but it made people feel free and natural. I have been bored for a long time. This face, I feel sick and dead every day. Suru Yun said with a sullen voice, full of disgust in his tone, struggling, let me go. Tu Feng Wei detained her. Naturally it was impossible for her to struggle. Let her go, she can't run. Feng Zhu gestured, let the two let go of her. Upon receiving freedom, Suru Yun tore off the mask on his face and threw the mask on the ground, revealing her original face, a beautiful woman. It's a pity that although the face is beautiful, the heart is like a snake. One of the onlookers sighed, good and easy to handle. The mask is attached to the neck and behind the ear, and it is no wonder that others can't see it. Murong Yixian looked at Suru Yun with a slight gaze, but she did not expect that she was really her. Perhaps it was the gaze of Murong Yuxuan. Suru Yun felt ashamed and embarrassed for the first time. She didn't even dare to look at him, afraid to see the look that she couldn't bear. Looking at this scene, the phoenix's lips are slightly hooked and the veil under the veil is lightly opened. You said, how can I greet you? Hey! A person with a mysterious atmosphere and no face to death, even if you are still alive, it is better to die. She sipped coldly, her eyes gazed at her face with veil. The eyes overflowed with viciousness and looked at Murong Yuxuan. You still don't know? Her veins have been poisoned by me. Her face is also drawn by me. The faces turned out to be more horrible than the female fork, A and D. He he ha ha. She smiled in a strange low voice, her eyes filled with madness, and, at the beginning, I was able to sell her to the brothel, and I don't know how many men are playing, ah. Her voice has not yet fallen, and the screams will sound. It turns out that the originally sitting Feng Zhu took out the long sword at the waist of the cold cream, and several steps stepped in front of her. The sword tip shook and cut her tongue. The dog's mouth can't spit out ivory, and the tongue doesn't matter. Everyone secretly took a breath, for the words that Suru Yun said, because Feng Zhu suddenly shot, they did not even notice how she moved, and saw a tongue falling to the ground, then Suru Yun the mouth is bleeding. The eight Feng Wei saw this scene, but the eyes were bright. They watched her holding a long sword and leaning against the ground. The tip of the sword was dripping with blood. The white coat was light in the wind. The cold and lazy atmosphere on her body was so pleasing to them, especially her crisp and neat. The shot is even more exciting for them. I have to admit that even if her face is ruined, her body is really not comparable to the average person. If such people are their masters, it is not unacceptable. Murong Yixian's eyes wide open, looking at the white woman who was stern, and her heart was shocked. She, she is really a song? Is it really the woman who will snuggle around him, gentle and supple? What? Suru Yun's tongue is gone, and there is blood in his mouth. Even the words are unclear, and he can only make a sharp scream. She rushed to the front of Feng Zhu, but she was not close to her. She saw her gaze for a long while, and there was a strange look in her eyes. The next time she saw her sword in her hand, she only felt in front of her. The sword was suffocating, 
and then the sound of the broken clothes came out. Ah, ah! She screamed, her clothes became scattered, and she was cold. She hugged her hands tightly, trying to cover the exposed spring, listening to the sound of the puffs and the slightness from the ear. The gasping, she was so shy that she was looking for a hole to drill in. The homeowners around are all middle-aged. Although there are good wives and wives in the family, when seeing such a female fruit with a red fruit in front of her eyes, she knows that she should not look at her identity, but that look. Still can't move. Some uncomfortable coughs, the old face is reddish, but still squatting toward the white body. At this moment, I finally know why the Feng Ching Song wants her grandfather to return to the hospital first. Such a fragrant scene is waiting for them. I have to say that her trick is indeed awkward, but the killing is not the first thing, but she obviously knows how to torture people, and the most obvious thing is to torture the heart. This hand, she played very beautiful, comparable to killing directly. That Suru Yun made her life better than death. After all, the world is shining, and the red fruit is suffering from the abuse of the male eyes. The kind of spiritual destruction is unbearable for women. The sword in the hands of Feng Ju turned, and after holding it back, she stood in front of her, watching the face pale and shivering Suru Yun, lazy and asked, You are not shameless? I think if you don't wear it, maybe it will be better, isn't it? Looking at this scene, the man who was the lover of the eight phoenix phoenixes swallowed his eyes, his eyes brightened, and praised, Hey! Missy this is really beautiful, welfare. Oh, that body is really it's not normal, the skin is pretty white, and it's a pity if you kill it directly. Wen Yan, Feng Ju could not help but laugh, and went to the man, do you like it? Or, I will reward her. When I heard this, the man was shocked and waved his hand again and again, no need to use it, I have to keep my future lady as jade. Mirong Yuxuan looked at Suru Yun, who was shivering on the ground, and looked at Feng Ju. Clear songs, enough. Feng Ju turned to squatting, Ching Ying Ying smiled, enough? I haven't had this yet. How is it enough? At the same time as she spoke, her sword turned and shrank toward it. Suru Yun struck and made a blood mark on her. What? Clear songs. Shut up. She sipped coldly, looking at him coldly, this is my fengfu thing, I hope the three kings do not intervene. As soon as the sound fell, the sword in her hand stabbed her thigh, only to hear a bang, and the screams overflowed, and the blood also splashed. These are returned to you. These are all she wants to recover for Feng Kinga. She promised to let her double back. After shrinking Suru Yun, after hearing the words of Murong Yuxuan, his eyes were slightly moved, and he pulled out a smile that was more ugly than he cried. Her head was low, her hand stretched out into her hair, and her eyes appeared vicious. What? She endured the pain in her leg and suddenly stood up and rushed to Feng Ju. She was smashed with a black purple hairpin in her hand, and seemed to hold the same thoughts as she did. Be careful. Murong Yuxuan suddenly returned to the front of Feng Ju while the instinctive palm waved her to fly out. Puff. Boom. Suru Yun squirted a blood, the whole man fell to the ground, and looked at Murong Yuxuan dying, with a smile of relief. For this man, she didn't end up in the end, but he never put her in her heart. She raised her hand and patted her own celestial cover in his gaze, and ended her sad life. Feng Juyi glanced at Murong Yuxuan, who was behind him, and turned to look at the eight Feng Wei. He said, take her body. It was cheaper for her. She had not played enough to die. She only looked at the homeowners, and the host of the country, Murong Bo, who said that she was sitting in a good-looking drama, said, to slow down everyone today, I hope you will not be surprised, I will recover from the rest of the day, and I will invite you to dinner. Lose it is not. Oh. Miss Feng said it is heavy. Today, Feng Fu has such a thing. We all know it too, so there is nothing to be slow and not scornful. Yes, Miss Feng, since the punishment of the poison girl, 
then go in and see your father, we will go to the first line, and then visit the next day. Everyone said, one by one, bowed to her and left. Murong Yuxuan looked at her and was about to talk. She saw her move to the house. He was about to keep up, and he saw cold frost in front of him. Three princes, there are still many things to deal with in Fengfu today. It is not convenient to call you, please come back. After looking at him, the cold cream followed the back of Fengju and went inside, completely ignoring the Murong Yixian who was in the same place. However, the eight Fengwei on that side looked full of interest. As far as they know, this Murong Yixian is the fiancé of Missy, but it is estimated that it will not be soon. You have come over and dealt with this body. One Fengwei called several guards to let them deal with the scene, and they strode inside. Yixian. Murong Bo, who has already sat on the imperial concubine, called out. Father of the father. He came to him and screamed at the lower eyelids. Follow me back to the palace, I have something to tell you. Murong Bo looked at this best son, knowing that his future repairs will be even higher than him. Therefore, playing the small is the most expectation for him. Yes. Murong Yuxuan should have a voice, turned over the horse, looked at the Fengfu house, and then left with one. Fengfu's Hong. Father and Fengju and Guan Ziu are in Feng Xiao's room. At this time, the middle-aged doctor sighed and shook his head after the pulse, Old lady, Missy, the owner's body is losing a lot, I am not good at learning. Powerless. The old man listened to his brow and tightened his face, his face was dark and his eyes were not covered. You go out first. Fengju said, let the doctor go out first. Yes. The middle-aged doctor sighed and walked out after a ritual. Grandpa, don't worry, you won't have anything to do. She came to the comfort of her father, then sat down at the bed and put his hand on his hand. Feng Ho, you. When the old man saw her skilled pulse gesture, she couldn't help but feel a little bit. She thought that these days, she was investigating his body, and the doubts in her heart could not be re-emerged. After taking the pulse, she took out the silver needle and spread it out. Then she looked at the old man and showed a smile, Grandpa should have heard of ghost doctors. I have heard that it is said that he is able to save the person who stepped into the palace of the king. His voice was a meal, as if he thought of something in general, and some of his eyes widened, Feng Shan Tao, you, you mean. Well, that is what Grandpa thought. She squinted at him, confidence. The old man was shocked and wide-eyed, surprised and happy, unbelievable, unbelievable. Ghost doctor? Is his granddaughter a ghost doctor? This, what is going on here? Is this real? Xi, what is she really saying? Father came to Guan Zia's side and grabbed his arm and asked excitedly. Hey, grandpa, really, come, I will help you to sit there, I will tell you something. Guan Xi grinned and helped the father to come to the outside table and sit down and take things. Said to him. In the middle, Feng Zhu began to use silver needles to treat her father. About half an hour later, it took things out and came out. When they came out, they saw the old man's eyes staring at her. The gaze was like staring. Like a glowing treasure, she saw her hair straight up. Grandpa, are you okay? Feng Shan Tao, you are so sad that you are a grandfather. Oh, I am not looking for a chance to say it. She smiled awkwardly, some guilty.